bitch the goat, man. Uh, I've been stacking the money, I know if I fall off, they ain't got nothing for me I did what I wasn't expected to do, niggas hate singing, they do shake ass to my music Plug ass me, could I handle a hundred, I told them to send it And sit back and give me a week to run through it I quit rap right now just to prove it Ask the streets if I say less, nigga, I love Waking up every day, putting shit on by mistake I hate Seeing you niggas in the way buying dope just to say I did it I spend the money, come back like a frisbee I'll front you anything out on my inch Before I do that, gotta check out credentials Fuck a label, need a hundred percent I don't rap about shit less I did it or do it If the trap had a class, I'm an A plus student I ain't have an addict for the bows, nigga, I flew I'm the type nigga do what she ain't used to doing Uh, back in the day, I ain't had no pay But I still had sweat, so I still had bitches Niggas start dropping the hoes that I went to my dick in Stupid ass nigga, you tripping Thinking they caught on, I'm on the something else Low came money by Wednesday, ain't much left I be getting money when I wake up and by the end of the day Walking in and trapping Memphis, I bet they no safe We ain't having fun, but I call them a play I done made eight hundred dollars and I need eight And this is the second of money, I know if I fall off, they ain't got nothing for me I did what I wasn't expected to do Niggas hate seeing they be shake ass to my music Plug ass me, could I handle a hundred? I told them to send it and sit back and give me a week to run through it I quit rap right now just to prove it Ask the streets if I say less, nigga I love Waking up every day, putting shit on by mistake I hate in the way buying dope just to say I did it. I spend the money, come back like a frisbee. I'll front you anything out on my inch. Before I do that, gotta check out credentials. Fuck a label, need a hundred percentage. smiling at the end because it did more than what you even thought and expected shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh God. I knew how to count, when? way before I ever learned my ABC. D hell fuck for free, why you chasing this bitch and there's so many fish the in the fuck? sea I know you want to, but it's hard to be sailors, I spend this shit out through Every the week day. On a trap like me, gotta pick speed up the speed, up. I want a bitch that's out of my lane yeah. I spend more money and than you, you ever seen, seen. So I'm a working this bitch in the clock I ain't seen nope. I know a nigga got a limited P, when I make a million I'm through selling weed Until that nigga this TNC, I said dope in the coat with a coat D nigga broke and they run out of hope, come get served 24-7 on what? Yeah, 24-7 I'm loaded, come to the trap, this shit ain't closing, no Every day we ride for him. Remember them days this shit was stolen. Yeah, bust down on my neck. I'm caught that little bit my trophy. Toe say let's we can go plan to me and this shit. All we gotta do is stay focused. But I'm on the block, them simmers. Mama, I'm sorry the gang shit in me. We up on the score, really winning. We over you niggas, ain't no competition. Never run out of motion, got plenty. I ain't never finished school, I was always suspended. I'm a young trap nigga, I can show you little niggas how to stack it and flip it and get it. I chill in my trap, this seat for the spin. When I make a play, run on my adrenaline. He ain't spend enough, I do not remember. How the fuck I make all this off a middle man? I ain't even worried about seeing no back end. I pray to God that I get these packs. Racks up in purple jeans, I'm stashing. Begging these hoes, these niggas the sad. Been in the streets, I've been in the sand. I jumped out the pool, you niggas will cap. Get that out my trap, that shit, that's some bad. You say you want smoke, you niggas can have it. If I have my Glock, you know I'm a blast. You say you on 10, I been blue pants. I'll run through the boat, disappear like magic. Plug like me, cause I say I this shit goes. All these boys in the trap, this shit a disaster. Shit, Give me one day, and this shit gon' be ghost, nigga. Just like cows. Remember the bitch, you just see me walk past, and now she can only see me on her plans. I ain't falling off, that what they want. I go ball for I trust her. Ice the chain around my neck. Reach forward, gon' put you on the shirt. On the sign, nigga, put your cousin brother in the dirt. Reach forward, and you won't see no nerd. Nigga playing guys, a nigga play, then I'ma kill him first. Bro, I can't let you get out first. They bitches be shaking that ass to that double like shit, they don't like this. Yeah, yeah. We in Atlanta, we pull up at Icebox and walk in that bitch, spend the light chick. Yeah, yeah. Fake ass diamonds you niggas be wearing, I know you don't wanna have an ice chick. Yeah, yeah. Come in my prison, I can't do a pipe chick. Nigga, where you get your scrap shit? Uh, step on these niggas like those mess, fuck up Kalisha and murder, he wrote that. Uh, no, I ain't working on 9 if I kept me at 32 up on the dope track. Uh, come on, we live with that bullshit, 9 at 32, right where you put blunts at. Uh, zero tolerance for opposition, we cremate niggas, now he a runs pack. Uh, put this shit on, crawl hard, D, you on my 
my toe, make a nigga do a drip check. Uh, I don't wanna fuck with your head, they give me top in the coupe, make me scream, yeah, yeah. Running up digits, yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking they bitches, yeah, yeah. Young nigga grown, I'm in the gap right now. Scrub about the trench, not the project. Nigga know I'm pulling on, got to a ring while I could've went two times. Young nigga hate, see what these niggas on. Run along, I ain't got the patience to get them gone. Pull all these diamonds, nigga. Two and one, we shining, nigga. No hand out grinding, nigga. That cap shit, we ain't binding, nigga. Real life shit, nigga, we ain't just rhyming. Gang got 300 in diamonds. Uh, I'm that nigga, so they watch what I do. They treated me just like I'm Simon. Uh, acrobatic, I do flips with the pecs. I get the load on Cassandra. Uh, I'm that nigga, made you boys on the trap. Ain't no need to remind me. Killing that nose, no stepping, no coming like John. we with that line. Probably ate watch, I can't read the time. Got diamonds to focus up mine. Uh, nigga, no deal, I'm a hit, send a bad bitch, good cop shit, I'm a money killer. Nigga, no deal, we zip, nigga, K A T O, no, I'm a Brian Spiller. They say, why let's do more, stop posting money, they say we Go too far. Double like gang, got hunters, can't get far. Fuck about ten and we came with our own boss. You in the industry, nigga, we actively in the street. Pooping on Oxy, I know that they sick of me. One on my dick, no, I can't show no sympathy. I'm waking a friend before he try to mail me. Yeah, yeah. Trapped in the traffic like I can't escape. You so fucking broke like you run away from the paper. I got okay. racks now for later. My money go up escalator. You switch on the game, you a traitor. I see the case out there, erase him. Damn, poof, he gone. He did us first, how the fuck are we wrong? I'm on the block and I'm pumping it strong. Don't call my phone, it ain't more than a zone. To be honest, none less in the cutie. I'm pouring foes that he walk in the mini I can show you how to trap, let me demonstrate. I'm trying to get in the real estate. Pop my shit, I can see why these niggas hate down. Put a grill on they block, we gon' pop we out. Pop when them shots get the fine niggas pop, pop out. Paul J, he a rich fucking dropout. Booked up a lot for his show, we, we gon' rock out. No deal, real life, bringing them racks out. Walk through the door, we ain't doing no pat down. Re for a chain, he gon' hit a pack now. Go crazy. Go crazy. Uh, we the one two on the honor, really stepping on shit. We don't fuck with the crash out. Not one, one, but everybody ice out. out. Nigga mad cause they bitch again pot down. down. Nigga don't come outside when the I'm lights out. Scrap said real life, we let dice let out. Dice President should peel up in the White House. Really call shots, I can walk down. Spin go crazy. Call me 80, but I'm going 180. That nigga that faded. Uh, Power of the purse, that nigga ain't made it. Pop shit like we made it. Uh, Ratchet shit, that hoe wanna hell about baby. Put his face on the pennant. Uh, he a dead op, he just my baby. That sign nigga a little more rich now. Get mad, make a listen, put a hit out. You ain't got 10K, you gotta get out. Still trapping hard, nigga, why the cops out? Get op, nigga, clock now, pop out. Nigga clocking out like they get laid out. Get a nigga 100 shot like the A low. Fresh and false, smoking op, pack the top go. to shoot. Murder millions, standing on bed, and rich and roofy, put this shit on the pen, then why about the scat curve the curb in the trench, just dove in my pocket, I got this out, get money erasing, you niggas ain't in it, how do it feel to be broke when I'm interested, again, some money, you niggas be tripping, don't do a check with a wonderful feeling, play with that bag, put your ass past the ceiling, don't care about no chain or no watch, you gon' get it, I'm middle man and I done made me a living, I go to the plug, get the peg and then flip it, I got niggas mad, they can't get this on ticket, they all on my dick, tryna see how I did it, I'm smoking, I'm sipping, my need a new kidney, my car got too fast, no, you won't catch me shit. Nigga fuckin' on racks, I don't give a fuck I got your bitch in the back tryna give it up I help some Drake to your face, make him give it up Give me the drop on the off, get a titty so When I get rich, I'ma slide out a business truck Pop my shit, I don't think that I did enough We gettin' racks in the city, they feelin' us Honey, some shots to your back, ain't no gettin' no still sign We the one slam when it's drill time I got caught cheating, but I'm God, I'm still lying We out of time, but the off, they still lying So many steps, but like, we workin' finish line We in the club, while the off, they up in the line I bring your bitch to my house, then I break a spine I'm fuckin' sober, on God, I'm on demon time It's a good, but on God, she got a minute line Demon time, I'm in the trap, I'm on demon time. Ten bucks a day, could've five, I'm on demon time. I'm in my mo, man, you nigga can't slow me down. Fuck your rap shit, I get money like really now. All in my DM, your heart like I tie me down. Put down my wrist, no, I can't even see the time. I'm on the way to the finish line. Reef from my tongue and let thanks in, here's the dime. And I be smoking your real inside, maybe kick back with my feet up. Broke ass nigga can't keep up. Baby, we gotta raise this time, a nigga see us. We gon' pull up our black truck just in the back. Swear wrong and he gon' bust. I was broke, no, they can't stand us. They been on their head, tell them go put their man. Back on my young nigga, shit, know I'm poppin' now I'm in the back of this bitch, know I'm hoppin' now I made 
Made some racks, I was trapping in mama house. I put the drink in the house on the mama couch. What about that murder? I don't know what you talking about. Run off on me, chase that way to your mama house. Little baby with me, but play, I'ma gun you down. Wake up the neighbor, well, let's see how they hunting sound. I'm in the club, popping shit with my bitches now. On the way to the top, they trying to get me down. Don't spend some racks on my beat, man, it been a while. Trap, 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 I'ma trap my bitches now. Spin, 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 we gon' spin till they spin around. Reach, 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 I'ma be there in a minute now. Broke, 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 I was memory and hand me down. You gon' get the money, or you gon' stand around. I just made your seven day paycheck in just one plate. I got some serves that I show love to and son and pay what they weigh. I can't cuddle with no bitch. After we fuck, I need my space. If your 304 not light skin and petite, she not my taste. Nope. If you know, you know I'm serving. If you know, you know I'm splurging. If you know, you know she shoot her shot at me. She broke, I'm curving. I can't wait, I need it urgent. This money dirty, it need detergent. Contemplating on if I wanna rap or trap till my son thirty. This is the scale was my best purchase. My little one pop ops and perkins. Tell security type my name in YouTube. Only way they search it. I'm serving why birds be chirping. Sell out this might blow the earnings. Fuck all that, I don't sell shit, man. I just rap these niggas snitch. It ain't about money, don't insert me in the mix. And I'm a local celebrity. When she with me, she don't click on the camera for shit. I like to play with the money and play with a pussy. You play with say it's over with. I'ma stay independent, the industry real. You wanna sign me? I need a half a meal. I'ma stay on that neck, call me say list the bills. I just made your seven day paycheck in just one play. I got some serious that I show love to and son and pay what they weigh. I can't cuddle with no bitch. After we fuck, I need my space. If your 304 not light skin and petite, she not my taste. Nope. If you know, you know I'm serving. If you know, you know I'm splurging. If you know, you know she shoot her shot at me. She broke, I'm curving. I can't wait, I need it urgent. This money dirty, it need detergent. Contemplating on if I want to rap or trap till my son thirsty. Go and get money, money through Sunday. Remember who flexed on you and you ain't had nothing. Most of these niggas be yelling out motion, be capping for fun, ain't getting to nothing. Playtime over, the work ain't done. They pay to hurt me, I don't rap just because. I'm knowing I got rap buzz, but I still get paid off of these drugs. Sell it whole or break down the buzz. Used to be broke, that was a was. Fly to LA just because I'm not on vacation, I'm looking for plugs Don't come around me without genuine love I know some niggas that envy they blood My city is pimping and dealing in war Bitch, you gon' fuck who next for sure I get the bows, I test get nerd I got the mouth and I turn down the rear I turn down the label, I ain't got an M And I need some ice for my nigga and them They might do what I do, but I'm nothing like them All my bitches got motion and trim If it ain't at the 12, I can't even see them These hoes be knowing me before I meet them Bitch, you be fucking just on my demeanor After we through, baby, it's nice to meet you Niggas be hating on the low, I be peeping I'm high as a bitch and I'm fly as a eat. Every tattoo on my body got a meaning. Don't say you love me, just show me you mean it. When I come outside, it be for a reason. If you tryna elevate it, run it up, gotta go and get money. Money through Sunday. Remember who flexed on you and you ain't had nothing. Most of these niggas be yelling out motion, be capping for fun, ain't getting to nothing. Playtime over, the work ain't done. They pay to hurt me, I don't rap just because. I'm knowing I got rap buzz, but I still get paid off of these drugs. Sell it whole or break down the buzz. Used to be broke, that was a was. Book a flight to LA just because. I'm not on vacation, I'm looking for plugs. Don't come around me without genuine love. I know some niggas that envy they blood. My city is pimping and dealing in war. Bitch, you gon' fuck who next for sure. I ain't never had a problem getting money. God, please forgive me. I set up on Sunday. Pop out of town and I don't got a budget. In my city, it's no more killers and hustlers. Which one is you? Most of these bitches done touch every man my crew. If she ain't then baby, I congratulate you. I had other shit going. Used to walk out of school. I don't hang around niggas that got something to prove. I be with dealers and niggas that shoot. Broke niggas hating and they start to recruit. Don't just bring up the money. You gotta show proof. I like green, pink, and blue. I like white bitches too. I like doing the shit that these little niggas can't do. It's like more than a ticket you add on my crew. I so dope in the dark. This ain't come out the blue. When these niggas fall out, they want colors be true. I be trying to get so much money that I can't count it like dope. I gotta wear it up. I always been him. I ain't never had to pay the I like bitches with money. She bad. That's just a plus. Driving real fast to the cash. I be in a rush. I be on the block early morning like a school. If it's how to get money on the way, you
you influence Made a play in the fifth grade, boy, this ain't new. Been an all black wheel with a yellow bone bitch on the way to serve you. Count the cash, didn't deal. My shirt came with sex and this bitch from the Ville. Back in so many bows, you call me say seal. I just start a record label, I'm giving that deal. Got the price so low, niggas be like for real. Niggas ain't raving, these bitches stop beefing over hoes. She did that shit on her wheel. Had a problem getting money. God, please forgive me, I set up on Sunday. Pop out of town and I don't got a budget. In my city, it's no more killers and hustlers. Which one is you? Most of these bitches done tips every man my the crew. If she ain't in baby, I congratulate you. I had other shit going, used to walk out of school. I don't hang around niggas that got something to prove. I be with dealers and niggas that shoot. Broke niggas hating, they start to recruit. Don't just bring up the money, you gotta show proof. I like green, pink, and blue. I like white bitches too. I like doing the shit that these little niggas can't do. It's like more than a ticket you add on my crew. I saw dope in the dark, this ain't come out the blue. When these niggas fall out, they want colors be true. That, that rap, they have to fix them with that nigga. I ain't never had a problem game. Can't believe he's talking to fight, bruh. I be getting so damn high that I can't even keep my focus Every second, minute, hour of the day, I think by motion I'm the tight nigga, close the door on the bitch and she too open You can't come around my gang, you ain't got no fucking motion Motion, 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 you ain't got no fucking motion Motion, 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 you ain't got no fucking motion Motion, 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 you ain't got no fucking motion Motion, 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 you ain't got no fucking motion You can't come around, boy, your bitch in my DM right now trying to go pound town I'm gonna take that hoe to the blue store, you took her out of town I'm on with it right now, Buku Merchant Killers, answer around We roll up, it be out the pound, we going up, but let you play, it's going down Ever since day one, we threw this shit up, we ain't fuck around Only thing changed, we took our recent teeth and bust it down Niggas, bitches, bust them down It's 2023, niggas still broke as hell, how? Off that cost of shit, he seen me be and be like every weekend Don't pull up, let's you with three friends, no food, her dick, what you eating? She walk out, look like a penguin, think we locked in, bitch, I'm cheating You my type of bitch, you can't can't take me shopping at news. I be getting so damn high that I can't even keep my focus. Every second, minute, hour of the day, I think by motion. I'm the tight nigga, close the door on the bitch if she too open. You can't come around my gang, you ain't got no fucking motion. Motion, 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 motion. You ain't got no fucking motion. Motion, 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 motion. You ain't got no fucking motion. Motion, 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 motion. You ain't got no fucking motion. Motion, 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 motion. You ain't got no fucking motion. I don't run from no weight bullies, nigga. It's right. You know what I'm saying? So now, what's up with that smoke, nigga? You said you're, you're, so you don't care about weight bullies, right? I'm, I'm going to jump straight no, off in your ass, nigga. Hell, so what's man, up with that morale smoke, nigga? What's up with that Haney morale, nigga? Since you don't worry, since you're, yeah, nigga, don't worry about the rehydration, nigga. What's up with that smoke? I'm fighting one, one, oh, three, so what, nigga? You just said you don't care about weight, nigga. Wait, you wait, just wait, said it. Is it a morale at 140? I don't know. Don't worry about that, nigga. Hey, did Haney, did Haney, wait, <laughs> Haney came in the ring at 165, right? And he came in the ring 165, right? If you if you came hey, 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 hey. came and he came in the ring 165, right? I don't want to hear all that cap ass shit, nigga. And he came in the ring 165, right? I'll listen after this. I'll listen after this. Are we in agreement? Haney came in 165 with Regis, yeah, right? Yeah, beautiful thing. All yeah. right, hey, hey, all right. So look, all right, so now, now what you gotta ask me, pimp? What's up? This. You know I'm from What's Kentucky, up? right? You know I'm from I don't Kentucky. care about none of that. The Kentucky Derby, right? Where they yeah, race the horses. I don't care about none of that. I yeah, got yeah, a yeah. unicorn going in the in the in the Derby this year that you can bet on, bro. I ain't about worried about none of that. Angels. I ain't if worried I about none of that. Nigga, hey, look, one sixty five is one sixty five, nigga. Yeah. You can make the way tonight, nigga. That nigga Haney can make 168. Morale I don't want to hear that cap ass. Bro. That's right. That nigga weigh 165. It's three pounds. I don't want to hear that cap ass shit. You talking about you won't take to move up five pounds and make 140, right? Hey, nigga, you won't you won't you won't take a, Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga, hey, nigga you won't take to move up. You won't take to move up five pounds, right? Right? I can't argue against that, bro. Nah, okay, that's see, look. I'm gonna knock you another nigga out, bro. Four, four yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah, see, look, look. These niggas don't want to face the facts when I get in their face, nigga. Nah, nigga. Y'all niggas don't want to face the facts when I get in their face, nigga. When I get in your face with the real facts, y'all niggas don't want to stand on your square. Okay? So since you don't give a fuck about weight, like you just said when you came on the panel, what's up crazy. with that morale smoke, nigga? You just said, see, look. 
Y'all niggas be double tapping backwards, nigga. What's up, nigga? You was all talking hey, loud all week, nigga. Talk hey, loud with me, nigga. Get on and show me your muscles and all that shit, nigga. See if you intimidate me, nigga, because I ain't going nowhere. Let me let me ask you this. Do you think that Benavidez uh, should fight Tyson Fury? I think Benavidez should fight whoever the fuck he want to. You think he came nah. in? Hey, now, now, now. You, what's you up, Benavidez now? Why, hey, look, why, 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 why we moving? Why we moving? Go, folks. We talking about Haney, right? What's up with it? You can hear me? I can't hear you, big bro. They all screaming and shit. What you what, say? Can you hear me though? I can hear you now. What's up with it, Richie? What's going on, dog? What's happening? What's good, big bro? What's good, big bro? What's going I'm on? Chilling with man. I'm chilling, bro. Just um, want to talk about Tank and Frank and shit. And, and we got some boxing on tonight. We got some fights coming on, bro. I'm prepared for that shit. What's 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 what? What's your match? You looking forward to seeing? Um, tonight they got this fighter at 140. Um, his name is Tito McCardo Jr. He a good fighter, bro. Like people sleeping on this guy, bro. He got 13 wins, 12 knockouts, undefeated, bro. And he fighting on the same platform that um Mia Killer B Ellis and um Jalil Hackett yeah, just sis. on. Yeah, you talking about sis. You talking about you talking about you talking Uncle Kenny's daughter, sis. Yeah, 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 she just had a fight on it, it was in Houston. She lost that fight. It was a close fight, but you know what I'm saying? Um, it was on the same platform. That's that's where this dude is fighting at. He fighting on the same promotion as Mia Killer B. Ellis just was on. The same time. I got a question. Who you, who you who you who you got who you got for Richard Hitcherson this weekend? Is he fighting this weekend, right? This Saturday? Yeah, he fights tomorrow. He fights tomorrow. Um man, that's oh man, that's gonna be a tough fight. He ain't taking him serious. That nigga ain't taking him serious at all. Yeah, that guy, he undefeated, <laughs> but I know that guy coming up from like the lightweight division from 135, and he real small though. He like five five. That nigga small. He fighting. So I think Richardson should win that fight because Richardson is much bigger than this guy. Like this dude is damn near smaller than Tank. The dude he fighting. You know what I mean? So, uh, but he undefeated, like you said. That motherfucker might shock. He might shock us. And got he, more he, knockouts. And got more knockouts. Yeah. Got more knockouts. Hitchison yeah. only got seven yeah. knockouts out of seventeen fights. Now I got one thing to say, Rollo. Why the fuck? Why the fuck you show that 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 dirty ass couch yesterday? <laughs> what the Rollo fuck going just on? Off. He dropped off, man. He dropped off. Yo, what oh, up, Joe? Oh, what up, Kentrell? Oh, Salute to y'all, man. What's going on with it? He knows what he Oh, I'm gonna get it hey, bro. I'm gonna get yeah, I think he'll be on later. He'll be on in a little bit. You know what I mean? Hey, big bro. Hey, big bro. What happened to my wrench, though? Somebody, somebody took my wrench. No, nah, I gave it back. I had took all the riches. I gave it back to you. I took okay, everybody okay, okay. rich, I'm not like, just I'm you. Like, I, I, I had removed everything, so I got to give it back to everybody. You know what I mean? I got you, too bro. many How people doing, have riches. Man? Too many people have nah, riches. Man. I had to take it away, and I had to give it to my loyal peoples. You know what I mean? Niggas be misusing that shit. Niggas be misusing that shit. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, but I am excited to watch this fight. Too, huh? No, I'm shouting out to the platform, too. I'm shouting yeah, out to the people. Yeah, that shout out to you, it. too, man. You know what I mean? What up, Kentrell? What up, Juju? What's happening? Salute, salute, H. What's happening, bro? I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this fighter, man. His name is Tito McCardo Jr., bro. Dude is a beast. He fight at 140, undefeated. Like he was a free agent, he was a free agent, but now he just found a home with Red Owl Boxing. They put in that money behind him. This dude was sleeping, people were sleeping on him. He was under the radar, and now he finally got you know some support, you know what I mean, and a promoter. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this guy. I think he's gonna be a problem for a lot of people at 140, bro. Remember that name, Tito McCardo, bro. He a beast for real. I ain't gonna lie. I think he fights tonight, bro. We gonna see. You gonna see tonight, bro. I'm streaming that bitch free too. You know, I got the hookup on all the free shit. <laughs> hey, that nigga, he knocked out Jeremiah Nakatilia, the same one that Shakur fought against. He knocked dude out mm. like in fucking nigga, he knocked him out in two rounds. And and Sugar Ray Mortala knocked the same guy out. He knocked him out too, you know what I mean? So he a good fighter, mm -hmm. bro. I know talent when I see it, bro. This dude is a beast. Now, now all he need is an how opportunity. Is he like, how old is he like? 20, how old is he like? 24, 25? Yeah, like that. 24, yeah. I think. 23, yeah. 24. He a young yeah. fighter. Yeah. And now he 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 fighting on, on a big platform. 
He's on he fighting on the zone, red owl boxing. They just had Jalil Hackett and Mia Killer B. Ellis fight on there, and now they giving him an opportunity. Great opportunity, bro. Jalil Hackett took advantage of that opportunity when they put him on there. Hey, Jalil you know Hackett, I mean? that nigga, bro. Ain't nobody fucking with Jalil, bro. At one forty, Devin ain't even gonna want that smoke with Jalil, bro. Nigga, Jalil, Jalil, Jalil called out really Devin Haney on the platform. Jaleel, Jaleel checked Devin Haney and his pops. He like, hey, yo, he said, hey, yo, Bill, like, I'm ready for the smoke. Like, if y'all motherfuckers can't find no opponent, shit, nigga, pick me. Bill like, yeah, we, we, uh, I'm going to most definitely keep you on my radar, son. Man, them niggas ain't going to, man, them niggas ain't fucking with Jaleel, bro. Yeah, hey, Jaleel, dog, I know bro, Jaleel bro. Hackett been calling for that smoke with Devin Haney for a minute because <clears throat> for a minute. the first time he said something about, you know, fighting Devin or, or spar, spar with Devin is when Devin came at Gary Russell and Devin. He didn't say something about like the DMV area. He was like, "Oh, I run the DMV. The DMV niggas scared Gary and Russell, all of the that." One that went, the one at one thirty or the one at one forty? Which Gary Russell? The That's little one, one or, yeah. uh, or the George. little one, the little, okay, okay, okay. the little one, the youngest boy. Yeah, yeah the oldest one. No, the oldest one. Who's the little one? You dig what I'm saying? The uh, Gary Russell, Mister Gary Russell, the oldest brother, but he the smallest yeah, brother. He the, the littlest one. <laughs> with the bird. <laughs> yeah, he the little big brother. That always be talking shit on tank and shit, rapping his motherfucking gums. He just try to get his name out there, his clout chasing, trying to, you know, trying to have people talk about him and shit like that. I know I how it is. I know how it is. When you lose your spot in the game, you lose your spot in that game, you know what you I'm washed up you do? like this. You, you washed up like dish rags in the sink, and, and ain't nobody really focused on that nigga no more from the DMV. So yeah, he trying to he trying to talk his little shit to get his name up there, but exactly. you know, That's real niggas gonna ignore it. Because everybody was forgetting yeah. about Gary. And, and, and then as soon as Tank, and, and let's Nigga, say if Tank do fight, let's say, Gary bro, Russell. let's say a big bro do fight Gary Russell. Everybody ain't going to do nothing but say, oh, man, he was a fluke. He was a wash. That nigga was washed up. But but let Devin Haney fight Gary Russell. Man, De Devin's chasing greatness, man. He chasing greatness. <laughs> that boy hey, good. Man. That boy chasing Remember greatness. Devin was, you know how Devin, was do, Devin was trying to fight Gary Russell happened. at one point. And Gary Russell way smarter than him. You know what I mean? No, fact. The nigga fight at 130. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, Gary was. You know, that was talk, Gary he talking. Talk, he talk. Go ahead. Hey, when we talk about when we talk about who fought who and 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 who, you know what I'm saying, had the toughest uh opponents throughout all of their matches, throughout their career as they get older, who you think gonna have the most upsets? Downfall since they got these thirty-one and zero victories. You know, Devin Haney thirty-one we and zero. How we talking about the main fighters, or we talking about fighters that we don't know? Gonna gonna I think a lot of them gonna be undefeated. It's just yeah, I think a lot of them gonna be undefeated. I think a lot of them gonna be undefeated. It just depends on who they fight. You know, the type of fights they take. You know, Devin said that he's gonna fight Matias Tiafimo, and um, he also wanna fight Mario Bars, uh, a person that Tank already fought already. So, you know, if he doesn't chase after those guys, then who the fuck is he going to fight at 140? Because the 140 division is stacked with a lot of champions, a lot of tough guys in that weight division. So if Devin doesn't fight any of these top guys at 140, then I mean, that's yeah, the answer for that. Tough um, if, too. I give him his props. I give him his props. He you know, if – you. You know, if Shakur Stevenson, you know, to answer your second question, if Shakur Stevenson doesn't fight, you know, Rayo, um, 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 get a rematch against Dallas, you know, Dallas Santos, um, you know, uh, Pitbull Cruz, um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these tough guys that we know that can really bang for real, got that speed, and they know how to walk you down. Um, if he doesn't fight those type of guys, you know, then it's going to be the same shit, you know, that they trying to say for Tank. Now, Tank, in a way, I mean, Tank, dude, Tank been fighting undefeated champions, bro, since he first started. I just think that there's a lot of niggas in different age groups that's probably still in high school right now. You feel me, big bro, H Money? Yeah. And, and most of these niggas are still young cats. So they look at it. These niggas just started watching boxing like three years ago. I was watching Tank since I was 17 years old. You get what I'm saying, nigga? I remember when Adrian Broner first suffered his first loss to Marcus Madonna. I understood how that pain felt when he took that L. My homeboys laughed at Adrian Broner, walked out the motherfucking, you know, left out my house. Ah, oh, that nigga, that nigga lame. He's a goofy. You know what I'm saying? At 17, 16 years old. So, but you got these new dudes that stepping in as these so-called casuals. 
I call them casuals. You know, they Tank ain't never fought nobody. Well, have you been, you know, was you watching Tank fights when he first came out? No, I didn't go see those fights. I'm talking about the fights now. Well, you can't speak on now. But even if you do speak on now, he's still fighting top competition. But um, it's just not the people that they want Tank to fight. You know what I'm saying? Most of these usually want to see Tank with a swollen eye, some blood linking from his nose, just for them to say, yeah, that was a tough fight. You know what I'm saying? But but big bro hopping in this ring, knocking these niggas out, taking top competition. He finna fight Frank Martin, an undefeated fighter. Very slick. I believe Frank Martin got a lot of good hands, a lot of good work. The nigga moves like the Matrix to me. But, you know, to a casual, they'd say, man, Frank Martin ain't nobody. But when Shakur was finna fight Frank Martin, that was gonna be a top 10 fight. You know what I'm saying? So niggas just take that credit away, bro, when it's they nigga, when they don't fuck with another nigga. When it come to Devin Haney, bro, I, nigga, I respect Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with him. I just don't fuck with the. I just don't fuck with the disrespect. I don't fuck with his pops. No, yeah, we can give me his respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I hope, but hope I answered your question on that. Like it's just you. You will never be pleased, bro. But if you're a real boxing supporter and not a casual, just a fan, like a hype man, then you you will sit back and you will be like, you know what, dude, the truth. Devin Haney is the truth. You know what I'm saying, dude, undisputed, bro. I'm gonna have to give it to him on that. Like I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh man, he ain't shit. Ah, uh, bro, then I'll just be considered as hating. And I'm trying to do a, you know what I'm saying, a hot dick from dick type shit. No homo. You know what I'm saying? But these niggas, man, they just, they see what they like, bro. And they just go for it. But to answer your question, bro, if these dudes don't fight the top competition like that, and they trying to go around, a, you know, like like Shakur said, he just want to fight Ron Garcia. He said, if you lose or if you win, I still want to fight you. It's like damn. See any any nigga that came we know any nigga that had any type of training with Floyd Mayweather, you know what I'm saying? Any type of relationship, you know what I'm saying? Any youngs that he's seen, especially black, you know what I'm saying, that he can, you know what I'm saying, mentor or anything like that, yeah. it got them a lot to the point, you know what I'm saying, where it was like they, you know what I'm saying, he is they daddy, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying, when he got him a lot, you know what I'm saying, they learning from him and everything like that. All of that, you know what I'm saying, get them to the point where they just think they the baddest, you know what I'm saying, thing walking, you know what I'm saying. And some of them take humbleness, humble and walk with it, you know what I'm saying. Some of them... I agree. You cut out, bro. I can't hear you. you know what I'm saying? They still got mutual respect, him and Floyd Mayweather, you know what I'm saying. All of them came really, you know what I'm saying, under Floyd. All these fighters that didn't come up under Floyd, like Frank Martin, uh, uh, Terrence Crawford, Boots. You know what I'm yeah, saying? These the five, yeah. these are the guys we got, you know what I'm saying, we want to see, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully these, you know what I'm saying, guys put on the show. But we always know Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, they going to be, you know what I'm saying, stiff in that ring. You know what I'm saying? They was all under, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Floyd Mayweather. Adrian Boner, too, he was all under Floyd Mayweather. So at the same time, you know what I'm saying, they got us look at it at that point. Now, now when it comes to Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, man, it's going to be a tough match, and I really want the, both of them, you know what I'm saying, to go they raw with it, you know what I'm saying, surprises, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But it's a, lot of, it's a lot of fights out there, man. It's a lot of people out there with a lot of ability, money, different, you know what I'm saying, size. You got the West Coast doing things. You got the East Coast doing things. You got the South putting on, you know what I'm saying. So it's so many people, you know what I'm saying, in the game right now. In the business. Yeah, and not just in America, hey, nigga, you know, worldwide. We, we going to get this shit right, Nigga, though, you got motherfuckers you know, all across the world putting on. You know, especially yeah, with this boxing yeah. shit, nigga. You, you know what I mean? You got motherfuckers from overseas Lord, doing their thing, bro. fucking shit up. Yo. You know what I mean? This shit is uh, global. This shit is worldwide, bro. International, bro. You dig what I mean? It's you so got that motherfucker in a way out here, fucking people up. In a way, beating yeah. the shit out of these fighters, bro. I would love to see Tank versus In a way. That's the fight I want to see, bro. bro. Big big bro already said he ain't gonna fight him, man. You know, he he kinda went off on um um uh, who? Uh, I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna get into all of that, but but Tank Tank kinda went off on um On who? Know, on what? For what? I, I ain't gonna I I, I, I ain't gonna say I I'll talk well, about I heard that. Tank I said that he liked that fight with in a way. Nah, 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 that that was hell as ago, but he, he basically went off and shit and he was like, I don't wanna fight him, like that dude, that dude too small, like he, that motherfucker had, you know what I'm saying? He he's a smaller guy at a smaller way. Like he kind of got tired of, you know, yeah, the fam kind of bringing, kind of bringing it. You know what? Kind of got tired of the fam. In, in the way coming up in weight, Richie. He um his promoter Bob Aram said he plans on being a non-division world champion. He's talking about going up Man, to one forty. 
but do you agree or disagree? He has to fight in the USA, bro. He got it. Yeah, come to of course, bro. But yeah, I, yeah. I want to see Tank fight that nigga because Floyd Mayweather said that. He said he want he want in a way to fight Tank Davis, and he got to come to America. Yup, yup, yup. Ain't nobody you know gonna keep coming Tank? out there. Hank Davis yeah. and Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn and Oscar De La Hoya gonna have to find some type of way that they can work that out so they can start, you know what I'm saying, working some business. That's the only way the fans gonna Bruh, see we got to move. Tank, Tank said he liked that fight. Anchor, he said Tank said he liked Tank that fight. He said, Tank said I might be too big, but Tank is not too big for that nigga because uh, Tank fought, fought at 130 before. Tank can still make 130. Coach Kenny just said it. He just said Tank can still make 130. So in a way, he's going to be fighting at 130, bro. He gonna be fighting in that weight division. So if Tank, Tank was a champion at 130, and he could still make 130. How is he too big? And they the same height, they the same reach. Tank is not bigger than him. Tank, Tank in in a way is the same size, and they both can fight at 130. Floyd Mayweather said they could fight at a catch weight. They could fight at a catch weight. It's a great fight, bro. That's the biggest fight for Tank. That is the biggest fight for him. I'm telling you, bro, that, that fight going to be bigger than Mayweather and Pacquiao, bro. That's the biggest fight in boxing. Tank versus Inouye, bro. I want to see that shit bad, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. Y'all can hear me? Hey, yo, y'all can hear yeah. me? Yeah, yeah, you clear. All right, bet. I want to see that motherfucking fight, bro. Because that shit is really like an even fight for real. They the same size. Tank is not bigger than that man. Tank is just better than him. Tank is fighting guys, nigga, like a Ryan Garcia who was way bigger than him. Motherfucking Barrios is way bigger than Tank, nigga. Frank Martin, he bigger than Tank, bro. You dig what I'm saying? He fighting everybody that's bigger than him. Uh, my boy Timbo, what up, Tim? He said Tank versus Inouye for sure gonna happen. I don't think in a way he might duck Tank. I think in a way going to duck Tank Davis. I don't think he want that smoke. Jerome Tank is great. Point point blank, point blank. Period, bro. Yeah, you lost connection. Try to. Yeah, I guess you in a bad area. Try to come back in. I see you backstage still. But that, that's definitely a great fight, though. You know what I mean? Javante Tank Davis and in, in, in a way. Tank versus the monster. Monster versus Tank. The monster versus Tank Davis, bro. Great fucking fight on God. I want to see that shit for real. There's a lot of fights I want to see, bro. I want to see a lot of fights. That That's, you know, that's one of the fights I want to see. The, there's plenty of other fights I want to watch, bro. You know what I mean? But that's one of the fights I want to see the most. Tank versus Inouye. I want to see Crawford versus Boots. Bud and Boots. That's another fight I want to see. Terrence Crawford fights Jerron Boots in this. David Morrell versus David Benavidez. I want to see that fight too. David Morrell and David Benavidez, bro. That's a great fight, bro. That's a great fight, bro. I want to see that shit. Andy Cruz versus Keyshawn Davis. I want to see that shit too, man. Straight up, bro. You hear me? I want to see Shakur versus Tank. Shakur and Tank. I know, man. That's a great fight, bro. I can't lie, but, you know, in, in that fight for me, I, I, I did want to see that fight. Like, I want Shakur to get his opportunity, but I, I heard some, Shakur say something that, that, made change, that made me change my mind. And it wasn't like he said something that he was ducking. Matter of fact, Shakur just did an interview. He said he want to fight Tank Davis, and he said he going to beat Tank Davis. That's what he said. But Shakur, he just had a back and forth, Kentrell, with, with Devin Haney. And they was talking shit to each other. But he said something in that, bro, in that conversation, right? And you know I'm I'm Muslim, bro. You know what I mean? I believe in Allah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you like this. Shakur said, he told Devin Haney, he said, my Muslim brother. 
He said, Devin Haney, my Muslim brother. So Shakur basically said he Muslim too. I don't want to see two Muslims fight each other, bro. You know, that's against the religion, bro. You know what I mean? And on top of that, Tank is Muslim. And so is Shakur. So I don't want to see that fight, bro. Because I don't want to see two Muslims fight each other, bro. I'm sorry, bro. When, when Shakur said my Muslim brother to Devin, I'm like, if y'all Muslim brothers, why is y'all trying to fight each other? That don't even sound right. You know what I mean? So I, I would like to see Shakur fight more Tyler. I would like to see, see Shakur fight Zabeda, Lomachenko, you know what I'm saying? And them guys. You know, Andy Cruz. I want to see Shakur versus Andy. But as far as two Muslim brothers fighting, I'm not really pushing it. Like, I'm not really into that, bro. You know what I mean? I, I don't know, bro. That's just me. I know you want to see it. You don't give a fuck about that. So go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 I ain't, I ain't gonna do that. I'm not gonna be disrespectful to religion. No, I ain't gonna do that. But um, I mean, you you're entitled to your own opinion. Um, I want to see the best fight, the best, and I feel I feel like those two the best. Um, another fight I do want to see that I've been talking about all day is Pitbull versus Tio, and I just can't figure it out. I just cannot figure it out. A lot of people will say, "Why you want to see that fight?" Um, I feel like it's a good boxing match. When they come down to it, it's going to be a good boxing match. I don't even know if they can make that fight happen with them guys being on the separate sides of the streets, as they like to say, but being two champions in the same weight division. And the, their boxing styles, to me, makes for a great event. And I kind of want to see that fight soon. I kind of I know T.O. just booked the fight, I think, in July, if I'm not mistaken. But if I can get that fight before the end of the year, and both can unify, I would love to see that fight with Pitbull and T.O., man. Um, I can't tell you a winner right now because I'm still figuring it out. But I know I know both of them guys going to come to fight that night. I got a feeling. And I think T.O., in his mind, will be overconfident, feeling like he going to walk through him, and Pitbull going to wake him up early. There's a chance he can stop him early. Or T.O. will come out there focused. And really put the pause on Pitbull, man. So that's that's one of my top fights I want to see before the end of December of 2024. Hey, bro. So, what'd you say? Say it one more time. No, nah, I was just going to. Oh, did you hear me? No, nah, I say uh, the fight I want to see was Pitbull and T.O. I would like to see Tank Davis and Pitbull rematch. I want to see Tank Davis and Pitbull Bull do that rematch, bro. I really you know don't I mean? think he can fuck with Tank, bro. That's just my opinion, though. Again, that's my opinion. I don't think he can fuck with Tank. Gave Tank Davis his uh, toughest fight. Some boxing fans said that Tank Davis, he, he fought scared against Pitbull, and he was running. He I'll was on that bicycle. He, was, he ran from Pitbull. Like people say Shakur ran from De La Santos, but some people said Tank ran away from, from Isaac Cruz. You know what he I mean? Tank, bro. That's huh? just my, my honest opinion. H, he can't fuck with Tank. Honestly. Well, he, he was putting pressure on Tank in that first fight. He was on Tank ass in that first fight, bro. He was putting that pressure on Tank Davis. That was yeah. Tank Davis' toughest fight. Tank Davis could have knocked out Isaac Cruz. And according to the Isaac, Isaac Cruz fans, they said that Tank Davis was scared in that fight. And he's scared to give Pitbull that rematch. And he ducking that rematch. That's what the Pitbull fans said. What's your thoughts on that, family? Um, I talk shit. Tank ain't ducking the soul. Uh, especially not Pitbull Cruz. When you have the blueprint to beat a fighter, you're not ducking him and you ain't scared to beat him. He has the blueprint to beat Pitbull Cruz. Any fighter that fights like Pitbull Cruz. And I'm going to tell you why. Because all he has to do is box. And there's no way in hell Pitbull is going to outbox Tank Davis. You can't catch something that don't want to be caught. A nigga got to engage in order to get hit. If he go to fight like Tank in that fight. Yes, he is. I walking him down. I seen Tank on that, on that back foot, moving around, trying to stay away from Isaac Cruz. Why Tank could have knocked him out? Um, so I'm not going to use the excuse because it's not an excuse. I'm just state the facts. 
his hand was hurt for one for two at the same time this sport is called boxing and i try to remind y'all that of every chance i get i don't care how you win the fight get the job done every win is not gonna be pretty so i don't even entertain all of that oh he didn't he didn't be exciting he didn't wasn't in i you know me i I'm telling you straight up, I'm for here for boxing. I want to see you well, box anyway. Shakur, and that's it. You see, I keep the same energy with Shakur too. I'm not looking for Shakur to knock nobody out. You go out there and you win the fight. I don't care how pretty this is boxing. You well, get hit up the head. for doing the same thing that Tank did in, in his fight with Isaac Pitbull Cruz. And they criticized Floyd Mayweather as well. And they criticized Pernell Whitaker as well. I heard him say something about Sugar Ray Leonard. These people out here in the world are just gonna be themselves. They gonna be them. You can't change some of these people, bro. The same thing I'm hearing about these fighters, you know. So I'm I'm not real big on a knockout as long as you get the victory. And I know Tank got the blueprint to beat Isaac Pitbull Cruz. A lot of people want to see the knockout for entertainment and excitement. I'm here for boxing. If you got to be technical, that's just that just shows you sharpening up your iron whenever you need to use it again. And I guarantee you. Just like I told you, there was no way Regis was stopping Devin. No way Arrow is stopping Terrence. I'm telling you, Pitbull ain't stopping no Tank. It'll be a nigga like Shakur or Devin Haney to stop somebody like Tank Davis. Pitbull Cruz don't have the footwork to stop Tank. You think Shakur can – you got Shakur over Tank Davis? And Devin. Who you got, Devin or Tank Davis? Devin. I got Devin and, and Shakur over Devin, Tank. All the Tank last? Damn, I, I got he, the he the boxing though. He got the best offense. He got the most power. GTD, nigga. He's an exciting fighter. He's an he's an exciting I got fighter. Davis number one, nigga. He got the best offense, nigga. He got the best power, nigga. Javante Tank Davis, nigga. He the face of boxing, nigga. And here's do that don't want to be hit. You nigga, can't hit some that don't want to be hit. He got more offense than nigga. You can't hit some that don't want to be hit. He got more power than Devin Haney. You seen the video when he beat up Devin Haney, nigga? You got yeah, Tank stop. fucked up, nigga. Tank number stop. one, nigga. Stop it. Tank nigga, ain't shit. Tank the best. He ain't over them two. I'm telling you, he is, in my opinion. He the best. He number my, one. My opinion, Devin and Shakira smoke him. Shakur can't fuck with Tank. Yes, Tank he can. Better. Once again, he got better offense. Mm -mm. He do got better offense than Shakur. He ain't, he ain't got better defense, and he ain't got a better IQ. I ain't stunned his offense. offense. Fights. If you can't, I, I, if, I'm taking offense over defense. If you can't hit him, if you can't hit him, what you gonna do? Oh, he gonna if you hit can't him. hit him, and you get hit. hit him. He, he said he already nah, cracked he him. Hit. He said he, he cracked him, him before. He and Shakur. Tank said he cracked Shakur. He said he cracked your fighter. Hey, another fight I want to see too, man. <laughs> hey, another fight I want to see, man. I'm gonna start calling for it too, man. For Go real. Ahead, hey, Go ahead, I dog. want Gary. I want Gary and Devin in that motherfucker ring, bro. I gotta see Gary, Antoine Russell, and Devin Haney in that ring at some point, man. They that's a hell of a fight. Yeah, <clears throat> Gary, that's a good fight, bro. You know, honestly, when I break shit down. The way I've been doing it, I told you how, how I've been looking at boxing now. Mm -hmm. um, I told you, I'm looking for the offensive fighters. I told you, offense wins fights. Offense Absolutely. wins championships. I'm telling you this. You win a fight by punches landed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you, who hits who the most? Who, who, who hits who the hardest, right? And I'm what I'm going to say is this. I think Gary Antoine Russell, honestly, is the best fighter at 140. Thank he you. He is the best fighter. Thank you. He has the best offense. Yeah. Thank you. So I, don't, I think niggas going to try to stay away from that nigga. Thank One thing about him, he has the pedigree. He comes from a family of fighters, just That's like Boots. That's what I'm saying. That's yes. what I'm saying. And Definitely. yeah, I want to see Gary Antoine Russell in boots though. I want to see that fight because I got boots number one at 147. I got Gary Antoine Russell number one at 140. And and they got a history with each other in the amateurs. Uh, boots beat beat Gary Antoine Russell one time. 
Gary Antoine Russell beat he beat Boots three times. And I want to see that fight, bro. I think that's going to be a great fight. I need that fight. I need that, bro. They got a rivalry. They need to fight each other, bro. You hear me? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with it, bro. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm fucking with it. I'm, I'm fucking with both of them. Uh, you know I mean? Gary A and, and Devin fight. and Gary A and Boots. I, I got I Boots both. in that fight. But Russell feel like he got Gary Antoine's uh, number. No, uh, Russell feel like he got Boots number. He said he beat, beat Boots three times. His big brother, Gary Russell, said that they got the, the antidote. They got the kryptonite. They got the antidote to beat them. They got the recipe to, to beat Boots. So we, I want to see it, bro. I got Boots in that fight, bro. But they be talking that shit. They said they know how to beat Boots. That's what they said. They both my fighters. They ain't got no win. They're just a good. The fans win, man. I want to see both that shit, bro. I, I got see Boots, so. Hey, man. Hey, listen. So. I went back and watched that Laura fight as well. What you think he finna do, bro? You think he finna be champion long when they when they gonna put somebody really in his face Ooh. for that WBA belt? Laura, man, he, man, they been putting people in his face. He been fighting killers his whole career. I know Paul Williams, Canelo. I know, I know, I know. But that's what I'm saying. He getting older now. Brian Castaños, you know what I'm saying. And he getting older now, though, bro. He getting older now, bro. He can fight anybody. He proved that. Is that who? Who's gonna fight him? Facts. People have been ducking him for the longest, forever. And he's still sharp as shit, bro. Getting more power too. Sitting down on his punches more. He more aggressive now. This shit getting crazy, man. This shit getting crazy, man. Hey, real bro. He it looked like he learned from everything that he didn't been through out his career too. He he man, he ready. I don't know who they gonna put out there. He's been a great fighter, bro. He should have beat Canelo, bro. They really robbed him in that fight, bro. I thought he won that damn fight with Canelo, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They robbed yep. him, bro. He would have been fucking pound for pound. And then when you when you talk when you talk about offense. When you talk about offense, who gave who gave the most offense off in that fight? You know what I'm saying? That like he I can see more that. punches than Canelo. That's what I'm saying. Like I see, bro, you win a that's, fight with punches landed. He landed more shots, and he had better offense. That's why I'm saying. I, that's why I mean it's crazy, bro. You know that shit crazy. You damn right, bro. You that mean, shit was like, all fan pit for Canelo. Canelo is because the name that he got. Canelo Alvarez, he's the face of boxing. He got all these damn fans. You know what I'm saying? So that's why. It's because who Canelo is, bro. They give it to him. You know what I mean? It's been like that in boxing forever. Shit, we got some good fights coming up, though, man. Hey, you red. Shit off? Is on your disown? About to turn it on now. That red, red owl boxing, Tito McCardo Jr. That motherfucker a dog, bro. He finna do his thing, bro. So you got Mercado washing him, or you think he's gonna yeah, be a competitive fight? Yeah. Mercado, he a beast. He just called out Devin Haney today too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I said, he fight at one hundred and forty pounds. He's a big time puncher. Undefeated, he a young a young fighter. People been sleeping on him. You know what I mean? I felt like top rank, the zone in them guys, they should have been signed them. The big time promoters, you guys was sleeping on this dude, bro. Now he just got a deal with Red Owl Boxing. They streaming his fights. He knocked out that dude, Jeremiah Nakatilia, that Shakur fought against. The dude that Mortala fought against, knocked out. He knocked him out in two rounds, just like Mortala did. He knocked him out worse than fucking more Tyler did, actually. And I, I know Richardson Hitchens gonna fight tomorrow. I'm not really sold on Richardson Hitchens, bro. I think he, you know what I mean? He talks a good game. He talks a good game. That's what he's supposed to do, but I don't know, bro. I feel like he don't have no power. He ain't got no power. I feel like I don't think he that nigga. And he sound real scared and shit of, of, of Matias, bro. That nigga sound scared, bro. 
he talking about he don't know if he gonna fight Matias because of the IBF rehydration and shit, making excuses, bro. The man is fighting for a to become he's fighting to become Matias mandatory, and he said he don't know he don't know if he gonna take the title shot. It depends on how we feel. That nigga looks scary than a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> scary said, nigga. Devin Haney called him out on that. Devin Haney said, "Bro, you you about to turn down a month? Uh, you about to turn down your first title shot because of a rehydration, bro? Like, man, the fuck out of here, bro. That nigga sounds scared of Matias, bro. You know Matias got a loss too, bro. I was having Matias number one at one forty, but since he took uh, took a loss and shit. He got beat up in that fight. I gotta go with Gary Antoine Russell as the number one guy at 140. He's undefeated. He got all knockouts. I think Russell could beat Matias, to be honest. I think Russell could beat him. I seen Matias lose a fight. I seen him get beat before. I got Russell all day in that fight. I got Russell beating everybody at 140, to be honest with you. That's just my opinion again. Like, I don't see nobody. He got a rough spirit about him, man. You got to be rugged when you fight Gary to beat Gary. And not just all the way rugged. You still got to be smart, too, by having your defense there so you don't get caught with nothing but still in his chest all night, just like he want to be in your chest all night. You got to mm -hmm. really beat Gary to the punch. And them niggas don't really got dog in them like that. Gary really got dog in him. He going to beat you to that. What I mean by that is he coming to get in your chest. You coming out there to box, using your jab, using your footwork. Gary coming to get directly in your chest. The good thing about Gary, he still has footwork, balance, IQ, and discipline when he in your chest, unlike a pit bull cruise who's flat-footed, who does not have any footwork, I should say. Uh, no type of hand speed, just power, and put punches together uh, Together, okay. A uh, person like Matias, slow footwork, no type of IQ, just hard punches that will sit your ass down. So that's the difference between Gary A and all them other fighters that get up in your face. That's the difference between Tank Davis and all those other fighters that get up in your face. Them guys, Tank Davis and Gary Antoine Russell, actually has boxing skill, actually has timing, actually has power in both hands and speed. You get what I'm saying? And when they put all that shit together, it's only a matter of time before you finna suffer because they already in your chest. And they already up under your chin. They just sitting there waiting on you to make the first mistake. And they're going to capitalize every time because they have the IQ. What them other rugged dog fighters don't have. They have the footwork. And when they put it together, it's magical. Every time. What's up with Russell? Like, well, I mean, what are you doing? What he he got to do take next? a fight. He got to take a fight. That's the only thing up with him. He got to go out there and take a fight. And now that part of the, the Russell, I really hate. I can't stand it because, again, it's not making the fights happen. It's not making the fights happen because we ain't seen you back in the ring. Let's go, bro. They just started the card right here. Red Owl Boxing. I don't talk about that nigga. Ooh, this Red I Owl. That card. bitch fighting, too. They just started the card right now. They just started it up, man. Hey, McCardo about to make some noise, bro. I guarantee a knockout, bro. I'm going with a, a knockout, bro. Uh, you know what I mean? This this guy a beast, bro. This dude a problem for real. 140 better watch out. He said he would knock out Keyshawn Davis, too. He he said he want that smoke with Keyshawn Davis. He called out Shakur, too. He fight at 140. He called out Devin Haney. He said he won't smoke with Shushu, too. He said he sparred he spar with Shushu. And he beat up Shushu. I don't know. Shushu can't or something serious. I don't know. I have to see that. Mm -hmm. He said he beat up Shushu. McCardo, something serious, bro. You, hey, you thought Sugar Ray was a problem. Wait until you see McCardo, dog. McCardo really, he, he that nigga, bro. The most underrated fighter right now, bro, in the sport, I think, bro. That people are sleeping on this guy. He just won the prospect of the year, my brother Kentrell. 
You know what I mean? He won somebody's prospect of the year. Sean Porter. Me and my boy Kentrell, we live with it. You know what I mean? Hit that like button. We talking about this. Uh, Frank Martin, Tank Davis, undefeated lightweight championship, bruh. We got Tito McCardo Jr., the best kept secret in boxing. 140-pound nightmare. He going after Devin Haney. He just called out Devin Haney today. My brother said he won't that smoke with Devin. They going to act like they didn't hear that, though. They going to act like they didn't hear this guy. Because let me tell you something about Tito McCardo Jr. Ernesto. Ernesto Tito McCardo Jr. American fighter. American fighter. Right? His family from Nicaragua. The same country as Ricardo Mayorga. The same country as, as uh, Chocolatito. You know what I'm saying? And also the same country as Alexis Aguero, the, the, the Hall of Famer. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button, bro. But he from America. And I think he got Mexican in him too. You know what I mean? But Cantrell, bro, this dude, he got over 300, 300 amateur fights. 300 amateur fights, right? He won 22 national championships. One of the most decorated amateur boxers, bro. You know what I mean? I believe he was an Olympian, too. He was an Olympian. You know what I mean? There we go, big Hebrew in the building. What up with it? Salute, what's happening? What's going on, y'all? We got some good fights, man. You got this young prospect, Ernesto Mercado, right? This dude, bro, they sleeping on him, man. Sleeping on him. Sleeping, who bro. Who he got? He fight at one. He's calling out everybody, but who he got? Burial. Um, he fighting against this guy tonight. His name, uh, uh Denier Barrio. Denier mm -hmm. Barrio, bro. I believe he might be Cuban. He might be like Cuban or, or Dominican. But let me tell you about Mercado, though. Yeah, he, he is calling for that smoke. He called out Keyshawn Davis. He said he would knock out Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn fight at 135, though, Hebrew. He fight at 140, but Keyshawn said he would <coughs> he, he, he wanted to come up to 140 to fight against uh Tiafimo Lopez. Remember? Keyshawn just was calling out Tio. Though. He said he wanted to come <laughs> yeah. up to 140 for Tio. Well, Ernesto Mercado, Tito called you out. That boy Tito called you out. He said he would knock you out. You know what I'm saying? Why not go? They go both on the same level too, him? right? Prospect like ten rounders and shit, right? Yeah, no, yeah, he going so ten rounds. They on the I don't same get level. So smoke, he shine with the Keyshawn, he gonna act like he don't know who that is. He gonna act like that dude is a nobody. You know what I mean? You know how they do. But but, but this dude right here though, bro, he got. He got over 300 amateur fights, bro. You know what I mean? Mm. 22 national championships. 22-time national champion. Highly decorated amateur, but nobody was giving him the opportunity. Nobody, bro. Top ranking them. They ain't signed him. Mayweather didn't sign him. Eddie Hearn, Golden Boy, everybody slept yeah. on him. Everybody. You know, he was, uh, he was going under the radar. He was under the radar, bro. But now, no PBC, nobody, no PBC, no Al Heyman, nobody, bro. But guess what? He finally got an opportunity. Th this new promotion came from Canada. They call it this shit Red Owl Boxing. Now they in America. They mm. they they out there in Houston. They putting on fights like they got their own arena too. This pr promotion, they got their own stadium, bro, in, in Houston. And they put on fights, bro. You know what I okay. mean? Put on their own fights, and they putting it on the zone. Red Owl Boxing, they putting their fights on the zone. You can watch it on the zone right now. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So hell yeah, I'm excited for it, dog. New shit, new shit, new shit, bro. They just had a uh, Jalil Hackett. Jalil Hackett was fighting on there like what a, about a month ago. 
He had a fight on here, bro. And uh, uh, Tank Davis, his his uh, trainer, uh, Kenny Ellis, his uh, daughter, she she had a fight on here too. M Mia Killer B. Ellis, she lost on here though. She took a loss. You know what I mean? Mm. But like this shit, she still, got, she still got the publicity. Yeah, she did. It was a close fight though. It was a good fight, but she took the loss though. She lost the fight, so they matching them up with with good opponents. Ain't nothing easy, you feel me? Like that's good. You know, that's that's some good. Good ass fights. You know what I mean? But I like ain't doing shit. that shit. Hey, hey, he, bro. I like this shit because, like, they they built their own stadium in in Houston, own arena, bro. And they yeah, they yeah. got the ring in there. It's set up just for boxing. You know what I mean? It's like a boxing facility, but they putting on fights in that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. I think two what times a month. Two, two, they putting on two fights every month and shit. Every month, it's new, bro. They came from Canada. Now they in Houston, and, and they signing fighters. And I think they did a great job signing this fighter, Tito Macardo Jr., bro. He got potential to be a champion, and that could take they pr promotion. This shit called Red Owl Boxing to the next level, bro. With a fighter like that, if this nigga could turn out to become a star. Like this nigga was slept on, and they signed this nigga. This nigga really that nigga? Oh, this red owl shit gonna be big just because of this nigga. Mm -hmm. They had Jalil Hackett on there. Jalil Hackett, a good fighter, bro. This shit gonna be the future. This shit right here called Red Owl Boxing, and also it's called a uh, Pro Box. You been watching Pro Box on YouTube? They be putting on free fights. Not, not as much. Day. I was watching it, but not as much. Yeah, that shit. Now, now, Pro that Box. Shit, that shit beefing up too, though. Yeah, it is, bro. You know, Pro Box. They putting all they fights on YouTube. You know, you don't need the Zone or, or ESPN or, or PBC to watch it, nigga. You could just watch this shit on YouTube. Uh, Pro Box, all of they fights live. You know what I'm saying? And they got like, they got great fucking. Uh, they got a great YouTube channel because they be doing like daily videos and. They got Paula Malinaji on that motherfucker, Sean Porter, uh, Chris Algeri, nigga Teddy Atlas, nigga T Tim Bradley, and they all come together and they do the podcast for the Pro Box and they doing a the commentary. I love that shit. And free fights yeah, on there's some, there's some names over there. Yeah, that shit big. And they putting free fights on YouTube. You know, Pro Box it's, is the future. Oh, they, trying to, they trying to smash the game with that. Yeah, I like that, bro. Putting for yeah. fights, putting fights on YouTube, on YouTube, bro, for free, bro. Anybody can oh, watch it. You name, everybody you name, they ask me, they like the Friday night fights. They was all on this shit. So everybody yeah, you right. name. Yeah, Pro Box, they put they fights on, I think, on Wednesday. So it'd be like Wednesday night fights live on YouTube for free. Pro Box. You know what I mean? It's fire. I love it. You know what I mean? And they got they something that else. In the middle of that, that weight on yeah. a motherfucking Saturday shit, huh? Say it again. I say they put something in the middle of that wait on wait to Saturday every fight. That's perfect, bro. During the week, perfect. man, that's perfect. That's what the NBA yeah. do. NBA is not like oh, only on Saturdays, like football, only Sunday, nigga. NBA niggas all th throughout the week, every day. You can watch basketball, you, nigga. I yeah. wish boxing was like that. Putting niggas putting on fights. You know what every I mean? You day. got so many fucking fighters. They ain't gotta wait until Saturday, nigga. Keep these niggas active. Put some fights nigga, on the they money. need to put boxing on like you come on. What the fuck, nigga? What you exactly, mean? Exactly, nigga. Right you, up, know, nigga. you got so many we can fighters. Get that, boy. If we could get that, nigga, it'll be less argument. Shit. Hey, what up, more Hustler? Salute. What's good? Born he Hustler, said Shakur, Shakur. Salute, Tadriel. What's up with y'all, man? Hey, born Hustler. You know, Shakur, he called out more Tyler. <laughs> hey, Hebrew, you see that shit? We was nah, getting on more about that what shit. Happened? That nigga Shakur called that nigga out. He, he pulled up on them niggas. Now he won't <laughs> that smoke with them because we got on his ass about that. That's what he's supposed to do. That show you Shakur is a real fighter, bro. You know what I mean? Yep. He heard the people saying, why you not fighting this nigga? You dug at this nigga like, what's up? And now he like, nigga, I want the smoke with this nigga. He was trying to bet 100000 he going to whoop this nigga ass. You mm. know what I mean? He want that smoke with him now. Mean business, bro. You got to mean business in this sport, man. man. If you're not doing sport, that, so you, 
Niggas ain't gonna hear me saying, oh, Shakur ain't fighting this nigga. Shakur ducking that nigga. Nah, Shakur said he want to fight. Shakur said yeah, he, he want that smoke. smoke. He ain't ducking nobody, bro. So, you know, shout shout outs to, to my boy Shakur, bro. What up, Kentrell? What's good, bro? No cap with no cap, bro. What's up? I had a phone call, my bad. What's good? I'm back. Yeah, I'm just okay, uh, chopping okay. it up with my big dog Hebrew, man, the OG, man. You know, I'm just breaking it down and um, letting him know, man, about these new uh, platforms in the sport of boxing. Like I, I said, sure ain't seen none of this shit, bro. Yep. This Red boxing Owl boxing tonight, bro. They got their number one draft pick, the most uh, underrated fighter in the sport of boxing, Tito Mercado Jr., bro. He had one forty, and he want that smoke with Devin Haney, bro. He called out Tiafimo, bro. He called out Gary Antoine Russell, bro. That nigga want that smoke. He dangerous. So watch out Damn for this man. Salute, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, I'll chop it up for a second, man. Let me get my drink, yeah, bro. Style. Salute, brother. Yeah, man. Shit, man. The new shit, man. Trying they know shit the the in the BSBT, bro. They know how we coming. He hey, bro. Hey, bro. We 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 trying to build, man. That's all we trying to do, bro. This shit get it. This shit, this shit right here is 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 underrated, bro. We try to keep this shit alive, man. For real, hey, what bro. What you think about that fight, though? Pitbull and T.O. Pitbull and T.O. Oh, shit, man. Unified uh, WBO, WBA, 140 champion. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I don't know. That's going to be from far worse, though. Mm -hmm. I like that fight. How I you really feel about like Gary fight. Antoine and Devin Haney? Gary Antoine, man, I got Gary in that fight, bro. Got you. I got Gary in that fight, man. He been waiting too long, man. He gonna punish somebody soon. That belt come to his face, bro. I'm telling you. He wanted to, bad. He gonna punish a motherfucker, bro. I don't give a fuck who it is. As long as they're in the weight class. Richardson Hitchens get to put his skills to the test tomorrow night. So, shit, I hope he show up and show up. Do what you got to do, man. Stay on top. You have one four zero as well, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah, got these dudes need to these dudes that just been sitting back, bro. Like some old ass hunters, man, with no some dusty ass bullets, bro. <laughs> You're ready shit, to get back. Nigga sitting in the woods, they got some motherfucking cap guns, bro. What kind of shit is this? <laughs> <laughs> she ain't killing shit. <laughs> Yeah, man. The hunt is on, though, man. New boxing shit's coming up, bro. New fighter, yeah, Cabell Belt. Belt. We need this motherfucking Cabell Belt to get going, bro. Niggas, pull out y'all motherfucking uh, 10W40, man. Let's get this motherfucker rolling. What's up? Boots got to get, no get him some smoke soon, though. I got to see Boots back in that thing, too. Bud need to give him the opportunity. Let's go. Yeah, on, man. Everybody fight, bro. Go ahead, K-Drill. I need to see Xander back in the ring, Virgil back in the ring. I need these guys fighting. These are young, young lions, as I call them. They're young, young lions. You need to train up man. 27, man. These guys got to get in the ring and fight, man. These Xander are big boxing, man. His defense, bro. He's he, he been slipping, bro. Who? Xander Zayas. That's what you talking about? Yeah, him and Virgil yeah, Ortiz. Man. And shit, I got to see them all get back in the ring. Man, I want Niggas to see them all fight, but he talking about fighting the Virgil Ortiz. Nah, not each other. Shit, just fighting. Period. I said they fighting one time a year. Shit, that shit got to stop. Y'all got to stay active. Hey, <laughs> I ain't seen Virgil came back for one fight. I ain't seen him since. Y'all, that one, that one fifty four debut. Yeah, they ain't seen him since. That's what I'm saying. This one time a year. Shit, come on. Man. It looked like he was disappointed. They stopped this shit. <laughs> All these got to get active. All these dudes need to get active, man. Let's. We want to see, bro. We've been talking like a I mother. See, I want to see Jenna back, back in the ring, too, at 160. Yeah, we was talking about him last night. Yeah. H asked us, ask me some questions. Yeah. I don't Who know, man. Johnny fighter? Beck is he a good fighter. He a good fighter, though, but Come on, I'm not H, you just sold on him like that. I mean, you gotta do us like, that one. We asked for, bro. 
<laughs> he a good fighter, though. He good. He might be the best over there. I don't know, man. Like, I still want to see a little bit more. Like, he got to show me he a, he a real killer. I, I like a killer. I want a killer, bro. I don't know if he a killer like that. But it, they got this new fighter from the UK. His name is Hamza Shiraz. He's 6'3", middleweight, 24 years old, bro, 6'3". He looked like he going to be something. <laughs> that nigga Hamza Shiraz, watch out for him, bro. And he got a fan base, though. He could fight. And it's another dude from America. He a Mexican fighter. He fight at 160. His name is Elijah Garcia. He looked like he going to be a good fighter. He only uh, 20 years old. He only 20. You know what I mean? He looked like he a decent fighter. He, he cool. Yeah, he got some shelf life on him. He gonna be around. You see the yeah, Elijah Garcia? Be out. <laughs> Y'all seen him before? Yeah, I, I seen Elijah no, before. I ain't seen some age. Yeah, I seen Elijah before. Check him out. He okay? You know what I mean? He look like he could be a. I don't know, bro. He look like he might do something, bro. He all right though. I gotta see more too though. But in, in that division, in that middleweight division, he one of the one of the best young fighters. And they, they got a new uh, Cuban boxer. He can box. This nigga named Hernandez, black a black Cuban. This nigga named Hernandez, bro. That nigga can box, bro. Watch out for him. He look like he gonna be some. That nigga six two. You know what I'm saying? Can box his ass off like Andy and them. Watch out. That nigga gonna be some, bro. That nigga mm. gonna be stuck at him. What was Elijah's last name? Elijah Garcia. Garcia. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that nigga, the look he got, the look like a star. The way he he look, he got the look like oh that nigga could be a star. Just a, you know what I mean, like a Ryan Garcia motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He just got the look. You know what I mean? So he but he can, fight too, he can fight He could fight. You say Garcia, Shiraz, and Hernandez? Yeah, this nigga name. Uh, his name is like Yo Ellis Hernandez. Yeah, but so. For me, th those is like the best uh, th uh, three, the three best young young middleweights in boxing. As far as the young fighters, they the best. You know what I mean? They the best uh, young fighters. They the future. And then you got a uh, Troy Isley, Troy Isley from America. He fight on ESPN top rank. He been training with Bo Mack and him. He looked like he pretty good too. I ain't gonna sleep he on Troy his Isley. Last fight. Try, I think might fuck up Elijah Garcia. You never know. You know what I'm saying? He won his last fight, though. I remember Cam. Yeah, he got a knockout with Bo Mack. He looked good with Bo Mack. Yeah, he yeah. Looked okay. good in that fight. Same guy. That's the same guy. Okay. Yeah, Tro Troy Isley. He. Yeah. He I, see, I'm not gonna sleep on him. That's why I said his name. He Shit, I lost name. my other. I lost my other uh, notebook, man. I was putting the names in, That's bro. I've been doing. I've been writing these niggas' names. Yeah, I've been, been writing it down. Niggas. I pick the one that I like, though. I find the fighter that I like. I go look, watch I'm all of them. The strong niggas. fighters. There's plenty of fighters, bro. So many yeah. dead fighters. This nigga, uh, Cam, Cam been he been finding new fighters like every day, man. He come back and tell me, "Hey, man, look, look, look at this nigga." He be telling me, bro. That nigga Cam, you know, Cam, Cam is the information, motherfucker, man. You know, Cam, he found a new boxer. This nigga named Kid Kid of uh, Kansas. <laughs> they call this nigga Kid Kansas. You know, we got a kid Austin. This nigga calling himself Kid Kid Kansas. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> and I was like, Kansas City, here we Kansas. come. Kid Kansas. Who say like Kid Kansas? Kansas. I looked this Kansas. shit up, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kid Kansas. Who the fuck is this? He's like, I'll laugh at you. I'll laugh at we got yeah, total man, somewhere, man. nigga. Kid Kansas, nigga. Not yeah, in Kansas, kid, Kansas. Kansas. With my nigga. Kansas City ass nigga. You hear me? Like, what the fuck is this, kid? <laughs> he telling me them niggas every day. Hey man. <laughs> Straight up, the conveyor belt fat right now, bro. We got to see all these men fight, bro. Fuck all that, bro. I want to see, bro. That's a, at first I thought he was saying kid cannabis. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I watched that movie too. Stay, stay at home, nigga. You can't uh, you know how they got Kid Austin. They got a new nigga named Kid Kansas. That's real. That's real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, who what the fuck is this, my nigga? That nigga this represent guy. like a motherfucker. I was laughing, but Cam was like, nigga, you laughing, but this nigga a beast. He this a real little motherfucker. <laughs> we don't see what he do, man. 
Say that nigga real in the motherfucker. This ain't no joke, Nick. He in Kansas, nigga. You think he playing? He ain't playing. <laughs> <laughs> Name one person in the hood that play like that. Not kid Kansas. Uh-oh. He got an alligator for real, bro. That's the alligator, man. <laughs> Kid Kansas, he might be a beast though, low key. Well, well, I don't know. Well, I mean, well, I, I ain't underestimate nobody. Yeah, exactly. exactly. What kid? What 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 weight class he at? I don't even know. He just was right. telling me like I said, I ain't even looked him up yet. I'm gonna look him up though. I ain't. I'm gonna look him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm looking <laughs> at him. <Yeah. laughs> he be on that shit right now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can be having me writing all names down, bro. So I know that's a fact. He's he the information specialist, man. <laughs> we had Phantom. I don't know what happened to Phantom, man. But you know, man. Now you right. Underestimate any of on Ace Money, bro. For me. Yeah, you can't underestimate any of these fighters, man. They got us. Everybody, you still got to come to fight. Facts, Hebrew. Big facts. Yeah. Oh, bro, you can't underestimate no motherfucker. You do when you do that. Look past the fighter, think about the next fight. That be the one whoop your ass, bro. That be the very man that beat your ass. Then you be look crazy as hell. Like man, I should have just went on, stay with this fight right here. Look at past it. Let this man then distract you, talking shit to you. And now you lost your fight, the one you really supposed to win, bro. Now he got your spot. <laughs> you better be careful in the boxing game, man. These fighters need to uh, get that shit together, bro. We need, we need two fights out of each fight a year or something. Come on, bro. No one fight a year shit ain't, ain't it, bro. That shit ain't good. It's, it's making it slow. It's wearing us down. Go ahead. Go ahead, k -Drip. No, I'm just no hell no. Nah, I'm agreeing with you, bro, because that's real talk. That's exactly what I was just saying about Virgil, them, bro, and uh, saying about Xander, and saying about Gary, and saying about all the rest of these damn fighters. Get your you ass in the ring fight. and fight. Even when Shakir yeah. was talking that retirement shit, get your ass in the ring and fight. I don't want to hear that man, shit. I was like, what, man, I was like, I ain't even trying to hurt this shit, bro. You man, hell you know, bro. trying to hear that shit, man. <laughs> you what? Man, gone, bro. I told you everybody get it with me, bro. I ain't gonna sugarcoat shit or hold nothing back, bro. You start doing that shit, it's your turn. Fuck you, mean. Facts. Straight up, bro. It's gonna call it for what I see, bro. Straight up. Oh man, I'm finna retire, man. You like what? Twenty five? Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't you say shit else about Tio. Hey, big big baby had me. <laughs> Beat it with him, bro. Tom, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you just got started. Tom, you ready to stop, bro? Him too. All these, uh, these All niggas. All get it, bro. Y'all, y'all showing y'all character. Y'all get it, bro. These niggas be all the bosses, bro. We the fans. They they draining our money to go into I their mean, pocket. But he ruled. Hey, the difference was when when Shakur when he started to get it when he you know what I mean about the Moratala shit. That nigga responded quick though. Then he's saying he want to fuck this nigga up. Yep, he sure. ready to bet niggas like he want to fight. So Shakur, one once somebody say like, man, we want you to fight this nigga and start pushing pushing him to fight that person. He go and fight him. The other guys ain't ain't show me that they do, do that, bro. Ain't nobody else really well, did let, that. That let us know. That let us know he the people's Corey champ. Did that bro. a couple of times, even with Devin, it's when we wanted him to get bro. on Devin ass. He he did that. <laughs> he pulled up, just jumped. He came over her and did that. Yeah, but still, he he can't be talking about retiring. Go ahead and fight. Oh, that shit right there, did, bro. That, you, that, you, that's you that's the only before, thing we're bro. talking about. Yeah, like you talking about retiring, bro? For what? For what? These niggas ain't fucking with you for time. Retiring for what? Come on, man. Right, bro. Man, Rose, on the other hand, that's some different story. But Shakur, nah, you got you, you're a specialist, bro. What's up? I don't need that out of you right right when we need the motherfucker fights to go down. You talking about I, I quit, bro? What you mean? Yeah, we we expect that out of Roly at this point. The money ain't gonna be the same for him no more. But you, nah, I'm talking no. about Shakur, but yeah, Roly something different. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that's why I said Rollie's something different. He know the money ain't the same no more. When he getting there, <laughs> that shit over with for him. Don't nobody believe in that shit no more. He done. Uh uh-uh, uh, that clown shit dead, nigga. You can't keep getting that, that off, yeah. nigga. Nah, yeah, say, nah. Nah, you gotta bring this shit up and do it right, nigga. What's up? That money is done. That market is <laughs> over with. Ain't nobody finna keep playing for Rollie with that foolishness. The, the king ain't feeling that shit no more. The, the jester, the clown, the entertainer, that shit out the door, nigga. <laughs> You got knocked out and stopped back to back. Yeah. Oh my goodness, bro. Back to back to back. Cause really, like, old, man, the old man, man did something to his ass too. Nigga. That, he won that back. fight, nigga. To me, that old man <laughs> won that fight. They stopped this shit. I was looking like this man ain't even hurt. Man, he can do this fight and go fish for ten hours, nigga. What you talking? <laughs> and he old. <laughs> and he old as a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga got 10 jobs and box, nigga. You talking about stopping him, man. Y'all get your ass up out of here, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, nigga work at the fish market and whooping your ass. This motherfucker Mexican down there a Haymon. You heard me? Nigga got 15 <laughs> jobs. <laughs> nigga over here talking about stopping him. He ain't even got no sweat on, on his back, bro. He ain't got no sweat nowhere. He <laughs> stop the fight. <laughs> 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 oh man, the mother, I want to see him knock Rolly ass out, man. <laughs> Ain't nobody paying for that shit no more. You hit it on the, uh, you hit the the ham on the uh, head when you said that shit, bro. Yeah, yeah the coffee can't dread the nigga. The day, the nigga didn't bro. even get his warm up sweat on. They stopped. Well, that nigga Rolly done for. <laughs> He should have never seen shit about retire. Go ahead, retire. He got a Rolly boy. That nigga was hurt. Oh. What? Rolly that old done. man. That old man. His his training. His hook training is throwing the net out in the water. <laughs> Rolly can sell the fight all he wants. Ain't nobody entertaining that shit. He can sell the fight all he wants to. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit no more. Man, that shit's gonna be looking like a motherfucking uh. The Kobe fight, nigga. <laughs> Nobody there. They just got some pictures up there of people. <laughs> Make it look like a crowd in there. That shit was funny the whole time. I say, this is not boxing, bro. <laughs> this is not boxing, bro. They had the, like, like a video game. They had some fake people back there up on the screen. <laughs> like it was hella people in there. I said, no. <laughs> no, man. Bring this shit back to reality. MBGA, make boxing great again, bro. If you ever see that, them four letters, MBGA, make boxing great again. Damn. Niggas ain't trying to do this shit. One fight a year. Hey, I, shit, I see why Devin, I see why Devin Haney bag up the way he do the on, on the back foot. I see the, I see the, why he do that now. And uh, that, talking about Roley just made me realize Roley, when Roley throw his one and then throw a one, two, or you know what I'm saying, or just lead with the right hand. He stay right there, bro. He stay right there in the pocket. And now, now I'm really understanding why D Haney really move. He moves. He moves straight back. He might throw that jab, but he gonna move with it. He might double up on the jab, but he gonna move. He might throw the jab in the one two. You know what I'm saying? Right behind, like jab one two. Then come back with the right hand, but he's not in the same spot at all. Rolly staying right there. And everybody that's five five and under can slip right up under there and knock his ass out if you hit hard enough. That nigga Rolly ain't got no to go in for the body and draw straight back. I always say this. He must have been listening at one time in the Loma fight. He didn't do that shit at all. Yeah, he was he was standing right there in the pocket, right? Right? He was staying right there in the pocket with the Loma fight. Uh, but normally Mm -hmm. Devin, even in the George Campos's fight. He stay moving, bro. He stay moving. Even if he oh, going straight back, he gonna move. In that fight. He, he look focused per- in that fight, bro. He look perfect as hell. All twenty four rounds in that George Cambosis fight. That's how you box. You wanna know how to box? That's how you box. No, it ain't knocking nobody out. No, it ain't giving you no entertainment. But technical boxing, that's how you box. That's putting on a master that's class. What that was. That's what that was. He, he put on that both his eye right there at the end of that motherfucker jabbing right hand, bro, all night. And kept moving. That shit don't work with everybody, though. If, if you, you move, it, dude. Hand, you look like with pressure on him. 
If you move it, ain't no pressure. You can't hit something that don't want to get hit. But if you stand there like rolling, you're going to get hit. Anybody that's standing in front of a motherfucker don't want to fight, bro. Unless they inside. You out, you on reach niggas trying to stay right there. You getting beat up all night. <laughs> but like a, a Isa Cruz, he want to get inside and throw under your motherfucking punches, niggas. Pressure. Ain't getting that off, bro. You can have the best jab in the world, nigga. Motherfucker pressure. You can't handle no pressure, nigga. Keep a motherfucker off you. What the what good is a jab? Well, you gotta you gotta use your ankles at that point and start putting punches together. That's why right. you, you, you gotta move to you gotta move to you gotta step to the side and not just throw one more punch with that. Put two to three punch combinations together. If you're quick enough to put four to three punch combinations together, then go out there and do that. But don't just one jab or one or two punches here, one or two punches. When you turn and you turn the fighter, if you got the angle to hit his ass square in the, the cheek or the temple or hit him with a body shot, you throw it. And you continue to throw it. in that fight, though. Why change anything if it's working for you? <laughs> he was piecing his bro, ass up. Eating jail. his ass up with it. Keeping the distance, <laughs> moving his feet, bro. You can't tell, man. That's a different yeah, tell most of nigga. What's up with that Gary Antoine smoke, nigga? <laughs> he ain't been in no bread yeah. with nobody like that. <laughs> well, Gary gonna keep him turning, too. Man, See, Gary, Keep his motherfucking jam on his forehead. There's going to be a jab session, though, in that fight. I want to see that fight. I want to see him challenge himself. I want to see these fighters challenge themselves. I'm be sitting up here waiting on no motherfucker to be where they want to be and then take the fight. <laughs> I'm gonna see who, I want to see who Richardson going to call out tomorrow night. Where is Cam? Who your fighter calling out tomorrow? Who Africa calling out? Mm. We got to see what he going to do tomorrow and call out. Because Gary want that smoke. Gary right, fuck you know, up. He gonna step up. You call his name. Gary gonna fuck him up. See That's if what I like in the fights. I like motherfucker call a motherfucker out, and they be right with it. Like let's get right to it, nigga. Come on, negotiations. Let's get in there. Fuck all that. That's boxing. Yeah, I hope all is well. It don't, it don't happen that yeah, easy fair, for all man. these simple yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I know it don't happen overnight like that, but I'm saying in that order. Facts. Motherfucker get called out. They do something about it. Them the strong fighters. I know motherfucker, oh, he ain't got enough accolades. He ain't did nothing. He ain't got nothing to bring to the table. Nigga, challenge yourself, though. Straight up, bro. That's that training shit, bro. Training wheel shit, bro. I don't like that shit, bro. Challenge nah. yourself. This nigga think he doing something. He trying to come up. Let me get him on out the way. That's the type of shit I'm talking about. Before he can even get up there, get on his ass, nigga, know this my house. Niggas ain't doing that. Oh man, you gotta see. You, you gonna you gonna sign you gotta take initiative, man. You gotta take initiative. Like I say, Shakur took initiative. They wonder why I love Shakur so much. He took initiative, bro. He took initiative. He came to your division. He won world titles. He didn't sit around and fight this person or fight that person and just wait for this. Hour. No, he said, "I'm coming and I'm fight for the belts. Put them in front of me." I got shit to do, nigga. I got shit I got to do. It. And that's in every division that he done been in since he's been professional. He been he fighting been. like he got shit to do, right? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Just put the respect on his name. Now, again, I'm going to go back to it. The only time I had a problem, and when he came out talking about that stupid ass retiring shit, but we over there now so we can move on. You good, Ruski, bro? I hope you good, bro. Yeah, I said hope, hope him and that's the fam good. good. And everybody out there in NYC. Hope yeah, y'all know everybody out there. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, and right hand, everybody. Watch and watch. Everybody, man. I hope y'all good out there, bro. Right up. All the New Yorkers that's listening and watching. Playback game. Watch Worlds. Hey, man, y'all be safe out here, bro. Shit finna start happening, bro. So what? what's the fights you want to see before end of 2024, Hebrew? What you got cooking? Who you who you looking to see? What's your plan? Man, you got to put a couple of more ingredients in the pot, man. Because I want to see, I want to see Boots and Bud. Yeah. I want to see uh Gary Antoine Russell get a tough uh matchup. Mm -hmm. It's a whole bunch of fights, K Drill. It's mainly the all the ones we've been wanting to see. Gotcha. And these new dudes, these new dudes coming on the uh jumping on a conveyor belt. I want to see them too, bro. So I mean. Hey, let me ask you, does Jamal and Jenna make sense right now or no? 
Jamal uh Jamal Charlo? Yeah, yeah. Janet Bay. Does that make sense right now? Yeah, without that, if he ain't got nothing to bring to the table and all that goofy shit ain't there, yeah. Negotiations go smooth, we can get that fight. It should happen. She <laughs> said, with all that goofy shit. <laughs> what you think, though? I mean, for real, though, what you I think? I know, you're right. I, I'm with, that's why I started laughing, because that's that's the, I'm stuck right there. The only thing he going to say is he don't bring shit to the table. When he got two of the fucking belts and you got one of the belts in the division, but his name ain't big enough, I'm guessing, because he fight on top rank. He's not a pay-per-view <laughs> star. He's not Canelo mm -hmm. Alvarez. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's I'm why stuck right there. It, bro, that first thing came to my mind when you said it, bro, like, man, niggas going to be talking there. He ain't got he ain't did shit. He ain't got nothing to bring to the table. Man, got two belts. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That ain't nothing to bring to the table. at all, bro. These, that, that, now, that's duck talk to me. That's crazy shit, bro. This is the shit. I don't even like. These niggas crazy. These I niggas. Know, come on, talking about what is a duck and what's not a duck. I don't know, bro. That's a duck. Nigga. You 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 out pricing with your motherfucking conversation, nigga. That's what you doing. <laughs> nigga out pricing himself with his conversation, Drill, bro. Because, and I know nigga that's ain't got nothing case. to bring it to the table, but nigga. People, so as soon as you hear that shit from one of these niggas or the fighter, they be all on the same motherfucking boat with a broke ass oar, bro. That shit don't even work. It's just a stick, bro. You is not Thanks. in Venice on no ocean. Nigga check like, in a Venice boat. He in a Venice motherfucking Italy Venice boat. On the ocean with that stick. <laughs> There's no reason why that fight ain't happening. It should it should happen though, man. We should get that fight. And they, they on two they different promotional work. companies. They they, work, though. But they on two different promotional companies for one. And oh, it's shit. like the belts don't matter. Yeah, you know you know how to, you know what talk coming up. They on yeah. two yeah. different uh promote oh man. He got across the street, the PVC, the top rank. The dit, dit, dr, 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 dr. Man, nobody want to hear this shit. Just let them fight. This boxing. This shit fight the fight. Happen, bro. They, 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 they added that shit in. It wasn't all that important at first. All right, he on top rank. He on, let's get this shit going. Now it's all, man, we got to negotiate and do this and run around the track 15 times and go up the mountain. I'm like, what the fuck, nigga? Just to, damn, it's, it's hella obstacles just to get a fight. Send the contract, negotiate, send the contract, sign the motherfucker, get the fighters ready, and then we should have a fight. Tell Bud who you got, Maul or Janabet right now? He want to see Bud and Janabet. Tell Bud to fight Boots. I know you want to see that fight, too. Yeah, man. I know Timbo want to see that fight too. I don't want Bud to run to no other division. He need to stay there and fight Boots. Hey, Jenna Beck and Maul a good ass fight though, bro. Who y'all got in that I'm fight? Gonna that fight. I'm gonna go I with Jenna Beck right now. I think Charlo. I got, I got Jenna Beck in that fight. <clears throat> I think Charlo like passed his prime, bro. I don't know. Charlo, he wasted oh, so many times. He, no easy fight, though. he wasted plenty of time, Charlo, man. You know what yeah, I mean? And Jenna Beck is a hungry fighter. You know what I mean? This guy take boxing serious, and Charlo does not. He be drinking alcohol and shit, bro. Charlo got a lot of problems. He will fuck up Charlo right now, for real. Yeah, I got Jenna back. Well, he, need, well, he need to drop that belt or get his ass in the ring. Facts. One or the other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think One they should the make other, Carlos bro. Adames the champion. He's the WBC in interim champion. They might as well elevate him and make him the champion. Bro. I'm sick of Charlo, bro. I'm tired of him, bro. Him and his brother right now. Bro. Both of them. <laughs> I used to love them niggas, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but. Yeah, more money do that shit, too, bro. Char Get that ego up. The big Charlo wasted so, mu so much time. He wasted yeah. so much fucking time, bro. That nigga was out the year for. He was out of boxing, like, for three years, bro. Three fucking years, bro. He wasted all that time, bro. Holding the belt. And then Caleb, Caleb Plant slapped the shit out that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he let Caleb Plant slap him, let the white boy slap him like that. He let that white man slap him like that. That white man slapped him like that. Come on, I just let that white man slap him like that. Come on, slap slap like that. Both twins got slapped on. Her smacked that other nigga, like too. That, Remember, her he went to the stadium and smacked that man. other nigga, man? Smack shit out that nigga in the crowd, bro. No, y'all remember this uh, shit. Smack shit out Charlo that day. 
He said, man, you talking about what? Pow, nigga. Now stand up. Stand up straight, nigga. Quit blinking. <laughs> he said he slapped the shit out of him. He said, that nigga Charlo, man. The, 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 the Caleb Plant slap, man. That nigga was like, hold up. Wait a minute. I got to move my, my uh, don't pass go. Monopoly piece. I, I'm the dog. <laughs> I got the car. <laughs> Nigga was, that nigga was fucked up about that slap, boy. He's now you playing monopoly. Like the shit out of Charlo, bro. How you let that white man slap you like that, bro? That's fucking he crazy. He was scared as a motherfucker that hallway. He got the slap off. Hey, Caleb Plant was scared as a motherfucker. He got that slap off, though. He got that slap off, though. He's scared as shit, boy. <laughs> he I knew that hallway. It's darker here. Charlo was trying to get hey. that nigga, though. I ain't hey, gonna Charlo lie. Charlo like, no, he did see him at a fight. Ain't do shit. He did. Hey, he dude, just saw that nigga. Hey, <laughs> doing that movie, I think Cedric the Entertainer was like, "What you gonna do about it?" Hey, <laughs> he ain't gonna do shit yeah, about it. Baby. He didn't do shit. Yeah, that's fucked he up. Back the shit out of him and looked up and say, "Oh shit, it's darker here." And I ain't talking about cause the lights off. <laughs> Smack that black man in front of he smacked that black man in front of all the black people. He said, Oh shit, it's dark in here. Let me get up out of here. <laughs> and, and while he playing, he would have made some money off that Caleb Plant fight too. Caleb Plant was hot around that time. He'd have made some money. He ain't trying to fight nobody. Yeah, he he, he waited out that fight. Can't even say he ducked. That nigga just didn't fight. That's <laughs> at what I'm all. saying. He would have made some money. <laughs> Caleb Plant. He, yeah, he lost to Canelo, but he still had a buzz. Maul got his own fan base. This, you the one got slapped, you feel me? Yo, it could have made some out that shit. I don't know. Now he got a I chance to fight Jalen. I took my frustrations out on that shit, nigga. You just slapped me, nigga. Fuck that, nigga. Gloves off, nigga. Fuck your man. We gonna, we gonna UFC glove fight that shit, nigga. You smack me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we fighting in the UFC gloves, nigga. Fuck off. That so shit when, should we see, uh, when should we see Morel back in the ring? Anytime soon? He's supposed to be on the Tank Man, Davis undercard. He's going to be on that Tank Davis undercard with Tank Davis back. and Frank Martin. Back. Okay. Yeah. And Benavidez is the co-main? Yep. That's what it's supposed to be. Benavidez is going to be on there, too. And you know Morel going to call that nigga out. Get, I'm sick of this shit, Morel bro. Morel going to call that nigga out. You know Benavidez, he going to be on the same card as him. They going to be yeah, there together. I'm he going to call him shit. out. I'm going to try to make sure he get up in that ring. I'm going to make sure he get up in that ring. After the fight, I'm going to make sure, bro. I'm going to let him know. I want you to get up in that ring and try, you know what I'm saying? You gonna have to try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we back. Hey, we back to it, K. Drill one ain't enough. <laughs> we gotta go get it. Man. One ain't enough, nigga. He already did that shit, nigga. Then where he fuck he was at in the that hallway talking to the kid. Though. They probably ain't gonna let him get inside the ring though. They probably ain't gonna let him get inside the ring. He gonna have to just try to force his way up in there. Cause you know what I mean. He gonna call him out though. He definitely gonna call him out. And then we're gonna start one of them motherfuckers. Then I want to see him inside the ring with that nigga. I want to call him out. Boy passes. He's gonna get in the ring when he fight after Benavidez fight. Jump in the ring and call that nigga out. Call him out before his fight, and then after his fight, jump in the ring and try to get that nigga. You know what I mean? Like that. No, nah, surprise, nigga. Just jump right in the ring after the fight while he's sweating and tired, nigga. What's good, nigga? Get him in there. Press his What's ass. What's up? Or get him that in the back. You know what I mean? He's tying this shit perfect, H. Well, then we're going to be on the same card anyway. So they're going to be at the press conference with each other. They're going to be, yeah, during the fight week and all of that. Oh, yeah. So we're going to have a face off and all of that. Not the That's perfect. Pass, That's going to build up the fight. Bro, we trying to be on the other right. side of the arena, nigga, and, uh, and Morel on one side, nigga. We don't want to hurt it. During the press conference, they going to be there together. So, yeah, they going to be around each other the whole week. They going to fight. Yeah, this mm. this is perfect. Being on Tank Davis undercard together, Benavidez and Morel, bro, is going to build yeah. up. They fight with each other. Watch. That's what that nigga don't get on the skis and try to go down Mount Everest. Yeah. On some suicide shit, nigga. Right there with his bitch ass. Yeah, he should get on some skis and go down Mount. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He on some avalanche. That nigga been there and be ducking, bro. That nigga been there and be ducking. His ass off, bro. He ain't got no, hey, he got no head, girl. He coming down the mountain. Burn head. Naked head like a motherfucker. You hear me? No school cap, nothing. Hey, he got some offense, though, and he... Man, he he can put his punches together. I can't sleep on him and say he a bad boxer. He a, he a true champion. I can give him that. But it, but it's one part of that guy. His that guy. His number is bad, and he know it too. Number now got his size, nigga. <laughs> if he a true champion, he'll fight anybody. He wouldn't be ducking Morrell. So I can't say he a true champion. He's a, he's, good, he's a good he's fighter. A good fighter you know what I'm saying? I think Morrell is the true champion. He's the real champion because he he want all the smoke. You know what I mean? And we gonna Listen, beat his man, ass. That's all we heard I'll was come on, bro. Hey, come on, bro. Who is Morel, bro? Come on, bro. That nigga ducking that smoke with Morel. He say, Who is Morel, bro? Come on, bro. I'm like, so he gonna see that nigga. Like, he gonna confront him. Morel gonna get on his ass. He gonna see that nigga. He gonna press on him. We gonna gotta cross his pathway, bro. Y'all there together. Yeah, we, gonna, gonna, yeah, we gonna see him. Yeah, we gonna. Yeah, it's gonna be some beef. It's it's up, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, hey, gonna be talking yeah, about yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. H buddy, he gonna be talking about uh his fight that he did that he got that he just gonna start talking about Benavita. He's just gonna start talking exactly. about <laughs> yeah. he gonna be checking What's that nigga. What's up with you, man? What's up with you, man? Who is this nigga? Who is this nigga calling out? Who is this nigga? He want that smoke with Benavita. You still need them shoes, man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You still need those shoes. Where you go? <laughs> Bit of <Benavidez>, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. Who is Benavidez? His best fighter was up. Uh, uh, man, shut that shit up, nigga. Get in the rain, nigga. Try to hurt none of that shit, nigga. He ain't got nothing to bring to the table. He a motherfucking champion, though. What you doing? Come on, bro. Make that shit happen, bro. We want to see the fights. Motherfuckers is paying money for this shit. It ain't like you out there doing it for free. Motherfucker pay their money to see the fight. They it, it all convert back to your motherfucking pocket. So we paying you to watch you, nigga. Fuck kind of shit is that? Get this shit rolling, I man. I heard Lil Bam Bam got a fight coming up. Check him out too, Bam Rodriguez. Yeah. I want to see the best fights, bro. We oh, yeah. and, and we, we still waiting him. on the uh, undisputed heavyweight showdown and light heavyweight showdown. The yeah, summer, man. I got the Turby I got better to be even that. We talking and I about got Tyson Fury and his. You got Tyson Fury. Oh, the Usyk fight that's still going down on May eighteenth. May eighteenth, okay. that fight go down, and then I think sometime in June, so uh, the light heavyweight and and push it back. Or is they gonna have tea and crumpets and push it back, bro? They've been doing this shit for a minute now. I think my dog got hurt, man. Something happened. Didn't Tyson Fury get hurt? Why they pushed it back? Somebody got, got hurt. Got man. hurt in damn sparring or some shit. Yeah, he got hurt, man. He he ready now though. I seen him working out with John. He ready. It's April, May, just a month away. So it's starting to line up, y'all. Yeah, right. It's starting to line up. It's good. Starting to, they hey. finally listening to senior. You always got to come back home. Mm. They they finally listening to senior man Floyd. You always mm. got to come back home. Mm -hmm. You go out there and learn whatever you want to learn, but you are gonna come back home. Roy, Roy did the it. The wing gonna still be there when the fuck you get done. You never grow old to your parents or no motherfucker Facts. that's older than you. Facts. Shit. Facts. They starting to listen, man. Go back and work with what you know. Go back to them roots. Go man, they make always it. come to the hottest channel on YouTube, bro. What that nigga say about me? They over there talking about me? And fuck this shit, nigga. Let me get that fight, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga get clowned on H Buddy. Nigga be like, man, my name over there. He can't be doing my name like that. Niggas be listening, bro. They try to figure out a way. Come on through. That's all you got to do.
You'll figure it out. We're gonna make the we're gonna push that shit, nigga, till the fight happen, nigga. If it don't happen, then we're gonna talk our shit. I fuck it didn't happen, nigga. We loyal yeah. fans yeah. over here. Yeah, hey, that Shakur situation is the perfect example because we was get getting on Shakur about fighting more Tyler, and then that nigga said, Man, I want to smoke with this nigga. I put up a hundred thousand. He's trying to bet everybody. Like he want that smoke now. I just leave it alone. Shakur answered. He answered, bro. You know what I mean? He responded the way he's supposed to. That's what we wanted. And you know what I mean? Now you know what I mean. We move on, bro. We move on to the next one. Who they the listening? Next real fight? recognize real. We got bro. that fight now. That fight gonna happen. And that's uh, the best man. fight to me, in my opinion. That's the perfect fight for Shakur, bro. To get him back you going. Jump on like, these niggas. He ego ace money. Just be a fighter jump on like that, bro. That's perfect for his career. That's gonna take his career to the next level, man. Be, you gotta jump on the fighter like Tyler, bro. Shout out to SS with the Al on his chest. That's jump the fight. He ego to take money. To that's what happened, level, bro. Because he beat an un undefeated like fighter like that, bro. That people they respect more Tyler and more Tyler. He got everything. He got everything that the people. They say that Shakur is afraid of. Oh, he got power. Shakur is scared of power punches. He fighting more Tyler, bro. Who got power? You know what I mean? So Shakur proved that he ain't afraid of nothing. He ain't afraid of no power punches. He about to fight more Tyler. You know what I mean? So that's what I like about this. That's what I like about that fight, bro. It answers all the questions. He's an undefeated fighter. He's in the prime of his career. Raymond Moore Tyler. He's the mandatory he, he called out Shakur, bro. They been calling him out. And Shakur answered. He answered the call out again. Because remember, De La Santos called him out. He showed up to uh, New Jersey talking shit, doing all of that. You know what I mean? And Shakur fought him. He beat him. And now more Tyler was talking shit. Now he's finna fight him. So he's taking all the smoke. I like that. I like it. That's real smoke, bro. That's absolutely. Absolutely, 110%. He fight them ones that called him out, bro. And these guys got power. Dela Santos, he had power. More Tyler, he got power. I respect that, bro. Shakur, he fighting top, top fighters. He fighting dogs. He fighting real killers out there, bro. Hey, H, you think Frank got a chance at all? Frank Not looking at fighter. it like every fighter got Frank a chance. A good, but. Frank is a good, he's a good fighter, bro. He coming to fight, bro. Frank believe in himself, bro. Frank believes in himself. Frank coming to win, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I promise you that, bro. Got you. That's what I'm. That's what I was trying to get. That's what I was trying to get to. Like, he is he gonna just? Get... He's going against the best, Javante Tank Davis, the number one lightweight in boxing, the face of boxing. You know what I mean? The most. Powerful, so what does he have to do to have success, H? What does he have to do? Match. He can't fuck with Tank, bro. In my opinion, don't quarrel, it's nothing he can don't do. With Tank. It's nothing that he can do with Tank, bro. You know what I mean? It's nothing really you can do with a he fighter like with Tank. Tank that's his he better, he better keep turning Tank, nigga. He square up. He, he getting knocked out, bro. My opinion is he going down, 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 down. He going down, 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 Downtown Julie Brown, bro. He out of there. Soon as he with Tank. Soon. Well, I'm gonna tell you that um um he's he gonna be so he's gonna be so scared under them damn bright lights, he's gonna start off on the back foot, and that's what's gonna that's what's gonna kill him the most. Oh tank gonna say I got help early. I see tank in the more fight of them. Frank was talking that shit though. I know, bro. Of, yeah, I a know. lot of uh, tank he opponents. Like a lot of tank tank <laughs> opponents they talk shit before the fight, like Ryan Garcia was doing, like Roley was doing. Yep. A lot yeah, of niggas do that. They ass was doing. Oh, they like all they on their ass, and then it's over with. Yeah, two body shots and that straight lift, and it's shit. Man, tank gonna hurt him, man. <laughs> tank gonna hurt that damn dude, bro. He gonna slow him down dramatically, though. To oh the yeah, body. he gonna fuck him up. Frank down. And then he gonna he gonna resort to that same ass PD pack put it put it put it put it and tank gonna eat through that shit and knock his ass out, bro. I already see the shit, bro. 
But you know, I ain't underestimate Frank. He's a good fighter. It's but, not about uh, underestimating him. It goes back to the saying he brew styles make fight. His that's style. Why his style. <laughs> that's why the way, yeah, the way Derrick James trained. Oh man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Bro. The fuck out of here. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's go back to the James Lipsy fight, and then we'll kill all that all that whole conversation, nigga. Nigga, let a motherfucker five two whoop him. He's six eight or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to hear no motherfucker during James, nigga. Nigga, weak as fuck. Nigga. <laughs> oh shit, then James is fucked up. Lipsy, nigga, whoop that nigga. Man, made him quit. Fifth round, too, nigga. Fifth round, ass nigga. But that style finna get towed up. I can't wait. Yeah, man. So what is the 20th? Then what is it? What they fighting in May? No, I'm watch uh I'm definitely watching Canelo May 4th after the 20th. Two weeks after Devin, I'm watching Canelo fight. He fight Mungia. I want to see if Mungia got anything for him, man. Man, he can't take no body punches. We gonna see what he can do. Canelo coming to fight too. Canelo ain't trying to lose no more gear. Oh, he got an opportunity, so it's gonna be a fight. He got opportunity. Yeah. And Canelo saying, "Look, look nigga." <laughs> well, Jamel got an opportunity too, and you see what he did. He blew his shit, man. I mean, Caleb Plant pissed me off too, asking him in between round, "How am I doing? How I look to you?" Like what? <laughs> You're in a title fight. Ask the other How's my power after the fights? Who and I this still thing? got it. Like, what? Dude, y'all trip. Damn, nigga. <laughs> <The man> almost <laughs> knocked you out. He gonna ask me. <laughs> These niggas is tripping, bro. He tripping, bro. He said, how I'm doing? Do I look all right to you? About a C plus? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna knock hey, your hey, ass out. Put out the plus, the hey, put the plus that, sign man. in a 76 by that motherfucker, <laughs> nigga. See plus, nigga. <laughs> knock your ass out in the 11th round. God damn, bro. Hey, it's man. It's coming up. It's a good one coming, man. May 4th. I don't know if anybody fighting May the 11th, but I know May 18th, that's when that uh, heavyweight showdown. Yeah. It's still early, man. Shit, I don't even know who's gonna be on that undercard either. They should have a fire as undercard. What what fight? For that Canelo um Mangia and for the Tyson Fury Uzi. They might oh man, that motherfucker finna accumulate all money, bro. Mangia. Canelo, yeah, they gonna be out. He got a following too, man. So they gonna be out there, bro. To come see that fight. No, I'm just trying to see who's fighting on the undercard, though. Shit, I hope it's a good card too, because you know how that is. Motherfucker, miss the fight, old boring ass fights, bro. <laughs> miss the fight. <laughs> So if it's some cars that can keep us up, bro, then it'd be exciting, bro. I don't know. Because the one car, man, everybody got knockouts on the motherfucker. Everybody got knocked out that they fought, man. I'm like, God damn, boy. This shit. Hey, turn that light on for me. That was the last PBC car. I'm talking about everybody getting their ass floored. Yeah, knocked the fuck out, bro. Like, what? Okay. Hey, so... Hey, so I'm what, what playing y'all, that y'all, night. It was in the air that night, uh, K Drill. I, I was in the air. Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia shit. Devin you Haney and Ryan. I got you Devin Wax. It's like about to happen. Bro, I got Devin, Devin Haney. Haney. That's like in 15 days. Yeah, I got right. Devin, Haney doing this, man. Devin, Devin look focused in a motherfucker, boy. Boy, Devin look good. Hey, <laughs> Devin look good, bro. Devin ready to fight. And Ryan Garcia, and mm-hmm. he done fucked up. He really fucked up. Eight, nigga. He don't come in at once. Hey, eight. Eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that nigga done fucked up, eh? <laughs> Why you say that, man? This right. shit is funny, man. Hey, Devin Haney finna fuck him up. Because he, he, 
That man, that man did way probably too did much, like bro. He went outside, outside the box. He he didn't took that shit beyond boxing. Damn man, he ain't even coming to start. If he whooped that nigga ass like what you said, if he whooped his ass the way you said it. Devin Haney on his way to become a star, but just because Absolutely. people know who Ryan Garcia is. It's not because he a good fighter. It's just, just because that nigga is like, he real He's popular. A star. He, yeah, he a star. Exactly. exactly. N-A-M-E. They got a name, bro. Yeah, bro, exactly. Ryan Garcia is a star. Yeah. You can't take that from him. And you got a big name right now. Yeah, yeah, Watch yeah, out, bro. Devin Haney. I mean. Devin Haney finna yeah. demolish that nigga. Man, he gonna black I think he gonna black his eye for him, bro. Devin Haney finna demolish him, bro. That shit is gonna be funny. As D funny. Haney focus right now. I'm telling you, <laughs> D Haney exactly. focus right now. Hey, Ryan, be, Ryan be starting to become roly, bro. To me, bro, that shit starting to be some clown shit, nigga. Get in there and fight this nigga, man. He ain't gonna have he a chance a in here, bro. He ain't gonna have a chance in here. I if promise you, you don't have a chance in hell, he bro. If he think he finna knock niggas out with just a left hook, man, he might well sit the fuck on down. Bro, he didn't it, fuck. Bro. No, he not. You see how Roley just announced his retirement? I promise you, Devin Haney finna fuck this boy up. So he next. <laughs> he gonna retire. <laughs> That's what niggas I tell you, bro. retiring at 20 something. <laughs> Early 20s, some mid 20s, nigga. I'm returning. Is that ego, nigga? I lost, man. I ain't trying to fight no more. Fuck this shit. And then say, like, man, I miss it. Trying to come back and shit, nigga. We and it's not even like, oh shit, I told y'all Devin was going to do that. No, like, Devin's supposed to win this fight. But at the same time, how Devin going to look while he do it, how everybody want to say, look how you do it, be entertaining. You finna see some entertaining shit. <laughs> Devin Haney finna fuck this boy up. He done went way too far with it. Man. You brought all these people out here and they finna be my fans. You done That's brought awesome. everybody to this fight. Got everybody viewing in for all the silly shit you've been doing and saying. Posting that video. Trying to fight Ryan to have a motherfucker. Ryan finna look like Ryan finna look like that in that that farm video. He did for the first he time. Fucked up. I'm telling you. Tell him, bro. To, trying to sell out, nigga. That's what he's trying to do. To taking pictures, uh, putting them on shirts, telling why that Diddy and uh, Devin and shit at, bro. You, bro. Like, yeah, that nigga, that nigga trolling like a motherfucker. You finna get beat up. You think I don't that, see that nigga Ryan been trolling niggas, bro. <laughs> I get to touch you. I get to touch you and don't get to niggas, yeah, bro. You, uh, you heard my feelings? That's Ryan. You heard my feelings? I got you. <laughs> niggas out here tripping, bro. Old job, yeah, man. You gonna get yeah. fucked up anyways. It wasn't even about her and his feelings. It was just, he was gonna get fucked up anyway. It's just that he made it worse for himself for no reason. Yeah, he made the man even mad at yeah. you, man. He really, he's yeah, trying he to work on him. He was going to get beat up anyway, but you just Ryan made it work for you. AK Drill, Ryan Garcia coming out this fight like Hoppo when he got kicked with, by that mule, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that nigga outfit to be swollen, bro. Uh, yeah, that nigga get But if Devin Haney ain't focused, he slipped one time, bro. We know what, what's up, bro. Devin Haney focused. Devin Haney focused. I seen that in his eyes. Yeah, we saw a one two. That shit wasn't all focused. That was that was a long time ago, but it happened, nigga. We saw that nigga slip and get hit with a one two, and he was down there. Nah. That nigga. Was not, I can't, no I can't speak about no fight in, a fight in the past, and I can't speak about no fight in the future. Right now, in this present time, for this fight, right now, Hebrew. When I'm telling you what I see, I see it in Devin. Devin, focus right now. He want to beat up Ryan. He he go, he's going to be that run. He, he's been wanting to do it. Thank you. He's he going to be that boy. Up. Remember what I'm telling you? When they walked up in that rain, they wanted to smack him that day. Devin want to be him up. Oh, shit, bro. That was like, you lucky my hands is registered like that, bro. I'd smack the shit out of you. Caleb Plant didn't give a fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> you are just back around that date. That was a long time ago, but still, man. Like Patriot said, today, this present time, I want to see a good fight. I sound like the ref. We'll just make this a good fight. You know what I'm saying? Make it a good fight. And I don't see Ryan making it a good fight. And if that, now, if don't, that get, don't get me wrong, hurt, Devin is going to be patient. Devin's going to take his time. If but when he start adding up, punches, he loses when he gets fight. started, that shit going to be bad. That shit going to be bad, bro. And we I really can't wait. What's gonna happen. We didn't see upsets and shit, but focus is focus, bro. We'll see the determination in his motherfucker eyes. A man may be known by his look. Look at his eyes. When we seen Ryan in that tank fight at the press conference, that nigga was scared, bro. <laughs> Ryan was scared, man. He so he just was in there throwing scary punches, bro, at tank, bro. That's what it looked like to me. He got caught big time, two times. That's all it took. Two two hard punches on that nigga. He was done. The nigga got up on eleven, bro. So I mean, we know. But what he gonna do in this fight? Don't nobody know that. Don't nobody know what yeah, Devin gonna got, do. I got DHP and Tank Davis in their next two fights. Yeah, I can't go against them with yeah. their opponent. I got that same okay. thing. I think Tank gonna be Frank, and I think Devin gonna be Ryan. No doubt. I could I be go. wrong though. I eat the crow. I ain't got no problem with that. Yeah, I mean, shit, I ain't perfect. Any yeah, but you know I, I don't see it happening. Honestly, yeah, yeah, you know, you know how we do. Yeah, but a nigga just nigga just be saying anything. It don't make no sense, man. I'll be like, man, I'm uh, all right, <laughs> all right, bro. It's cool. Oh, believe me, Timbo, he laser focus. Damn, look good, man. Yeah, Kendall, Hope, he won't he, you let that army nigga knock him out though. Nigga from the army with the nine and one record knocked his ass out though. Why he was sitting up looking past him, thinking he was gonna go get a fight with Torres. And he beat Torres too. Kendall Ho, he beat Torres. Torres knocked him down twice in the first round. He ended his ass in that fight. Kendall Ho knocked that nigga out, had his arm hooked in the rope, bro. He was asleep on the rope. So you can't be underestimating the motherfucker. He thought he had Kendall Hold down. He dropped him twice, like first minute of the fight, bro, two times. Ain't nobody underestimate Ryan Garcia. Everybody know Ryan Garcia hit hard. And he I'm fast. On both sides, Kendra. On both sides. Can't neither one of them underestimate each oh, other, bro. Well, you know Ryan didn't already mean. underestimated Devin. He didn't yeah, already underestimate. Yes, he capped like <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. This nigga better not keep doing this shit to these motherfuckers. Yeah, he he, he, he didn't already he underestimated. He, he undermined it. He done did all the unders you can think about it. Dev, he, he, he really don't think Dev can hurt him. No, he no, nah, he, 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 he do all the uh, he, he ain't umbrella, nigga. Fuck you mean. That's what he <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He under the umbrella too. Yeah, the umbrella yeah, ball. He umbrella, nigga. He do all the uns, nigga. He underestimated. Umbrella. Understand? He he didn't did it all to them, nigga. He didn't understand about the umbrella. He finna be crying again, nigga. <laughs> nigga fucked up. Dev finna fuck him up, bro. Change your turns, nigga. I got Devin in that fight though, man. Right. Devin gonna put the hands on him, bro. I think Devin gonna put the hands on him. Devin ain't taking a loss in the fucking Ryan Garcia. You better have some weight on you too, cause Devin coming coming hard. <laughs> One six eight, nigga. <laughs> One six eight. Yeah. Hey, don't rehydrate your club. One six eight, nigga. He all the way up. We all the way he up. He over nigga. with, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Brian yeah, gonna come in like one fifty two, bro. <laughs> gonna be Brian gonna say, "Damn, this nigga be." Oh shit, yeah, man. That shit funny as a motherfucker, man. I can't wait. I can't fucking I can't wait. wait to see that fight. That nigga go up to one six eight to absorb punches, nigga. <laughs> oh shit. Wait, bro. I want to see that fight, boy. April 20th. What's good, Roy? 
April 20th. Yeah, man. Shit, bro. You see, hey, man, T.O. Playing this flying over my house all <laughs> motherfucking morning. This motherfucker still flying over his damn house, man. I feel like good fellas and shit. K. Drill, the nigga follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking chopper <laughs> over the crib. <laughs> God damn, bro. This motherfucker been out here all day, bro. Traffic ain't even heavy out on this bitch. What you know? Bro? He gonna sneak in the car and keep looking up. Driving yeah. running lights and shit. I was feeling like dude because he broke past while I was jumping. He's Ray car, bro. I, I was looking just like dude, like Ray T. Orler, like, damn, yeah, man, bro. what is he looking Ray Lotto, rest in peace. Yeah, man, that was that was that was a good actor right there, man. Yeah, man. He, he said, that. "Why did you do that? That was all the coke we had." <laughs> He's been dead like a motherfucker. Oh shit, man! Nigga brought brought all the broke ass guns and shit. That shit was funny, the mother. That's how the same situation though. You can't underestimate nobody, bro. Especially in this fight game, man. That's when you get your ass whooped, bro. So is Oscar uh, representing Ron Garcia in this fight? I don't know. He was giggling and laughing and shit like they got him back or something. I don't know. What the fuck, bro. Mm -hmm. They laugh like a motherfucker at that Rogie fight, though. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Rogie need to be a damn shade to himself, man. Hey, bro, he's getting he fights, though. That's the thing. He's still getting fights, bro. He, no, he ain't not no more. That shit is over with. Yeah, he done. There's no way in hell he should have lost. He had a nervous before. breakdown in the ring. Oh, nervous breakdown in the ring and shit, bro. I think he was he, just scared of getting knocked out. That nigga pulled out the Anthony Joshua out the fight. That nigga gonna take the nigga belts and throw him out the ring. These are not my belts anymore. The no force he gets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too big. <laughs> that shit was <will> funny. <laughs> well, go work out, nigga. What you talking about? You too big. Nobody tell you get all that motherfucking muscle and go try to fight somebody, nigga. Slow as fuck. That's what Tank told fucking it's, Frank. I think it's time for the main event, bro. McCardo finna fight, bro, to put it on, bro. <laughs> That nigga a beast, bro. Watch out now, bro. I got a knockout for sure, bro. He going to knock this nigga out, bro. He finna sleep him, bro. He fight at 140. He only uh 22. That nigga only 22 years he old, fight bro. At 140. Okay. Yeah, bro. Yeah, he, he only uh 22 years old, bro. That nigga young as fuck, bro. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. He going to be around for oh, a minute, too. I, I promise you the knockout, he bro. He a beast for real. He listen. He he from America though, but his people his people come from Nicaragua, the same country as mm -hmm. as a Ricardo Mayorga and Chocolatito. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, Alexis right. Aguero. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sure, right remember about Alexis? that. I yeah, Alexis. I remember Alexis Aguero, boy. Yeah. Him and Aaron Fryer, you know what's up. Yeah, that fight right there was a motherfucker, bro. Oh, they had two fights. <laughs> they said that nigga cheated the first, the first one. They tried to say he cheated about with the bottle. bottle I made, wasn't yeah, it? with Panama Lewis. He said, give me the Yeah, the that was the I first made. fight, right? Yeah, that he was had to the come first back one. like, nigga, that bottle shit was a fluke, nigga. Watch this. Yeah, he, yeah. Beat <laughs> he beat him even worse in the rematch, though. He beat him he even, even worse without up, the bottle. Boy. God damn, are oh, you talking about that bottle, you nigga? Know, that was gonna that nigga. Aaron Pryor, that, that fight was gonna be a fixed fight. You know, Aaron Pryor was beating him that fight, he was winning, but they was gonna rob him. Aaron Pryor needed to knock him out. He knocked him out, I think, in, in the last round, or was it round number 14? It was one of the last it was, rounds. It was the round then, uh 14. And they had bro, if he didn't knock he him out, they was gonna out. rob him. If, if yeah, they, they, if he'd have went into that 15 he round, he was winning the fight though. He was winning though, bro. Boxing, that's crazy, bro. That, and they, they was, he gonna, was rob gonna rob him. him if he didn't knock him out. They was gonna rob him. Yep, I remember, but he was winning the whole damn fight down there. He was winning, but a great role was putting up a good fight though. You know, it was a hell of a oh, fight. He won the first two rounds though. He won the first two rounds. Well, won the first bro. two rounds in that fight. If you go back and look. 
They was going at it, though. Started putting Everybody that body work in them. Drop that jab. Drop that long ass. You know, he was way longer than Aaron Pryor. He dropped that jab, boy. He started getting up close on him up against the ropes and just throwing the one, well, two hooks to the body. Bo Bo, he couldn't handle this shit. We didn't lose the fight till he got hooked on drugs. Uh, oh, they got one more fight. It's the co main event. Damn, I thought it was the main event. It's cool. Oh, uh, shit. Got, got excited, team. boy. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. You know what I mean? It's all good. One more yeah, fight in the main. I like this shit, Hebrew. This uh, new shit called Red Owl Boxing. You know, they're they doing some good shit, man. You know, put, putting on fights in, in Houston. And they signing fighters, putting them putting their fights on, on, on the zone. They put their fights on the zone. And uh, you my nigga, like I said, they, they got their own facility, their own arena, putting on these fights. They signing fighters, bro. I like it, bro. I like it. And then, like I told you, they got that pro box. Pro box, that shit is in Florida. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They they got their own shit too. They got their own stadium, own arena. Hey, hey money, motherfucker, gonna start moving around, bro. Watch, they keep on in doing Florida, that. Now these new promotion is coming up. They can motherfucker yeah. gonna start moving around to where they well, want to be. These promoters, they got their own arena though, and they own. You know what I mean? Put their own fights on and putting on TV. You know They're what I mean? They, they own that shit. They got their own arena. You know, yeah. Pro Box got the same shit. They got their own. They own shit. And then it's another one. It's called uh, overtime boxing. Overtime, bro. They, they OTA, shit nice right? too. Yeah, yeah. That we was watching it like last week. I think. I think yeah. Elijah Pierce. Elijah Pierce was on there. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but they they I out do. there in Atlanta. They they putting on fights in Atlanta, and they got their own shit. They signing fighters, and I think that's the future. You know what I mean? Yeah, the networks start talking about we splitting up, we doing this, we doing that. Motherfuckers like shit. Let me let me get my shit going. Then they start yeah. coming up with all type of new I like shit. I like that shit too. Ace money, motherfucker, better uh, step up or these uh motherfuckers gonna be out the door. Motherfuckers gonna start going over here. Free agents gonna start going to them shows, bro. Watch. I'm thinking this dude Mercado gonna be a beast though, bro. He only uh 22 years old, bro. That nigga young as fuck. He fight at 140. He undefeated. He got power. He looked like he gonna be a problem, bro. He looked like he gonna be a problem, bro. And he got the pedigree. He got the accolades as an amateur. You know what I mean? Like I said, over Do 300 he get opportunity. Fights. Do he get opportunity from these niggas talking about he don't bring nothing to the table? He knock a motherfucker out get become a contender. Is y'all gonna fight? Or is y'all gonna be talking that all? He ain't got nothing to bring to the table. He gotta prove himself. See, Red, I will give him that opportunity, put in his fight on the zone. You know what I mean? Before you could even watch his fight, it was nowhere. Now they they put in his shit on the zone, fucking with Red Owl boxing. You know what I mean? They giving must him be that doing opportunity. Something right, eh? Yep. He, he must yep. be doing something right. He can fight, bro. Them, you. bro. That's hey, that's a good sign. Motherfucker seeing you, bro. He said he wants that smoke. You that way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Up into them spotlights, bro. Real talk. That's some. That's some good for him. He look like he gonna be a problem for people, bro. He look like he gonna be a problem. He said he wants that smoke with Tiafimo Lopez. He called out Devin Haney. Man, I'll just play it. I I show you the video, bro. When he called them out, he called out Keyshawn Davis, my nigga. Yeah, he ready, bro. He ready, bro. I'm telling you. Bro, gonna be yeah, a we problem. We see bro. what he do tonight. We see what he do tonight, man. He, all eyes gonna be on him. You know what I'm saying? So that's the publicity he need anyway. Bro, gonna be a problem, bro. I'm telling you. I want to see all the motherfuckers that ain't been doing shit in the ring. Especially motherfuckers with talent like Gary Russell. You know what I'm saying? At 140. We want to see these dudes fight, man. They ain't getting no opportunities or none of this shit. What's up? That, what's up with the fights, man? Why he ain't in the ring with nobody? Why is he sitting on the motherfucking under the totem pole in the boat? All that, bro. I'm about to show you this, Hebrew. Check you this out. You already this one though, they, but, uh, was talking. My first on. time talking to you. 14 and 0, 13 knockouts. Hey, go. Sean Zatel, fighthype.com here. Join with a really highly touted prospect. This is a fighter that, especially from reporters coming out of California and just people that are really, really in boxing, 
say, you know, this guy is a future world champion uh, big time, and that's Ernesto Tito Mercado. I, I'm sure plenty of people watching the interview have heard of you already, Tito, but uh, my first time talking to you, 14-0, 13 knockouts, uh, fight last fight at 140, I believe, you know, campaigning around super lightweight, but what's going on, man? It's, it, you've been, you've been going on like a, a, a spree of who's the top guys we can get that, that don't have to be connected to the big promoter. Is he a former uh, guy like Hang Lundy that used to fight uh, world champions? Is it Endo Geni who went the distance with Haney or Nakatia who went the distance with Stevenson? But How's it feel getting out of the club shows and fighting on the zone in a main event in Houston, bro? Man, it's exciting, you know, to finally, like you said, man, you know, I was getting all these big names, but I wasn't getting the quite exposure. And, 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 and regardless of to be able to get the, you know, boxer, boxer uh, prospect of the year, you know, still doing them in club shows, fighting these guys without no major promoter. I, I think, I mean, it shows that we've been doing a great job, not just, you know, inside the ring, but outside the ring as well. So, um, but man, April 5th, I'm excited. A lot of people I know are going to be tuning into that fight. They want to see how I do under the lights, and I can't wait to uh, to just keep doing what I'm doing. You know, what's what's just your mind state as a young fighter right now approaching the sport? What do you want out of boxing, and what's your mind state right now? Man, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, and I just want – man, really, I just want to – I want to fight the best. Obviously, I want to be a world champion like every other fighter does, right? But, man, I really just want to – Anything I, I do, man, I just want to take over whatever I'm in, you know, whether it's, you know, 140, 147. I want to take over all the weight classes. So I think to be able to do that, you know, and a lot of fighters say it, but they don't really mean it. You know, you look at their resumes and it's not really adding up. I think a lot of, you know, uh, boxing fans and people that just look at the resume, they could tell that I'm, that I'm in business. You know, uh, you said 40 and 47. And just like watching your tape, it's like this kid is big. He's he's when he gets to 47, he's going to be a big 47. Are you are you like trying to do like De La Hoya did, like like Shane did, you know, from Pomona? Try, you know, let me get this belt while I'm young and I can squeeze down to this weight, but I'm really a big welterweight. Yeah, no, I mean, I definitely, I definitely feel that way. I think some of my best fights are gonna be at 47. You know, definitely. Uh, I think that's when I'm really gonna hit all my uh, sort of, I guess, man strength sort of way. I mean, I'm only 22 still, so I think once I have 47, I'm gonna have all my man strength. I'm gonna be obviously fully experienced. So I think some of my best fights are gonna be at 47. You know, and uh, potentially, you know, more weight classes if I'm if I'm able to. Uh, yeah, I mentioned Shane, man. Did, was he is he an inspiration at all coming from Pomona? Yeah, of course, man. I mean, Shane did a lot of great things. You know, forty, he was a, a crazy lightweight, explosive, a lot of power. You know, forty seven, he fought a lot of great fighters. You know, he never really ducked away from any fights, and he won a lot of good fights. You know, beat De La Hoya what twice or was once, once twice. Yeah. So you know, the Shane Mosley is definitely inspiration. You know, we got other. World champions like uh, Richie Sandoval, Albert Davila, uh, Mike Weaver. So we have we have a lot of world champions here, man. So just to, I want to keep adding to the legacy to it. Damn, you hit me with the Mike Weaver. I was like, yeah, that was old school. Nobody really knows. Nobody really knows he's from here like that. I didn't know that. I didn't know. I didn't know all them guys you named before. Yeah. Yo, what's up with it, Warren G? What's going on what's with you? What's going on, big bro? What's happening? What's going man, on, chill, bro? One G, hey, what's man. up, man? Hey, one key thing he fighter. said. Okay, go ahead, bro. Talk to me. Uh, it was one key thing he said about the fighters, man. The resume don't add up with the talk they got, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yup. You know what I'm right saying? When these dudes yeah. saw they mm -hmm. fighting, bro, he kept that shit real. But go ahead. Yeah, man. Um, I like this fighter, man. Tito McCardo Jr., man. Remember that name. Hey. Tito, Tito, bro, remember that, bro. That dude is a beast, man. He, he fought at 140. He called out your boy okay. Keyshawn Davis. Keyshawn said he wanted okay. to go up to 140 to fight Tio. So this guy said he ready. He at 140. He said he gonna knock out Keyshawn Davis. He gonna knock him out. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah, Keyshawn, take that. a tune up he, with this he, nigga right here. He said it. Hey, hey, okay. hey, Kentrell. Remember when remember when Keyshawn was calling out T.O.? He said, I'm going to 140. I'll fight T.O. Well, this nigga yeah. Tito, Tito said he going to knock out Keyshawn. He want to oh, fight damn. Keyshawn. Why Keyshawn won't thought, fight him, yeah. though? This nigga said he going to knock him out. He want that smoke with Keyshawn. All facts. Yeah, like we did we with the poor nigga fight, fight Mattia, nigga. Okay, Keyshawn fight Mikado, nigga. 
What happened to Keep what? Keep that now? same energy, nigga. Keep that same energy. Keyshawn <laughs> fight Mikado, nigga. Mikado, I don't he know. He, he 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 act like he don't know who that is. He ain't this nigga. Want he want that smoke with Keyshawn? Nigga want to fight Keyshawn right because here, he, he said beast, his name. Bro. He a real killer. He a real killer, bro. He, his family come from Nicaragua, the same country as <laughs> Alexis Aguero and Chocolatito, the great champion. Roman Gonzalez, Chocolatito, and also you can't forget about Ricardo Mayorga. Ricardo Mayorga, he knocked out Vernon Forrest. And Corey Spinks, he beat R Ricardo Mayorga to become undisputed champion. You remember that, yeah. bro? Remember that. This dude right here is a monster. Hey, that's some great shit you talk about right there, H Money. Remember that? Those was the golden days. Th those was the golden days of boxing because Vernon Forrest, he those, just beat Shane uh, Mosley two times. Vernon Forrest, because Shane Mosley, at that time, Sugar Shane Mosley, remember, y'all, he just beat Oscar De La Hoya. Sugar Shane Mosley, he be he actually became the number one pound for pound before Mayweather. Mosley beat, he beat Oscar De La Hoya before Mayweather did that. And Mosley, he became... The, he became the number one pound for pound. And then he got beat by Vernon Forrest. Remember, Vernon Forrest, he passed away. He got shot and he got killed. Somebody tried to rob him. He tried to fight him off in front of his godson. He was a great champion. He was the first person. Vernon, Vernon Forrest, he beat Shane Mosley. He was yeah, the first person did. to beat Sugar Shane. Ooh, Remember that? Man. And then Ricardo Mayorga knocked out Vernon Forrest. Ricardo Mayorga knocked him out, bro. Man. <laughs> and, and then Corey Spinks. Corey Spinks, he beat he beat Ricardo Mayorga. He beat Mayorga for the undisputed. And remember, Corey Spinks, his father, Leon, Leon Spinks, he beat Muhammad Ali when Muhammad Ali was older, when he was washed up back then. You know what I mean? But Ali yeah. came back and beat him in a rematch. And then his his uh his uncle, his uncle was Michael Spinks. He beat mm. he beat Larry Holmes. In a, yeah, yeah, he did in a controversial fight. And he was he actually was the uh, one of the greatest light heavyweight champions of all time. He was a light heavyweight champion. Then mm -hmm. he went up to heavyweight and became heavyweight champion. And then Mike Tyson knocked him out. He mm. knocked out Michael Spinks. Yeah. But yeah, the, he the Spinks family, bro. They was such all all it's champions. Breakdown, they was all champions. Leon yeah. Spinks, he was the heavyweight champion, wasn't it? Yeah. He was, was the heavyweight heavy champion yeah. with like seven fights. He became the heavyweight champion with seven fights. When he beat Sound Muhammad like Ali. That. That hey Warren crazy. G. Leon, yes, sir. Man, that's crazy. He, he bro, he one, did one, that. One bud fighting boots. He did that shit. Well, they baby, yeah. man. He did. Oh no. His, I was a baby. You need to figure bro, it out. That fight was in 78, bro. He want that smoke with you. you. He want that smoke with you. Then boost just, uh, boost just, just uh, did, 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 did him and his manager made up? I mean, his promoter? Now they made yeah, up? we got that worked out. We got that worked out, Warren yeah. G. Yes. It, it looks like Terrence don't have nowhere to go but to, to uh, Boots. If you want to yeah. fight that's what I've been telling you for the last three months, uh, OG. That's what the young buck been trying to tell you for the last three months. He got to fight Boots. Don't nobody else want to fight him. I guess he got to fight. Gotta, I mean, he, if he, he wants to fight again. It's dead or a motherfucker leaving his nobody. ass out the draft with Boots, bro. You might well fight nobody that fight, bro, fight. and go and, and keep it moving, bro. But don't, well, don't nobody want to fight Boots. Y'all just saying it like it's easy to do that. No, he could drop them belts, go up, or he could fight Boots, bro. What you finna do, bro? Holding the belts in for leverage ain't shit, bro. That's weak shit. That's weak shit, bro. So you stagnant, nigga. You standing still, nigga. You ain't doing shit. Seems like a lot of people that ain't doing is shit. That gone, nigga. It's trying to move on, bro. Seems like a lot of people ain't doing shit. Straight up, bro. We're gonna push that shit, nigga. Or get or we gonna get on your fucking nerves, nigga. Fuck you, we man. Got Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, we got you, one G. Go ahead, brother. Seems like ain't a lot of people ain't doing shit. 
Don't nobody. Uh, what's what's your what's your boy name? That's in the um, super. Is it super Miller weight? And I like H. Who name start with a D. Mike Duncan. Who are you talking Maria? about? Maria. Maria. Yeah, what about Maria. I mean, look at he. I mean, he, ain't nobody mentioning his name. Making sure yeah. that his name don't come out of nobody's mouth. Hey, boy, he, 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 he like, like bad, ain't he? Right. He the, he the mean, boogeyman for real. He the real boogeyman. It's bad all over. Don't nobody, don't nobody want, I mean, don't Back nobody want to fight. That's Back my favorite team. fighter. He, that's my favorite fighter, David Morrell. That's the one. They just want to fight each other, bro. See what Tim said? Bye, can easily be the most entertaining sport. In the world, if these motherfuckers just stay, just say fuck it and come together and all fight each other, bruh. Shit, that the, the man, they but they, but, it, but, but Tim, but Tim, the spaghetti gonna run out. It ain't no stretch in it, bro. It's still red, it ain't pink yet, bruh. So you gotta, you gotta wait. <laughs> I'm a nigga trying that, to feed ten thousand motherfuckers know. with a with a with a soup pot, bro. He trying to stretch that shit, bro. That's what they doing, Tim. Go ahead, one G. I hear you, brother. Go ahead. I mean, look at Earl uh, Spence. He, he he talking about he had he was injured and all of this. All of this. That door when he want now he want to fight again. What kind of bullshit is that? Man, I still want to see Earl fight too, man. I just want him to heal all the way so it won't be no motherfucking excuses, bro. Let's go in the ring and 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 and, and challenge Sandor. He could have just called. He could have just called Terrence and said, no, "Let's get that rematch." Yeah. I don't think he want to do that, bro. More G, I've been <laughs> ducking that smoke for nine months. Won't y'all fight, Boots, man? Put up. Yeah, man. Ain't anything with Bud name in it got to be boost behind it, bro. Or up, or move up. If, if they, well, now I think that he got his his promoter. I mean, for one, I mean for one, and I'm not making this as a excuse. I'm just saying that he didn't have he didn't have a promoter. At least what I, that's what I thought because he's suing his promoter or something. And I think they worked it out now. So let's see what the, where they go with it. No, bro. Make a decision, though. Make a decision, bro. You sure didn't have no problem with running over to Brian, nigga. The, 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 the uh, Red Sea parts. <laughs> <laughs> Don't nobody want everybody moving out the way. Yeah. Hey man, dry shot in the in the middle, bro. You sure fuck it right. Yeah, hey, man. I'm watching this fight. This shit is crazy right here. He keep hitting him with low blows, bro. He's trying to get disqualified, like this fight. nigga, man. He's trying to get disqualified. He hitting this nigga low blows with like Andrew Galata, man. <laughs> trying to get his buddy and get out of there. He's hey, doing man. like Andrew Galata, man. I was definitely like worse than that. Like, oh, he hit him low again. He hit him low again. Hey, oh, nigga, hey, hey, he took his nigga. really bow ass oh, out, bro. Oh, hell, not again. As soon as I said that, this God damn, it. bro. I ain't never. Oh my God, bro. Mm, damn, bro. You gotta get out the ring, bro. Disqualify this nigga, bro. Damn, worse than James bro. Butler, bro. Oh my God, bro. He he the worse than James again. Butler. But he bro. got up. He mad as fuck. He trying to fuck this nigga up for doing that, bro. He got back up. He ready to fuck him up, bro. He mad. Damn, he ain't take the five. This nigga just ain't low. He came out swinging though. Dang, this nigga, bro. They about to disqualify this nigga, bro. Andrew this Galata crazy. in the ring. God damn, so crazy. <laughs> He trying to take a motherfucker out. That's that Riddick Bow. Took Riddick Bow ass out with this shit. This is crazy. This <laughs> fight, bro. crazy, bro. I, oh my god! He told you where the belt line was. That nigga hit him on his oh. thigh. Shit, bro. You weak as hell. <laughs> 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 
You about to hit him low again. <laughs> you about to take a point away. God damn, oh man. Hit him low again, did you? What happened? The round is over? Damn. This shit is crazy, this fight, bro. God damn, just, they got to drop some ice in the nigga shorts, man. He done punched this nigga in his nuts three times, I heard. Fuck you, man, nigga. He need to be out the ring. I was sport, nigga. Who fighting? Um, They got this new fighter. He, his name is uh, Tito, Tito Mercado. He he fight okay, at 140. He, fight. he not fighting no, right, he ain't now. Fight right now. He ain't he fight fighting right now. now. This the co-main event. Oh. This the co-main event right here. It's two fighters, bro. Okay. He hit him with low blows. He fighting real dirty, man. Is this dude? He, I think he Filipino. Is a one black fighter in a, in a Filipino, bro. And he keep hitting him with low blows, bro. The black fighter keep hitting hitting him low, bro. Oh yeah, he getting beat up. Man. He done got hit yeah, somewhere. He don't like crazy, this shit. Like. He stopped the fight, so he go ahead and get that check. Well, they took two, yeah, two that's points what I away. Said, they already that's took two I... points away. First, the referee thought the guy was acting. And he he counted it as a knockdown, and then he he realized, man, this dude hitting hitting him with low blows every time. Then he almost hit him low again. He can't control oh, himself, bro. bro. He can't. Yeah, he's trying oh, to get that money, bro. The right that time. Oh, another right. He catching him now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He just got to keep his punch. Oh, he acting. This nigga might be acting. He just acting, bro. What happened, bro? He faking, bro. This dude, bro. He ready to quit. Oh, he about to quit. He acted oh, he quitting. Oh, yeah. he's trying to disqualify. He's trying, trying to get an easy line. win. You know he's faking. Oh, he he's got trying a, to get an easy win, yeah, bro. I think he was acting now. Now he's oh, faking. He bro. Me, bro. Yeah, but oh, he got back up now. Yeah, yeah he that nigga by, He hit him on that rib. That's what happened. Talking about the neck. Oh, the black nigga catching him now. Yeah, they fighting. They rumbling. You never know with this guy, bro. If it's a low blow or not, because he acting too. <laughs> <laughs> he might start hitting him with low blows, man. You know what I mean? This nigga tricky, man. Got to watch this nigga, man. Hey, man, I don't be liking the Andrew mm -hmm. Galata fights. That shit weak, bro. You know damn so well nigga I, finna be out. Might be, uh, Say it again, 1G. Well, say he it again. Broke up. What'd you say, 1G? Yeah. Say it again, big bro. <laughs> You breaking up, bro? Thank you anyway. I, oh, yeah, I, I like that fight. anyway. Yeah, I like, I that, like fight, that fight, man. I like that. I think that's, that's a good matchup, that, man. That fight gonna get some make some money, bro. That's I know. Yeah, I know. They that's make the weight, man. It's gonna be a damn good I fight. Know. They gonna go to that stratosphere with that one. Man, yeah, they gonna go to jail, nigga. Fuck you, man. <laughs> 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 now, he seems to be doing pretty good now, man. I'm just I talking that. shit, man. It's going to be a good fight, though, man. Because, in a way, boy, y'all know he ain't no, put, no motherfucker push over, nigga. Y'all know this shit. That's going right, to be a right. damn. That's fireworks right there. Man, that's going to, yeah. That's going to be a two point some million. That's for sure. The second time that, that tank start off, good fight. Uh, it's gonna be hard the motherfucker to calculate that uh data like that. You gotta go and get it get it in, bro. Ain't no calculations. Or you're gonna get calculated on, nigga. What you mean? He good at that 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 data shit, but uh not with no inner way. You're gonna have to hear me up. What he tell him in Blue Hill, Blue Sugar, Blue Sugar Hill, what he tell him, hey Trish, and I'm coming back to get my shit. He say, you know you better hear me the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that was my shit though. He said, you know you better hear me the fuck up, nigga. This shit finna be gone. Nigga. Uh, uh, oh shit, man. Bro, that calculation, you gotta hear me up and do that shit with anyway. He gonna be in there trying, he gonna be boxing, punching, slugging. Both of them do it all. So that's the damn good fight to me, bro. Yeah, well, your boy, your yellow bus Rolly got knocked out, man. Man. Pitbull wasn't playing with him. Uh, he, need to talk to he say, man, get my motherfucking belt. Fuck wrong with you. Get <laughs> <laughs> motherfucking belt. They get my motherfucking belt, nigga. 
Somebody go retire. I, you got damn right. Rolly. Go see that. The fight is over. The fight is over. I think that nigga quit. Damn. I, I, yeah, he quit, bro. Doing all that acting. I wonder what happened. Why did he stop the fight? That's that nigga crazy. real was broken. He's trying to hit the man with low blows to even it up. Yeah, he. Yeah, I think he quit. He quit in the corner, bro. That's what happened. Oh, man. He, yeah, man, that nigga it's crazy. It's taking too long. We got to get this time schedule going. Get y'all ass up out the <laughs> ring. Okay, get it. Yeah, I was only supposed to go three rounds. We was only supposed to do three rounds. I don't know why we. <laughs> Damn, bro. I don't know, man. It's so much acting and boxing, man. We don't know what the fuck going on for real, man. Man, I just gave up. So the bro. only for sure thing is the knockout, man. Bobby That's the was, only thing Bobby we know. Was, is, my bad. Go ahead, Warren G. When, when the real fighters fight, man. I'm sorry, bro, because this is strong this is fighter, bro. That's it. Yeah, I get tired just waiting for a good fight to come on now. It's just, it's just too much, bro. Too much bullshit. Yeah, man, that I weight is like fight. a motherfucker. Elevator music on on the motherfucker phone got you on hold, bro. Yeah. For real, for real. Real shit, bro. That's exactly what this shit like, bro. Ben Vidas can't get a fight. Well, shit, fight David Morrell then, shit. Canelo don't want you. Go ahead and let David Morrell, you and David Morrell get in the ring. Let's see what that's about. You know what I'm Man, saying? It's always, hey, Warren G, it's always them only motherfucker left motherfuckers that don't nobody want to fight. He the only one left there in your face. Oh, he ain't, he ain't got nothing to bring to the table, man. Then when you do get that fight, niggas be pulling out fights and shit. Nigga, you was capping, right, nigga. Right, right. right. So, I mean, you know, I just think it all in this sport, bro. Fives and shit. So, you have to have surgery in both eyes, and then you want to come back. Oh, yeah. I want that match with Fandor. Ain't that some bullshit? Uh -huh. I've seen a lot of shit in this sport. What I don't want to see again is nobody get killed in the ring. And we can't, that's inevitable, bro. When when the month when you in the hurt game and hurt business. Somebody gonna fuck you up. You get it's always somebody big and better, is what I mean. Not the death or nothing. I'm saying it's always somebody big and better when you talking shit, bro. So motherfucker better stay focused in this sport, bro. Or guess what? It's a 10 bell salute for you. Real shit, bro. Gotta keep that shit a billion, bro. We don't want to see that shit. We don't want no 10 bell salutes in the sport, but it happened, though. Motherfucker ain't gonna last forever. But, gee, I'm just Maybe. tired of this shit. I'm gonna be honest. I'm so... I, I go ahead, one G cook, cook, bro. Go ahead. Second day, we just fell off the rails, man. I'm saying, damn, we getting good fight. Now we can't even get shit. But the fighters is like unbreakable. Remember that movie, Unbreakable? Bruce Willis says, "Nigga, I don't want to fight." I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm sorry to say this, but Show, Show, Showtime gave us. I'm sorry that Showtime went out, man, because Showtime would have allowed us to see a little bit more, some more good fights. Since man. they went down, shit, we just. Uh, I missed this shit like a motherfucker, one G. All right, fight fans, here we go. 12 rounds of five. <laughs> Who is it? The classic uh, Jimmy Lennon and shit, bro. Missed those days, bro. It's Showtime. That's when a motherfucker know, boy. It's finna go down, nigga. <laughs> the Fandor in the uh, uh, Tenzu fight. How many, how many views you think that got? I think it got less than 100. I don't know, man. But it was some bloody shit going on. And some swole face looking shit. That man, he looked like uh, one of them puffer fish, bro, when he came that out there. Fight. Fight. That was a good fight. It was a good fight. Nigga, he was busted though. God damn. <laughs> he was all right though. Shit. But he showed broke George's nose. At least that's what he said. 
Didn't he look like Squidward, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he look like Squidward? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, man. My vision be on, man. I just it just come to me, bro. Like that thing look like Squidward, bro. <laughs> six six, nigga. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> hey, man, he flat that nigga face, bro. He didn't have no nose. That shit was all swollen to one, like. He Prometheus, nigga. <laughs> Prometheus. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, boy, G, I can't get shit past you, motherfucker, boy. Your ass on everything. What the nigga look like for me? Pale as fuck, boy. Moving spoons and shit, nigga. Who is, who is powder? <laughs> <laughs> You got that shit down pat, man. You, you sure you ain't missing your cooler, man? Stand up or something, bro. I miss you, buddy. It's the motherfucking one, G, man. The nigga, who is you? Powder. This nigga pale as hell. You moving spools and shit, nigga. This nigga face flat as a motherfucker. No nose on this shit, nigga. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> got beak up, beak up, uh, a little beak on this face and shit. Hey man, that beak was flat like a motherfucker. That nose gonna be broke every time. So this sticking way out there, man. Looking like a witch. Man, that nigga look just like C. Hag, boy. (laughs) (laughs) Nigga look like C. Hag. Look, Alice the Goon. That's who that nigga look like. They may not know what you're talking about, you know. They don't know about C. That's why I can't get shit past this nigga Warren G. He know everything I'm talking about. He look like Alistair Gold. Oi, Lord, Popeye. Oi, Lord, Popeye. Shit. He won the fight, though, Warren G. But goddamn, boy. You're taking them back too far, bro. Let's go. It's time for the main event. He broke. Okay, that shit. They cleared the ring. Let's get it, man. Yeah, shit. My okay. Time. Mercado time that boy Tito. Let's go, Tito. He a beast, bro. 140. Better watch out, bro. This dude going to be a problem, bro. You know what I mean? He coming for that smoke. He said he want to fight everybody, bro. He called out Devin Haney. He called out T.O. He called out hey, Keyshawn. Hey, H Money. This one thing I don't know about the Mercado dude. What's what, what's his what's his style? He he conventionally he softball. No, he orthodox. He orthodox. Yep. Okay, yep. okay, okay. Yeah, he that, that make a difference. He got power. He a knockout artist, bro. Straight right hand, he, young is boy. He, is he, no, hey. yeah. yeah, he from America. You know, but oh. yeah, he uh. He from uh, California. He's a Negro he from, Pomona. Though. He from Pomona, the same place as uh, Shane Mosley. Pomo- Pomona. Yep. He from California, Who bro. Who fighting? Huh? Who he fighting? He fighting he somebody he named uh, Barrio. This dude named Barrio. You see how your he boy is selling He a beast, he, he he a beast bro. He gonna be a monster, bro. I think so he's the best man. prospect at one forty. He was a, a decorated he amateur. He, he he was a decorated amateur boxer too. You know what I mean? He had a, okay. he had a, over three hundred fights in the amateurs. You know what I mean? Yeah, did he, he season, can punch? He... Yep, he seasoned. He You're right. He went to the Olympics too. I think he was like an, an Olympian. Damn, he Olympic. He, yeah, he, he was in the Olympics. I think he was like a art, like he was like a, like a, I think a replacement, like a, a replacement in the Olympics in case somebody had pulled out. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. But he went through. Yeah, he yeah, was there. He was there. Shit, he was there. Just in case, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was there. It don't matter. He Olympia. Shit, what the fuck? He's on his way to the ring right now. 
Tito Ricardo. Let's yeah, go. You going to commentate? Yeah, I'm going to commentate it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Tito McCardo Jr. on his way to the ring. Undefeated. Knockout artist. You know what I mean? 13 wins. 12 knockouts. He only 22 okay. years old. 5'10". Okay. With a 74 arm reach. You know what I'm saying? He a beast, bro. I got a knockout, bro. I'm thinking first round knockout, bro. I'm a, my uh, prediction first round height? knockout, bro. What's his height? He 5'10". Okay. I'm going to say five, three, ten. man. His arm reached 74 like Crawford. He only uh only 22 years old, bro. 22, bro. He a beast, bro. He fought at 140. I think he going to be a problem, bro. I think he going to be a champion one day, bro. He got potential. He definitely I got, got the, the potential. I got him in three, H. Okay. I've got him in the first round, bro. You got he him in the first round. Yeah, I'm calling yeah. it off the third round. I think he's going to knock this nigga out of third round, man. He might. Very old, good boxer, bro. He ain't going to give him the first round, H, unless that nigga try to square up with this dude. I ain't seen neither one of they ass, though, so I don't what know. I'm like that. What if he just can't take his power like this nigga just – he oh, got man. that crazy power like that. You know what I mean? What if that nigga just cracking like that? You know, see, what, if they both, what if they both on the same level? Well, I ain't seen neither one of them. I don't know. So I'm saying, what if they both crack like that and it'd be a fight? I, I think he's going to knock his ass out in third. Yup. He a beast, it's Something bro. happened in this third I like round. This fighter, bro. I think he's a, like an underrated fighter. He's underrated, bro. They don't give him the credit that he deserved. They never did, bro. He slept on, bro. And now he fighting on the zone. They giving him that opportunity. Red Owl Boxing, the new promotion that came from Canada. Now they in Houston. They signing fighters. They they got Tito Mercado, bro. You know what I mean? De, De Niro Barrio. He three. He uh, thirty three years old. Five six, bro. He a little dude. Mercado gonna knock him out, bro. This nigga little, bro. Let's oh, see, man. man. He a little nigga. He fighting. Mercado, bro. He ready. Tito. Undefeated, bro. 13 wins, 12 knockouts. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let's go, bro. Future champion. Future champion, bro. I promise you that. Some more. He, a beast, been hanging bro. Out. he a Salute, monster. Sister. At 140, bro, y'all got to watch out. All the fighters at 140, watch out for this guy. He the best uh, young fighter right there. He only uh, 22. He the best prospect. At 140 for sure. Let's see what he gonna do tonight, bro. Let's get it, bro. Round number one, man. Okay. Let's go, bro. Yeah, that nigga was already in the ring. Yup, they in the ring, bro. Let's they go. ready to go. Round number one, man. Let's go, man. Tito Mercado come out, bro, with the jab. Yup, jab. That's good, bro. He know what to do. Another jab, bro. Yup, jab to the body by Tito. Tito. He measuring. He looking for the one-two. Jab upstairs by Tito. He got power in both hands. Yup, jab. A good defense by Barrio, bro. I think he like Dominican or Cuban or something. You know what I mean? He could box, but he a little guy, bro. He real small compared to this, to Tito. Tito touching him with a left. Let's see, man. This, this ring is small, too. Ain't nowhere to run, bro. Jab upstairs by Tito. Yup. He moving, though. Barrio on his back foot. Tito walking him down. Tito with a jab, touching him. Oh, with the left, he missed it. Right hand, good defense by Barrio. Yup, but Tito walking him down. He getting close to him. Yup, right hand by Tito. Good defense by Barrio. Uh-huh. Tito taking his off. Left hook to the body. Left hook to the body by Tito. Left hook upstairs. He caught him with that one. That got in. Yup. He walking him down. Got him on the ropes now. Barrio's on the ropes. Tito with the left. Tito missed with the right. One, two by Tito. Throw a combo, though. Like a three-punch combination. Four punches. Five punches. You know what I mean? Take off on him. Fire on that nigga. You feel me? Fire on him. <laughs> One, two by Tito. Yup. Mm-hmm. He walking him down. Easy work. Yup. He fast too. He strong. He looking for the knockout. He looking for the knockout. Yep. 
We got one minute and 14 seconds left. Tito looking for that knockout, left hook to the body. He's sitting down on his punches. Those is power shots. Yep, good defense by Barrio, man. He ain't through no punches, Barrio. He all defense. He's trying to survive. Good left by Tito. He ain't throwing no punches. He all defense. He ain't trying to fight back. He ain't trying to fight back. He's trying to survive, bro. But he getting hit with power. He threw a punch right there. He missed it. A wild punch. Wild ass punch. Right hand to the body by Tito. Tito with a left hook to the body. Good left hook. Damn. Good defense by Tito, too. Barrio tried to throw a wild punch. Barrio came back with a left. Barrio trying to fight back now. He throwing like a couple of punches. He trying though, bro. He got heart, bro. I like Barrio, bro. He just a smaller guy, bro. 20 seconds left. Tito looking for that knockout. Tito applying that pressure. Come on, Tito. Get up on him. Take off on him, bro. J jab upstairs by Tito, bro. Let's see, can he get him out of there? Right hand. Ooh, he made it past the first round, bro. I'm surprised, bro. That was a – that nigga had to – that was all defense, bro. He was trying to survive, bro. Hey, Dang, bro. he wasn't really fighting back, though, but he, he made it – he made it, though. He survived the first round, bro. You got to watch out for this dude. You know how they do. They try to test and see that Bud Crawford shit, bro. Let a motherfucker hit him on his gloves and see how hard he hitting this shit. But Tito was on him, Can't though. do this shit, bro. That nigga was all defense. He tried to uh, swing back, though. He threw a couple of wild-ass wild punches. He missing, though. Tito got deep, good defense. He blocking that shit, too. Cause that so nigga I got one zero Tito, man. Yeah, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Tito look good, though. I ain't going to lie, bro. But look. You got to see, see you. You don't underestimate the other dude, but it's shit. Yeah, that nigga you gotta, trying you gotta to survive. Some punches, nigga. Well, he fighting him like a way bigger guy, though. He know they put him in there to get knocked out, bro. He, he ain't trying to get knocked out. Like, he know, like, nigga, that nigga coming, he know coming in there to knock him out. Hey, 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 one hey, G, one G, that nigga, that nigga current, current, but burial, like nigga. Scared, though. That nigga scared in there, bro. He that current burial, that nigga in there fight like he in there with boots, nigga. Yeah, hey, he big as shit, Tito. Tito a big 140, bro. God damn, bro. We need some yeah. Jermaine Ortiz in here with him. That should be a good fight. He's pretty fast, though. He kind of nice. Good jab by Tito, especially to be a, a young a young fighter like this. He pretty good, hey, bro. I like what I see. He got potential. He definitely got potential, bro. Uh, Way around the world. This is pretty good, bro. It's not that bad. It's it's solid, bro. He looked pretty good. Three. I ain't going to lie. He pretty fast, too. He pretty fast, too, bro. He damn near fight like a black fighter almost, bro. He, you know what I mean? Good left uh, hook. Hey, money. They in the round already. It's round two. Yeah, round number two. Good left hook by Tito. One, two. He pretty fast, bro. He's strong, too. Yeah, he got to throw more punches. Yeah, one, two. You stop looking for the big shot. Oh, two left hooks by Tito. One, two. He breaking them down. Another one, two. Let's go, bro. He got to be faster, though, bro. He just looking for that one big shot. I want him to yeah. throw more punches. Be, you know what I mean? Stop looking for the big shot. Throw, you know what I mean? Yeah, he no dude scared. So he, just, he, he trying to get him out there. He no dude scared. He, 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 he know he do scared. So. He's trying to hit him with that one hitter quitter. That one yeah, big yeah. shot. Get him out of there with yeah. it. But I think yeah. if you throw a, you know, a, a bunch of punches, one of them going to get in. Instead of throwing just one, Throw like a combination. One of them going to get in then. You know what I mean? It's better to throw like, like a combinations. Yeah. I think the combination is better. Break them you know down I mean? like you said. Break them down. He is breaking Stop them down. Even if, they go, even if it goes four or five he, rounds. He got a good it's, jab, it's, though. He, do, he, he, he got a good jab on him. I noticed that. He throw a strong jab. His jab is very strong. He throw power punches. He got power, bro. One, two, come on. Hebrew might be right, but it might be round number three. Let's see. Good right hand by Tito. Good body shot right there, bro. Left hook. 
Oh, good combination. That was good there. That's what I'm talking about right there. That, that was perfect, bro. Hit him with a three punch combination. He breaking him down. Now he got him on the ropes. Now you got to throw a combo, throw a flurry. Barrio look for one big shot. He's trying to counter. Good defense. By yep. He's he taking his time and breaking him down. He being smart, though. What'd you say? Can I get a make flurry? Say, say, what'd you say? Can I get a make flurry? <laughs> make flurry. <laughs> ah, come on, man. Stop playing with me, bro. That's back in the days, man. <laughs> you still be getting one, bro? Yeah. You still gonna get one? <laughs> three <laughs> piece, three piece. Give me three pigs. <laughs> yeah, man. For sure, bro. You still go get you a McFlurry, though? No, nah, no. Nah. I was just talking about dude. I would need a dude to do flurries. <laughs> you need a flurry. You need a flurry. <laughs> Give him a flurry. Yeah. He was uh, breaking him down, though, man. He got he, he landed a, a big left hand right there. He hurt him with that shot. He breaking him down, man. Round number three, man. Hebrew said round number three. Let's see, man. I think Hebrew going to be right about this. Come on, Tito. Give me that knockout. Round number three. Round Tito number McCarlo three. Let's Jr., go. Future Let's world champion. It. Let's, Let's go. Come this on, dude got power. Stab upstairs by Tito McCardo. Another jab. Money, Keep applying that pressure, bro. There you go. Jab upstairs by Tito. Keep breaking him down. Yep. He touching him with it. Right hand upstairs by Tito. Good defense. He fast too. Good jab upstairs. Good jab by Tito. Keep throwing it. He got a good jab. Good footwork right there. I seen the footwork. You asked about it. He just showed it right there, Warren G. He, he pretty good, yes, man. Sir. Yeah, I like that. Oh, he throw with power shots. He heard him with that right hand. It a left him to the body. Round number three, he's starting to heat up. He heated it up now like Crawford. He took his time. Yep. Round number three, he real dangerous. He's starting to open up now. Now he's in a, in a rhythm. He's in his rhythm now. He feeling good. Oh, he just missed with that left. He almost knocked him out with that one. Damn. He's trying to get him out of there now. One, two. He's starting to open up with it now. Yup. He look real confident, real aggressive. Yup. Barrio coming forward, though. Yeah. McCardo fast, bro. He a good fighter, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Good defense, too. Yup. One, two. Yup. Good jab right there. He's setting up his power shots, bro. Good defense. The footwork is good, bro. One, two, bro. Another one, two. He walking him down now with the power shots. Left hook. Got him on the ropes. Yeah, take off on him, bro. He's smart, though, bro. He don't rush you to nothing, bro. In and out. Good defense, bro. Good left hand, bro. He's strong, bro. He a beast, bro. It, it's just a matter of time before he stop him. He got good faint. Good faint right there, bro. He's setting up, bro. But he's sharp, bro. Do the beast. Dang, bro. He could box, Warren G. He a good boxer, bro. He a good boxer, too. Not just a puncher. He a boxer puncher. He's a boxer puncher, bro. Yup. He gonna be a problem for some of them guys, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. They gonna... Mayweather need to sign this type of fighter. Mayweather can make him a star, bro. I don't know what Mayweather doing, bro. Yup, man, playing. He doing some Sugar Ray Leonard type of shit now, bro. He showboating. Yeah, he, he, he did the Sugar Ray Leonard, bro. He politicking. That's it. He made it out of third round. Yup, too big. Made, yeah, that, that was a good round, though. He really was showing off in that round. He yeah, looked he was good. Bro. He, I thought he's gonna he get his ass. I almost ready. He a good. Fighter. I don't know. I don't he think he make it last in those another two rounds, bro. That nigga is a good ass fighter, bro. How many rounds is it? 
Um, how many rounds they going? I think it's like a ten rounder. I think it's like a ten rounder. Okay. <clears throat> it ain't gonna go ten though. No, I ain't going them down. He breaking them down, bro. Round number four. Dude. Too short yep. to fight with Round a seventy. Dude with a seventy-four inch arm reach. He say you only do one punch. I told you he's gonna be on his bike all night. Yep, he is. He is, bro. I mean, I, I, I think that's all he can do. What else he gonna do with that type of fighter, bro? The Ronda Dixon was Pull off good. the current, like I said, nigga, current and boot. He can't do nothing else with him. Then they stopped the fight. No, what happened, bro? No, his glove. They, oh, he got knocked out. It. What the fuck? They stopped it. Damn, I'm Damn, one round. Damn, what, bro? I just looked away for one second. He got knocked out, bro. Damn, Damn I bro. just missed what it. Happened? H -Wedding. What the man, fuck? We the best. We be oh, pissed right now. Damn, bro. The fight what, over. What happened, bro? Pissed. Replay, man. man. Bro, we gotta wait on it, bro. God damn, this nigga lightning, bro. This nigga got the Muhammad Ali for real, nigga. Lightning punch, nigga. Oh, it's over with. He just stopped him. Dang. I gotta see the replay. Ricardo knocked him out. What the fuck happened? Get the corner stop it, nigga. Nah, hell I ain't got nah. no visual on it, bro. I ain't got no visual on it. Let me see this shit, bro. What, what happened, bro? He blinked that nigga, man. Damn. He, I'm waiting on the motherfucker fourth round to go in. That nigga, I know he ain't quit, bro. Come on, bro. Man, the corner stop it, bro. I ain't want to see him in there no more. That's some bullshit. Damn, yeah. bro. I looked away for two seconds. It was over, bro. Damn, bro. Don't it be like that. Don't blink fighting shit. You can't blink, man. You got to keep watching. Fucked up, bro. I was waiting on round four. This nigga didn't come out, bro. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. Let me see. Let me see the replay now, bro. What happened? It was a body shot. But what happened, bro? He must have quit, bro. Man, give yeah, my check. Give my check, nigga. We out of here. <laughs> he was right, stop at three. So we quit in the quarter. That nigga quit. Oh, come on, Barry. Yeah, bro. man. Yeah, man. Oh, payday. Man. Payday, yeah, payday. Man out. down, man down. Payday, payday, man down. He was his ass. <laughs> I told you that round, he was fucking him up in that round, though. He so was shit, can I give my credit for him whooping his ass in the third round, nigga? Yeah, it was over with. <laughs> It only took you gave that nigga three rounds, bro. I told you, bro. Three rounds. Damn. Nigga probably listening to H Money like, nah, we just gonna come into the fourth round and quit. Hey, you hear me, boy? G, that nigga listen to H Money, nah, nigga. We gonna fuck that nigga. He gonna be getting no predictions off on me, nigga. <laughs> he got a world title. They gave him. They gave him a, like a, a belt though. He got a WBA, so he won a WBA, bro. So he ranked in the WBA, bro. He, oh, hey, okay. he coming, bro. He's on his way, bro. Oh shit. He's on his way, bro. Watch out for him, bro. Oh, that was a uh, that was a uh, um, open belt or no, something. No, Warren G. Yeah, it was something like it. It was one of the like the small belts. The WBA oh. gave him some though. Yeah, him, Black Hill, man, don't blink ass nigga, bro. The yeah. fight was over with no punches, nigga. Hey, this dude a beast, bro. He had 140. He called out Devin Haney too, Zay. You better watch out for this guy. He called out Devin Haney. I, hey, he better than a lot of fighters at 140. I ain't gonna lie, he better than Ryan Garcia. I'll tell you that already. I'll tell you that already. He's better, a better fighter than Ryan Garcia. I think he better than a lot of guys at 140, bro. He better than a lot of fighters in that weight division. He gonna be a problem, and he bigger than bigger too. He bigger than Devin Haney. You know what I mean? That's again. We get some of that Jermaine Ortiz smoke. That look like yeah. that's a good matchup. Sounding like it. yeah, that'll be a what good fight. But he he might be better than Jermaine Ortiz. Yeah, I think he better than Jermaine. I ain't gonna lie. 
I like Jermaine, but I think he going to beat Jermaine Ortiz, bro. For sure. I got him beating Jermaine, bro. This dude with a problem. He only uh 22. He's only getting better and better, bro. This yeah, dude is a beast, bro. David Morrell shit, bro. They say he got to put some work in. Bro, he putting in work. Don't start making excuses. He said he want to fight. Come on, man. Give him Come a on, Zay, yeah, man. He, what you mean he got to put some work in? He got a belt. They gave him one, bro. He in the rankings. He on his way. Now you trying to act like he a nobody. Nigga, he better than Ryan Garcia. And y'all fighting Ryan niggas, Garcia. Talking about motherfucker ain't brought you to the table, bro. He way better than Ryan Garcia. And y'all about to fight him? Y'all finna we fight Ryan? We got the Ryan. same hard word that nigga Tank got, nigga. What you mean? That dude is a beast, bro. Tito McCardo Jr., future Damn, give him some. Get, the best breaking up, at 40. The best prospect at 140. For sure, bro. He better than a lot of fighters at 140 already. He better than Ryan Garcia, bro. This dude is a beast, bro. They said Mexican boxing. They like him. Look, <laughs> the trolls. The trolls like this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Look, they coming through. They like him. Hey, man. He a beast, bro. I don't care what, where he from, what he is, bro. That dude could fight. Like I said. Listen, he, he from America. His family come from Nicaragua and Mexico. He mixed. You know what I mean? It is what it is, bro. Hey, to my boy Cam, there he go. Hey, Cam, this nigga a beast, bro. The little this killer nigga Cam. A beast, nigga. Hey, Tito, bro. Tito McCardo, bro. He want that smoke, Cam. This the nigga, nigga quit, Cam. You told me about Kid Kansas. Nigga, this nigga right here like that. This nigga a beast, my nigga. This nigga quit that on the stool, phony. killer Cam. Watch out, <laughs> made my <laughs> you made a nigga quit on the stool, killer hey, cam. This nigga, bro, he like Come that. on through, killer he cam. Said, yeah, bro. Come Tito on through, Macardo, man. Bro. Tito McCardo, bro. Tito. Tito, bro. I think he better than Tia Fimo, bro. He better than Tio. Tito, he called out Tio. That nigga T Tito want that smoke, bro. Let's you know, get like that shit to Tito Tio fight, nigga. Yeah, he said he want that smoke to Tio. He said he want that smoke to Tio, dog. Because you fuck with we Tio. We gonna keep throwing shit out there until something happen for us, yeah, nigga. Tio. We give for what nobody talking about, nigga. Hey, Y'all say this dude like that, huh? This nigga a beast, though. Bro. Hey man, he put put hands on this nigga, made him quick, killer cam. Oh yeah. What's his record? Eight. He uh 14 and uh hey. 12 now. Hey Cam, he fight at 140. Oh yeah, that's where we need him. Hey, yeah, he's coming, he's coming he, in. To me, honestly, he the best uh prospect at one at 140, bro. Who you yeah, think about? I mean, if you think about it, AJ, it's not really no 140 prospects. That's what I'm saying. Um, not about um, thinking off. about it. Like, everybody at 140 it, is, you feel me, high end contender. This is my fighter at 140. This is my fighter, bro. I'm finna build him up, bro. I like this dude, bro. And then I think he a free agent. He a free agent, bro. I'm finna push him. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, Kim, the 140, bro. He called out Devin Haney, bro. He called out T.O. He he said he going to knock out Keyshawn Davis. He said Keyshawn ain't got no chin since the amateurs. He said Keyshawn ain't got no chin. He said he going to knock out Keyshawn. Keyshawn said he, he wanted to come to 140 to fight T.O. So come up to 140 to fight Tito. Tito want that smoke with him. He called him out, bro. Tito like that, bro. For your tune up shot, Keyshawn. Tune up, nigga. Let's get I it. I like it. I'm about, I'm about to look. Hey, I, Tito. Hey, you done already told me about this dude before, haven't you? Yeah, I think so, bro. You, I think you, had, was, you was talking to me, but you was talking to me about him before. I think you, you had sent me uh, his. You was sending me stuff on the gram and stuff. I'm about to look yeah. into it. Yeah, he more just had a fight that. right now. We just watched it. He just oh, knocked so he's somebody out. So he's fifteen and zero now, because I think he was fourteen and zero before that fight. Yeah, he just had a fight right now. We just watched it. I he thought just he was, it was on Red Owl Boxing, Red Owl in Houston. 
I yeah. thought he was 13 and 12, and then he just had this fight. Ain't that 14, 12? Oh, yeah. So, you yeah, you might be right. 14 to 13. 14 fights, 13 knockouts. Bruh, he about to yeah, be that's a monster. A, yeah, he, that's a knockout, nigga. He didn't get up. Nigga. Fast too. That nigga got power, bruh. I think he, he, he better than Barbosa, Arnold Barbosa. I think he better, bruh. I think he better than Ryan Garcia, bruh. You feel me? I ain't going to lie, bro. He better than a lot of fighters at 140, bro. You feel me? I'm finna get my notes, bro. I'm finna get my notes right now, bro, and break it down, bro. Y'all keep cooking, bro. You think you better than Kid Austin? Kid Austin? Mm -hmm. Now, Kid Austin fight at 135. Bro, he will fuck up Kid Austin. He will fuck up Kid Austin. He will knock out Kid Austin. Kid Austin, all like, hey, 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 Kid hey, Austin hey, too they wild. all can take that lead. Kid they Austin all can take that lead. He, re he reckless. Kid Austin be getting too, you know what I mean? And this dude, bro, he can box. He got footwork. Like you said, Warren G, you asked me dur during his fight. During the fight, you said, how was his footwork? And then I seen that nigga using the footwork, using angles and shit on some Lomachenko type shit. He start turning them and shit. I'm like, damn, he fast too. Okay. okay. Like that dude is pretty good, bro. And listen, they sleeping on me. They finna start talking about him now, though. Watch. Hey, you see him? I wrote it down, down, bro. I wrote it down, little bro. Whoop his ass, though. After this fight, I think they gonna start noticing this dude, bro. You say Ishmael? Cause they put him on the zone this time. They had him on, you know, his first time on on that type of platform. You know what I mean? You say Barroso, what we think about that fight, H Money? I don't know neither one of them dudes. Tim Stout. He said, Who is M? Who is M? That's, that's his name, Tito. M. He said, What you think about Tito versus Ishmael Barroso? Man, he will knock out Barroso. Barroso, an old ass man, bro. He, come on, man. Are oh, you Rose? talking about the old man? He's going to knock out Rosie. Oh, no. ain't going to lie. Hey, I know that's your boy, Tim. That's your boy, Pitbull. Pitbull, your boy. Tito McCardo will fuck up Pitbull Cruz, bro. I'm just keeping it real with yeah, you. Yeah, and that's bro. a champion. And that, hey, Cam, that's I can name a champion he could beat right now, bro. And he got the WBA. He just won the WBA belt right now, bro. I think the Intercontinental. You know what I mean? One of them, bro. He will fuck oh, yeah, up. So he, he climbing up that ladder. He will fuck up Pitbull, bro. He will fuck him up, bro. I'm telling you, bro. This dude a beast, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, for bro. sure. Damn. Hold on, I'm gonna be back. Y'all cook real quick, bro. It's, it's levels to this shit. What you what you think about them boxing cards we got tomorrow? Who that? No man, bring it out. Uh, we got Richardson Hitchens fighting tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh, we don't know about that. We got, we yeah, we got hits on her. Uh, Who he uh, fight? Gustavo Lemos. Lemos. Twenty nine. No, he was Devin Haney, IBF mandatory for a point in time. Oh, that should be a good fight, then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got me a nice conveyor belt going right here, bro. Oh, look. But he been on the show for a minute. That ain't no damn call. I'm talking about Hitchison and Lemos. That's it. No, that's Diego Pacheco. He the co-main for that other card. Oh, that's the fight fight, and then the day he got the co-main. Yeah, Diego Pacheco. 168, another 168. I think he's 20 and 17 knockout. Who he fighting? I don't. I don't even know who he fighting. That's a good question. I know the Lemos dude is gonna be kind of interesting because he kind of got the fight from having pulled from one thirty five for real. Like I said, he was Devin Haney mandatory, so he moved up in weight. I think. I think he took two fights at one forty, so this is third fight at one forty. Mm, okay. Okay. That's 29 and 0. 
All right. They when did the face off hit- today. He, oh. he he was looking he was looking in the, he was looking at that nigga Hitchens like shit. Nigga, I'm coming to fight. Who Lemos? Yeah, he was he was staring that nigga down. Me mugging the fuck out that nigga Hitchens. Uh, you know how to sell it. But is it gonna be a challenge for Hitchens? <laughs> Unless Lemos got some some skills to bait Hitchens and, and and like to bait him and uh actually be able to counter him because it's already a, it's a huge size advantage. I don't know what the reach is, but he got Lemos is like five five. Hitchens like five nine. Oh man! Oh yeah! Uh, yeah. So he you gotta, gotta he get inside. You gotta get inside and work some body shots, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, I, it just I want to see how good he is because he 29 and 0. I ain't gonna you feel me? I ain't gonna sleep on him. Who Lemos? Yeah, he 29 and 0. Oh, let me get that in parentheses, bro. Hold up. What? Gu- Gustavo's Lemos. That's who he fighting. What name is Gustavo? Wait. Oh, yeah. Hey, Alexa. The hell, nigga? Yeah, man. We got a nice little conveyor belt. It's, 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 it's starting to get fat on her. We did call it down 2023, 2024, man. Motherfucker starts start fucking up, bro. That truth coming out. Niggas better get niggas better be where. Who they who they liking this shit, nigga. Cause if you like it, you with it, nigga. No diddy, no diddy. All right, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that, bro. We ain't doing that. I'm glad H ain't got it on the panel, nigga. Evidence, nigga. Ah, 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 I'm back, y'all. I'm back. I'm yes, back. Go ahead, H. You got it. We're gonna talk about shit. We got uh <laughs> we got Hitchison. We know who he fighting now. He fighting uh the Stovos, nigga. Limo. Gustavo's Limo. Yeah, Gustavo's Gustavo nigga. Limo. It look like stove. I was thinking about stove top, nigga. Gustavo. <laughs> Hey, look. Hey, look at this uh, comment on the screen. Stop it, stop it, man. <laughs> this nigga, stop it, stop it, this nigga it, Miles man. Jordan said Shakur Hold ducked up, man. Martala. Kid, bro. He said Shakur ducked Mortala. <laughs> look at this nigga. Hey, Cam, look at him. You see that? Nice. What you think oh, about okay. that, Cam? When they, when they say that, that Shakur ducked Mortala. Shit, I've been, I've been trying to think about it a little more. He, that nigga... It was he was doing a lot of bullshit with Robert Garcia, but I don't think he ducked him. Now, now he said he want to fight him, so he, he never he ain't said, ducking him right he now. Never, he said he, he, never, fight he him. always said he wanted to fight him, though, eh? But now, but for, he fighting this other guy though. They saying why he didn't fight more Tyler? Why he fighting this guy? That's what they were saying. That's, that's, that's what that's what Shakur was right. coming in and saying that that they wasn't. A top rank wasn't offering more but, but, like, Peter said fight. they did. Robert Garcia, his son said they was asking for that fight, and they did. They said top rank told them something different. Oh shit! That's what I'm saying. We got to get down to the bottom. That's that why we ain't get the fight. The top rank said something different. Somebody capping. You feel hey, me? Hey, hey, that's hey, what hey, I'm hey, talking about. Hey, damn. Hey, I'm not gonna tell you this, bro. At 140 right now, you got. You got it's a lot of fighters bro. at 140. You got uh, Devin Haney, Tiafimo Lopez, uh, mm-hmm. S- Sabril Matias, uh, Pitbull Cruz. The four champs. The, yeah, those are the champions. Then you got uh, Gary Antoine Russell. You you know what I mean? You got Jack Catterall, Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor, you know, Regis Progre, Richardson Arnold Hitchens. Barbosa. Huh? Richardson Hitchens. Yeah, Richardson Hitchens. You got Arnold uh, Barbosa. Man, I yeah. ain't gonna lie. I think McCardo better than Richardson Hitches. Like a lot of those fighters I just named, a lot of fighters I said, bro, I think McCardo could beat them. I think, look, Matia is a beast. Cam, he is a beast. He a monster. But how did he lose that fight though, bro? And that dude was be- putting hands on him. That dude was putting hands on Matias. He hurt him. He wobbled Matias, bro. Matias got beat up in that fight, bro. 
They so did. Got, you know what I mean? So, so what I'm saying is, I, I seen a McCardo, couple of fights Matias got McCardo beat up in. Possibly beat Matias, bro. You know what I mean? Especially, you Nigga know, as he get over. older, he only uh 22. You know what I mean? He definitely got better skills. You know, I think Matias is a killer. He a monster. But for me he right now, Kel, for me right now, yeah, 22. at 140, when I look at 140, to me, the best fighter, I think, is uh, Gary Antoine Russell. I think he the best at 140. Just being as a fighter, I'm not talking about accomplishments, who they beat, and being the champion, but I think Antoine Russell could beat anybody at 140. You know what I mean? But I think this guy, Mercado, he got a chance to beat anybody too, man. When I'm looking Somebody at the Somebody got their device up, man. I, yeah. Hey, 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 how old is he? He only uh 22. 22. Okay. Yeah, hey, He's hey, yeah, young, look, I'm looking at it right now, 140. Listen, he going to be better than Jose Ramirez. He going to be better than Jack Catterall. He going to be – he better than Regis. He better than Regis already for sure. He he better than – he said Barbosa ducked him. He said Barbosa ducked him. Arnold Barbosa ducked this man. And Barbosa be pulling up on people, talking that shit. But ask Barbosa about this nigga. He ducked him. He said Barbosa ducked him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ryan Garcia, man, he will beat the shit out of Ryan Garcia, man. He he's a way better fighter than Ryan Garcia. And Devin Haney finna fight him. I'm talking. I'm talking about who's the best fighter. He better than Liam Perro, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey Cam, look at his amateur career, bro. Over 300 fights, over 200 wins, over 200 wins, and also look, he a 22 time. 22 time national champion as an amateur, bro. He was that nigga, bro. He went to the Olympics. He was the uh he was the like a replacement in, in the Olympics, bro. So this dude really liked that, bro. Ernesto Mercado. You. Yeah, you did show me this dude. Yeah, hey. Tito though. They call him Tito. Yeah, Tito. Hey, listen, he really the boogeyman at 140, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. Like, he really that nigga. Like, for real. I'm telling you, bro. Oh, yeah. This, I, re this the, gonna, I remember. He, this the same dude that knocked out uh, Hank Lundy. Yeah. And, and guess what? He knocked out uh, Jeremiah Nakatilia. Yeah. The one that Shakur mm -hmm. fought against. The one that Raymond Mortala knocked out. But he knocked out Nakatilia way better than, than uh, Raymond Mortala did, bro. He fought you know him at I mean? one forty. He fought him at one forty too, and he knocked him out way better though. Like he slept him. You know what I mean? That shit crazy. Yeah, but listen, a hey, Cam boy he had running, a table turn. <laughs> hey, hey, Hebrew, he run, he running down on anybody at one forty. He the one calling out everybody at one forty, bro. And don't nobody say his name. He called out Barbosa. He called out Devin Haney. He called out T.O. You know what I'm saying? He called you know out the excuse plan. You know the excuse plan. Oh, man, he just going up here. I don't know. Don't, who is that? Hey, this the fighter to – I ain't going to lie. To get you a fighter, and if you really want to shake some shit up at 140, this the nigga to do it with. You know what I mean? He's a free agent, and then he want that smoke, bro. So fuck him. We going to stir the pot then. You can, exactly with this nigga. With anybody at 140, though. So, hey, Cam, we got to get him on the platform, bro. Let's get him on the channel, bro. Hit him up, bro. I just followed him on the ground. Tell him to come through, bro. Hey, but Cam, I wanted to talk to you about something. You said at 154, when I was uh, talking about that weight division, you know what I mean? It was a fighter, bro, and I feel like He's in a similar position as, as uh, Tito. And that's your fighter, bro. You know, Telez. Nigga, yo, and it's Telez, man. <laughs> it's time for niggas, man. Yeah. Hey, listen. Yesterday, when I was uh, talking about uh, that weight division, and I was like, <laughs> I was like Virgil Ortiz, and you was like, nigga, Telez, nigga. And, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, Telez might be the nigga really to shake some shit up like this nigga is. When I think about it, because Telez got power too. Like, 
to last guy offense, bro. You saw what he did to Sergio Garcia, bro. You know what I mean? And then his his last fight, he slept that nigga, bro, and put him to sleep. They said that could have been like the knockout of the year, that shit. <laughs> Some people say, you know what I mean? So I'm let me ask you this question. Just keep it real with me. You know what I'm saying? Telez versus versus Vic, Virgil Ortiz. Vir, you did. How you like that fight? Telez versus Virgil Ortiz, bro. Because Telez Cuban, that nigga is like a boxer puncher. He could move a little bit. And we did see, like, niggas, some people gave Virgil some, some shit, bro. And you seen Virgil Ooh. get hurt before against me machine. This nigga, I think Telez way better than me machine. Yeah, uh, he, man. He he way better than fucking Delorme too, H. Yeah, and Telez was like a he was a really good amateur boxer. He had a very good amateur uh, a record. You know what I mean from Cuba. That nigga was good, and he's showing he's a good professional. Like he he turning out to be a good professional, bro. You know what I mean. So I know I know you like them uh, Cuban boxers like me though. So so you said you rocking with Telez. That's your fighter all the way. Yeah, that's my 154 fighter. <laughs> he he, hey. he knocking shit. He he the only nigga to knock out Sergio Garcia. Yeah, and you right though, but they sleeping on him. He I think he like a free agent, but he be on, you know what I mean? He, he be, be on, on different Jake platforms. And shit. Just like Adelaide Rodriguez, he got the same manager as as Adelaide. You know what I mean? Hey, but you got him over Virgil. Yeah. You, you said you he you said what? I, I I like him over Virgil. Yeah, I like both of them, but I think if that was like the best fighter at that division, nigga, it, it to me is 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 your is your Eddie. Nobody want no smoke with that nigga, bro. And he 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 gonna be. They hey, gonna try to hey, pull the same start shit. Tell, they tell him to call the same shit with him, they pull with David Maroon. You gotta build up that fight then with him and Virgil. That's yeah, the that's one. Facts. He only got twenty three, bro. Facts. He only and, and they in different he they in different fuck, sanctions bro. too. Eight, so it's perfect. Like you feel me? And you gotta tell him to call him out. You gotta build up that fight. You gotta hype it up. That's the one then. <sighs> Out. You got to build up that fight. You got to hype it up. That's the one then. You got to hype it up, bro. That's, that's the, one the one right one. there. Hey. That's crazy, bro. He only uh, 23 years old. Virgil Ortiz is older than him. What, how old is he? And Virgil is uh, 26. Telez is only 23. I mean, Virgil okay. got 20 wins. With 20 knockouts, bro. Virgil just you think Virgil is more like ahead of that nigga, or they not too far apart, especially at 154. Telez did more at 154 than Virgil did. He'd be better fighters than Virgil at 154. He'd be Sergio Garcia. Virgil ain't fought nobody at 154. Yup. Yeah. You right, bro. That that's the fight right there. You gotta get Telez. I know that's your fighter, bro, but yeah, to, 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 I'm rocking with Telez too, though. I ain't going to sleep on him. I think you're right about Telez, bro. I think you're right about him. Make that dog, man. He might upset Virgil. He might be the one to beat Virgil, to be honest. He just uh, slept on, just like Tito, though. Tito, he in the same position as uh, Telez. They in the same position, bro. Yep. Both of them. The, the only, the really, the only difference, kind of for real, like I mean, like Tito got more fights, but uh, what's him gonna call it? Um, Joanna's got a signature. Yeah. He got. He been on on P PBC cards. He was yeah. on the undercard with of a uh, of a uh, Crawford and, and, and Spence. Yeah, so Tomez right. been in a better situation than Tito though, bro. And he got a, and that's what I'm saying. He got a, he got a better signature win on his resume, even with his seven fights. Like him knocking out. Well, what about Nakatilia though? Tito knock out Nakatilia, yeah. and that was a big but, win. But that was he that fought was, that, that was after he he lost to a couple niggas too though. He like 
Yo, and it's Telez is the first nigga to knock out Sergio Garcia. He the only nigga to knock out Sergio Garcia, too. Like, Sergio Garcia done fought since then and still ain't been knocked out. So it it make Yoannis look even better. Like, damn, you the only nigga to stop this nigga? And that bitch, you feel me? He stopped that nigga pretty early, H. Eh? They ain't even go to the, the championship round. Yeah, I got you for sure. Yeah. You know that nigga be calling out Xander and shit. Shit, hey, so get that nigga on Virgil ass. Hey, hey, so you got Telez beating Virgil Ortiz? Young Young is Telez? Yeah. Woo, that's crazy, bro. Hey. Virgil better watch out. Virgil might duck that nigga. He might duck him. But Telez, Telez gotta keep working. I think Telez could be a star, bro. He got potential. He definitely got potential to be a star, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, he H, he stopped Sergio Garcia in the third round, H. And then, hey, that nigga, he, he could be a star, bro. I'm going to be honest with you, bro, because he got the look. He got the look like that nigga could be a star, bro, just like a Ryan Garcia. You know what I mean? But he could fight, though. He definitely could fight. Hey, so what's up with that them fights tomorrow, bro? Richardson Hitchens. What you think about him, bro? What he gonna do? Shit, man. I think I think he gonna like, he gonna put on a good performance. I think he I think he he fucker. I don't know, man. I that dude he, that he fighting like real small and shit. Like that nigga is a midget, bro. He like pit yeah. bull size. Yeah. Yeah, bro, but I'm about to look at. I'm about to. Look that dude at is a good fighter, though. I ain't gonna yeah, lie, like he an undefeated fighter, years, though. What's his record he's again? Undefeated Cam? fighter. Yeah, he came up from one thirty-five. He not a real one forty, though. Like he, he coming popped, up in weight. He a little nigga, bro. But Richardson Hitchens is way taller than him, way bigger than him. He got popped though, too. But I don't know, man. He just way bigger just than that guy. On if he can use his feet or not. I don't think if he, Richardson if he, can, if he got skills, we gonna see him. Dude, he got good body hey, punching and his footwork. That's good. what I'm saying. If he got off. skills, we gonna see him. He 29 and 0 with 19 knockouts. Yeah, I got Richardson had, Hitchens. Is hey, that all, all? Is that overall? Is it just the country? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's on a ten fight knockout streak. Mm. He's knocked out his last ten opponents. Every nigga he's fought since 2019, he stopped him. I, I think Richardson Hitchens gonna win that fight, bro. I think he's just way bigger That's than that guy, bro. That's a that's a big that's a that's a crazy feat though, H. Yeah, but he way bigger though, bro. He done stopped. Really he done stopped, the know last, he done stopped every money. nigga he fought in the last five years. Yeah, I think I think like I said, I think Richardson Hitchens gonna outbox him. I think he gonna I just outbox him. Them both of they ass H money. Yeah, but he probably give him a tough fight though, man. Because you never you never know, man. I don't think Richardson Hitchison is really oh, like that, bro. Go. I don't think he really like that, to can be honest. Me? Yeah, we can hear you. Hey, yo, what's good? H, yo, what's good, Hebrew? I've been Salute. a little fan, Salute, man. man. What's going on? I'm trying to tell you, man. I've been listening to y'all for a minute. Hey, yo, H. That's a troll, bro. That nigga a troll, bro. I know that I troll ass live. nigga, bro. I know that troll ass nigga, bro. Remember him, huh? I can't hear him. <laughs> Yeah, because they be acting like they know a nigga and shit. Like, bro, we don't really even know you, bro. Like, then, who is then you? Come on here, then try to get in and then start yeah. trying to run the bullshit down, nigga. We ain't new to this, nigga. That, that ain't even true, cool, nigga. You see, we have <laughs> always one, bro. Motherfucker gotta come on here. You know what, bro? Motherfucker ain't even doing that shit. Every show ain't like that, bro. 
That man ain't put free smoke up there. Now we, we trying to get the information and shit out here and get some in our own brains, motherfucker. Y'all come with that goofy shit, bro. Come on, bro. That ain't what we doing. Jonathan Wilber Dean. Salute, man. God damn, bro. This is a community. H Money. Boxing channel. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. That's what we do, man. Shit go on every night, bro. They can't even appreciate the motherfucking channel, bro. Gotta come with some goofy shit, bro. Soon we start talking boxing for real and get shit in, man. You motherfuckers wanna come over here, man. Go turn your bullshit channel on. Go talk to your goddamn self. That's what you ain't got shit to do. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Every time it get good, man, my her come a motherfucker wanna come interrupt. Hey, what's up? What's up, H Money? Hey, what's up, Hebrew? Nigga, you just been sitting back watching, waiting on your moment, fucking snake. And then the moment you get two motherfuckers or you wanna sit back and watch for your entertainment. Get the fuck on. I hate you, nigga. Keep the shit real. Go ahead, H Money. Yeah, man. I think uh Diego Pacheco gonna fight tomorrow too, though, bro. I think he's gonna be on the card. Yeah, Diego Pacheco. Yeah, he the co man. He a good fighter too, bro. Okay, he got but we still trying to figure out who he finna fight, though. I got him versus somebody, but it ain't nobody there. I'm about to look at his opponent. Uh Diego Pacheco. That's why I, I got a V there. It ain't no name. Ain't nobody seeing no name. He in Kansas. Who he finna fight? Yeah, who oh, that is? Hey, he fighting the undefeated fighter. All right, all right, uh, Cam. So who oh, is yeah. that nigga, bro? I know you was telling me about this nigga, bro. Who is that who? nigga, bro? Who? Kid Kansas. Who is man, Kid my Kansas? Nigga, my nigga Alan Garcia, man. He, he, he a fighter at one thirty five. <laughs> For real? Who he fight with? Who he be with? He he he, he with top rank, man. For real? Who he train he with? He just signed the top rank. He, uh, I think, uh, is he in Robert? I don't, what camp is he in? I, I want to, I thought he was in Robert Garcia camp. Right? So, who we want that smoke with then? Who we calling out? Shit, you want to see him fight? I want to see him fight. All the, I want everybody who think they that nigga in that bitch. I want to see him fight that nigga. Abdullah Mason. Abdullah Mason, Kid Austin, we can have all this. I talk, that's Please. why I, that's that's why I brought up the uh that's what made me end up bringing them up. Niggas talking <laughs> about Kid Austin. I'm like, Kid Kansas will beat that nigga ass, and we can sell the fight. They both named Kid. So what about yeah. what about Vargas son? Don't Vargas his son fight? Oh, you over talking there? about Emiliano? Yeah. Shit. He, what, what, what weight division is he? He at one thirty five. What you think about that fight? I Kid think, Kansas, I, Kansas versus uh, have hands on that nigga. You for real? I heard he had a tough fight this last one. He Vargas. stopped it. He st Vargas did. Yeah, I was gonna say Kid Vargas Kansas. had a tough fight. What happened in in, in his last fight? What Who, happened Kid to Vargas? Kansas? No Vargas. See, he went the distance with bro. He, he fought a nigga that was like six and ten. He, he, didn't, he didn't look good in that fight. I mean, he won. He he did like he. I he, heard he was like his performance wasn't good or some shit. He was supposed to get the stoppage. If it was if Abdullah Mason was fighting that dude, he would have stopped him. Damn. I'm gonna just mm. be real. Gotta keep that shit real, bro. See, some like that kid that though. Like they just gave Zima him a fight, dude. Shit. Just lasted like nigga. You can't hurt me. You got went the distance with the nigga just from from the earth test, bro. You went for, you went the distance with this nigga. He was six and ten. What was his record? Dude was a tough fighter or some shit. Emiliano Vargas. What was his record? But it's like shit. It's like it's like I see the levels. Like Var Vargas, he he Is got Vargas good punch undefeated? placement. He got good punch placement and shit like that. But he don't have he don't have a feet, H. To keep up with the other niggas, the other oh, you feel me? Shit. he don't have a feet to keep up with Abdullah Mason or 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 um or niggas like that to me. Oh he, no, he got good punch placement, good feet, hands, bro. and all that shit. But the, you need the feet, bro. You, you it's easy, it's, feet it's easy to cut off the. It's easy to cut off the ring and shit. Versus you feel me, niggas who you feel me not going 
make you pay for that shit. It's different yeah, when a nigga gonna have, when you, you have do all the nigga gonna respond to some shit you doing versus hey, you and that hey. bitch having your way with a nigga and you can do whatever the fuck you wanna do. Hey Cam, how you got all the hand speed and all this shit but ain't got no angles because you're feeding some fucking cement pills? Got two buckets on your feet. Heavy as hell. What you mean? Nigga, you ain't got no feet work? You ain't got no footwork? I ain't gonna say he ain't got done, but it is it's mid. It's very mid. Like it's who you talking Vargas. about? Vargas. The show. The, the youngest son. He 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 got good they hands. They was hyping that kid up, bro. They love that kid for some reason. He got good hands and shit and all that shit. Ace, but he, he don't he got a lot of fans. He need he need better forward. He young. But, yeah, he young. I think he he's the same age as Abdullah Mason. He's nineteen. Oh yeah, that nigga young. Cam. That nigga gonna be around for a minute. Hey Cam, I know you you rock with the Cubans. So uh, who your Cuban at one sixty? At one sixty? Yeah, you got a Cuban right there. I got one. You know who that is? Probably, probably dude you sent me. The new nigga, right? Up, yeah, he no, just that, had a fight. That up, that up and coming nigga. You know he just had a fight too. He he three and oh now. Yup, with three knockouts. Okay. Hey, that nigga six two. He six two, bro. He's all you, you talking fuck about. You talking about Yoeli Hernandez, right? Exactly, yeah. nigga. Now that nigga, you need to be t- telling niggas about that nigga. Yeah. That nigga. Yeah, niggas cold. ain't gonna want to see that nigga. H. They ain't gonna survive. You know how tall he is, bro? He's six two. Six, six two, two, bro. And he and he and look at it. He got a stone chin too. He got a hard chin, H. He got great oh, defense. Got bro. Him down, bro. That nigga know how to box, bro. But he got he good like defense, he got but he too. got H. I he got how the, much power he got too. He got if the he, he got the chin bro. to take even even if the defense not there sometimes. Like he got the chin to take the punishment, bro. I think he could beat uh what's his name? What's the name? Carlos Adames. I think he could beat him, bro. Ain't gonna lie. I, I, they, Carlos Adabas said he might get elevated to WBC chat before his next fight. I see Crawford and, and Adames. You seen when they sparred with each other? You saw yeah, that, that video? Shit, that shit was crazy. It was. I think Crawford was putting hands on that nigga, though. They I was think. putting hands on each other. I ain't going to lie. Crawford was really got, got the best of it, though. I, I think Crawford got the better of it. I think Adamas was landing some heavy-ass shit, though. Like, Crawford let in some hard shit. Crawford was going at that nigga. <laughs> but I seen it, it look like Crawford. I didn't see the whole thing then. Maybe I because I didn't watch the whole Adamus video. Was like, do you you know how you know how that nigga Adamus was attacking attacking that nigga J Rock to the body. Oh. That's how he was trying to do Crawford and shit. But Crawford wasn't. The nigga was like, you feel me? Call Crawford all that was shit like down. the smaller guy. Crawford to me was beating him up, bro. You know what I mean? But you know that that's how I usually look in there. The the smaller nigga, you feel me, trying to get his punches off. The bigger nigga just trying to work on shit. That's usually how I, how I be. But did you you saw Shakur and Bud in the in the gym the other day? Yeah, I saw that, bro. Yeah, sure. bro I ain't gonna lie, H. them niggas, them niggas big as hell, bro. Yeah, they is. That like, not really the like, like but, too no, big, no, de- like dead ass, bro. Bud looked like he about 170, 180. Nigga, like Shakur looked about 160, 150. Yeah, niggas you, look bro. big as shit, bro. So, what that mean? That's just, no, I'm just, that shit just crazy. Like, like how niggas, you feel me, can cut down and wait to so much, like. You feel me? Like I that shit really that shit really wild. Yeah. Hey, so what you think about the the uh, su- super featherweight division? One one hundred and thirty pounds. Man, I think that division kind of weak, bro. I don't like that division. Like when you ask me who 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 is my top guy right there, I couldn't really say nobody, man. You know what I mean? At one sixty, you know I like uh, a couple of fighters. But it's really not nobody that stand out. I like the new the new uh, Cuban boxer, but I want to see a little bit more fights from him. He only got three fights, 
You know what I mean? I like I like uh Hamza Shiraz from the UK. You seen him before? Hamza? Hell yeah. Hamza BC six three. He got a fight with uh ammo coming up. He fight on better be uh be vulnerable. Ammo might duck that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They hey, I hey, hope hey, they make buddy. that fight. What's up with hey, it? Hey. I gotta, I gotta ride with Sam Arnold on that 160. He fight at 160 now. Been fighting at 160. It shocked yeah. me too. It's he's been, it's been almost two. a he's year six now. Three. That nigga tall as shit. You seen him before, Cam? You heard about him? What's his name? Sam Arnold. Sam Arnold the third. Sam Arnold the third. About to look above that. He a beast too. I had him on the show oh, before. I didn't St. know Lewis. he was that big age. We was looking hey, at him that at first nigga nice. He a switch hitter, too. That nigga pretty nice, though. SJ3. Yeah. 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 Sam Arnold. Hey, that nigga, he, sp he, he sparred hey, with... He only 20. He nice yeah, he's shit. Young. That nigga nice. I had him on the show. Watch my interview with that nigga. That nigga nice. He, he sparred with Devin Haney, homie. Amari Jones. Is they was going at it. They had some beef <laughs> over that. He, he shit. not he nine and zero with five knockouts. He a good fighter, bro. Watch out for him, bro. He he pretty good. Yeah, bro. bro. Been talking about him. I ain't know he was at one sixty. It shocked me. That nigga went all he the way up. Good. He just got big as shit that out nigga, of nowhere, bro. Hey, that nigga Carmel fought at at one thirty his last fight. So I'm gonna say that nigga move. He fight at one twenty six <laughs> and one. Now nah, he just did it because it was nothing on the line. That's you what I'm just, saying. That's but I'm, I'm saying he fight. I'm gonna say he fight. He at got, low he got a chin, bro. I seen him get clocked a couple times yeah. in that fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but uh, and he and, and, and it was a point. It was like it was a Hebrew. It was a clock where it was like he got clocked. And, and and ain't shit changed, nigga. He he was still on his ass, still beating the <laughs> shit out of him. Like it wasn't like I got clocked and that changed the fight. It didn't it change was, shit. The, the thing, Cam, it was noticeable as fuck. He clocked his ass. He counted his ass right off that clock, though. I was like, what? You feel me? He got right back on his ass. Like, all right, bitch ass, nigga. <laughs> right Damn. back, bro. That shit is amazing. And it was an eight bro. round fight in his third <laughs> fight. Hey, that last round looked like it was the first round, round eight. Bro, that nigga wasn't Ooh, even tired, tired bro. bro. He could have he could have fought like eight more rounds, bro. Man, that nigga was not even tired. Not tired, bro. He was still in there. They start slowing it down, though. They start digging to each other's body. You talking about the Kuba fight, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, man. That nigga was the nerf, man. Man, I was like, man, I didn't even see the fight, man. I went back looking at that motherfucker like, man, that nigga got clocked. And he right, I'm talking about right off the, he hitting him in his head with the right hand. He throwing his right hand like, like Detail was telling the other night, man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas can't get with that ball when the motherfucker throw, bro. That's what was happening to Cuba. He just kept getting, bah, bah. I was like, yeah, that jab. And it's crazy because the nigga was straight for real. Like the nigga, you feel me? He was a decent boy. He was a decent boxer. Who oh, cool, cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, he was good. He was he was good. He a damn good fighter. Cause he was getting clocked like a motherfucker too. He ain't do the, no too many blinks niggas, either, bro. Niggas don't even know he tra he he got pre he uh prepared for the fight. He he was. He had Leo Santa Cruz in his training camp, nigga. Like, oh yeah, so, so he was in good shape. That he it showed too. He had him hurt though for a second, for for a millisecond. He did not. He should have capitalized right then. Oh, he dazed his ass though. For well, a dazed his ass, bro. But that motherfucker was strong too, though, Cam. He came right. Back. That's why I'm saying they damn their days <laughs> each other, nigga. Like, hey man, hey man, that nigga. I was like, this a damn good fight right here. That was a damn good fight, y'all. If y'all didn't see it, go watch it, man. Damn. What was that Molten uh uh versus Cuba, man? That was a good ass fight, bro.
he turned, man, and that was it. He turned pro, brother. He, he, he showed out. He showed out. But yeah, man, Cavell belt, man. It's this 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 look right here is looking real good. Hey, but one thirty is like a weak ass division, bro. Like, I mean, no disrespect to the fighters in that weight division, like, you know what I mean? Uh, Oshaki Foster and who else? Uh, Oshaki Foster, Albert Bell, Albert Bell, Henry LeBron, Joe, Joe Cordina, Lamont Roach, and them guys, Lee Woods. You know what I mean? No disrespect to them guys, bro. You know what I mean? But it ain't nobody really just a stand out to me. Even if Raymond Ford went up there, you know what I mean? Um, let me ask you like this, uh, Cam. What you think about ha Haven Brady Jr.? He just had a fight last week. Uh, you know, on it was on overtime boxing. He, you know what I mean? He was over there with Bozy Ennis and them. You know what I mean? What you thought about him? He fight at 130. How you, what you think about a fight with with Haven Brady Jr. and, and uh, Raymond Ford. You know what I'm saying? Haven Brady Jr. with some of them guys at 130. How you think he would do it against Raymond Ford? Haven Brady. He won by knockout in his last fight. He tore, yeah, he 12 and 0. I think he probably need, he probably need a couple. I, For so Raymond Ford, Raymond Ford ain't had a fight at 130 yet, though. I mean, I mean, later you, what you think, brother? You think you think he could beat Raymond Ford? That could be a fight down the line. That could definitely be a fight down the line, especially if you feel me that one of them niggas get the belt and it like end up being the man or some shit. Like you think you think that's the fight to build up right there? If you was Haven Brady, he got uh twelve wins, twelve wins with five knockouts. Yeah, he did, he built he building this self right. Raymond Ford ain't got that many knockouts. He just won by knockout in his last fight, and he had yeah, he got he he got beat. Man. He had to. He had to knock a nigga out, bro. Raymond Ford got fifteen wins with eight knockouts. He good, but well, he got to clean that shit up from his last performance, bro. You gotta you keep think the same ready for Raymond Ford. That's who I'm talking That's about. Five. Somebody Raymond Ford. And then he ain't he the one that had that slid across his damn yeah. cheek. Yeah, yeah, he, did. Did. he was in the war. That well, fight he was a pretty tough fight, bro. Odebeck was in no hodo. No, nah, he, he wasn't in there with no push over, but he need to clean that shit up. But I don't know about this Haven Ray dude you talking about. I don't know Haven, him. Haven, uh, Haven uh, Brady Jr. Haven uh, Brady Jr. Brady. He's a fighter from Atlanta. From Atlanta. He was a good amateur, bro. He had a deeper uh, uh, amateur record than, <coughs> than uh, Raymond Ford. Raymond Ford started boxing later. I think that would be a good fight, though, uh, Cam. That would be a good fight, bro. I think Haven Brady should go after that nigga, bro. I know Raymond Ford be in Philly too, though. They be around each other, though, bro. I think that's the fight to make right there, really, though. Might as in well. the future. I don't see why not. You think Haven Brady is a good fighter? Nobody really talk about him. He fought on yeah. overtime. I, I you think, think he's he nice? a good fighter. He trained with Bozy Ennis. That Bozy Ennis fighter right fighter. there. Hell yeah, I think he's a good fighter. He got 12, 12 wins with five <coughs> knockouts. Raymond Ford, his knockout percentage, 53%. Let's see what Haven Brady knockout percentage is. He was 53%. He just won by knockout in his last fight. So his knockout percentage is 41%. So Raymond Ford got a higher knockout percentage. Raymond Ford looked like he's a harder puncher. Mm. Raymond Ford got more power. I know Raymond Ford had a draw. 
early in his career. Yeah, he some did. people thought he lost that fight. But he still bounced back, though. He didn't, he didn't take a loss. It wasn't a loss, bro. He came back and became a champion. He, he became a better fighter, bro. <clears throat> that was a big win in his last fight, bro. He beat an undefeated fighter. And he, Raymond Ford, he, he, he been in there with some better competition than uh, – then I think Haven Brady Jr. bro. Yeah, he 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 fought he fought a lot of ranked dudes. H, a lot of ranked dudes. R- Raymond Ford did, huh? Yeah, exactly. That's how he got to that position. You think Raymond Ford gonna take over one thirty? It's po- It's definitely possible. You think he, he better than Oshaki? I don't know. I don't, I gotta see that fight, man. I got to see that shit. That's definitely a fight to make. Let me ask you this. Who you think got more power? Oshaki Foster or or Raymond Ford? Uh, that's kind of hard. Because they both... <clears throat> Neither of them not really... Power punches, but like if they catch you clean, yeah, you gonna feel that shit. So I don't, I don't know. That that's a that's a that's a damn. That's a good question. People still and, sleeping on Robinson Casasio at one thirty, bro. No, nah, he got he got fight. robbed against Oscar Valdez. I wouldn't. Yeah, that that's, fight. and the never rent a fight, low key. Yeah, I thought he won that shit too. He was sleeping on him. He a good fighter at one thirty. No facts. <clears throat> well, one thirty really a weak division, bro. Really ain't nobody in that weight division, bro. That really stand out though, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You need somebody to take over that weight division, bro. Somebody got to move up or something. Somebody got to, somebody got to move up in that division. But at one twenty six, I think Carmel Moulton, I, I like him out of any 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 other fighter at one thirty at one twenty six. I mean, Carmel Moulton, bro, he the best fighter to me at one twenty six. I'm telling you, bro, Carmel Moulton is that nigga, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Carmel Moulton is a beast, bro. Nah, that nigga dope. is a beast, bro. I wonder he when he fight again. Monster. When he fight again, bro. I can't wait for his he next fight. He got a fight, fight coming soon. He probably going to fight on Tank Car, H. I wouldn't be surprised. Carmel Moulton, bro. He one of my favorite fighters, bro. Carmel Moulton is a beast, bro. Well, he had a good performance his last fight, so I mean, you don't think it was like that, Hebrew? He showed, he showed us. Go ahead, H. No, go ahead. My bad. Go ahead. Oh, he 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 showed us a good performance. Shit, in his last fight, his uh, his his debut. Shit, right? Yeah. So shit, one and zero. Let's go. Who next is the only thing we can say about it? I, it should be in the next six months or shit or so. Seven months. What you think? Just had a fight. So shit. Young right man like there, that. Bro. Get right back. Go right back in there, bro. Get yeah, right back in there. Right away. That's how yeah, they used right. to do it. Just Why get a not? training camp in and then go right back in there. And test yourself and show that shit early while you still the young like that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just my advice, man. I don't I don't I don't know how niggas do their shit, man. I'm just saying what I'm seeing, man, the eye test, man, is it's good. But uh clean up that uh hold your motherfucker swing. Oh man, uh uh-uh. uh you standing straight up swinging on a motherfucker ain't it. Dude clocked his ass, but he got a chin like a motherfucker, bruh. To come back with a counter and wobble a motherfucker? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so Hebrew, I want to ask you about, you know, one of the uh, 
legends, one of the one of the legendary champions, um, Julio Cesar Chavez. So what did you think about Chavez as a fighter? You know what I mean? Back in the days. Man. It was all like? about it was all about in that era, man. It was all about who wanted to to, to beat this man. Who wanted to jump in there and beat him? Motherfucker did it and they took it from him. They gave it to him. Meldrick Taylor fight. Mm -hmm. I think he won that fight. But as for overall, man, he he was just in there, man. He he was a rock head, bro. You heard me? Stonehead motherfucker, man. He had he had plenty of chin. Had hella dog in him, ready to fight. Whoever. You know what I'm saying? And shit. He got a lot of stoppages too. Okay, so, bet. Can we so say you, what he you had thought Meldrick Taylor him? beat him though? You thought Meldrick Taylor won, won that fight for real? Yeah, man. I think, mm -hmm. yeah, Ricky still fucked that up for us, man. Huh? What you, what you thought about Chavez, you know, uh, dropping him at the end of that fight? Like, you know nice what I mean? Right hand. Nice right hand. Nice right you hand. Know? But his only problem, I don't blame how the fight went because he didn't respond to the ref. So you, do you feel like saying? it was a legitimate knockout? Like when he Everything dropped him, you feel like the fight was over for real? Or you felt like, nah, man, the, like what you thought Meldrick Taylor, he, he, he got back up? Even he, with the knockdown, after watching that whole fight, even with the knockdown, he gets up and still win that fight, bro. Chavez was getting beat to the punch the whole fight, bro. Now, I don't get me wrong. He was putting his hands on Meldrick Taylor, too, because this motherfucker, he just kept hitting his ass with that left hook and that jab. Left hook and that jab. He just kept hitting him with that all night, both eyes, straight right hand. So you felt like that, that was some bullshit. When they stopped that fight, like that was controversy. Like yeah, you it was controversial. Like it was controversial as hell because the man sitting there looking at you, but like, you're not responding. You're looking at your corner, so no, it's a yes and a no on it. Felt like it was like a, like it was like a fixed fight though. Like they gave it to Chavez. Oh, hell no, nah, they it was fought that. No, nah, hell no, nah, hell no, nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. They 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 fought that. They fought that fight. But the ending though, the way the, the fight ended. Nice right hand. Nigga didn't respond to the ref. It's over. For real? Got to keep like it in the book, though. But if he, but he, but he won that fight, though. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. All he had to do was put his gloves in the ref chest and he win the fight. <laughs> what the fuck? He stopped he it too fast, the, the referee huh? stopped it so quick, though. Yeah, you, know, but, no you don't think the industry five seconds left manipulates rep, things? Money. With five seconds left? Yeah. Come on, you don't think like the industry seconds. manipulates things? I think it was two, two seconds, you watching this stuff? Come on. But it, he, he, I think he stopped it kind of fast, though. For real. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't respond to the referee, man. And we talking about the, at that time, man, man, nigga, that shit was weak as fuck, bro. But he didn't respond. Nice right hand at the end, though, by Chavez. He clocked his ass with dropped him. But he get up from that knockdown ain't enough to win the fight. Hey, you understand? Hey. That's what I'm saying, H. It wasn't enough to win that fight from my eyes, man. He beat Chavez the whole time there. Do you he feel like Chavez knocked him everything. out? Do you feel like Chavez knocked out Mel Meldrick Taylor? Yeah, he, he that that's what we saw. I went. Did that's he really he because saw. he got back up, though? He got up. And it was still five seconds left, and, and Richard still stopped it. He stopped it so fast, though. That shit was fucked up, bro. But he didn't re that's the that's why it's controversial. Because I'm looking at all of this shit, bro. I'm looking at everything. That nigga didn't respond, H Money. Richard still didn't give him a chance face. to respond, though, bro. Like he asked him and then he didn't say shit, then he stopped it. Like, bro, you could have asked him again. You could have kept asking him. You know what I mean? Like he was up, bro. He, he was like, man, you uh, stopped that the industry. And he was standing there all his feet, so he really won the fight. He really won the fight. Chained up, what you ahead, say? Go ahead, I said Jonathan. it's always a manipulation of industries, whoever they want to promote. I mean, that's always the way it is. <laughs> we see it over and over again. They'll stop fights early. The guy throws a flurry, and then they'll just stop it. 
you know. Yeah, yeah. That's the way it works. Right. You, right. If a guy throws a flurry, you better get the fuck out of there if they're trying to <laughs> make that guy the man they want. You got to run. Some. Let me see some. <laughs> because see uh, some. they will stop it and they will, they will, I mean, and judges will manipulate things. We all, we all know this. This is boxing. No, this shit, bro. But it's crooked he as got shit. Up, though, Jonathan. He was standing on his feet. Five seconds left. He looked you, know, you and, in your face, but then he he tripped. The man is talking to you. You not responsive. What that mean? Yeah, I, I and your mean, eyes he, he, Hold up. Hold up. And your eyes closed, H Money. Come on, man. <laughs> it's all. <over. laughs> He should have said something. He didn't say anything, nothing, and his eyes is swollen. <laughs> and he you just better do whatever you can, I guess, in there. So you got to get at the Chavez. You ain't say shit. All he had to do is like, ref, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Come on, wipe my gloves off. Move, move. He could have did any of that shit. He'd have won the fight. <laughs> I've seen so many manipulations of fights. I don't know. You see I'm what just I'm saying? Hey, numb to it the anymore. nigga didn't say nothing, and his eyes is swollen. He just getting up from a straight right. <laughs> <laughs> what would you I, have I, did in that you know when I, see, you when I see when I see the uh, the analyst uh, talking up one person and not even saying anything about the other guy getting any, you know the 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 industry is going to push it, and if they're if the ref gets to a certain point, they're going to stop the fight no matter what. It's the way it is. Lights you camera know. action, huh, Jonathan? Like 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 Bradley. Everything Bradley says. You got to know that there's a rig along with it. I mean, he he's along with it. It's not like he's trying to rig it. He's just trying to present a uh, scenario for us. Pushing that motherfucker to it there, huh, Jonathan? You know, I, I can't. I have to turn the volume down when I listen to that guy. Hey, man, I, I always turn the volume down. Hey, Jonathan. This is my new fighter at 140 pounds, the super lightweight division. Tito Mercado, bro. He's a I'll beast. I'll check him bro. out. He's I've a probably monster. seen him. I just forget all the fighters. Haney. He called out Haney and he called out Tito. T Tito. Like Tito he Ortiz. Had a fight tonight, Tito, Jonathan. man. Remember the name Tito. It's easy, it's easy to remember, bro. You know what I mean? Tito. Yeah. Tito we just had a fight tonight. I'll, I'll check him out. Oh, look Bro, at some of his fights. Monster, I've seen him, I'm sure. He's a killer. My nigga is what, what, uh, what does he fight on his own? Hey, Cam, rank. We running down on shit with this nigga, bro. We running down on everybody at 140 with this nigga. And you gotta we gotta do the same thing with Telez. I'm with you with Telez, bro. You was right. You told me yesterday, bro. But I I like Virgil, but I think Telez could beat Virgil. He might be the one to do it, bro. He gonna be, you know what I mean? Telez, bro. He get Virgil I, problems, nigga. <laughs> hey, nigga I Virgil. think so for real on some real shit. I think he can. He, he bro, that nigga Virgil gonna get to pulling all them health issues and shit. He gotta like start he pressing steady him. On this, nigga. He gotta start pressing Virgil. He the little start, Yeah, he gotta start getting on that nigga, bro. You hear me, bro? He gotta start calling out Virgil. He gotta, you know what I mean? Do we want, want want the smoke with that nigga? He want that smoke with him? We for the put the word get in. Back to you on exactly. that Instagram That's thing, what nigga. Tell him come right through. To it. What's this Tito ranked in the division? Because Tito, he out here pressing niggas already. Tito been pressing niggas. So I mean, what what the did last he, he rank yet? That. He got to start pressing. He got to start pressing everybody. You got to start with Virgil. What'd you say, Jonathan? Is he ranked? Tito, um, is, is he ranked? I'm not or is he sure. Still, are I they still so trying to pad him? Or? The WBA he just, he just came around him tonight, of man. So he, he, <laughs> the he WBA gave him something. I think he is. The WBA just gave him a belt, bro. So he's ranked. And, um, and he... Uh, whew. I have to bro, check him out. I'll, I'll, I'll go back through his uh, resume. Some of, some of his look his him out. Fights, bro. You can't even get I'll a watch copy. Some of them. Oh, I know. I like that's watching why, new up and comers. That's why he want Keyshawn, nigga. I remember that shit. He's, what happened with the Olympic they, trials? They said yeah, they ducked they them. No, they fought. They fought. They fought in the Olympic 
Charles, I thought. I don't it's, think they did fight. He said it was politics. He said they never had a fight. Look, you got to watch his interviews, bro. Yeah, you're right. Because <laughs> it got a question mark next to it. Like, it don't even... Like, what do W... He said he would knock out Keyshawn Davis, bro. I think this my, is my new fighter at 140, bro. I'm rocking with him. And we... Hey, listen, he pressing niggas, bro. Check him out. This one of his fights right here, bro. This dude a beast, bro. Hey, Cam, he out here pressing everybody. He called out Devin Haney today, and he called out uh, Tia Fima Lopez. He ca calling out everybody, bro. Is he the same weight class as Tiger Nakatilia. Johnson? Remember, Shakur fought against Jeremiah Nakatilia and Moritala. This is his fight with him. He knocked oh, him out, bro. Hey, H. What's up with it? You you right. They didn't fight. It, 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 it said he wanted Keyshawn, to fight him though. It said it said, said Keyshawn. It said Keyshawn winner by walkover. Yeah, hey, he said that he wanted to fight Keyshawn, and he said he want to fight everybody around Keyshawn, all of his friends, all of his right. homies. He said he want to fight Shakur. He said he's he sparred with Shushu. He said he beat up Shushu. <clears throat> I know Shushu in a smaller weight division. But he said he beat him up, though. He said he sparred with him. You know what I mean? But, yo, this nigga is a problem, bro. I don't, that nigga fast, too. He got footwork and he got power, bro, in both hands. You know what I mean? What age is he? It said, he only oh, uh, 22. He only uh, 22, 22 years old. Young kid. A walk, it said well, a walk-off. It says if a boxer is present in the ring fully attired and ready to box and the opposing boxer fails to appear in the ring. After being announced on some shit, hey, so hey Cam, like, like you said, they were fighters, this though. nigga won without me throwing no punches. He's gonna be my yeah. fighter, bro. Nick, the other three. nigga wasn't even in the ring. Bang. I'm rocking with this nigga at one forty, bro. I'm gonna build this nigga up, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got to pick, uh, push these young fighters up into the. You know, what you think about his boxing popularity. skills? The way he boxed, though. Seen that one too? You see him right there with the black and the orange? Look at that jab right there. Look at that, bro. Feel me? What country is he from? He's a he's American. He's from America, he's American? but his family, they come from uh Nicaragua and they come Nicaragua. from Mexico. Yeah. You know, like just that like he uh, got the smoke. Yep. Look Tobacco at his footwork, smoke. though. You seen that, Kim? You seen that nigga footwork right there? Hell yeah. That nigga sharp than a motherfucker, bro. Yeah, those uh, people that come from those countries, man, they got drive. You know, like, want to win. Willing to sacrifice in the gym. But... You know he's a he's Mexican and he's uh his family come from Nicaragua. You know a lot of great fighters came from Nicaragua. Fighters like uh, Alexis Aguero, um, Ricardo Mayorga, and also Chocolatito, Roman Gonzalez. You know what I mean? Those are great fighters, Hall of Famers. Yeah, I really like Chocolatito. It's really great. What about Man, what about Ricardo Bayorga? Fucking problems, bro. What about Ricardo Bayorga? I like Chocolatito more, but oh, drop him! Uh, I'm a, a big fan oh, of Chocolatito. Thank you, Lee. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you said he was hurt. He got back up though. That but, nigga got hurt. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they good. It's tough. He'll be so. I'm telling you. Do the problem, bro. Do the definitely a problem, though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, man. Let's put some heat on this guy, man. Let's get some good fights on him. Oh. We will. Is bro. Tiger Johnson the same weight class? You know. The Tiger Johnson. Won. Yeah. He had one. I'm not sure about Tiger. You say he, he is? Is he? 
147. You match him up, you will see if he's any Tiger good. Johnson don't want that work with my guy right here, bro. Oh, oh I'm serious. That, that'd be like a hot fight. That'd be real hot. They know fight. about Tito. Go to his Instagram, bro. Look, look at his accolades, bro. I mean, but Tiger Johnson is really oh, no, good. He is at 140, super light. You put that fight together, man. You're talking about yeah. fire crackers. Tiger don't want it, bro. Hey, Cam, Tiger don't want that, bro. Tell, ask him about Tito, bro. Will you be seeing these niggas, bro? Say, what's up with that Tito fight, bro? Tito want that smoke with you, bro. What's up with the press niggas about Tito, bro? And Tito will pull up on any fighter, bro. McCardo will pull up on any fighter, bro. Any one of them niggas. And they know who he is. They know him from the amateurs. Because he was there. He was winning tournaments, too. He was a great amateur, too. He, You know what I mean? They just sleeping on him. And what's that other guy's name? Um, uh, Mason. What's his name? Uh, Abdullah Mason. Abdullah Mason. Abdullah Mason. Is, that, yeah, is it? He's 135. Is it? Or is he 140? 135. He's a great yeah, fighter, Yeah, I thought he's 135. Man. Maybe a little bit light. That'd be a good fight. He's a He's a great fighter, bro. He gonna like be moving him. up. I'm just yeah. thinking about good fights. He a growing kid, bro. That may be really challenging fight if he got up to 140. Hey, hey. I don't know. It'd be fire. What's up with you? What What you think about your boy Tito having to run into Adelaide eventually? Yeah, for sure, bro. We love we that fight, bro. Love we them fights, bro. Yeah. The you know what I mean? That's the type of fights we looking for. Of course, bro. They got to lock know. up. Adelaide, bro, that's going to be a great fight. You know what I mean? And the winner of that fight going to be, they going to be that nigga, bro. That could be a great fight, bro. You know what I mean? They got the potential to make that fight, too. Yeah, for sure. Because he's going to move it, up, too, because he's a big fighter. He big, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He go, he go where he go. He's going down. I love that fight, bro. That's the type of fights I'm looking for, Cam. That's Did like fight the perfect fight. That's the perfect fight. Now you thinking? You you thinking like I'm thinking? You know what I mean? For sure. That's the way to make a fight. Everybody step up, man. It'll ain't be no, right there. He's like he's ain't like ain't his own it. Don't it seem like his own? They ain't gonna though. duck each other. Ain't they ain't gonna duck. It seems like it's fight. soft, man. Like everybody in the wrong division. Like everybody needs to step up. Some need to stay, some need to step up, and then it should be right. I think Adelaide might take that nigga, though. I think it's going to be a great fight. I'm going to go with Adelaide, though. <laughs> but but that going to be a, that nigga tough, too, though. That going to be a good fight, bro. I mean, it's gonna yeah, that awesome. nigga bringing some it's shit, awesome. too. That nigga got power in both hands. That nigga can box, too. That nigga it's got gonna be, bro. It's gonna be who gonna, got the willpower at the end, bro. That's gonna be a hell of but a it's gonna fight. end up. Two that motherfucking noodles in there trying to throw their hands. That's what that's it's gonna, gonna end like, up. That's gonna be like a Morel and Benavidez fight type shit. That's gonna be one of them great fights. That's a you know big I mean? fight, but motherfucker don't want to fight the I fight. I ain't gonna think nobody gonna duck. Exactly. With these, I don't think they're gonna duck each other. Look, look at his uh amateur record, bro. Check him out, bro. Look what it say, bro. Do the beast, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just don't I hope they don't pad his record too much. I get bored with that. It's like that Richard Torres Jr. Everybody Quit adding that, that fucking process. guy's record. Every, Put him against the heat. It. Everybody does it. I hate it. But okay, I mean, bro. But he's he fought Jeremiah Nakatilia. He fought Jeremiah Nakatilia. He fought Jeremiah Nakatilia. He fought Jeremiah Nakatilia and Shakur fought against him. You know what I mean? He that guy went 12, 12 rounds with Shakur, bro. You know what I mean? Even Raymond Moritala fought that guy. And he fought against Hank Lundy. The same guy that Crawford fought against, Hank Lundy, and knocked him out. That nigga, that nigga, <laughs> uh, Tito amateur record was 20, 278 and 11. That's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. That nigga like that. He said he won like uh, 22 national championships, bro. So that nigga, wow. and then he went to the Olympics. He was a, the, I think, like a replacement. You know what I mean? He was like an alternate or something. You know what I mean? He made that shit happen, bro. I'm telling you, bro. 
I'm telling you, bro, for real, that nigga a beast, bro. He good, a monster. Good technique. Yes. And he got power, bro. I'm telling you, yeah. Cam. Hey, he, he running down on it. He, he just called out Devin Haney on Fight Hype. Bro, I'm about to play his interview, bro. He did it today. He can bro. hang with Devin Haney. I mean, I think guys. he can hang with anybody. I'm going to tell you that. Tito can hang with anybody, bro. With anybody, bro. At 140, bro. At 140. His be weight amazing division. If he could. Look, he said, he said that Arnold Barbosa ducked him, bro. Is a duck. You remember? <laughs> he said that, bro. Look, I'm about to play his interview on Fight Hype, bro. Let's watch it, bro. Let's watch this, bro. You know what I mean? Hey, Cam, check it out, bro. They said this kid is a truth, bro. <laughs> I'm about to play this shit. This guy is a future world champion. All right, Sean Zatel, FightHype.com here, joined with a really highly touted prospect. This is a fighter that, especially from reporters coming out of California and just people that are really, really in boxing, say, you know, this guy is a future world champion uh, big time, and that's Ernesto Tito Mercado. I I'm sure... Plenty of people watching the interview have heard of you already, Tito. But uh, my first time talking to you, 14-0, 13 knockouts. Uh, fight Last fight at 140, I believe. You know, campaigning around super lightweight. But what's going on, man? It's, it, you've, been, you've been going on like a, a, a spree of who's the top guys we can get that, that don't have to be connected to the big promoter. Is he a former uh, guy like Hank Lundy that used to fight uh, world champions? Is it Endo Gany who went the distance with Haney or Nakatia who went the distance with Stevenson? But how's it feel getting out of the club shows and fighting on the zone in a main event in Houston, bro? Man, it's exciting, you know, to finally, like you said, man, you know, I was getting all these big names, but I wasn't getting the quite exposure. And, 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 and regardless of those, to be able to get the, you know, boxer, boxer uh, prospect of the year, you know, still doing them in club shows, fighting these guys without no major promoter. I, I think, I mean, it shows that we've been doing a great job, not just, you know, inside the ring, but outside the ring as well. So, um, but man, April 5th, I'm excited. A lot of people are going to be tuning into that fight. They want to see how I do under the lights. And I can't wait to, uh, to just keep doing what I'm doing. You know, what's, what's just your mind state as a young fighter right now, approaching the sport? What do you want out of boxing and what's your mind state right now? Man, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, and I just want, man, really, I just want to, I want to fight the best. Obviously, I want to be a world champion like every other fighter does, right? But, man, I really just want to, anything I, I do, man, I just want to take over whatever I'm in, you know, whether it's, you know, 140, 147. I want to take over all the weight classes. So I think to be able to do that, you know, and a lot of fighters say it, but they don't really mean it. You know, you look at their resumes, and it's not really adding up. I think a lot of, you know, uh, boxing fans and people that just look at the resume, they could tell that I'm, that I'm in business. You know, uh, you said 40 and 47, and just, like, watching your tape, it's like, this kid is big. He's he's When he gets to 47, he's going to be a big 47. Are you, are you like, trying to do like De La Hoya did, like like Shane did, you know, from Pomona, trying, you know, let me get this belt while I'm young and I can squeeze down to this weight, but I'm really a big welterweight? Yeah, no, I mean, I definitely, I definitely feel that way. I think some of my best fights are going to be at 47, you know, definitely. Uh, I think that's when I'm really going to hit all my uh, – Sort of, I guess, man strength sort of way. I mean, I'm only 22 still, so I think once I have 47, I'm going to have all my man strength. I'm going to be obviously fully experienced. So I think some of my best fights can be at 47, you know, and uh, potentially, you know, more weight classes if I'm if I'm able to. Uh, Yeah, I mentioned Shane, man. Did, was he – is he an inspiration at all coming from Pomona? Yeah, of course, man. I mean, Shane did a lot of great things. You know, 40, he was a, a crazy lightweight, explosive, a lot of power. You know, 47, he fought a lot of great fighters. You know, he never really ducked away from any fights. And he won a lot of good fights. You know, beat De La Hoya, what, twice or it was? Once, once, twice. Yeah. So, you know, the chain Moldy is definitely an inspiration. You know, we got other world champions like uh, Richie Sandoval, Albert Davila, uh, Mike Weaver. So we have, we have a lot of world champions here, man. So just to, I want to keep adding to the legacy to it. Yeah, you hit me with the Mike Weaver. I was like. Yeah, that, that was old school. Nobody really, knows, nobody really knows he was from here like that. I didn't know that. I didn't know, I didn't know all them guys you named before yeah. Um, talk, talking about your style though, it's, it's like, you got, like, it's obvious you got a good long jab and you, you know, you hold the shoulder roll and got skills, but 
how like how would you describe your style? Are you are you more of a boxer back foot or 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 you like to exchange or how how would you describe it? Um, I mean, everybody says they're a boxer puncher, but they don't really. I feel like I'm a I'm a for real boxer puncher. Obviously, I, I do my things off of skill. You don't see me going in there. You know, no disrespect to Berlanga, but you don't see me going over there waiting punches trying to knock somebody out. I do everything with finesse. And when I catch you with a shot, everybody sees that I'm a good finisher, obviously, by my record. So uh, I feel like I'm a, a true definition of a, a boxer puncher. Like I said, I, I could box, but once I do catch you with that shot, and I'm and I'm not I'm not the type of fighter, like you said, I'm not the one, the boxer that's on my back foot. I'm kind of sort of trying to engage the – at the end of the day, my fans want to see an exciting fight. So I'm going I'm to do it smartly, but I'm going to engage. I want fans to be, you know, I want them to get the bang for their buck. Who who do you feel like are some of the good boxer punch, great or good boxer punchers, like right now? Right now, uh, I would say Terrence Crawford for sure. Terrence Crawford, that's the that's the first one that pops up in my mind. You know, I would say Javante too, but the thing about Javante, he weighs too much on his back foot. He lets a lot of rounds get uh, a lot of rounds. He he loses a lot of rounds early on, and uh, you know, he sort of just waits for that one big shot. So if I had to really pick one, it would be Terrence Crawford for sure. Because he, he knows how to do everything, man. Well, let's definitely talk about your fight. Um, April 5th, um, Denier Berrio, never been stopped. Fought Valenzuela, who, who's got power, but never been stopped. Oh, he um, stopped that nigga stopped today, him. Kel. Yeah, that, that, that's, that dude that's never been goal. stopped. Dang, I didn't know that. The dude he just stopped today never been stopped before. And he stopped him. That's crazy, yeah. bro. Dude's mind. That's good, good, bro. That's good right there, bro. So he just yeah. stopped somebody that never been stopped before. He made him quit. He made him quit, bro. He made him quit. He does. So he stopped. Mind that works like really that? fast. What? His mind works really fast. He a beast, bro. Oh man, you know that's really what we've been fast training for. Mind. Um, obviously, we I seen the fight with Venezuela. He made him look bad. Oh, Rayo couldn't stop him. Hey, Rayo couldn't stop that nigga. He made him quit. Come on, man. You know, obviously, he's going to go there try to knock my head off, too. You know, uh, a win like this is a big opportunity for him. He's going to get more calls. So, I know he's I know he's 100%. So, but definitely, man, that's the goal. You know, a guy has never been stopped. He's been in there with, you know, Ryu, who's obviously a, a guy that a lot of people are looking at as well. So, to be able to just stop him on the zone and to make my name, you know, present, I, I think that I think would be great. Yeah, forgive me if, if I should probably know this already. But what is this fight on the zone – are you officially tied to a promoter like Matchroom or something now? Like, or or is this like a like a tryout? Let's see how you know. Let's see what this kid looks like on the zone. Or what's the situation there? Uh, well, essentially, we're working with Red Owl. They have a, a, a you know a thing with uh, Matchroom, so we just uh, got connected with Red Owl. And, you know, we we started to do business with them. So, um, you know, you kind of take that. How close do you feel to being ready to beat? A, a winner of Roly Cruz or or he even like a Matias in the division. He signed a Red yeah, Owl. Now, man, to be honest with you, he I'm doing business now. with Red Owl Boxing. So he said he was Red Owl, and I guess Red Owl they tied in with Matchroom or something. They under Matchroom, I don't know, but he doing his thing, bro. I think these guys are obviously great fighters, but I got like experience and I can hold my own too. You know, um, the way I'm taking these fighters hey. out, you know, guys with like experience, that's up, in fighters, you know, he would he, he fighters, with Red Owl Boxing. He gonna put he them the on dude, the dude. He just knocked out with the distance with El Rayo. He with the distance with Juan Pablo Romero, another undefeated fighter. He went the distance with Pablo Michael Paul, another undefeated fighter, and, and he went the distance with Zar, the dude that Devin Haney knocked out. Man, I'm <laughs> this gonna be my fighter at 140, bro. Like I know I like and Antoine Russell. I think he a monster. I said I think he the best fighter. But I think my guy right here going, he going to knock out Russell. He going to knock Russell out, bro. We going to build him up, bro. We going to make him a champion. I think I'm going to make this nigga a champion, bro. Believe that, bro. Let's see what, what else he said. For me to be, you know, doing what I'm doing to him, as easily as I, I think, I think that shows a lot, man. And I'm just, uh, all I really need now is just the opportunity, to be honest with you. He going to be a star. Any Mexican-American, you know, you know he going to have a fan base. He He Mexican. And, hey, what, and, uh, what he round he stop him in? Any, you said what? You know what round, what round he stop him in? Um, I think round number three. Damn, it only went three rounds. <laughs> it only went three rounds. Hey, Hebrew called it out. Hebrew said that too. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, he beat the shit out that nigga. He made him quit. Look, it was after after the third round that nigga did not come back out after <laughs> after the third round. He didn't come back for round number four. 
He was that's he said, crazy. No. Yeah, he whooped his ass, bro. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm telling you, look, that's my that look, that's the fighter at 140. That's our fighter. You said to Les, I'm with you. You know, you my little bro, Cam. You feel me? You know, you my homie, bro. Check it out. You said to Les, we gonna build up to Les to knock off a uh, Virgil. Because I said Virgil was number one. You said to Les. So I'm gonna rock with Celez. We gonna beat him. We gotta go beat Virgil. Virgil is the man to beat. We gotta go. We need smoke. Vir Virgil Alexander Zayas. The niggas. Nigga. We gotta put so some niggas in packs. So we gotta run packs. down on him. We gotta run down on Virgil with Celez. Remember that. He's we the gotta one run to down run. on Virgil and Xander Zayas. We gotta yeah, run both down on them. both of them. Niggas. But but Virgil, I think, is the like the best one to, to go after. You know yeah. what I mean? He the best fighter out out of them two. You know yeah. what I mean? But they both are big fights. You know, they, they both big fights, like you both said. Both big fights. Yep. But but look, at 140, I'm going to tell you, now I told you, Russell, I felt like Russell was the best fighter. So, but but Tito, that's our, that's the fighter. That's that's our fighter right there. So, I think Tito is, is the best. I think Tito could beat Russell. You know what I'm saying? I think he, he only uh, 22. He younger, and he got power, bro. You know what I'm saying? So we going to build him up the same way like Celez to beat Virgil. We going to build up Tito to beat Russell. We going to run down on Gary Antoine Russell with Tito McCardo. We going to run down on everybody at 140 with Tito McCardo. You feel me? He want that smoke. And, hey, look, Celez, you got to tell Celez to start pressing everybody, bro, on some free smoke shit. Really start getting that. I'm about to. Uh, I'm about to. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell sports books. I'm a, to really sports start book, pressing. Sports book got an interview with him uh, coming up for his fight. Because I'm gonna hop you on see that Tito McCardo, he did that interview right here with Fight Hype, and he, today, you know what I'm saying? He called out Devin Haney, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, he, you know, you see what he doing, and he called out Matias. He called out Matias too. Check him out, bro. I was just talking to uh, Leonard Ellerby, you know, from, from Mayweather Promotions. And one thing he'll always remind, you know, people that love the sport about it is the business side. And to become a star in boxing, it's going to take more than being a really good fighter and, and winning fights. I mean, you're at the, I get it. Like you're at the stage of your career where it's like, man, I just got to focus on winning right now and being the best fighter. But what, what kind of thought do you give to that? Because sometimes it'll be hard to get it down the road, maybe a Devin Haney, a Tia Fimo, if you know you don't got the star power or whatever yeah no i mean as far as that uh i do definitely think that it's a lot more than just being a good boxer now you know back then you could be a great boxer and you'd be known and but I, also it was, it, was, it was easier to make those fights too because a lot of these fighters wanted to do it you know like the lenders the the hagglers all these guys wanted to fight but if they were a great fighter they were kind of already known now you gotta kind of promote yourself now and in, in different avenues now whether it's instagram tiktok you gotta so it's, it's definitely a different ball game but Man, I just think you got to just, like you said, just keep winning. I think some key victories and, you know, especially being on like, you know, big platforms like The Zone or ESPN or whatever. I think if you really display your, your stuff and, you know, kind of keep promoting yourself now, I think I think you'll be able to get those big shots, those, those big fights, too. Yeah. And I get a sense that you could let some verbal hands go too when, when, when it comes time, when those guys give you some ammunition and they try to. Is that right? Yeah, no, definitely. But, you know, I'm definitely not the type to be either like a. Uh, tweeting too much you know these guys sometimes they tweet too much and i feel like a lot of them don't mean it a lot of them just doing it for clout um and, and then essentially man a lot of the fans look at you after a while they start looking at you a certain type of way because you're calling out these dudes say you want to make this fight happen you never make it happen and then they kind of look at you a little differently so you know i definitely i, I do i know definitely i gotta do my part a little bit more on, on that aspect but you know i want to i want to i want to trust i want to trash talk with somebody that's gonna that make that's gonna make the fight happen i don't want to talk to somebody that's just gonna you know, just keep taking me in circles nonstop. Well, just listening to you talk, like it kind of takes me back to what I asked you earlier, like what's your mentality to, to approach in the box and as a young fighter. So is it, is it corny? Is it cliche to say like, it's not just all about the money for you. You really want to just get busy and prove you're the best in the world. And, and that that's almost just as important as the money. And yeah. Or how would you put it? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, money is important because I mean it's not it's not so much the money part. Just man, I'm, I'm putting a lot of wear and tear on my body. Obviously, we want to be compensated, right? This this is one of the dangerous sports in box and well, in all the sports, right? So we I want to be compensated from from my work, but 
Man, I don't know, man. Something about hurting people, man, it makes me, it makes me, it, may, it does make me feel good. I ain't a lot of you. It makes me, uh, it's kind of like my, like my, my way of being home therapy type of thing. So, you know, hurting people and, and hurting guys that are, they say the best, I think it's more of a, it's more of like a, a challenging thing to me. You know, I, I take it, uh, I wouldn't say personal, but, you know, to some, to some type of degree, I try to take it, you know, offense to me in a way when some guys say, oh, he's, you know, uh, he's the best. Nobody can beat him. But I kind of take offense to it and I, I kind of want to go there and prove people wrong. What, what, when, when you say like you like this shit, like you like hurting people like i've heard a lot of fighters like yourself like well adjusted good dudes just but i like to do that and yet at the same time i know when you guys say that it's not like you want him laid up in the hospital to where they can't still be the same after the fight like or maybe you want him laid up in the hospital but not yeah. not the you know like you don't want cte you don't want to give him all that so yeah why, why is that why what, what is it like why is it that you like to do that and, and what you like about it despite all those other things i, I just said um i don't it, it may be it may be my upbringing you know i definitely you know i went through a lot of stuff you know me and my family went through a lot of stuff you know especially to get to this point so i kind of want to show these guys i guess in a way kind of display them the, the pain that i that i've been through all the suffering that i've been through so i guess that's kind of my way of uh releasing my anger kind of out if that makes sense i think i think even like gervonta and mike tyson and other fighters have mentioned that so yeah i guess so yeah yeah um but yeah man uh what, what if you could fight anyone in the division who would it be right now uh yeah. probably Devin Haney, just because he's the only one that hasn't been beat you know you got obviously with i mean world champion wise you got teofimo sabrio and rollies but they all been beat so I think the best one to me is obviously the guy that had never been beat before. So I, I would probably go with Haney. And he's making the most noise right now. He's fighting a lot of good dudes, and he's and he's looking good. So I, I would definitely like a fight with Devin Haney. I think our styles would, would match up pretty well. So when you look at the landscape, I know T.O.'s lineal. He beat Josh Taylor. But when you look at the landscape, you're like, he's the best in right now in the division. Devin? Yeah, Devin. I mean, there's like I said, if you have a loss in your thing, that means there's a blueprint to beat you. You know, and if, and what we see right about about that. I've been saying about fighters with losses. He has some fights that are controversial. That right. too, you know, with with Sander Martin and or with Jermaine Ortiz. Even though I thought he still edged that one because I, I that didn't think Jermaine smart, Ortiz bro. did too much. Close to Brio and Rollies, but they all been beat. The, the pain that I that I've been through, all the suffering that I've been through. So I guess that's kind of my way of uh, releasing my anger, kind of out, if that makes sense. I think I think even like Javante and Mike Tyson and other fighters have mentioned that. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, what, what? If you could fight anyone in the division, who would it be? Right now, uh, probably Devin Haney, just because he's the only one that hasn't been beat. You know, you got obviously with I mean, world champion wise, you got Teofimo, Sabrio, and, and Rollies, but they all been beat. So I think the best one to me is obviously the guy that had never been beat before. So I, I would probably go with Haney, and he's making the most noise right now. He's fighting a lot of good dudes, and he's and he's looking good. So. I, I would definitely like a fight with Devin Haney. I think our styles would, would match up pretty well. So when you look at the landscape, I know T.O.'s lineal, hey, he hey. Josh Taylor, but when you look What's at the up, landscape, lady? you're like, he's you know, the best. You know who this nigga need to right go now, and knock off? In the division, Devin? Ooh. He needs to go and just uh, beat uh, Kurt Scobie, fight Kurt Scobie. That's a great <laughs> name. That's I a see great that name. they put it in the comment section. That, that's he a put... great name for an undefeated <laughs> fighter. Yeah, what you think about Kurt Scobie? Shit, Curtis Kobe looks straight. He got good power too, but I don't know if he got all the technical shit. I gotta watch him a little more. You think Kobe could be a champion? You think he a beast? It's possible. That nigga look big as hell like, for that weight class. Like Sean Porter, he also Sean Porter shit. He was a he football like a player. Big, he looked like a big one forty. I know he went overtime boxing. He and uh, Mcardo's with uh, he's with a, a Red Owl boxing. So they both fight on the zone. Yeah, they probably would make that happen one day. Facts. Well, listen to what he said about fighters with losses. Just listen to it, bro. He break it down perfectly. Yeah, Devin. I mean, there's like I said, if you have a loss in your thing, that means there's a blueprint to beat you. You know, and if and what we've seen with Teofimo, obviously is lineal, but he's he has some fights that are controversial still, you know, with with Sander Martin or or Jermaine Ortiz, even though I thought he still edged that one because I, I didn't think Jermaine Ortiz did too much activity output wise. But you know, there's there's definitely a consistency of him having off nights. And you know, especially you know, if I fight a guy like Teofimo, you don't want to have an off night with me because 
I mean, I'm essentially a guy I could box, I can move, but I, I, I punch his lights out. So I think to me, the, the hardest guy is the guy that's never been beef before. That say I out. punch his lights out, nigga. Come on, oh, bro. Man. You heard that, Cal? We told T.O.? He said, hey, he said that shit so <laughs> effortless, too. Like, yeah, yeah, with confidence. With confidence, bro. That nigga's a problem, bro. Check him out. Consistency of him having you off nights. And, you know, especially, you know, if I fight a guy like Teofimo, you don't want to have an off night with me because, I mean, I'm essentially a guy I could box, I can move, but I, I, I punch his lights out. So I think to me, the, the hardest guy is the guy that's never been beat before that doesn't have a, a, a blueprint to get beat. So Devin Haney, for sure. You, so I know I know you, you feel prepared for Devin Haney in the ring, right? Very confident. But are you prepared for Bill Haney on the microphone? <laughs> if that comes yeah, Bill, <laughs> Bill Haney don't, don't bother me. Not one bit. You know, uh, there's definitely there's always gonna be somebody right trying to <laughs> essentially talk, but at the end of the day, he he can't save his son. You know, his son don't really talk like that. I know what his son's really about. Uh Dang. but I think it's gonna build it's, I think it's gonna be a good build up because you know Bill's gonna talk a lot. I'm gonna talk right back, and I think it's gonna be a good build up. But like I said, at the end of the day, man, he, he could talk all he want, but he's he not gonna be able to save his son in the ring. Dang, he's talking that uh, shit. You know, there's the this second fight of the year. Crazy. You got in five last year, which is what which is crazy. Fuck? Like without a big, you ain't gonna be able to say that, nigga. In, so <laughs> shout out to you and your dad. Um, how that many times crazy, you want to fight dog? this year? Uh, man, hopefully another five. I think that'd be dope. That's what I like about, I mean, being free in a way. I'm able to. I like I like to fight, man. So I like to be active. You, sometimes you see these big prospects, contenders, right? They only fighting two, three times a year, and. And sometimes you kind of see them. Obviously, they're great talents, right? But you kind of see their 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 stars like start them kind of slow down a little bit because they're inactive or they're not getting the fights they need to develop. And I I feel like we're doing a great job in that sense in my career. You know, uh, is is do you think Matias might be the most realistic uh, route to a title because he's on he's on the zone and yeah. 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 No. You know, I'm I'm a I'm a free agent, so it's not like you know it's it's got to be a strictly agent. the zone or I'm still a free you know, agent. Strictly a, a certain that's what is good too, man. I got I got all types of possibilities, right? You know, if I do it the right way, uh, I get promoted to you know, obviously my name gets big enough, I could kind of choose the route I want to take. So, but I, I would definitely say, yeah, I think he's the he's the guy that's um kind of everybody's kind of overlooking. So I'll be a good fight to to take to step into. Well, he's kind of becoming the, a little bit of the boogeyman at 140. Yeah, I think I think I think more. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Stylistically wise, I think he's the easiest one to beat, just because he he look he's a, he's real uh, limited on on boxing abilities. He's just a tough. He's a tough dude. He's gonna come over and take some shots, but I don't know how many shots he could take from me. What he has gloves on, you know. Especially I know the box. I, I could I could come forward too if he wants me to. So, but I just think it's the more like you said, man. This boxing game is now you can't be a good fighter no more. You got to be marketable too. So. Not a lot of fighters want to fight the dude if he's not, they're not going to get, I mean, from what I heard, they are offering a little bit of money to fight him. So it's like, why would you want to fight the boogeyman supposed to be right for a little bit amount of money? It's just high risk. And there's really no reward. Yeah, you get the belt, but there's still a chance you get injured. Or, so it's like, they're, they're kind of like looking at it both ways now. Are you looking at it like that? No, not, not really, man. I'm looking at it as an opportunity for me. You know, I, I see a lot of these guys are kind of uncertain, though, if they could beat him or not. I know I, know I could beat him. Dang, he talking you know, that man, shit, nigga. The if, if there's anything you else, said he though, know he could beat that, you, you need to, that you need to speak on or that you feel like boxing fans need to hear from, from you, Tito, please let it be known. But thank you for your time, man. No, no, thank you, man. No, just April 5th, tune in. It's going to be my debut on, on, on a major platform, The Zone, April 5th in Houston, Texas. If you guys there, pull through. It's going to be another, like I said, another exciting performance by me. Um, Like always, I'm always, like I said, I'm going to box myself, but I'm going to go over there to excite the fans. I'm going to go over there for the knockout. And just uh, just just tune into my career, man, because this year I'm really too, I'm really like ready to make an impact on 140, and I'm gonna be one of the big names on there. Man, Thank what you, you thought so. about that, Cam? That nigga he said talking. that nigga Matias easy work. He said he know he could beat him too. <laughs> he and said I'm, that nigga easy. <laughs> about Matias, I didn't hear nobody else talk like that about Matias for real. You know what I'm saying? He want that smoke with him. He, hey, bro, he, he just broke fight. all that shit down. He broke all that shit down too. Like, um, you he just fight uh, somebody named uh, Barrios. How was he? He was game. He was cool. Okay. He was cool. He was whooping his ass though. He quit though. He quit, bro. He never been stopped. Oh, that was the Asian nigga that he was fighting. Nah, he was like 
I think it was like Dominican or some shit. Oh, okay. Hey, that nigga beast though. He he was talking that shit, bro. He he called out Devin Haney too. He was talking about Bill Haney and everything, bro. Man, that nigga talking. Eddie crazy. Hearn better sign. I want to see him and Gary Antoine Russell though. I want to see what he got to say about Russell. <laughs> I want Eddie oh, Hearn. Yeah. <laughs> I want I wanna Eddie see Hearn him and Russell that, though. Okay. I want to see him call out Gary Gary Antoine Russell to a fight. You heard me, H. What'd you say? I want to see Eddie Hearn sign that nigga. And I'm trying to sign that nigga. <laughs> I want to sign that nigga, bro. Gary you Russell. sign that nigga too, for real. Fuck it. Oh, that would be a great fight, bro. And Gary I Russell would be a good fight. Hell yeah, for sure. What you think about Gary Antoine Russell? Who, me? Yeah. I think he nice. I think um, I think they need to start moving them more. Like he needs to be in more fights. What like you he, think, think about him in boots? What you think about yeah, him what, in boots 47? fighting one day? Yeah. Oh no, he ain't, he ain't fucking with boots. All that amateur shit is over with. What you think about the uh, rivalry? Go we'll come to an end if he stepped in the river boots. But he been in the ring with Boots a lot of times. He been in a, in a ring with Boots a lot of times. This is a reason why he not fighting but T.S. and niggas are them like, like them yet. But he he knocked out everybody so far. But he, he, not knocked fighting, out. he not fighting the champions at his weight class yet. How he going to fight Boots? But I'm saying, though, he a beast, though. Yeah, he a beast, but... He ain't even trying to fight Matias yet. He, he he called out Matias, right? Didn't he call out Matias uh Cam? He did, I right? He had, I thought he had a chance he to did. fight one of the champions. Ooh. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Gary, don't quote me on Gary this Antoine know. Russell. I'm trying to figure it Gary out. Gary Antoine Russell. <clears throat> Didn't he uh call out Matias? He did. I believe he, did uh, he call him yeah, out he and did. he did on like a yoka or some shit like that. I'm saying Matias. I know he was. I know Matias. I know Matias was going at all them niggas. But yeah, Mat Mat look, Matias went to uh, went to um when he went to PBC and was trying to like negotiate, renegotiate his deal and shit. He was asking for Gary Antoine Russell. They wasn't. They was giving that nigga all one forty seven fighters. That's why he went to Matchroom. They was trying to have that nigga fight boots and shit. Like, no, nah, he need to stay at one forty. I think he do good at there. And uh, and he didn't decline the uh, boots fight. He said he would fight boots too. To be honest, I think he really needs uh, somebody that's gonna teach him how to catch and shoot properly. Like he need to come to fuck the Philly too. Hey yo, what you think about uh, O'Shea O'Shea Johnson, the uh, the girl at one fifty four H? O'Shea Jones. Jones, uh, yeah, that's her name. Was, yeah, I just was watching her shit uh, earlier. Her, uh, all the niggas basically that I watched that whole uh car yeah, was talking about that overtime boxing shit. Yeah, the nice little car going because I had to see about what's that nigga name the main event. I think H said that was fight of the, fight of the year for him, so I had to check that out. Elijah Pierce. Yeah, Elijah Pierce. He put up a good fight. I don't think he was supposed to face real no really no. I don't really I don't think that nigga really posed a threat. Like I ain't really hear like the press conference to see what's really like what was wrong with that nigga. Like if he said anything was wrong with him. But I didn't think his opponent was like game enough to really pose that much of a threat to do all that to him. Hey, bro so you fought, think, bro just hey. fought three titles. He had uh he fought in three uh, title uh, fights. So he fought a title fight. That was an eight rounder. No, nah, I'm talking about the dude he was fighting. He fought in three tight, like three different title fights. He fought for belts. He didn't oh, okay. win. He, didn't so win he was game. I mean, I don't know. Listen, like I, 
I come here to figure out like these niggas. Like I don't know the nigga that's I'm on screen. You, this this my fighter right here at 140 though. Now, like I said earlier, I I was saying I feel like Gary Antoine Russell was the best fighter at 140. I felt like he was the best fighter. You know what I mean? But my yeah, guy right here. There with the you go ahead, go ahead. in there with the niggas we wanted him to see, like Garrett. Like I like Gary Antoine Russell. Like we, I got so, seen with the Matias. I got seen with the Tios and so the Devils. Let me ask you. Football. Let me ask you a question. So, do, do you feel like Gary Antoine Russell is a better fighter than those guys you just said? Though, is he a better fighter than them? Do you I feel like he? Yeah, the ones you mentioned. The three, the four champions. Uh. He might could get off on Pitbull because he could box. But I like I would like to see him with them three. I think they 50-50 fight. You don't think okay. You don't think uh he, he could uh he could beat Devin Haney? Probably. But Dev's so disciplined, bro. Like, like I ain't gonna lie. I had I had Shakur over Devin for a while. But when I seen him against Regis, bro, he's so disciplined. Like just to see like a guy out on his feet like that and not go for the kill, I thought that was amazing. Whoa, what about what happened in the Lomachenko fight? Um, uh, to be honest, me, what I think, I think a lot of that had to do with the weight clause. Lomachenko was on his ass. <laughs> I mean, not the weight clause, the uh him draining the stuff to go at 135. Like, I think if he for tank at 35, tank gonna put yeah. in he got a better chance. He won the fight tank though, he 40. did get the victory. No matter yeah, yeah, he, he got, got the, the victory. Win, so like me, okay. what like so when I was watching the shit, I thought it was a draw. But okay, got, so you got Devin Haney as the best fighter right there at one forty. Yeah, um, I like him and Matias. So you think uh, you think <laughs> Russell could beat Matias? I think I well, if I'm being honest, I think that's a, a 55-45 Matias way. But Matias Russell got a loss. Box. He got beat yeah. before. You know, Matias got a loss. I mean, so do Tim Zhu. I fuck with Tim Zhu because he showed me how much well, adversity. Matias got beat up. He ain't fight. had no cut on him. Man, he just killed a nigga to fight before. Um, yeah, he did. Niggas ain't killing niggas in the ring. So I mean, he, he gives me what I yeah, want. But That's Russell not got like everybody to though. Russell yeah, not got I mean, everybody, my nigga. The, Russell giving me the shit I like to see too. I mean. He came from the yeah, and, and he undefeated though. Out. And he uh, undefeated on top of that. I, I, you gotta take you know, a nigga other, undefeated than a nigga with a loss. The, the, the other the undefeated shit cool. But he I got really beat up beat. though. You I got bro. Go watch really that fight. Matias got beat up, bro. Like, like I nigga whooped Matias' like, ass, bro. Matias got his ass whooped before. Yeah, bro. I get that, but he came back and beat the nigga ass. Okay, but Russell ain't never got his ass whooped. I mean, we ain't never really seen with niggas that's like the champions, so like the who, niggas we name it. Okay, so who was the nigga that beat Matias? He wasn't a champion. Yeah, true. But we not we haven't seen Russell with the champions. Matias got a belt. He holding. Yeah, back. but it's not really Russell can Ron beat the champions. Out. Russell can beat the champions. He can beat beat any one of the champions. You know I'm what I'm saying? saying? To be can't. honest, but we got to see him in there, each. And I'm telling you, my fighter right here. Tito, Tito, he could beat anybody too. I got check. He, he him coming. Out. I'm here. He coming him after him. Russell. He just called out Devin Haney. He called oh, so out he, Bill he, Haney. He, you know. You think he could beat Russell? He could beat anybody. This nigga, this my fighter, bro. And look, what you like about, about it? it? What he do? Like I he don't got know power. Him. He got power. He got power, bro. He got offense. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He got skills too. He got defense, hey, but he got footwork. Hey, his, his amateur, <laughs> hey, his amateur record was 278 and 11. Hey, hey, Cam, we got a Mexican fighter, so nigga can't say, bro. We got all type of fighters. I got <laughs> hey, nigga, nigga, Mexican? we got Cuban fighters, nigga. We got motherfucking <laughs> black fighters. We got a um nigga, we got Mexican fighters, nigga. We got fighters from Nicaragua. Hey, 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 my hey, nigga. Hey. And he gonna be a star, nigga. He got a Mexican <laughs> fan base. What's up? <laughs> What's hey, up yo, with it? Hey, yo, I, I watched Carmel Moten, right? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. He made me aware of that nigga Cuba, Cuba, whatever his name is. I yeah, like that Cuba, nigga. That one nigga? That fight. You that yeah, one nigga I like Cuba. He, he made me like he he fight hard. I like that. Like I don't like I don't me with the loss. I don't think he Cuban though. Wait, 
His last name was Cuba. But yeah. But like even though he had two losses, that nigga fight hard. Like you feel me? Yeah, and for sure. He gave up a good fight. And you know I mean Kamel looked good. Like he, he looked like pretty boy and uh a little bit of tank to me. Yeah, Just a for real, bit you of think tank. so? Yeah, I think he's like he gave me pretty boy vibes. He got some, like his some high people body try to point. say he ain't got the power like tank. He said because they said well, tank would have knocked got, that dude out. Nigga got they said tank would have knocked that Cuban nigga out. Yeah, no, that's I mean, cause tank tank got more power, yeah. But far as him getting experience two years later, like far as like him being 20 or 19, he's putting him to sleep. For sure. Kamel Bolton, dangerous, bro. That 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 yeah, nigga that I like Olympics, him though. That, 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 that my nigga favorite that the Olympics, that nigga Shakur <laughs> folks, he ain't gonna be able to fuck with him too too much. Hey, look, him. hey, bro, K Carmel Moulton, that's my favorite fighter at 126 in that weight division. Bro, he's you know gonna be nasty, bro. Yeah, that bro, I just see that nigga right fight there. that eight round. They need that to get him in all right ten there. rounds like Andy Cruz. He's gonna be nasty. He with Mayweather too, so. He already a star, bro. He got a fan base already, bro. Yeah, that little nigga. And he, like, the way he fight, he entertaining. He willing yeah. to put on a show. Like, that's the he, type of shit I like to see. Like He gonna be a speak, main event fighter soon. They, so they gonna forget, be putting him as a main event. Niggas forget it's a business. Like, it's a business <laughs> it's entertainment. And, 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 like, then the boxing match is, like, the least form of this shit. Like, Everything else come before it for real, for real. And niggas really forget that. And that showmanship he put on was amazing. So, yeah. I like uh, Abdullah Mason too, though. Abdullah Mason, I think they need I like to step him. up his competition. He, I, 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 he's still a prospect for me. Man, he the truth, bro. Yeah, he good, Some though. Like, say I think he fight he, like he, boots. I think he, I think he'd beat, uh, what's his name? Kid Austin. Yeah, for sure. What you think about Kid Austin? I think he good. He just need to slow his room. Yeah. He, he got I watched him. That was my first time watching his most recent fight. He 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 he, he they hyping him. Yeah, he, like, he a young he a young fighter though. He young, bro. Yeah, he he only they, like I mean they, they all young, so they got time to really build. That's why it's good. Now, I like Abella Mason though a lot, bro. Yeah, dude, look, Mason, nice. I want to see him with better competition. But you know who I am, like who his I resume am. better you than Kid Austin resume. Yeah, it is. But you know how, I, like, I really want to see, like, I want to see David Benavidez versus Canelo. Then I want to see David Benavidez fight Morel. But I really want to see Morel. I want to see Morel get like a tough, like a built tough. Puncher slick nigga too, like to really see what he made of. Cause I only see that nigga go one gear. Like that nigga never leave one gear. He be telling his coach, like, coach, I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to go fucking party. Man, that be easy, playing man. around. Too easy, bro. Bro, he be yeah. in there playing around. Well, you know what I mean. He, he you gonna see in like his next started. fight. You gonna see in his next fight, bro. He got a well, big surprise for everybody, bro. man. You know what I mean. I'm not sure who it's going to be right now. Uh, you know I, I, mean? I know. I think I, it might be. But I don't know, though. Yeah, it's going to be on the Tank Davis undercard, though. He's going to be on the nice. Tank Davis undercard. And they supposed to have David Benavidez on it, so it's going to be yeah. a better event. Yep. He going he gonna to call, call out Benavidez. Out, like yeah. he yeah. He's going to call him do. out, and we're going to pull up on him. You know what I'm saying? So. Hey, hey. We gonna build up the fight hey, with them. It's gonna build up a fight. What's up with it? That nigga Najee dropped the David Benavidez interview. Yeah, I seen it. Yeah, I I'm about to watch it soon. I get upstairs. What's up? What he say? We gotta. We, are we gotta, You wanna watch? We gotta watch that bitch. Yeah, he know he capping though. You know he gonna say some bullshit, bro. We gonna call his ass <laughs> out, bro. You know he capping. He just saying whatever for the interview and I shit. Even watch that bitch in. You know, he gonna say whatever. But I know we gonna be on the undercard with Tank Davis. He gonna be there. He gonna be on the undercard. So Mor Morell gonna call him out again. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's gonna build up a fight with them too. Be just being on the undercard with Tank, being at the press conference, the weigh in, or everybody together and shit, is gonna hype up a fight with them. Cause they already hey, got people. Hey, I'm about to listen in. I'm okay, my nigga. Work. I said I'm with each. 
All right, well, like the salon, bro. Tap in. All right. The show. Hey, Cam, that's going to be what's up, bro. It's going to build up a fight with, with David Morrell and David Benavidez being on that Tank Davis undercard together. Facts. It's going to – yeah, man. But, but look, I want to play you – I want to play you this interview when uh Tito Mercado he he called out Keyshawn Davis, bro. Listen to what he said about Keyshawn, bro. Nigga went in on Keyshawn Davis, bro. That nigga was talking crazy about Keyshawn Davis, bro. He said he want that smoke with that nigga, bro. Tito. Earlier, um, we talked, we kind of alluded to it, your history with Keyshawn Davis um, in regards to the Olympic trials and the kind of the way things went. Um, a little bit of weird stuff going on there, man. Could you just elaborate on it? Just what, what happened from start to finish? What do you think took place? Uh, what happened was, I mean, uh, I was supposed to fight Keyshawn in the Olympic trials. Uh, for some whatever reason, I had a medical issue that I cannot fight. They, they told me that we would get a box off back in Colorado Springs before the qualification process. So I was like, that's cool. We get there, uh, and I noticed Keyshawn's not training. He's not doing none of this stuff. And that's, I mean, as far as that, you know, Keyshawn's trainer is one of the selected coaches who's going to be selecting the fighters, uh, K. Karoma. And I thought that was a little bias, you know. And, and Sparrings, I feel like he was giving me a lot of wrong directions, too, against these Olympians. So I could get my ass whooped, and I'm going to just say how it is. You know, I felt like a lot of these coaches were trying to favor him and trying to make me, you know, uh, you know, do harm to me, I guess, in a way by giving me false uh, instructions and stuff like that. But then, you know, we spoke to them. We were trying to figure out when we were going to do the box off. You know, we want to get the box off in because, I mean, that's what really, you know, once you get in that ring, that's what really says the best. Like, all this point stuff really don't matter. And they were telling us, you know, they brought us into the room saying that no matter what we did, we could beat Keyshawn, beat him in the selection process, all that, and they still were not going to give me the spot. They said they invested too much money in them. So, you know, kind of from that point, we just... Who, who, who was that that told you that they invested too much money in you? The director uh, named Matt Johnson. Billy Walsh, and I don't believe those, uh, I don't want to say, I think, I don't know who else was in there. There was another guy in there, but for sure them too. And they told us that they were in uh, Billy Walsh's office when they told me that. And, you know, we obviously, you know, we wanted to get that gold medal for USA since we haven't gotten it so long. So I was kind of discouraging, man. But they told us, you know, we could be the alternate, come over, get sparring, but we ain't nobody's sparring partner, nobody's alternate. So we decided to go to Nicaragua for, to go qualify over there. We told them straight up, because we got to send them a letter and stuff to, to allow us to go over there to Nicaragua. We told him straight up, you know, I told uh, Matt Johnson myself that I'll see you guys over in Nicaragua and, uh, and Argentina. That's where the qualification process is going to be at. I'll see you guys over there and we're going to see what's up. We'll see, we're, we're really going to see who's the best. And, uh, you know, from that point, man, everybody just, you know, started saying rumors that, oh, Tito just left. I, I've been hearing stuff like that. They don't know the exact process, man. They don't know exactly really what went down. There's a lot of politics down to it, man. But it's all good. You know, all that, all that's already, all that's already finished. I'll see Keyshawn on the pros and we'll see what's going to happen. We've seen Keyshawn have uh, success. We just saw him fight on the undercard of Oscar Valdez. Actually, I think it was like a co-main event of Oscar Valdez versus Shakur Stevenson. How does a Mercado versus uh, Keyshawn Davis fight go? Ends in a knockout. I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, even from the amateurs, Keyshawn has never had a shin. And I think that's going to play a big role as far as, you know, I, I think he's a skilled fighter. I'm not taking nothing away from him. I know a lot of fighters be like, oh, he's just trying to knock him. I think he's a skilled fighter, but don't mean I'm not going to whoop his ass. And I feel like you know, within the seventh, you know, eighth round, hopefully it's a championship out. I think I'll knock him out because I think he has a suspect chin. We're gonna, and I'm going to test that out come that day. If you had any messages for Keyshawn Davis, what would you say to him if he had any for you? Like Mike Tyson told Lennox Lewis, I'm coming for you. He was on that nigga, bruh. He said he going to knock that nigga out, bruh. <laughs> He was on that nigga, bro. What you thought about that, bro? He was pressing Ke Keyshawn Davis. He said, he, said he, he got no chin. <laughs> hey, he said he want that smoke. Keyshawn said he, he would come up to 140. He he said he would come up to 140 to fight T.O. He said he said that. Right. Yo, what right. up, Ben Israel? Right. Tap in. Tap in with me. I got a new fighter at 140. His name Tito. Tito Mercado, bro. You know what I mean? He a beast. He a monster. He called out Keyshawn Davis. He called out Devin Haney, bro. He called out Matias. He called out Tiafimo Lopez. He a monster, bro. He got power in both hands. Yeah, bro. 
Hey, Cam, nigga better watch out, nigga, for him, bro. No, for real. He going to be a problem. He definitely going to be a problem, bro. At 140, you dig? That he want that smoke with Devin Haney, bro. He, hey, Devin Haney got that fight coming up with Ryan Garcia, bro. <laughs> hey, you, 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 <laughs> hey, what's his what's reach, H? 74. Damn. Yup, 74, bro. You dig? What's up, bro? He 5'10 with a 74 reach, bro. Oh, yeah. He got the same he measurables. Be a star. He got the yeah. same measurables as Adelaide. Yup. Yeah, you thinking about that fight, huh? That's going to be a good fight. He said that 150. He coming up to one. Yeah, he he was talking. He he was talking crazy about both divisions. He ain't gonna be talking crazy about Adelaide like that. Uh, if he do that, I think that's gonna be the fight, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's gonna be the one. Let's see what's up, bro. Because right there at 140, he he a big 140, bro. You know what I'm saying? At one one 147, him the, and Adelaide. The dude. That's the dude in the crazy. interview said he he could be a big he gonna be a big one forty seven too. Yup, he is for sure. Yup. Hey, so a fight with him in Adelaide that gonna be the one, bro. Yeah, that shit gonna be crazy. Yup. Hey, but he calling out everybody. You know what I'm saying? Nigga has got to get out there and start pressing fighters. No, nah, for real. That's what he got to do, bro. He, like he, you said, he, he, he talked gotta, about that nigga Xander before. Yeah, yup. But he got to he got to call out Virgil Ortiz. Yeah, that's the he got to call out Virgil Ortiz, and then uh, uh Tito Mercado. He got to call out G Gary Antoine Russell. You know what I'm saying? Richardson Hitchens don't want it. Richards, he fights tomorrow, bro. You going to see the difference, bro. I seen Tito fight tonight, bro. And we going to see Richardson tomorrow, bro. He better than Richardson Hitchens. He a better fighter, bro. And then he called out all of them other niggas too, bro. All of his homies. He did too, bro. He did. And then he he said that uh, Arno Barbosa he ducked him. He said Arno Barbosa ducked him, bro. That's, That's crazy. What he said, bro. Yeah, I mean, but I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna let you see what he said about uh, Shushu. What he said about Shakur and them. He called out everybody, bro. He called out Shakur. He called out Shushu. He said he want to fight all of them. Nigga said he want that smoke, bro. He he sound like he really talking, bro. Like he talking like he like that. I've been getting a lot more fans. I turned into professional ranks, and I had a lot of people in amateur, but I'm starting to see a lot more love in the professional ranks, and a lot more people support me. So it's definitely fun, man. And I mean, you can't be knocking people out with ounce gloves. Definitely. Um, and your amateur experience. A lot of people know you from the amateur circuit, man. Tell us uh, some of your amateur accolades. I have over 300 amateur fights, uh, 290 and 11. Uh, Olympic alternate. I was the Olympic representative for Nicaragua. Unfortunately, because of COVID, I wasn't able to represent the Olympics. But uh had 22-time national championships, two-time gold medalist international. And uh, that's really it, man. Just a little something. And you got his Damn, hey, Cam. He said 22-time national champion. 22-time national champion. 22. You, you heard his amateur record, bro? Hey, hey, hop on the panel, body work. Man, tell us uh, some of your amateur accolades. I have over 300 amateur fights, uh, 290 and 11. 290 uh, and 11. 290 and 11, bro. Olympic oh, yeah. alternate. I was the Olympic representative for Nicaragua. Unfortunately, because of COVID, I wasn't able to represent the Olympics, but uh, had 22 time national championships, two time gold medalists. 22 national, national and, uh, championships, count. Come on, Cam. Sure, yeah, man. Just a little something. And you got history with some guys that kind of have made some headway uh, in boxing themselves. We were talking off camera about your dad, 
Uh, the name Keyshawn Davis came up a couple of times, man. Uh, you guys know each other from the amateur television guys. Yeah, we know each other from the, uh, really, the Olympic trials, Olympic circuit. We was uh, both competing for that spot with the two finalists. And unfortunately, you know, due to, uh, I'm going to just say it out, there's a lot of politics. We weren't able to get that fight happen. But uh, he's doing his thing right now, and I hope to see him down the line. As far as pro uh, guys go at 135, you're campaigning at 35 right now. Uh, who's your favorite guy at 135? Uh, as far as just you know, skill wise, or just just as far as favorite fighters, skill wise, who are you watching at 35? Right now? I think to be honest, the most skilled fighter right now, and I think a lot of people knock him is Lomachenko. I think the only thing that that kind of diminishes him a little bit is his size. But I think other than that, I think he's probably by far the most. Uh, he has the most arsenal, more skill set, and I think he's uh, still a uh, force to be reckoned with in that 135. They're talking about Lomachenko coming back in October. Uh, no opponent yet. Who would you like to see Lomachenko fight against? <clears throat> That's a hard one, man. I think uh, somebody like maybe uh, that's a hard one, man. There's a lot of good fighters right now. A lot of good fighters in the circuit right now. But uh, somebody that's a, uh, I think a, a a good a good fight that could uh, make him mm, maybe like a Ryu, somebody like like a good contender that's already coming up. A Ryu, uh, who else we got right now coming up? That's a good prospect. Uh, I think a fight like Ryu would be a good one right now. Ryu Valenzuela. Yeah. Another guy that uh, is a 135 pounder that looks to be surging uh, in his career, man. So many talented guys at 135 this guy Devin Haney uh with the undisputed belt at 135 what do you think about him and Cambosis I think the second fight is going to be uh I think it'll be more of a shutout I think Devin Haney is going to just uh I mean he already knows what he's going to do I think that I'll point him a little bit better he's going to shoot his jab a lot more that's what's really the the thing that's controlling the whole fight so I think he should be able to walk through him pretty easily and uh hopefully uh, we get some better fights with him uh with bigger names down the line yeah um back to you uh, before we talked on camera we talked about a pro hit list um, you talked about a couple guys that uh, down the line you'd like to tangle with. Who are those guys? In your uh, mind? You know, they vary from Shakur Stevenson to Keyshawn Davis. Really, I want their whole stable, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, they got Delonte Johnson. They got a lot of guys that are around my weight class. And I'm going to even throw this extra one out because uh, I heard an interview the other day said that he he knew me, but he didn't want to really say what happened. Uh, Bruce Chuchu, uh Carrington, even though he's a lot lighter than me, he was talking about, oh, I know the guy. He was acting like he didn't know me. Uh, we actually sparred together one time, and I'm not going to, you know, I'll just tell the latest thing, man. I put hands on him, but he was acting like he don't know me, so I mean. The <laughs> hey, Cam, you heard this nigga, bro? You heard yeah. that nigga, bro? I oh, heard man. that shit. Damn, he said he put hands on Shoot Shoot. He called out the whole stable. You know, he said Shakur, nigga motherfucking Keyshawn Davis, nigga all of them, Delonte Johnson, Tiger Johnson. This nigga with the shits, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm rocking with this nigga, bro. He gonna be something, bro. He gonna be a problem, bro. I think he is a problem already for a lot of fighters, bro. This nigga gonna be a star, bro. <laughs> this nigga that nigga. Hey, Kim. This nigga that nigga, bro. Like, I ain't oh, gonna lie. We gotta build him up, bro. You think he could beat Russell? <clears throat> we gotta build him up so he could beat Russell, bro. You know what I'm saying? If he could beat Gary Antoine Russell, you know what I'm saying? Shit, he might have I want to see what he say about him. He might have more followers than Gary Antoine Russell. He got 72,000. He's going to have many, a Mexican fan base. How and many he Gary hit Antoine the rock got? With two. You said what? How many Gary Antoine got? Let me see. I don't really follow him like that. Let me see. I need to, though. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking not. with this nigga, bro. I'm always going with the uh, underdog. I know Russell, to me, is the guy to beat. He's the guy you got to beat, yeah, bro. He got way more followers than Gary Antoine Russell. He already a bigger star. He a bigger name than him. Exactly. What the fuck? He got 16.3. And he just had a fight. He's staying more active. That shit crazy. Hey, Telez got to start pressing him. He got to, you know, I, I know you say, he said something about Xander, huh? He got to be more out there. He got to start, you know what I mean? Hey, do we speak English? Telez or not? A little bit. I think Telez gonna be a star, bro. 
his, his English kind of like David Maru. He got a fight coming up, huh? Yeah, he fight April 26th. What you think he gonna do? That's an undefeated fighter he fighting. Like undefeated fighter, yeah. Dude from uh, Tony Harrison camp. Shit, I think it's gonna be a good fight. I think the last you know. But I think bro got some good skills though. Hey, so what you think uh your boy gonna do? Richardson Hitchinson. <clears throat> Shit. It's a twelve round fight too. He might stop that he nigga. Win that fight, bro. No, you think you gonna stop him? He might. It's possible. But if he don't, he gonna win it like 10 2, 9 3, UD. Oh, there he, he go. That dude. There he go. What's up with it? What's going on with it? What up, Chop? You can hear me? Yeah, I can't hear you, bro. Come back in. I can't hear you. Come back in, my boy. I got a new fighter, Tito McCardo, bro. Monster. Beast mode, bro. Hey, Cam, my boy Hamza Shiraz, though, at 160, 160, open division. Listen, Hamza Shiraz, you hear me? Check him out. Look, write this down, bro. Remember this. Elijah Garcia, he only uh, 20 years old, Mexican-American. He got the look of a star, like a Ryan Garcia, but he could fight, though, bro. Elijah. Yeah, huh? I thought that's he only uh, 20 years old. Elijah he was supposed Garcia. to fight on that Tim Zhu card. Bro, he, he, he's a good fighter, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and listen, I told you, Elijah Garcia, right? Hamza Shiraz, he a beast, Hamza. Hamza got a big fan base already. You know what I'm saying? He, he got a big time promoter, Frank Warren. Frank Warren said that nigga like Thomas Hearns from Yo City, Detroit. The hitman Thomas Hearns. They said Hamza Shiraz like him. He a beast, bro. 6'3", middleweight. You know what I'm saying? Watch out for him. Hamza. You know what I'm saying? And also that Cuban. That new Cuban. Hernandez, nigga. I'm telling you, bro. That nigga nice, bro. You talking about Iglesias? That nigga nice, but the new Cuban at 160, he nice too. He probably could beat all of them. He got the best pedigree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, his dogs, for sure. I, don't, I wonder what type of power he got. He probably, if he knock his shit out like that, that nigga gonna be a problem, bro. If he really knock his shit out like that, Hernandez, we it looked like he got power too. I hope I hope I'm gonna get that Emma Williams fight. Huh? I hope so, bro. Yeah. If he get that one, that gonna be a good, a great fight. He gonna knock out Emma. It's not official though, cause they was trying to try to figure out the weight divisions. You know what I mean? It's nothing. You know what I mean? It's n nothing is official. Thanks. to figure that shit out yeah I, I hope i hope they fight each other they they was uh talking about it though 
That's what the, you know what I mean? That's the rumors. M.O. Williams versus Hamza Shiraz. And then they said, uh, they said Philip Hergovich versus Daniel Dubois, right? At heavyweight? Yeah. And that's some good fights. And Nick Ball, they said Nick Ball versus Raymond Ford or some shit? Yeah. I like them fights, but hey, my boy Tito McCardo coming for that smoke though at 140. You know what I mean? That was a great performance. Hey, Celeste so gotta start pressing motherfuckers, bro. You know what I mean? Telez got to be out there cooking niggas, bro. He got to go after Virgil Ortiz, bro. How you think Telez will beat Virgil Ortiz, bro? You know what I mean? You think he ready for, for Virgil Ortiz? Huh? You said what? H. You think he ready for Virgil Ortiz? Your Hell boy yeah. Telez? You think to, Virgil Ortiz ready for Telez, though? Hell yeah. So, so, what what makes uh, Telez you think uh, better than a uh, Virgil Ortiz, bro? Let's talk about that fight real quick, bro. His 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 footwork and uh, punch placement and punching power. But Virgil got punching power too. He knocked out everybody. He got a hundred percent knockout percentage. Shit, that's true, but uh, his power ain't like Telez. He don't got one punch power, knockout power. Telez got one punch knockout power. You think uh, Telez is uh, bigger than Virgil? I, he probably is bigger. I'm about to look at their measurements. <clears throat> Telez, he looked like Tank Davis a little bit, like that nigga gonna be a star, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> I don't know what sleeping on this thing. Like everybody sleeping on this nigga for real. But some people they watched him on that Crawford undercard. There we go, my nigga chop. There he go. What's up yeah, with it? What it do? Man, I got a new fighter at 40. You looking at him? Tito Mercado, homie. He just had a fight on Red Owl Boxing. You know what I'm saying? He got the knockout. He a beast, bro. He a monster. Watch out, bro. You feel me? Yeah, I remember you talking about him a minute ago. Yeah. He just had a fight tonight, though, on that oh, yeah. Red Owl shit. Remember, I, I, I kept telling you about that shit. Yeah, what is record? He got, uh, I think, 14 wins with 13 knockouts. He's he was 15 and 0 with 14 knockouts. He yep. He only uh 20 22 years old. 22. You know what I'm saying? He oh, a free yeah. agent too. I'm gonna bring him to oh, the yo. channel. We running down on everybody oh, at 140. We run <laughs> running down on everybody at 40 with this nigga. That's so cool you hear me, Chop? Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> we running down on everybody at 140. And then uh we got a fighter at 154, my nigga Cam. My nigga fighter Telez, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> hey, yeah. Telez, you seen Telez before? No. The, the Cuban, he knocked no. out Sergio Garcia. You didn't see him? It was no, on a Crawford un undercard with yeah. Spence. Crawford and Spence. That nigga pretty nice, bro. You got to check him out, bro. Hey, can't. Fight at 140? No, he fight at, at 154. 154. Oh, 154. Yeah, hey, hey, Cam, tell Chop about Telez, bro. Yo, fighter, bro. He said he better than Virgil Ortiz. Like, yeah, he put the pause on Virgil. You. <laughs> What's up with it, Mugga? Ain't shit. What's up? What's, What's up, going What's on? Up, Ain't. What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? Yeah, nigga Hi, hell. Right. Hey. Right. Oh, you fried, hey, nigga? Hey, uh-huh. Hey, Cam. Late night. What's the word? Hey, well, now, uh, what was you saying, though? 
Nah, I said he'll put the pawns on that nigga Virgil. He yeah, but break that shit down, though. Break that shit down for me, bro. That nigga Virgil gonna try to come forward and try to land and just establish it. He gonna try to establish his, his jab and try to get on the inside. And that shit's not gonna work, bro, because Telez is gonna be fucking be dancing around that nigga and countering the fuck out of him when he throw that jab. And then yeah. he gonna open his ass up and he gonna stop that nigga in the later up. Bro. Hey, yep. you. hey, me machine was uh, catching Virgil Ortiz with some shit too, though. <laughs> and I remember Ma- Maurice Hooker was hitting him with some shit too, but he stopped him though. He did, you know what I mean? But but to last, he he fight at 154. You know what I'm saying? Them other niggas, like Virgil was at 140 and fighting at 147. Now he at 154. That shit different. So let's see, bro. Virgil ain't did nothing at 154. He only had one fight with a bum, a you bum saw, ass you nigga. Saw, uh, you saw his last knockout age? Um, Telez? Telez? Go look. Yeah, look, yeah. Look, slap look, the nigga. Look, slap look, that nigga on punch. that Jake Paul on the card. One punch. That Jake Paul shit. That nigga almost fell through the ropes, bro. Yeah, that was the knockout. It it was it was one of the knockouts of the year. For yeah. sure, though. No doubt. Like, come but, on. Hey, Virgil bro. been knocking everybody out too, though. He been, you know what I'm saying? Virgil got all doing knockouts shit like too. That. You said what? He not doing shit like that. Yeah, that's true. You right about that. You know what I mean? <clears throat> But hey, this is a great fight though, my nigga. That's what I want to see. I heard that you said the nigga, the nigga McCarter was coming at Keyshawn. Yeah, hell yeah. He said that nigga hell got yeah. Chin. Hell yeah. yeah. He came at everybody, bro. Oh, he been on some shit. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> he nice though. <clears throat> is he ranked? Um. I'm not sure. He knocked out Nakatilia. Yeah. He knocked out Jeremiah Nakatilia. And he knocked out uh Hank Lundy. McCardo. Mm. Oh. Check him out. See what he looks like. Damn, Telez did fight on uh Spencer Bud card. Yeah, a lot of people seen him at that fight, bro. And he knocked that nigga out in the third round. Was the underdog too? That shit crazy. <clears throat> What's up, y'all niggas? Watch that David Benavidez interview. I ain't nah, I ain't shit. really seen it. It's to see it. I seen it. I seen it though. I I ain't watch everything though. Yeah, what, what, what are you talking about? He was capping. I want to see all that. <laughs> what do you say about David cool. Murray on top? Tell me straight, nigga. Because <laughs> yeah. I know how he acts. About Murray, he just said, like, nigga, that's a fight that's going to happen. Uh, he, said, he, he was just saying, like, he feel like, I mean, he feel like it should be for a belt. Like, you know what I'm saying? He like. Making excuses. He like, it should be for a belt. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was for a belt. Murray got a belt. But he the world he champion. Was, he, that's mean, the same Bill Tank got, bro. That's the world title. We know that. He had done. He, he had a contract. He said, that nigga capping to people doing these interviews, bro. You know what I mean? I already knew Najee was going to give him a pass. You know what I mean? Gonna lie, he that really nigga lied. Them. That nigga was capping. He had a contract. They announced the fight, bro. He, he should have been pressing that nigga. Like his, his he, promoter didn't know that. He, look, he making himself look bad with the Turks. Yeah, injury. because the belt shit, because we... Nigga, the, the WB, WBA said him and Benavidez should fight. The, you know, the world champion and the the the, the interim champion. And that nigga didn't want to do it, bro. That nigga don't want to fight, bro. I hope it happened, though. I hope he do fight. Stop ducking. We want, we need yeah, that fight. Said, bro. That nigga said, so he said, like, uh, like, his promoter them ain't know that motherfucker. He already signed for the, uh, he had already signed for the, uh, the Iron yeah, Drive fight. He knew that. That's his promoter, bro. He yeah, knew yeah, that yeah. shit. He just he just went with Ant. 
I mean, he went with the other fight. With Andre, he knew it was a, the easier fight. He took the easier fight. You know what I mean? So uh, now, like, he could have fought Mar David Morrell now, but he went to go fight this other guy. You know what I'm saying? So he's always he's, he always going to duck. He going to make excuses. Oh, but, that nigga said he on Morrell ass, yeah. Nah, he ain't talking about <laughs> shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but look, I'm going to tell you this. You know what's going to... The best thing about this shit is that they both going to be on Tank Davis' undercard. So this is going to build up a fight with them two, yeah. just yeah. being on Tank undercard. Because they're going to be, they gonna be at, at the press conference together. They're going to be beefing with each other. You know, it's going to build up a fight. And then uh -huh. they're going to be at the weigh-in. At the weigh-in, at the same building, they're going to be with, you know what I mean? It's going to yeah. be beef. You know what I'm saying? They beefing yeah. with each other. It's going to build up a fight. Tank going to be there. It's going to be crazy. And then, nigga, uh -oh. Morell going to call him out at the <laughs> fight. He going to call him out. He going to knock the nigga he fight. He going to call him out. You know what I'm saying? After <laughs> his fight. Call that nigga he going to call him out. And then Morell going to be at his fight. He going to be at the nigga fight. Yeah, and we, he going to jump in the ring. You know what I'm saying? They let For him sure, I'm pushing him, him to jump in the ring. We're going to try to get up in that ring. And all of that, we, you know what I'm saying, and we gonna yeah. call them out. You know that shit gonna build up a fight with them too. They gonna be like, Man, "Who is I this?" Think, I ain't gonna hold you. I think they gonna fight though. Hey, they gonna be like, "Hey, hey, chop." They gonna be like, "Who is this nigga pulling up on Benavidez, calling him out?" He's still in the show. He's still in the he show. Asked you know him what about calling him out. He like, nigga, that's cool. He was saying like, that's cool. Like, I like that nigga calling me out. Like, he's supposed yeah, we gonna to call like him out nigga. again. He, he like, ain't gonna he like it this time, nigga. He was like, he gonna jump in that ring. He, he ain't gonna like, like it boxing. when we jump in that ring, nigga. Nah, nigga, we caught him a bitch. No, fuck that. It, he he like, supposed to be a way he like that, nigga. He a bitch, nigga. Fuck that. No, I'm just saying. He said like, no. nigga, he want that call out shit, like nigga. Nah, he, he don't want that shit. That nigga, that nigga ain't top. That nigga did more than call that nigga out. Yeah. No. Bro, I thought he was ducking, but he kind he kind of changed the nigga opinion on the ducking though. Nah, he is ducking. He, he had a contract. Sense, he didn't he sign the contract. Sense, it, nah, it didn't make sense. He like that nigga ain't going away. I ain't nah, going away. Nah, like, didn't make sense, bro. He just to say like nigga, uh, nah, you know that nigga was capping. He wanted the Canelo hey, fight hey, first. Hey Cam, that that nigga he not fighting Canelo. He fighting. Yeah. Uh, he fought in a what's his name? Alexander, brother. Come on, man. Yeah. That nigga he, that he had like a contract. He, he should have signed that contract. Morrell signed his contract. He was ready to fight. He 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 don't he don't want to fight, bro. He ducking. He and listen, I can't wait for that fight when it happened. I can't wait, bro. <laughs> he, he can't duck forever though, bro. Because we both were Al Heyman. He can't yeah, run so forever, bro. He was saying, like, he like that nigga ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. He can't run forever. He running right now, but it's cool. We gonna we gonna catch him. We gonna get him. Bro. Hey, H. What's up with it? Hey yo, don't you think that nigga it? fucking Canelo should fight either of them niggas? Man, he got passed up the throne as fucking somebody. Who the fuck is Hyman Mugia? Yeah, I know, man. I don't, I don't like that fight, bro. You, like you know what I'm saying? Canelo, he's he's on some bullshit, bro. He should be fighting like Benavidez and David Morrell. And David Morrell and Benavidez should be fighting each other. You know what I'm saying? Listen, but it's not, ain't none of this is how that shit should go. Canelo should fight David. Jaime Mugia should fight Morrell. And then the winners should fight the winner. What if he just give up the belts? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just get a belt or, up or if he let give the up, he either out. give up the belts or the WBA bad day him and Morrell because that's what that's first. That's what the Benavidez is saying. Like they the sanction right. body's got a mandate. Do they fucking job? Hey, the W the WBA took out that super shit for sixty eight. No. <laughs> oh, no, he got the regular belt. Well, not the regular, the, the other one. Yeah, Morrell got the regular belt. He got the world title. He the world champion. That's the real belt. So Benavidez making I mean, that yeah, it is the real belt. Niggas be making excuses that's like it's not happened. the real belt. Exactly. I just so read about that shit today. I never knew that. Yeah. I yeah. never yeah. that belt was made 23 yeah. years before. Yeah. I'm about to say I really yeah. never cared, but that didn't make sense. So that nigga's still ducking. And uh hey, I can't wait for that fight, big chop. When it happened, yeah. are we gonna knock him out? Look, 
Dude, we gonna knock him out, bro. And then my boy gonna be the best, bro. Watch. That's, bro. Gonna, that's I can't gonna be wait. a lit fight. That's gonna Man, be a lit I'm, fight. I'm gonna love that shit, bro. Watch, bro. And my favorite fighter, David Morrell. That my that's my favorite fighter in boxing. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of great fighters, bro. But David Morrell, that's my favorite fighter, bro. To me, that's the my, that's the best fighter. You know what I mean? Honestly, you know what <laughs> the mean? Best, to me, he's the, the best, best fighter in boxing, in my opinion. He to me, you know what I mean? Oh man. Hell yeah. The best in boxing. Yep. I was going to slow down on that. Slow down on that. <laughs> yeah, nah, he's the best fighter in boxing. We don't know. He definitely the best fighter in boxing. In my I'm opinion. Just dumbed up. Yeah, for I'm real. Best fighter, period, bro. Like yeah, the new blunt for you, my nigga. <laughs> my God. <laughs> hey, the best fighter, like for real, though. You're going to see, bro. You're going to see, bro. Yeah, word. I can't wait. That shit going to be lit. Yeah. One thing I can say, he ain't say that it ain't gonna happen. I mean, that's the one thing yeah, I know what he, he said. Like, nigga, it's gonna happen. It, it can happen right now. It, it could have been happen, but he, he don't want it to happen. Them niggas say whatever. They can say anything in these interviews. They say anything, bro. Yeah, yeah I you know, know but the, the, you can hold the nigga to yeah. say, like, oh, it's nigga, gonna happen. <clears throat> yeah, but. Or the nigga could have came just like, he said like, it don't mean it's gonna happen. He could have been like, saying no, that. I ain't fighting that nigga. Like, he could have been like, on some, like, I ain't fighting that nigga. Yeah, but no, ain't nobody gonna say that because they're gonna say you ducking. Ain't nobody gonna say they not fighting somebody. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna say that because that means you just scared you ducking. You know what I mean? Watch, he seemed he seem genuine. Nah, hell nah. That nigga's a liar, bro. That nigga been saying some bullshit. I told, I told you, Chop. He he really got, he really <laughs> fucked this up, up talking for real because he got caught up with that Turk shit because he was trying, he was basically trying to talk to them to get them niggas to like give Canelo the money to fight him on some shit. Yeah. And them niggas, what they said, nah, nigga, you fight the winner of yeah. uh, Benavidez and uh, Bivol. And then he was like, well, my contract say I can't cross the street. But nigga, you was just trying to cross the street with the Canelo fight with the Saudis. No, he said that. He said he can't cross the street with the Saudis. No, but I'm saying, so why was you why was you even trying to have them get the even get the money? No, he said like in his contract he can't fight nowhere else but PBC. But he said his his mom promoted him said, nigga, if they put the money up, we can make it happen. Like if the Saudis put the money up. He's like, mm -hmm. but he said, but contractually, he can't go nowhere else. All right. Mm. That's crazy. Cause his camp ain't willing to put the bread up, cause of this, cause of the different sides. Yeah, at least it's, yeah, but that's and niggas be needing to know that though, cause niggas just yeah. assuming that like you could just do anything if a nigga offers yeah. you. Yeah, cause of the different side. Yeah, like no, I can't go nowhere else, nigga. How he like? My contract set up, like nigga. I yeah. can't fight nowhere else, but this you, don't gotta do, you don't gotta he do gotta too much rapping on that situation. I, it's just like this the last like, we not under the same he umbrella. Gotta, nigga. He got to resign the uh, I him, I think after this fight. Who? David Benavidez, or he, gotta pop, he they got to resign, or he just probably like recently resigned because I think this is his last fight, on, like on PV on like the contract. I ain't saying he's gonna leave PVC, but this is the last fight on this deal. I think. Who he said that? Uh, I had seen, I had read something about it because like he had did his shit like a. I know he's signed in Samsung that's that's and and and, and Owl, so I don't know yeah. like if, if this is his last contract with Samsung. A turkey sandwich. I probably uh, I probably Owl. Hey, probably so we know what what Owl. Let me ask y'all the question. So, what y'all think about uh, uh Troy Isley? He looked good in his last fight. 
I like him. He's a good he a contender at one sixty. Okay. What you think, uh Chuck? Hey, hey Chop, your boy is your boy. Ammo gonna fight that nigga Hamaza. Nah, Hamza? Hamza. Um, to my Hamza. He gonna fight that nigga, bro? Nah, he gonna duck that nigga, bro. He don't want no smoke with Hamza. He gonna duck it, bro. <laughs> they need to force that nigga, bro. Make him fight, bro. Please, bro. Yeah. Hamza gonna knock him out, Top, bro. They, that, they, you say that's your fighter, man. Yeah, that's why you ain't saying nothing, nigga. You know what's up. You know what I mean? He gonna knock him out. Oh, my ammo ain't ducking no smoke. Yeah, he ducking that smoke, bro. Ammo ain't he ducking that smoke, fight, my nigga. He gonna get beat up, bro. Hey, ammo he gonna turn up, bro. Nah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell them nigga sign a contract, ammo. <laughs> ammo ain't ducking a trip. <laughs> my nigga ammo a dog. Nah, nah, hell nah, bro. I'm telling you, he like the 160 Earl Spence. Nah, he ain't nothing like Earl Spence, bro. That nigga like shit, bro. I'm telling you, bro, he gonna get beat up, bro. Like, I, I hope they make that fight, man. <laughs> For real. It's not official, though. I thought it was. But they was, like, talking to weight classes. And they said 160. And that's the fight to make. You know what I mean? Make it happen. I put your faith in no UK niggas. I'm telling you, man, that nigga a beast, Hamza. He <laughs> a beast, bro. I'm telling you, bro. He <laughs> got power. Bro. That nigga every six time. three. He six three, bro. Big ass middleweight. He got I'm he saying. got power. Some UK niggas will fail you every time. Nah, they can fight some, bro. You got good <laughs> fighters everywhere, bro. Listen. I you know, got I'm good saying, fighters listen, everywhere, bro. But I'm saying yeah. for the majority, nine times out of ten, them UK niggas are failure. Bro, there's a lot of champions. <laughs> you might get an anomaly like once. I mean, you get a type listen, of Anthony bro. Joshua was a good fighter, bro. You know bro, what I mean? He failed you. He failed bro, you. Bro. He was a champion two me. times. Two he times was, he was a champion. He damn near one of the faces of boxing. He was, but he failed multiple times. He right. will fail you. Came Nixon back, failed. he just knocked out Francis. <clears throat> oh, yeah, MMA fire. Yeah, but that was a big that was fight. Zero one it was a big fight. He I'm made saying, fifty million doing a, it. A MMA fighter. He a made MMA. fifty million. I did. I get it. He made the money, but he was an MMA fighter. Bro, he beat champions already. He knocked out Klitschko. He knocked oh, out man. Klitschko, bro. He, he knocked out Klitschko. Knocked out, oh, Come on, bro. He knocked out Charles Martin. He knocked out Charles Martin, my nigga. Then, Come then on, bro. Was, <laughs> was, I'm just saying, they niggas will fail you at the end of the day. Nah, Tyson Fury, he from the UK. You know what I mean? Tyson Fury, that's another one. Lennox Lewis, he came from the UK. You know what I mean? A lot of them, bro. Yeah. Even uh, Prince Nassim Hamed. Prince Nassim, he came from over there, bro. I'm not saying they don't have good fighters. I'm just saying that, like, I mean, it's going to fail you. Nah, bro. They, they do good, bro. They do a lot of good, bro. Like, they, they become champions. They, they do a lot of bad, yeah. There's a lot of fighters that do bad. <laughs> Come on. Even, I think, Joe Calzaghe, he came from over there, bro. He, he, was, a, he was an undefeated fighter. He didn't do no bad. No bad, bro. Undefeated, bro. Just like Mayweather, bro. Just like he, Mayweather. He, he didn't do no bad. <laughs> he beat Bernard Hopkins, bro. He beat, he beat Bernard Hopkins, bro. He beat Bernard Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins said, no white boy can beat me. That's what he told him. And he beat Bernard Hopkins, bro. My favorite fighter, he beat me. Hopkins. Bernard Hopkins and Roy Jones. Yup. Tell Kawasaki, what you think about him, Big Chop? I don't, I don't know too much to speak on that, but that nigga, that nigga I don't know. Was they old? Bruh. Come on, bruh. I Bernard Hopkins was a champion after that loss. After that, that he still became a champion. How old was he? Shit, that was... What you mean? He was like 40, I think. See. But he still was a champion, though. He was the champion. I mean... Yeah, I Bernard mean. was a champion at 50, though. He still had great years after that, bro. The mother Nick Bernard still was a great fighter. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, but he wasn't like in his prime, though. 
Yeah, he was, bro. He was the champion. He just beat Antonio Tarva. I guess so when Pacquiao, when Ugas beat Pacquiao, he was in his prime. Nah, bro, you can't compare it to that. This thing is crazy. Bro. I mean, he was champion. Nah, hell nah. Listen, Bernard Hopkins, after that fight with Joe Calzaghe, he still beat a lot of great fighters. I think he beat uh, Kelly Pavlik in them. He still, nigga, I'm about to go look at it. After that after that fight with Joe Calzaghe, Bernard still became a unified champion. He beat uh, John Pascal. He still beat a lot of niggas, bro. Bernard, my nigga. I'm not saying, but I just said, yeah, Joe Calzaghe was undefeated, bro. Come on, man. I always Joe Calzaghe when he beat Bernard. I think he was a look, he was younger, I believe. But, but I'm telling you, Bernard, look, look, I'm looking at it right now. So, after that fight, right, Bernard he lost to Joe Calzaghe. Guess what he did in his next fight? He yeah. beat Kelly Pavlik under. Defeated the, the champion who beat Jermaine Taylor, one of Bernard Hopkins' best wins, right after that Kawasaki fight. So we can't say he was old. And then he came back and beat Roy Jones after that. Nigga, Bernard was whooping everybody. Then he beat John Pascal, nigga. Bernard was, oh, come on, Mike. Yeah, that nigga Bernard, nigga, that's crazy, bro. That nigga, it is the greatest, bro. You can say he's probably the greatest, bro. Like for real, that's crazy. The dog was old kicking niggas ass. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. How did he do that shit, bro? The dog was disciplined like a motherfucker. Hey, you know a uh, Richardson Hitchens fight tomorrow, bro. What you think about him? And then D Diego Pacheco, he on the undercard, bro. He a good fighter. They he both from fight LA. undefeated fight. from my city, Diego Pacheco. He Mexican, he, but he from LA. He from he South Central the, LA, like me. Undefeated so shout out to him. He from the city, man. Uh -huh. My boy, Pacheco. Yeah, been about uh, Berlanga. He like, no, he like, no, nah, nigga. That's 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 Pacheco smoke, like nigga. He was like, I want that fight for Pacheco. Like. Right, that's what's up. Cause he like he know motherfucker Belanger is not on no Benavidez level. I think I think Africa gonna win. And if he win, and if he win, you know, nigga, he going he better fight for that motherfucker title. Nigga's gonna fight. Better fight Matias. That's it. I don't, I don't know. Matias gonna get past William Perro. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he might be the favorite, but Dad. William Perro gonna get that nigga hell. They know how to speak in a British accent. Nah. I do. Richardson, Hudson, Diego Pacheco. Richardson, Richardson, Hitchens is the main event, right? I did. I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah, he's the main event. Uh, Sky Nicholson fight on that card too. So you think that you think that shit going twelve rounds? Uh, it, it might, but I don't know. This uh, I ain't gonna lie, dude. Um, Richardson fighting, 
he ain't no pushover. He twenty nine and zero in nineteen knockouts, and he done had. He's coming off ten, like he coming into the fight with with ten uh stoppages in a row. Hey, hey Cam, there, there go your fighter right there, bro. There you go, bro. Teles, you hear me? I got dog, man. <clears throat> There you go, right there, uh, Chop. Teles at 154. You, you heard me, though, Chop? You got smoke, bro. Yeah, I heard you say you coming on 10 straight stoppages. You got 10 straight stoppages in a row coming into this fight with Richardson Hitchens. Uh, he might give Africa some hell. <laughs> mm -hmm. 10 straight stoppages. 29 and 19. Knockouts. Oh, yeah. He knocked out Lee Shelby, too. He was, Devin, he was Devin Haney mandatory at 135. That's how he got this fight moved up. Took a, uh, took a tune up. Knocked him out in the first round. Now he fighting Richards and Hitchin. Mm. But he done have fights at 140 in the past. That's why he probably ain't had no problem with it. Because he fought yeah. this, uh, the dude before Lee Shelby, he fought at 140. Is he a big 140? How tall is he? That's the other one, okay? He only 5'5 five, five and a half. Oh, Lord, damn. I think he from, he, yeah, he from Argentina. Yeah, and he got ten stoppages in a row, so that's a, that's a crazy feat. What, he's like a pressure fighter. Yeah, he's gonna have to get on the inside with this with with hitching. So. Mm -hmm. so he a, he got a five star rating on box right. Nigga, did they, they did they drop that undercard yet? Uh, Ryan and uh, Ryan and Devin or no? Yeah, they did. Who won undercard? Um, Charles Conway on that bitch. <coughs> um, Arnold Barbosa on that bitch. And that's it for real. I ain't gonna lie. I think uh no, it might be somebody else on that bitch. Might be one more fight. That's it though. That bitch kinda ass. It ain't fucking with tank cart. Yeah. No. Or damn near not even not not even Navarrete card for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie. What we got on the Navarrete card? G Giovanni Santilli versus Brian Norman. Oh, uh, that's a banger. At forty-seven. Uh huh. Them the only two fighters. Uh, top rank got at one forty-seven. The loser of that fight probably getting cut. Nigga, I ain't gonna. Uh, Yeah, Arnold Barbosa fight Sean McComb on that card, on Devin Haney card. Um, John Ramirez fight David, David Jimenez. And then Beck Demir. Oh, this Beck, is this Beck the Bully? Beck the Bully. Yeah, Beck the Bully fight Pierre Hubert, undefeated fighter, 22-0. Oh. Taking that Charles Conwell on that bitch too. He's fighting for a title eliminator. I don't know if Charles Conwell for what, what he's fighting for. It's probably a two now. What up with you? What's up, DJ? What's up, DJ? Damn, nigga, I'm in the blunt. You smart. Wake your ass up, man. Huh? 
Yeah, like the bully back, man. Yeah, that uh, that dev undercard, that her trash, bro. I, I mean, I don't know what made them feel like, you know, like it just like I guess because it's a big, you know, the main card live, so they just they just do some. I don't know, but you know, Golden Boy shit ain't long like that anyway. With big names, bro. So I ain't even expect no fire ass undercard though. What's your call? It need to be coming back. Kid Austin need to be coming right back. That's what he need to do. Stay busy and come right back. Shit. Yeah, Austin, yeah, for real, for real. Now, hey, hey, Chop, some people don't think he a bum, though. Yeah, that look, that look, that some little bitch gonna be tough. Boxes. He just. Nah, you nigga, I, 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 I think. I, 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 that nigga ain't no bum, bro. I mean, he's still, he still <laughs> developing. You know what I'm saying? So he, I, I, I feel like he gonna move up. He gonna move up, really. I can tell by his weight. But nah, he gonna be a punch. He gonna be a big ass punch. He ain't gonna be no bone, bro. He gonna be far for a bone and shit. You know. Oh, yeah, bum, bro. He trying to uh step him up against uh uh, uh what's this nigga, bro? Jojo. He just lost. He just lost his last. Jojo. Fight. What you say? Jojo. Nah, nah. Uh, uh, Jojo, Jojo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diaz, yeah. But that I nigga Diaz, Jojo, bro. Jojo, I priced this up. He didn't want that shit. He, he went and he went and ran. Jojo, nigga. He he went and ran hands with another nigga and lost. Nigga, he was gonna stop Jojo, nigga. Oh, he was. Nigga cannot beat Jojo, bro. But 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 uh, yeah, the nigga that, that Jojo was fighting. That, that look, that look, Cuddy got, bro. That nigga, he, this nigga taking out kind of cuts. Cannot shit, beat bro. the nigga that Jojo was fighting. He can't beat. Then, they in the three man, bro. He tight made for kid Austin. Did you see Jojo last fight, bro? Yeah, I seen Jojo. He put up yeah, a he, fight. He, 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 there, he, he there to beat. Kid Austin can't can beat the nigga listen, that Jojo was fighting, he, nigga. He, he, he there, he there to be beat, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga yeah, there bro. to be beat. Kid Austin wow. there to be beat, nigga. Who ain't fighting nobody on the caliber of Jojo? I got Bro, we act like. This nigga, you know what I'm saying, at the, at the top of the line, at the, at, the, at the fucking weight class. Nigga still up and coming, bro. Get that nigga time, bro. They gonna be squirt business, shit, nigga. Bro. I ain't jumping out of conclusion. I don't know why you feel like that and shit. It's your, it's your I reason. Fight. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I used to like him. He not so, shit. So, 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 let me, let me ask you this. So, you, you say that. He developing, he developing. But look, though, you, you, you say that, but you, but you, but you, but you, but you, but you but look though, you you say that like a nigga can't get better though, my nigga. Like this, what, what we talking about? Can get better. Anybody this nigga can get twenty, better. how old he is? Twenty one, nigga. Come on, bro. Anybody what we doing? Can get better, nigga. But Anybody this nigga twenty one though, bro. What what we doing? This nigga twenty. 21. This nigga twenty one. This nigga twenty one. What fuck 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 we nigga talking about? We, this nigga, nigga that we talking about that was good. Niggas was world titles at twenty one. Like nigga, that nigga that nah, shit. That's true but, shot, but, but, man, real shit, but, chop, real shit, chop. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But but that yeah. but that's that that's them though, bro. Like I said, the nigga the nigga twenty one, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Shit, no, I don't care. He not shit. I don't think I don't I don't I don't think he gonna be as good as Abdullah Mason. You know what I'm saying? But gonna be good as a lot of niggas. We we'll see. Abdullah, like I said, Abdullah, I, 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 though, I, I, I fuck, fuck Abdullah, I, though. That nigga like I said, Abdullah, I, um, though. He might not be geez. good as fucking Jojo. I fuck, I fuck, I fuck, I fuck with bro. We gonna see though. All the time I tell, we we'll see. I fuck with bro. Like niggas that's on the come up. Niggas always like niggas that's on the come up. Niggas always like niggas that's calling niggas out. Niggas always like these type of niggas. Yeah. Like nigga not shit. He not shit. Like. I mean, I just fuck with what I just, I just, I just fuck with what I see though. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no nigga tell me I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? Shit. He like the nigga. He talking shit. He calling niggas out. He looking like that ain't that ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't got nothing to do with it. That's what ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? As soon as they get a name, they attract you. Like, oh, this guy, he got a name. He's gonna come up. He's doing good. He's undefeated. He's looking like this. He looking like that. Mm-hmm. Right. Nah, that's some, that's right. some cash and shit. I ain't none of that over here. That happens with everybody. Every nigga that don't, nigga don't happen with, with me, bro. That happens with everybody. Like, nigga, who's your fighter, BJ? Who your fighter? What you mean, like, uh, like who who your who your favorite fighter? What we talking about prospects right now? Niggas is already made. Like, what what we talking about? 
Yeah, like like if you had like if you knew you was gonna pay for a pay per view for oh, your favorite I mean, fighter, who does that nigga be? Well, yeah, the two 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 top niggas two top niggas right now. I'll put on I'll put on I'll put on Bud and Boots with a fire ass undercard, and then for the young niggas like like I do for the younger niggas I do like either Tank Tank and Dev or Tank and Shakur. You know what I'm saying? With a fire okay. ass undercard. Okay. With a fire, with a fire ass undercard. You know what I'm saying? Type yeah, of shit. Yeah. So, so, you you so, excited yeah. with this car? You excited with this car with Tank and Benavidez, my nigga? You, you yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, they, uh, they loading that bitch up because shit, you know, it ain't, it ain't a lot of yeah. dice. So we finna get some fire ass, uh, fire ass undercars and PVC. They loading them hoes up. Sure. So, so yeah, that's how. Sure. That's, so that's how I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, hey, uh, you I'm know, you it. know, Boo Boo, you know, Boo Boo fighting on that beat? You know, if Boo Boo fighting on that beat? Or or that nigga pulled that, up. That's that what, that, that, that what I don't know. I'm trying to see. I know David been to beat ass on that bitch for sure. Uh, I'm trying to see. I thought Boo Boo, I, I I thought no Boo, 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 Boo Boo was finna fight somebody though on that beat. That's what I heard. That's what I, that's what oh. I heard too. I don't know. I ain't heard none though. I, that's what I heard, but I ain't heard no confirmation though. I, I heard the same shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see which one they gonna have David Maria on, bro. Are they gonna oh, be? I'm I think he, he might be on the Canelo shit. Oh, okay, but, okay. On, on round me, you talking about round me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Maria. I gotta see what they, which one they gonna have Maria on. Maria might. Uh, I don't know. He might. Uh, shit, headline one of the uh free fights or something. I don't know. If he don't headline Canelo type shit, he gonna he gonna uh. We fuck around this headline of uh, one of the free fights and shit they gonna do on there. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for we sure. We gonna get a yeah, couple, yeah. we gonna get a couple of couple of free fights and shit. You know what I'm saying? So he probably headline one of them how I need them to go on and kind turn this nigga up. This nigga get niggas out of here, motherfucking round one and two. Morel, cause Morel don't play with his food. That what it is. That nigga don't play with his food, bro. That nigga trying to get them niggas out of there, bro. He don't get paid for overtime. I would. That what it is. That nigga yeah, he don't that get paid for overtime. Out, the older niggas ain't gonna want to get in there with that nigga. Hell no. Nah, I fuck Morel. Like nigga a dog. That nigga got the double B on a lot. I'll take Kayla Plant. I'll take Christian and Billy, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We get Christian and Billy, that bitch gonna be that hey, that right there though, that's gonna be one of the ones, nigga. Hey, I am I'm I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm I'm gonna have to go to one of his fights too. Especially like Aye. you know what I'm saying? Like on his next fight if that bitch turn up, he facing Billy. I'm gonna have to go to one of Maria fights, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, them ho them ho need to make that fight with Kayla playing Jamal Charlo, my nigga. They need to make that fight, bro. Fuck all that shit. Jamel got to get his lip back after he got slapped by motherfucking uh, Caleb, bro. He got to get his lip back. Fuck all that shit. Like, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, Hopefully they make that fight happen. I'm trying to see Jamal and Caleb, my nigga. I got Jamal winning. But I'm just saying, like, the build up to that motherfucker, that shit be lit, my nigga. That shit be I crazy. I, I want Jamal to win. I, I probably had Caleb. Oh, 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 he just ain't focused, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if this nigga focused or not. Man. I don't know what this nigga at, bro. I'm gonna tell you nah, last sure, fight, though. Sure, sure. I know, yeah, I, for sure. I know, nigga saying big, uh, big little Benavidez one shit when he was, you know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. And he was like, man, he ain't, he ain't really shit, but it don't, it don't really matter. Nigga, my was still showing flashes of that. Uh, Nigga, bro, he went back snapping that jab, nigga. I was like, damn, nigga, like he he remind me of like, you know what I'm saying? The old ma, nigga, shit, that snap ass jab he got, bro. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So he still, I thought he still, he still got a little something left in him. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure, for sure, yeah, uh, for sure. I need them all I know Where is the 140. All I know is the 140 division, man. That be hot in the motherfucker, boy. That 140 division, that's the hottest division in the mo in boxing, uh, my nigga. Yeah. These niggas need a crack. 140, bro. But, 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 but look, though, it's saying like, now we got to start unifying the cranking this bitch up. 
You know what I'm saying? And I get I get a little pit bull out of credit. That nigga came up to 140, nigga. Nigga say what they want by running, and they came up and took some, nigga. You know what I'm For saying? Sure. So yeah. even yeah, he sure. yeah, he For could sure. be he he could he could be beat, but that ain't that ain't that ain't that ain't the, 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 the topic of discussion, nigga. He came up to 140 and took some, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And and, and you know, made himself some more pipe and bread, bro, and just you know what I'm saying, got a strap, nigga. You know, so yeah, bro, them niggas, they need to start lining this shit up, you know. No, I agree. I agree, man. There's so many fights to be made. If if uh if people, let me ask you a question real quick. So if Pitbull and Matisse was unified, who you got coming out on top between them two niggas? Man, if Matisse don't stop Pitbull, Pitbull is his 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 uh his facial bone gonna be real fucked up, bro. Oh real shit. shit. I, yeah, bro. It's one of them. Like Pitbull got dog in him, but. Uh, I really just do think like Matia is just like the, the I don't know, bro. It's like I said, a nigga with him, a nigga that's gonna be able to beat Matia is a nigga have to beat him off of points, a pure boxer, bro. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah, uh, yeah, a nigga yeah, style, yeah. a nigga style, the only one that can match his style, bro. And like I said, the motherfucking inactive is Gary Antoine, bro. You know what I'm Ooh, saying? But even then, we, saying, we, be, that nigga bro, niggas be sleeping out. on that nigga. What'd you say, Big Chop? My bad, Matias my, my bad, Chop. Matias could be knocked out. You think so? Yeah. Who you think he can knock that out. nigga out, though? Who you think he can knock, fold that nigga, though? Who you think he can fold that nigga? That nigga, nigga? said Matias getting knocked out. Them niggas fight bit the house on this shit. Yeah. <laughs> you think Pitbull, you think Pitbull can fold that nigga? That what you're saying? I think Pitbull can fold it. But you know what it is like since he took a body in that ring, you know niggas be skeptical on stepping to the yeah. ring with that nigga. But first of you know all, the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing, he got a one the point knockout, nigga. He got a one <laughs> point knockout, nigga, and he not hard to hit. So if a nigga, the thing with Matias, bro, I just, I, I just. just, just I get, Matias I get to see that nigga fold and slow down, bro. I just, I just, nigga, Edgar Shab, nigga, uh, niggas was sleep, niggas was sleep on Edgar Shab to a nigga went back and started looking at this nigga and said, oh, this is real life, real deal, South Park hard hitter, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I man, thought that was, that sure. was supposed yeah, to be sure. a test. Nigga, the eyes, yeah. the eyes was close to the bitch. Some of the eyes had Edgar Shab, uh, uh, uh pulling out, nigga, the eyes, eyes, eyes was Edgar close to the bitch on that, oh. Ooh, but but Edgar said, oh, bro, like I said, nigga. Nigga, then they made that motherfucker quit on the stool, nigga. I said, okay. That nigga can punch. Said, that nigga can punch, bro. First of all, I fuck like with Ergashir. I fuck with Ergashir. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, Ergashir yeah, yeah, can yeah. thump, nigga. Yeah, yeah. And he could thump, bro. That nigga can punch, thump, bro. Pitbull can thump, but he hit. It's not like he hard to hit. The nigga go. You fucking Pitbull, right, Pitbull. nigga. I, I pick. I yeah. pick Pitbull to stop rolling, bro. That one. I understand this. I'm just saying, like, for so my, for my eye. From from my eye, bro, it's man. Uh, but I, I I I just if we talking about like straight, both of relentless, nigga. But I think uh, shit, nigga. I, 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 shit. <laughs> I think I think we'll see Pitbull slow down, slow down a little bit before we did. Better shit, nigga. Ooh, shit. That nigga That's a good Pitbull fight. Shit, I ain't gonna. gonna... Pitbull's turning that nigga with them over them overhands on top of his motherfucking head. <laughs> right, right at his shit. Them overhands, bro. From Pitbull, nigga, them dumbass feet. He can't get away from Pitbull. Nigga. That nigga Pitbull, he trying to take your shit, and bro. Pitbull like. gonna be smothering that nigga power. Pitbull gonna be smothering that nigga power. I don't. I, that's a fight I wish we got. Cause I'm gonna tell you, Matias was still over there. On PBC, we would have got that motherfucking fight, nigga. Hands down, nigga. Yeah. We got that motherfucker. Look like we're going to get Matias. We're going to get Matias in Africa if we get past Liam Perro. Let me, let me, let me, let me talk. Let me talk. Let me, let me, let me talk. Let me talk to you about this shit because that's why I heard, I heard you talking about this shit right before I got on too. Or Africa, bro. Nigga, I, I don't know what it is, though. I know. You know, some people don't really feel like he mediocre. He just, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, got real life, like, nigga, 
skills, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That nigga boxing, bro. That nigga's a pure, purebred boxer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Pure, purebred boxer, bro. And if this nigga can get past the, the Lemos nigga, bro, the Arch, Ar Argentinian nigga, bro, I, I, I fuck around and say he could beat Macias, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just got to see how he do with this nigga. Because this nigga come forward, nigga. This Argentinian nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, but if, if Africa able to neutralize this nigga, bro, shit, give me, give me Matias, bro. And hopefully he don't say that, you know, well, you know, I don't feel good, you know, because of the white cut and all this. Because, you know, this is the fight that you say he don't see how he feel. But I'm like, nigga, you ain't going to get no other title shot, nigga. I don't, don't tell me you trying to see how you feel, you know. But if Liam Pyro win and beat Matias, I then it's like, listen, okay, well, I feel good. I don't think there's no problem with a nigga keeping it a hundred, though. Like, this is the mm -hmm. one that I don't. I don't no, no, he, that, that, he, he, he kept it. He kept it a buck. I ain't tripping. He kept it a buck, but, but, but he got a thing though, chop. That I'm saying, like, I know Matias is dangerous, bro. And you want to feel it, your, you want to feel it, your best and shit. I, I feel that, but I'm like, nigga, is Eddie gonna give you any other title shot, bro? Like, what, what kind of choice you got, nigga? We know, no, we I know. Get it, he, I get it, but he's not, he not saying he's not going to take the title shot. No, I know. He, 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 he didn't say he wasn't, though. Yeah, I know. I just, just heard what he said, though. He has the nigga with the title. But what he's just saying is, nigga, what he's saying is, nigga, if he don't feel good with, with the with the rehydration. Yeah, the rehydration part, and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, he, he was like, he was like, niggas tripping on him. But he was like, let's say Dev if, if, if was just fighting for the IBF. Ain't no way they ever accept that rehydration clause, nigga. If this nigga came in at 165, we think he gonna make a 150 limit. Talk to me. Like, that makes sense? Like, I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? Well, what so, I'm saying is, bro, it's that's, only the next that's day That's why Devin's staying at WBC. It's only the next yeah. day way in, though. That's what I'm saying. So it's not then, like Devin talk, is still coming at 165 once you get in the ring. Talk to me about that because they said bro, that's the one in another fight. Ring, 10 pounds after that. That's the one. That's the, yeah, they yeah. Weigh, once, you weigh in, once, once you weigh in, you can you can rehydrate to whatever. Uh -huh. what, uh, what, time, what time of the day or which part of the day do they, do they uh, take the second? The second way in and shit. Way in. Most of the time they way in like eight in the morning, nigga. Eight in the morning, and yeah. then and then we got what about twelve more hours to fight time. Yeah, we got about sixteen more hours to fight time. If you the main, See, event, yeah, nigga, it, it, if, you, if, you, if you the main event, nigga, the car not even starting till like nine ten. If you the main event, like, let me let me so let me ask you this. So okay, he way in in the morning. So what what we saying? He uh drank like a gallon of water, or something. And go back to the hotel and go to sleep and shit. No, that nigga he gonna eat. Once he went in, nigga gonna eat. He gonna he gonna drink water. He gonna eat and shit. And then he gonna probably take a nap. I mean, that's they gonna blow up. Nigga, shit all water weight. But that, that, that that's what I'm that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to ask. What I'm trying to understand because I ain't never you know I done been around this shit, but I ain't never been behind the scenes, nigga, of a real live ass like you know what I'm saying. Uh, Weight cut or a motherfucker coming, you know, blowing back up after he get on the scale and shit. That's why I was trying to, especially during the daytime. I could see overnight motherfuckers sleeping, but you said 16 hours, so that's why I say a nigga just eat, drink, whatever you say, then go to the hotel and then go to sleep and shit. So, so yeah, basically, the shit, the shit, the shit, the shit possible. Yeah, I just gotta go look up the you IBF rules, bro. <laughs> He's not gonna come in when he weighed in at. He's gonna rehydrate at least another 10 pounds. I gotta go look at the IBF rules to see if it's in the rules site that even when they step, you know what I'm saying? Even when they step in the rain, yeah, they, they can't. They don't, they they can't, don't they, you before you step in the rain. Right, 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 right. But, you know, like I said, I just I wanna go read the rules and see regarding the weight and see, you know what I'm saying, how, how what they should say. Because for some reason, y'all saying it's easy, but he ain't making it seem like it's that easy to do. You see what I'm saying? Bro, it's because like it's two different ways. Niggas and Remy just not have to weigh in the next day. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, still yeah. got to watch your weight. So, like, I, I, I see, I see, I see, I see what you're saying. A motherfucker yeah. got to weigh in on Friday, nigga, and still got to wake up in the morning and go weigh in at Saturday morning. Yeah, you got to make sure you Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, nigga gonna go to sleep, dehydrated, thirsty in the motherfucker. Damn. No, you ain't gonna be dead. Because listen, you can gain. So if you fighting at 140, you can gain 14 more pounds by the next day. 
So like, nah, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about on Friday. I'm talking about on Friday, right here. You playing on Friday, right? You playing at one forty. Is it ten percent? So then you got them off for you got fourteen more pounds to weigh in. The next day, you know what I'm saying. So the next day you can't be over one one fifty four. One fifty. One fifty four. Is it ten percent? They changed it years ago. So oh, you, they changed you, it. You, okay, they changed. So if you go to motherfucker, you go to the fourteen pounds, nigga. Wait for one fifty four. He gonna be. Oh boom! You get on the scale one fifty four, and then you'll be. Ah, uh, nigga, you what we what we what we talking about? Then I thought it was one hundred and fifty, nigga. Africa should yeah, be good. Nigga, then I'm thinking we still talking about one fifty. You know, the problem is because that nigga Africa probably blowing up like Devin. That nigga probably coming. He said. He said. He said. Nah. He said. He said he not. He said he doing like what he said one. What he said one fifty eight or some shit. One fifty seven. One fifty eight. Somewhere where you gotta go look at the uh, interview. He said like one fifty seven, one fifty eight. It was somewhere around there. Ain't no more same day weigh in, so they all could blow up. Yeah, niggas could blow up like a moment. Yeah. Except for the IBF yeah, though, huh? Except, except for the, the IBF type of shit. That nigga with Devin was blowing up twenty five pounds at, at one thirty five, like the next day. So man, I'm gonna tell you now, nah, bro. With, 45, 55. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably, but hey, that nigga look big in a bitch, nigga. Oh, he nigga was. Nigga, that region's fight. Mauricio Suleiman <laughs> said that the motherfucking big. That nigga, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga that'd be huge. Nigga, hey. Suleiman put Bill on the spot. Said, nigga, you tell you say your son blows up 25 pounds over the week. And they <laughs> put that nigga Bill right on the spot. Bill, like, uh, hey. Uh, nigga, hey, nigga, hey, uh. Nigga, go look, go look at that Regis fight. Look at his body stature. Nigga, go look at Lama fight. Look at his body stature, bro. Them two, two, two different bodies, nigga. Two different bodies, bro. Yeah, but what I'm that nigga saying, was big in the bitch on that Regis fight. I ain't gonna lie. I said, God damn, yeah. that nigga, bro. This nigga yeah. coming in he heavier than boots, nigga. He, he heavier than boots on fight night, nigga. Make that make sense to me, bro. I ain't really chipping off that white shit because yeah, he made white, but got the IBM, damn. So Boots, Boots got to do that shit every fight. That's damn, it. bro. That's some wild shit, bro. That's some wild ass shit, bro. What you was saying about Matias the leader? Ryan, Ryan, uh, Ryan uh, is dehydrated, nigga. Look at Ryan in that fight, nigga. When Ryan came into the ring, Ryan ain't look fucking dehydrated. That nigga Ryan I ain't, like shit. Hey, I, I can tell though that nigga uh on the stage, bro. That nigga was killing himself trying to make weight like a bitch. You can see it in that nigga eyes. And what fucked me up, nigga? I seen it way before EJ posted about this shit. EJ said yeah. you can tell this nigga been ice. Look at this nigga eyes, bro. Yeah, EJ know because he was doing the same shit. But I'm saying, nigga, and when he got in the ring, when Ryan got in the ring, that nigga was big as shit. Yeah, motherfuckers going to sleep, bro. Motherfucker in the damn sun, go nigga. Back, hey, go back, look at the fight. Wrapping up in fucking tra hey, trash yeah, what bags. What you think about EJ come to fuck with Bozy? That's fire. Is that that's a, that's uh that's a for show go? <laughs> he ain't gonna never fight boots anyway, so he might as well. Is that a for show go though? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. He oh, yeah, yeah, that'll be cool. He's gonna be able to get that boost working sparring. That's gonna make him better. I and just feel like he'll be he he'll be able to tweak he'll be able to tweak a little bit of shit, but it ain't like you know EJ style just gonna fully fully change and shit. Yeah, I read it. No, style, style not gonna change. He's gonna be able to add some shit that he will learn. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I say he'll be able to like tweak some shit. You know what I'm saying? Clean up some shit for sure. You know. Cause that he nigga is a plain hoogie. Cause he he finna he I think he gonna keep on fighting for a while. But the one that's finna retire and shit in like a year or so. But but killing his own career. Yeah, I think I think he know he on the way out anyway. I don't know if y'all if y'all heard that shit, nigga. He was finna retire, nigga. Uh, if that nigga they said nigga if the EJ fight when it happened, the nigga was finna retire like a bitch. Well, retired then, nigga. I thought he was. That's what I said. I was like, man, that nigga on his way out, bro. That nigga can't, but he ain't nowhere near retired. I think he is. Cause shit, I think that he is. I know retired, bro. 
We're going to see. Yeah, I think that's why he, he don't care about being inactive. I think that nigga on his way out. Yeah, that, nigga, that nigga don't care about him. How much you want to bet that nigga on retire? Like, when, when, when we talking about that, because we, from what, as far as what, what, what they was talking about, it was like within like another, like a year year or so. Like I said, if he thought he would have got you, the I bet you fight. a year, I bet you in, what's this, I bet you in 2025, he's still, 2025, <laughs> 2026, he'd still be fighting. I don't think so. Man. 2026, this nigga still be fighting. I don't think so, because at that point, what he doing, just like paying the stats, like trying to trying to go get some belts at 54. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like exactly that's what he doing. Trying to get some belts at 54. They can still keep getting these checks. No, I mean what shit, fuck what it. What are you gonna, it, it, what are you gonna it, do? They gonna play King Kong? But that's what I'm saying, though. They said, bro, the nigga said he was gonna leave if he didn't get the EJ fight. So Shit, obviously the nigga know he on the he on the back end of his shit right now. You know what I'm saying? That nigga can't, man. We don't see shit. Oh, you know. Gonna get that Telling that nigga when they should retire. He's gonna keep getting that see. motherfucker money. Like, I can see him like he was old and he looking like he looking like, I mean, he ain't got nothing left in him. Like, he got a lot left in him. But see, you know, you don't feel like that that that, that be that be that be that be niggas issues. Niggas stay like a little bit too long type of shit. Just, and but then, he hasn't even got to that point though. He hasn't even gotten to that point where it's like, oh, oh, I'm looking bad, I'm looking old. I'm old. But you know how boxing like like by the time nigga, that should have come like out of nowhere, nigga, when you hit a certain age, nigga, all it takes is like that one fight. That should have come, that should have come out of nowhere. That's why I said nigga like like SOG. Nigga, SOG said he turned down tens of millions, nigga. They tried to get him to come back. But he just knew it was that time. He's now nah, he did say he, that it. He, was, he, like that though, like. he, he, he was on the verge. He was on the verge of coming back. If Canelo would have said his name, I forgot what fight that was, but SOG was like, nigga, if Canelo would have like said that, that nigga man, shit, he was gonna Andre come back. He felt like that though. He felt like that training. He felt like that. Yeah, he, he, his, 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 his knees and shit, though. You know what I'm Bird, saying? Like, Bird don't have those problems. We don't know shit. I don't know. We don't know. Bud don't have those problems. Like, oh, he, he can't train and he, his knees hurt. We don't no know shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, my boy, uh, Cam. What up with it, Cam? You there, bro? Where my boy at, bro? You probably fell asleep by now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, H, we gotta get Africa a chance, bro. We gotta. I you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I mean, I think he's gonna win tomorrow, though. He gonna win this fight, but I'm talking about with like against certain guys. I don't think he got the power, though. Like, I think he kind of like a Caleb Plant. Like a Caleb Plant type of fighter, you know what I mean? Um, I don't think he got that dog in him. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. I think he's gonna win tomorrow, though. But uh, just like going against fighters like uh, G Gary Antoine Russell, I don't see him beating Russell, man. He the, he the only one. He the only one. He the only one. That nigga on that zone, motherfucking protection plan. I don't see but it's like it's like it's like there, Africa, bro. Africa so much of a master, bro. Like what he do? It's like he 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 if a motherfucker try to make him die a fight, he'll be like, nah, nigga, I'm gonna make you fight my fight, nigga. You gonna have to you gonna have to really get in, nigga. But why you trying to get in, nigga? He either moving, nigga, or nigga using his motherfucking stick and and and, and you know just just working the nigga, bro. Not even let him know we're near on the inside, bro. It's just like I said, I just like how he. I just feel like he one of the ones too that just said just, that's just a master in his shit. You know what I'm saying? But like, I, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope we get that fight. You know what I'm saying? Like him, him and Matia. I don't think, man. To be honest, my my honest opinion, like just keeping it real, I don't think he got the power like that. He got some good skills. He could box. No, 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 no. He ain't got he no got, crazy power. He got seven knockouts. He got seventeen fights. Um. I don't know, man, if he got that dog in him. You know what I mean? Um, I think my guy right now at 140, you know, one of my fighters I like a lot, Tito Mercado. He just had a fight today. You know what I mean? I think he could he could beat a Richardson, to be honest, bro. 
You know, he just had a fight in Houston. You know what I mean? That boy nice, bro. You got to check him out, BJ. Tito McCardo. That boy, he knocked just, out Jeremiah Nakatilia, the one that's your I'm talking to him. I'm he knocked talking out to him Hank now. Lundy. Hank Lundy, too. You know what I mean? Hey, he only uh 22. I think he a good fighter at 140. You know what I mean? I think Richardson good though, man. He he's not a bum. He's not a bum fighter. He a good fighter, bro. But you gotta you gotta be careful who you put him in the ring with, bro. I don't know if he could beat Matias. And then he was talking about he was talking about a rehydration. He was like, yeah, he might yeah, not yeah, fight, take yeah. the fight. Like he was like kind of hesitating. He hesitated, bro. You know what I mean? I didn't like that, bro. I didn't either. I didn't either. That's why. That's why I had. That's why. That's why I had said what I said earlier. I was. I, and that's why I was on his ass about this shit. I was like, nigga, you. What? What choice you got, nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? You get out for the title shot, nigga. Nigga, you gonna have to thug that shit out, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. Chop said that shit ten percent now, so it's like one fifty four instead of one fifty. You see what I'm saying? So that's even better. Like, nigga, he, take he take he that shit. One fifty five. He just came in and said. He be weighing in. What he weigh in at one fifty five the day of the fight, but he complaining about one pound. You that's said what that I'm saying. That's, that's 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 what I'm saying. That's what Chop said. Chop said it's ten percent. So I'm like shit. Like like fuck all that way shit, bro. Mm -hmm. if, if Eddie 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 give you a title shot, nigga nigga, you gotta he, what he choice you got, it, nigga? Fuck yeah, all that. Nah, if bro. Yeah, fighter, man. Just take it. If it was an easy yeah, fight, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, nah, it ain't no easy fight. He know it ain't. But that this boxing though, that's what come with it. He know, you know what I'm saying. Africa know, Africa. He he, he just he gonna have to bite down, bro. You know what I'm saying. He should, bro. He don't want to fight. It sound like we like gonna see that last. He, he 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 get past this and shit, cause this this the this the eliminator right here. It's like shit. Let's go, nigga. Well, I need to hear what he say. How you feel, nigga? Straight after the fight, nigga. You know what I'm saying. I so know with Russell though. What you think about Gary? Man, as my you, nigga need to get active, bro. What you think about yeah. him as a fighter, though? Nigga, a fucking freight train, nigga. The only you nigga, like the him? only nigga. Hell yeah, the only nigga that I. Who do? Who can I see beating this nigga, bro? In 140. Shit. You think he could be Haney? You think. Bro, he Haney, 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 Haney will be boxing that nigga, bro, but it's like once, 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 once Gary Antoine get on the inside, bro, that should have done deal. But Gary Antoine can box. Niggas be comparing him to, to fucking Porter, nigga. But nah, bro, he got more skills than Porter, bro. That nigga got real more skills than Porter, bro. Yeah, for sure. You right about I think, that. I think he'll take Haney, nigga, to them deep waters, nigga. Worse than what Loma took him, bro. You want to be honest, bro. That's a dangerous ass fight. We talking about, I know we was talking about Matias, nigga, but Gary Antoine, nigga, that is, that's a motherfucking freight train, nigga. Yeah, that's why that's I like a, him. That's yeah, a that's motherfucking cool. freight train, bro. That yeah, nigga a freight like, train, like, nigga. Yeah, he a beast, bro. First of all, that right. nigga so far behind. Devin Pray, nigga, never had to fight that nigga. But he still could beat him, though, Shop. Yeah, that nigga can't get active for shit, yeah, that bro. That nigga beat him, too, though. I don't think so. Well, he, yeah, I hope he, he could. I, I, I he could. I just try, try to I, I he, box him, but there's a problem, bro. Gary Antoine, he's just one of them motherfuckers. Like, it's just, bro. He wanted, that's why him and Matias would be. If niggas say, give me two niggas out of 140, you got to see. I, we, we all the say, where a lot of majority I've been hearing is Gary Antoine and Matias. Like, it's just, that's one of them ones, bro. Like, we know we finna get niggas action pack shit, and that bitch ain't going the distance, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. That bitch ain't going the distance. I like nigga. Russell though, BJ. You right, man. I agree with you with, uh, with what you said, man. Gary Antoine Russell, he a beast, bro. That, that nigga got fight offense. Trying, bro. He got offense. He got all knockouts, bro. Like you said on the inside. He's a great inside fighter, bro. You know what I mean? He, he got skills. He come from a family of fighters. He has a great pedigree. You know what I'm saying? And he nice. You right about that, bro. You know what I mean? But I'm telling you, the fighter Tito Mercado, the one I'm telling you about, he only uh 22 years old. He a beast, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? He he coming after Russell. He coming after Russell. Believe that, bro. Believe that, bro. Believe that. I'll check, check, check that nigga shit out tomorrow. Yeah, believe that, bro. Who his uh who is promoter? Who is promoter and shit? He just uh he he don't have a promoter. He a free I ain't got agent. a promoter. Free he just had a fight in Houston. You know what I'm saying? Is you know they be putting on fights in Houston now. It's called a yeah, Red yeah. Owl Boxing. You know they they built a, fa- a facility. They got their own little shit right there, bro. And they putting on fights. He just he just had a fight tonight. He a beast, bro. He a monster, my nigga. I'm telling you. Top rank need to go get that nigga, man. Especially this hey, unknown hey, nigga. Need to get that nigga top, top, top. Somebody to need to go that. get that nigga. I'm trying to sign that nigga, bro. That nigga a beast, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga a problem, bro. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Right that Will Fody, bro. He a monster. I'm telling you, bro. He will beat at Richardson Hitchens. You know, he said Arnold Barbosa ducked him. He said Barbosa ducked that nigga, bro. Oh, Barbosa ducked the everybody. smoke. That yeah, that's what he said. And, and he he been calling out everybody. He called out Devin Haney. He was calling out Bill Haney. That nigga called out uh Tiafimo Lopez. He called out Sabril Matias. He called out Keyshawn Davis. He called out. He called out Shakur, and he called out Shushu. He called out all them niggas, bro. He said he won't smoke with all of them niggas over there. And <laughs> he said he called out. He called out Shushu. Yeah, Shushu he said they hold stable, and he called out uh, uh, Tiger Johnson, Delonte Johnson. Oh, he Tiger he ass, yeah. He won't smoke with Tiger. He said like they whole little uh, crew. He said they whole team. I won't be for they whole stable. He called them all out. You won't smoke with the niggas, bro. That's what I'm telling you, BJ. He the Tito Macardo. He the best uh, prospect at 140. He the best uh, prospect at 140. Believe me, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah. All them niggas got this whack ass nigga. Uh, uh, Brian Norman Jr. <laughs> nigga, they're all a hype like a motherfucker. He's about to fight that one. 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 He's about to fight that What's his name? Haven Brady Jr. You like Haven yeah. Brady? I think he all right. How you th- he he fight at 130. What you think he, he could do with Raymond Ford? You think he ready for Raymond Ford? You think how, how you like that fight? Uh uh no, not yet. You think it'll be a good fight though? Would it happen? He got a deeper yeah, amateur yeah, yeah, record. I think would happen to be a good fight. You think he could be right before it? No. Huh? He said nah. No, hey, I think eventually though. Raymond Ford a good fighter, but he ain't no Mayweather, bro. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he ain't all that. No, he, he got a draw. Him. Some people thought he lost that one fight, bro. He barely won his last yeah, fight. Yeah, right, right yeah, for it. He ain't, he ain't just like no, no, uh, super, super elite ass remember, nigga. I said, you remember so before he, that, I thought the nigga was going to lose. Remember, I'm like, this, this nigga video was be like that shit. Like, nigga, you don't never see that nigga working out in those videos. Like, he be like bullshit working out. I'm like, oh, this nigga might lose. Yeah, but Raymond Ford got a draw. He got a draw on his day. He ain't lost that fight. He, he didn't lose, but some people thought he lost. They gave him a draw. And then his last fight, it was a close fight before he knocked him out. I think they said he was down on the scorecards. Nah, yeah. I had him. I had him. I scored that fight. I, yeah, I uh, thought he was what I had too. that bitch. You're right, DJ. I, I thought he was winning too, though. But but according I, I, I to I had the him judges, losing. I had, judges, I had him losing, mate. I had, I had him, him losing. I had him winning okay. before the knockout. But the judges, they had him down. He got saved. He got saved for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. I had him. Uh, I had him. I had him. I had him losing. 
by like what it was it by like a rank what was it the 12th round this what a lot of niggas be doing a lot of niggas just be putting on this level like oh he be with Shakur so it's like <laughs> I mean, that's what niggas be doing all the time. Like, oh, he's with Shakur, so it's like, oh, he gotta be good. Like, he's training with him. He, come on, bro. That nigga's just friends. Like, turn it out. Man. But, uh, so 130, that I don't really see nobody in that weight division that I feel like is a. Oh, you know, damn. Floyd Schofield, rank number three now. Oh, shit. No oh, he's he getting closer to that WBA, huh? Hey, that motherfucker getting closer. <laughs> hey, hey, that nigga, hey, hey, that nigga, hey, hey, that nigga, right number three now, nigga. Fuck you, son, nigga. Not gonna fight for it. How you get ranked number three? Fight nobody inside ten, man. That nigga, right number three, like a motherfucker. Yeah, they do got some of these niggas ranked high, bro. Ranked Keyshawn, three, Keyshawn, Keyshawn motherfucking ass, ass right? Probably wasn't even ranked. <laughs> Keyshawn motherfucking ass rank number three nigga in the uh WBC nigga. Shit. Ranking his politics. I'm just watching. He rank rank number Keyshawn rank number five over there in the uh IBF. But shit in front of him, Loma and Cambosis and them niggas from the scratch. So it's just gonna be him and Maxi Hughes. So I think we finna see a Keyshawn. It makes it, it. I gotta see when the new rankings come out though in the IPL. They probably gonna redo that bitch. So, yeah. Hey, Tom, let me ask you this. So, so even if Frank Martin lose, he's still gonna be ranked in our section of bodies. He'll just like drop down some type of yeah. shit, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Man. All right, then. All right, then. All right, then. Tell the whole talk about signing Shakur. Tell the whole shut the He signed Devin Haney for this one, one fight. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's how you know Shakur. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. signed with top rank, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know the difference with that gonna be though, and I and I'm I just gotta keep it a buck. I don't really think I don't really think he can move how Devin move only because, like I say. He he got he uh him. them them Antonio Leonard niggas uh an Antonio Leonard nigga bro and either like I said they gonna try to push that nigga to resign with Top Rank or De La Hoya gonna say nah nigga I'm trying to lock you in for nigga three fights type of shit you know what I'm saying yeah, like he gonna right try to he gonna <laughs> try to lock him up. shit I don't know but. Maybe he's trying that. to do that one fight shit. I don't know. Something What's wrong came with out that? today. What's wrong with that, nigga? You can get Ryan Garcia. You can get Zapata. And Kid Austin. And Kid Austin. <laughs> Kid Austin don't put that fight in. <laughs> them niggas, you can get all them niggas, but he don't want to. Hey, hey, Chop. Kid Austin say he would knock out Shakur Stevens. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why they got to make that fight. <laughs> that's what I said. Oh, so ah, shit. Fight. Hey, his pops, pops, pops be talking that shit. Pop said, nigga, that hoe don't even go past four. I said, talk y'all yeah, shit, it. then. Cap ass man. motherfucker. Yeah, they capping it. Hey, that nigga should have played football. You got one punch, though. That nigga, you got one punch. He's not even the one punch knockout, nigga. He's not even the one That's what he think, though. That's what he be thinking. I know. They be thinking. I'm like, what the fuck? Like. Hey, Man, it's time. It's, power, it's time. It's put. time. It's time. It's time for them to put put him in there with a real live former champ. Man, that's why I wish JoJo would have made that fucking fight. And then nigga, fight. Not that nigga. Right, bro. Keep you, this what they do. He, 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 bro. This is what they do. Be gassing niggas up. I don't bro, think the man boy, got no reason to lie. He, he said, him, "Look, instead of Golden Boy telling this nigga like, bro, you're not ready yet, bro. You're not ready." You're not ready yet. So we going, I mean, I'm JoJo. I'm Chop, Oscar, 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 Oscar gave him JoJo. They I'm said JoJo wanted, JoJo wanted X amount of dollars, bro. And you know what I'm saying? I'm and that's how that shit went. You. I'm going to fight the nigga that's better than you. <laughs> the nigga he fought was better than Kid Austin. That nigga rank number three. Now, nah, fuck what you talking about. That's what I'm saying. The rank is based on politics. 
That's cool. He's climbing up them bitches. That boy gonna put a man down with his own shit. Yes, can't. How much you want better? He'll put no man down. <laughs> He gonna push a man to <laughs> Got that nigga Damn. fucked up. You know, Danny, Daddy gonna make him put that out here. Daddy, for, listen, that shit only to create fights for them. Like, so like, hey, 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 y'all see the comment on the screen? Robert Mayweather. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Robert Mayweather. He said, a kid Austin been soft since the amateurs. Oh, is that the real Robert Mayweather? Robert Mayweather, yeah. I think, I okay. think that is. I hit the panel. Yeah, bro. yo, Sat I in. told you, my nigga, my nigga, uh, my nigga, uh, Coach Rail son, uh, Raheem Jefferson Jr. That nigga, said, yeah, been saying that nigga kid Austin ain't shit, like. But that's not what BJ said. BJ said that nigga nice. That nigga, hey. I BJ fuck with him, man. I like, I like, I like his power, too. bro. That nigga dog, bro. He be showing yeah. me grit. That nigga dog, man. Yeah. Nigga, that it's fucked up. It's fucked. It's 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 fucked up that old boy, old boy was pulling them antics and shit last fight, bro. Nigga, hey, like kicking yeah. the nigga up, doing <laughs> dumb shit. See what Robert Mayweather said. It'd it be a couple of people that like him. Even Najee like him. He said, I mean, he, don't, don't 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 get me wrong. That like, oh, this I nigga, like I'm taking this. Though. I'm taking. Like I'm taking yeah. this nigga. I'm I'm taking this nigga over Abdullah Mason. I'm taking him over Kamara Moji in the future. It ain't none of that, but bro, I, fuck, I, fuck, I fuck I fuck I fuck with little kid Austin though. Like this, I just gotta keep it real, bro. Hey, he just hey, you know he's showing me one of his YouTube stuff. videos. <laughs> I ain't know he had YouTube video. You know, you fuck with his highlights. Then you don't fuck with his boxing skills. Sam, I'm I'm watching this nigga fight, bro. What you what you talking about though? <laughs> yeah, you, you, you fuck with his highlights and shit. Man. Watching this nigga fight, what you talking about? Damn shit don't fuck with his fight, his fighting skills. Quit tripping on the bro, man. No, it's a fact, bro. I used to be high on this nigga. Like, yo, this nigga a problem. He big as Nah, I, I, I got said and I like, I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm, cool. I'm high like this. Like, he but just you, going, going, you know what I'm saying? Going crazy, but like, like I said, I, I fuck with bro, man. He, yeah. you know. Bro, this nigga make a million and one mistakes. Yeah, what up, Robert? What's good, man? Keep working. I know you had a fight on on Pro Box. You just had a fight, man. Good shit, man. Keep working, bro. You know what I mean? He said he been soft since the amateurs, big chop. That's yeah, what Robert he said. Lying. He, he know. Lying. He been with him. <laughs> Has uh him him I he has him has him has him has smoke with him. Hey, Robert won't that smoke with him then. Him 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 and Mason him and Mason never fought in the amateurs. Who are he fought in the amateurs before? He fought my boy Lolo. Lolo beat him. Charles Harris. Okay 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 okay. He fought a lot of fighters though, man. He been in the amateurs. He was a good amateur though. No BJ, he wasn't like he was a bum. Yeah yeah yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, they respect him. He get respected. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know. Now, Robert don't respect him. He said he been soft since the amateur. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I take that back. Yeah, so. Shit. Look, bro, show me. Look, bro, man. Then got this shit busted. He been, he been showing me some grit, though, though, man. He been, you know, shit. <laughs> What grit though? Like that's what I'm saying. Against who? Like what grit? He be capping though. He do a lot. I of mean, but 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 it, I mean, I mean, a chop in the ring. Like nigga, you see that nigga cut, bro? Nigga, that was a nasty nigga fight stopping ass cut he had, bro. Nigga just bit down, nigga, and fought. Like I said, it's just it's just little shit he showed me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look, 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 grit though. Nah, bro, that wasn't just no regular. Ass. Bro, the nigga had a gas, nigga. Like his shit was this big was, ass was, head was, caused it. Man, that nigga, nigga I right, bro. Hey, look, 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 kid, I said, look, bro, look, bro, got some dog in. Look, bro, got some dog in. Look, bro, look, bro, got some dog in. Look, bro, got some dog in. Yeah, he did leave last time too. That's a cause to cut on 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 his eyebrow, bro. A nigga was hey, a but that, hey, hey, but that, but that, but that cut, that cut, cut on his like, eyebrow, though. That cut, that cut, that cut, that cut, cut on his eyebrow. Like two, you nah, no, that bro. He did, he, he, he caused, he caused that shit, though. That cut he on his eyebrow last fight. Eye, like. He could afford that nigga with one eye. Look, bro, look, bro, I got some dog in there, man. We're going to see how yeah. Delahoy you move that nigga, man. 
real easily. They know he's not ready. Though. Even when the niggas got in the ring, even when they got in the ring at this last fight, the nigga like, yeah, nigga, we gotta keep. My whole thing was just him, like, like when he was saying he was gonna, uh, he was gonna knock the court out. I'm like, my shit. Dad and Bernard okay. want me to calm down. Y'all nigga, your dad ass is a trainer. These niggas gotta stop this. Man, let's move to T.O., man. Fuck all that. Let's move to T.O., bro. Why T.O. turned down Kenny Sims and Elvis Rodriguez? Elvis uh, turned down more time. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know that. But I, I at least gave him the benefit of the doubt. At least only with that because I say, okay, well, yeah, well, he, if more, more talent was at 35, he was willing to come up. Okay, cool. But you still could have could have took nigga Kenny Sims, nigga Elvis, Elvis Rodriguez. Because what he the fuck, take bro? An easy fight. Like, like, what the simple. fuck, bro? He wanted what to the take fuck? an easy fight. He wanted to, to take the easy fight. Bro. T O T O lost. I have my respect. They say he had these niggas on the table, and this is what he chose. Though. Out, yeah. out now. Like this is out. This is fact. Because. This out. Because w what just happened in that fight with Jermaine Ortiz, bro? He almost lost that fight. So that nigga, you know what I mean? He want to take an easy fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was wild. He, he can't fuck with. He that can't that fuck was with, uh, that was wild, though. He can't fuck with the Robert Merriweather. I'm watching it right now. Hey, Don't hey, Robert shot. Merriweather. I I like the fact that you fighting on Pro Box, man. Stay on Pro Box, bro. That shit is, it's a great platform. You know what I mean? Yeah, Pro Box Live, Hell Pro yeah, Box yeah. Live, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah, perfect, yeah. bro. Right. Just like that, bro. I think you might win Prospect of the Year on Pro Box 2024, bro. Keep working. You dig? We need more shit like that, bro. That Pro Box shit be coming in yeah. clutch, bro, on they, Wednesday. They, they just had a uh, Red Owl boxing tonight, nigga. Yeah, I told you that was in Houston. Hey, 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 they want why they didn't have a fight lined up this Wednesday, bro? I ain't see them come in Wednesday. Yeah, he said he fight again, May 8th. Yeah, man. I want you to be prospect of the year for 2024. On, what do you fight? On what do you fight at 130 on that what do you fight at 130 and 126. Um, I'm not sure, bro. What's your weight division? Keep it up, bro. Take over on Pro Box. Take over that shit, bro. That's your shit. You feel me? You hear me? He said 130. 130, yeah. You gotta take over 130, bro. Yeah. Yeah, 130. I was just talking about that. Ain't no top dog. You got on Shockey Foster. You know what I'm saying? Raymond Ford. You know what I mean? You got some fighters at 130. Who you got uh what's his Lamont, name? Albert Lamont, Bell. Albert Lamont, Bell. Lamont. Lamont who? Uh, Lamont Rose. Lamont, Lamont Rose. Rose. What about Albert Bell? He fight at 130. Yeah, yeah. He, he he niggas be ducking him too. I ain't gonna hold it. Just, just gotta keep it a buck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Albert Bell. Yeah, yeah, bro. He a good fighter. There's a lot of fighters. You know what I'm saying? You got Haven Brady Jr. He trained. He trained with Bozy Ennis. I was just uh, talking about him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got Joseph Cordina. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think them niggas gonna be gone by the time he get there. Though. Yeah, yeah. He really could take that bitch over. Shit. I don't know how long Albert Bell yeah. playing. I'm Much respect to Albert Bell. He said, "Much respect to him." I would bet it. Yeah, that nigga the truth, man. You think he could beat Oshaki Foster? That'd be a good ass fight, nigga. And I'll pay to see that shit. Fact. That'd be a good ass fight. I don't think that nigga Oshaki that good. I, I I don't either. I think it's it's like how can I say, bro? Because what's your color? Hey, chop. What's my nigga? Uh, the black Irish looking nigga. Uh, uh. Ah, what's his name, bro? With the uh, with the with the gold beard, bro. He had a brown beard, bro. With red beard. What's his oh, name, man? About the nigga, uh, top ring. Uh, 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 the nigga he just fought. Top yeah, ring I think, I, yeah, yeah, I think New York. His last fight, whatever, right? Yeah, that I'm nigga, that that man. nigga, that nigga gave him a fight, bro. You know what yeah, I'm saying? He and he he was supposed to watch. I ain't gonna say watch him, but at least yeah. he was supposed to. Oh.
He's talking about Abraham Super. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. Abraham, Abraham, Abraham. Yeah, bro. Because yeah. uh, Abraham, Abraham, the one that uh that uh Robisi, Robisi knocked his ass out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah, I need Robisi. I need Robisi. Robisi move the fuck up so that boy go get his lick back, nigga. They don't think you beat that nigga in the, in the Olympics, but it is what it is. Oh, oh, BZ beat the shit out of Shakur. <laughs> no, he didn't beat the shit out of Shakur. <laughs> Hell no, nah, man. He barely beat him. He barely beat him. Y'all hear this nigga, bro? Nah, bro. He barely beat him in that fight. Y'all hear this? Y'all hear this nigga, bro? Nah, that's cap though. He barely beat Shakur. <laughs> <laughs> Chop you a sour ass nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you sour, bro. <laughs> yeah. uh, he, let it, he, let our, he let the country down. Hey, hey, Chop. Hey, Robisa put hands and feet on that nigga, bro. Nah, nah, hell no. Nah. That's not true, bro. That's not that true. He barely beat the boy, bro. He barely beat him. He barely beat that nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, I mean that was a close fight, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, he move up, dog. His ass, shit. He need it's to go shit. get the rematch. Hey, y'all, we getting the rematch, bro? Cause shit, god damn, bro. bro. His they ass got his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the, the next, so, the next. That was a good yeah, fight, bro. He needs that. that rematch, bro. For yeah, sure. I need that rematch. That was a good ass fight, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what, listen, what you if do? the Amherst, listen, if the Amherst just keep it a buck and stop being motherfucking biased. Nigga, nigga I don't heard. America I don't. America might win the gold. Like, nigga, if you just. I don't, don't heard so enough. much shit in the Amherst. They said, nigga, nigga, we had, nigga, Ryan Garcia, mama was the judge for his, some of his fights, nigga. Like Fuck him, they said. That cool. That's what I'm saying. That's how they, they say. Yeah, like, his his coaches, they said. Yeah. Images, nigga. Niggas, they said. Uh, uh, like, uh, Chris Cole, then, like, nigga, they was cheating for Shakur in the amateurs, nigga. Nah, then they say, your nah. boy. Shakur was the best in the amateurs, <laughs> bro. Niggas be cheating. Yeah. Shakur was the nah, best in the amateurs. Nah, I ain't, but he, 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 he was a fool in the amateurs, bro. That's why. That's why he went far in the Olympics, bro. He was a fool in the amateurs, bro. He was a fool in the amateurs, bro. I'm not saying. I do. I do gotta say that, bro. He was a fool in the amateurs. What I'm saying is, it be politics, though. Like, nigga, if you if yeah, you, it be politics. It be politics. Niggas be having. You know what I'm saying, niggas that been in the amateurs long, or coaches that been in there long. Niggas, it be politics. It's been politics. Be it's been politics, nigga. My nigga Roy Jones supposed to have a gold. Like, my yeah. nigga, my nigga, my nigga Roy Jones Jr. supposed to have a gold medal to this day, nigga. Shit, nigga. Nigga, no, Deontay Wilder to this day, nigga. Nigga, my niggas be having their picks. Like, oh, if I'm a coach in the Amherst. My nigga got robbed in the Olympics, nigga. I'm a coach in the Amherst and my son boxing. And, and nigga, it's another nigga that's just as good as him. Might be better than my son, nigga. But I'm going to put my son on the motherfucker. I'm going to pick him as an Olympic nigga. But this nigga really better than him, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas yeah, be Politics. Pol politics are cool. And then when you coming, you know, coming up. That's how they go, man. That's how we keep no. lining up with silver, nigga. You ain't lying, nigga. We be getting robbed like a bitch, bro. We be getting robbed be like a motherfucker, bro. We got our ass whooped, nigga. Nah, nigga. Roy Jones didn't, nigga. Floyd Mayweather didn't, nigga. nigga man, maybe nigga. we had one of them dogs in there, nigga. Maybe we had one like Shakur, nigga. We had a dog in there, nigga. Go get it, nigga. Go go knock Roy BC the fuck out. Instead of trying to win on points, nigga. What uh nah what uh what Robisi is, bro? What he uh he Cuban, ain't he? Yeah, he Cuban. Yeah, but you know them Cuban Cubans, nigga. Them niggas they dom they dominate two-time Olympic gold medalists. Yeah, they dominate, they dom they like dominate normal, the man. Olympics, bro. They, they don't the always Olympics, dominate. We the one of motherfuckers. Oh, you know them Cubans the troops, bro. They some of the yeah. best. Them yeah, Cubans man, and the Cuban amateurs Olympics, in the Olympics, bro. That shit. Great that knockout. Shit, Hell Tank yeah. would have been sleeping shit in the Olympics. I know what Tank was saying. Hey, that's one. Hey, that's one nigga. That's 
He would have been that's, in, a, that's in one, a little ass weight division too. That's <laughs> one nigga that that's one nigga that would have went far because he he wouldn't have let that shit went the point. That's one nigga that probably did could have went far, nigga. He wouldn't have let that house with the point. He'd be popping the fuck out of niggas, and I don't even. That's what I don't I'm even, saying. Like Tank was a little nigga. He was fighting at one twenty six at that time too. That's crazy. He really, man. He would have been knocking shit out. Put the shit down. Yeah. We sent a nigga like Jojo he, Diaz over Tank. But Tank went. He went to the professionals. He he turned professional. He just, he I think like eighteen. Yeah. He got robbed. He got robbed against Jojo Diaz for the Olympic team. Oh, for real? That's what for real? Yeah. Dang. That's crazy, bro. I didn't even know that, bro. Yeah, them yeah. politics go crazy with the amateurs and the Olympics, bro. I gotta see what happened to Lil Zay Quinn too. Cause this nigga, I was looking on the uh on the uh Olympic on the Olympic uh fighters on the uh 2024. I don't see I don't even think he made it to the team and shit. Yeah. He just was uh training with with Shakur and Terrence Crawford. He's he sparred with Crawford. Was that was like Quinn, like yeah. Quinn, that motherfucker, that little motherfucker gonna be bad. Boy, he gonna be bad. I like that one kid. What's his name? A uh, Luther. Marcus Luther. 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 Yeah, 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 Luther. yeah, 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 yeah. He number Luther. one, uh, number one rated amateur, ain't it? Yeah, I well, like him though. I'll be seeing they be having these slow niggas boxing and shit like these little, these little, uh, like these motherfuckers that's like got disabilities and shit. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, they got a pocket. This one. Hey, <laughs> hey, Hey, but 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 yeah, that, that Luther, that Luther nigga, yeah, 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 hell yeah, yeah. hell yeah, I like him, hell though. yeah, he's a hell good fighter, yeah. bro. He's, yeah, he, he, he got he the good. Carmel Moten, he, he the some, good, he the yeah. good. But it, it's he another good. fighter. He going to the Olympics. His name is uh, what's the name of uh, J- Jamal Harvey? Jamal Harvey, bro. Jamal oh, Harvey. He the, he, he, the, he the number one. He the number one yeah, rated amateur. Nigga. I got it. I got. I got that it fucked up. Jamal. Said, Jamal Harvey the number one rated amateur. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. Tank. Yeah. 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 Maybe saying that nigga like Tank Davis. Yeah. He said uh. Right there, even, just uh, like Coach Tank, yeah. Calvin. They said yeah. Coach Calvin said that that nigga was like Tank Davis. He he, he about to go for the Olympic gold medal, big shot. Your name is uh, Jamal Harvey. Yeah, Jamal yeah, Harvey, I, I, I you, you ever seen him? Uh, yeah, I seen him before. They said he liked Tank Davis. That would have uh, number Coach one, Calvin, number, Coach, number one, right in amateur, bro. Calvin said that. Coach Calvin was the one that said that. Oh, he a switch hitter like Boots, though. Olympic team, know. nigga. Twenty twenty four Olympic t- Olympic trials, nigga. Let's he go, the one nigga. That's supposed to get the gold medal. Let's Jamal go, Harvey. nigga. Yeah. Let's go, nigga. 2024 Olympic trials, nigga. I ain't when the last time we had a black gold medalist, man. Look at Andre Ward. He was the last one. God ah, damn. He was man. the last one. Damn. damn. That was a long time ago, man. What, 2012? What was that? 2012? What was that? Oh, that was, oh. nah, that was, Andre. Nah, that was like, like 2001, that was in Australia, in Sydney, Australia, bro. That's when Vince Carter jumped over that one nigga head, you know, <laughs> in the Olympics. That's when Damn, he bro, it's been a long ass time since we had a black guy with it, bro. Damn. Yeah. He said he real nice. Boxing out the Olympics. So he said he nice. Who who nice? Jamal Harvey? Yeah, Jamal right, Harvey. Right, Jamal Harvey, yeah, shit, that nice. nigga. He yeah. number one right at amateur yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. I told you, big chop. I told you, bro. You I ain't chopping it. If we, if we, if we, if we, if we talk about niggas who got hands and feet put on their ass in the Olympics, nigga, that's that nigga out of Norfolk, nigga. Andy Cruz put hands and feet up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ass, yeah. yeah. We all talk like, oh, he fucking. <laughs> I, hey. man, I told you though. Hey, <laughs> that niggas be the truth, that bro. Nigga, that that nigga nigga from from DC, bro. Right? Ain't that nigga from like DC? Uh, 
Yeah, Jamal Harvey. He from DC. Yeah, he from out there in DC. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just like yeah. Tank. Yeah. He the same yeah. size as Tank Davis. He the same size. Bro, that yeah. nigga, that nigga gonna be know, what that is. I know bro. a lot of people say Carmel Moton, he the next Tank Davis, but some people say Jamal Harvey, he the next Tank Davis. And I'm gonna be honest, Jamal Harvey called out Carmel Moton. How you old is uh, Jamal? He how he, old is Jamal he said Harvey? He would like eh? to fight Carmel Moton one day. Carmel said he will fight him too. You know what I'm saying? How old is Harvey? Gonna fight one day. I think that's gonna be the fight. Okay. How, how old is Harvey? Eh? How old uh, Jamal Harvey is? He like uh, 20, 21. 20, 20, okay. 20, yeah, but look, he he older than Carmel Moten. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you, when they do fight each other, the winner of that fight, they're going to show you who's the next Tank Davis. That's going to answer Man. all the You know what I'm saying? If that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, bro, if that nigga go deep, bro, and I ain't, I ain't even gonna say go, but nigga, I hope he get it because we need that nigga. Brian, that go, you know what I'm saying? Brian, that go, go back over this way. He gonna do it, BJ. He, 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 he gonna, gonna do it. He, he, he gonna, gonna do it. He gonna. He do gonna do have it. everybody, everybody yeah. trying to sign that nigga, he bro. Be the one. Once he do that, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, wow. bro. I need that nigga to bring that go, bro. Bring that go back over this way, bro. Yeah, yeah. We want. We ain't had a nigga black gold medalist since since war, nigga. Shit. I told you, bro. I want to see him and Carmel Moton fight, bro. That's the fight right there. I want to see that. Hey, is uh, are they gonna? Yeah, yeah. They always televise the uh, televise the Olympic trials, not the trials, but the Olympic games, the boxing and shit. I know they're gonna televise that bitch. Yeah. I thought they was. I thought they was taking uh boxing out the Olympics. When? I don't know. I, I ain't heard nothing. I ain't, ain't nothing about that shit. Nah, they won't be this shit, nigga. It's going down, nigga. Shit, whatever the fuck you say. Yeah, not this year, but I think this might be the last year or something. Man, I'm gonna take a box yeah, yeah, everybody, everybody seeing game. Look, thanks, kid. Austin is a bum. <laughs> <laughs> Now everybody don't believe that though. Yeah, they don't believe it. We gonna see as he go when he start fighting former, 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 former world champions and shit. You know what I'm saying? We gonna see as he, you know, just start fighting former world champions. Years from now, y'all gonna remember like then. Try saying that. There's a lot of fighters that people sleeping on out here, man. Damn, hey, I'm hyped for these Olympic guys, bro. Man. Hey, Jamal Harvey. Jamal Harvey all day, bro. Believe me, bro. Believe me, bro. Trust Brian me. With that nigga Mendoza. Mendoza got his ass whooped. Brian Mendoza? Hey, hey, chop. Hey, chop. Hey, chop by a Ukrainian nigga, too, bro. But that dude was pretty good, <laughs> BJ. He had all knockouts. Hey, had, hey I, I'm trying to tell niggas, bro. These Ukrainian niggas, I keep trying to tell them, bro. Yeah, These niggas fight. just ain't, 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 ain't no pushover, bro. Yeah, fight, nigga. Yeah. They can box. They can box. What's nigga. Can if we box. come out of, uh, uh, over, over, over that way, nigga, you, these, nigga, these Ukrainian niggas, Lewis, lo, lo, what, how you say that shit? Lithuanian, Lithuanian yeah. niggas, bro. Yeah, Lithuanian. And, and, and Lithuanian. Lithuanian niggas yeah. and, and, and Argentinian niggas, bro. They come to fight, bro. They come to fight, bro. <laughs> yeah, but he, he was a good fighter, though. He had all knockouts. He only had one loss to Brandon Adams. Brandon Adams knocked him out. Like, but he, he was beating at Brandon Adams every round in that fight before he got knocked out. You know what I mean? So he, he's a good fighter, bro. He only got one loss. Man, That's that dude there, that dude there, bro. He came with it beat the shit out of Mendoza's ass. Nigga. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he made Mendoza look like nothing. But he knocked For out Fondora. That's what I'm saying. 
Pandora, he really ain't shit, bro. Like he, he cool, yeah, bro. He's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. He What'd court, he say? court Pandora with he court uh, Pandora with a good punch. Yeah, but, he, he was winning the fight, right? Monk? Yeah, Pandora was winning the fight. Pandora was winning the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Even before that, Pandora had some fights, bro, where he didn't look good. His fight yeah. with Jamonte Clark. He he had a draw in that fight. I thought he lost that fight, but they they man they robbed that man, bro. And then his fight with the hammer, the hammer. His fight with hammer. Ocampo with Ocampo. Remember Earl Spence? He knocked out Ocampo in oh, one in the round. first round. The first yeah. round. Yeah. And Ocampo, he this nigga Fundora looked like shit in that fight against him. You know what I mean? And, and then there was another fight with Sergio Garcia. Like that nigga, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. Fandora not like that, bro. I know some fighters at 154 that can beat him. Virgil Ortiz would knock him out. He would knock yeah, out. Yeah, I think Virgil. You know I think Virgil will stop that nigga. Yeah, I ain't gonna you know hold. He represented your city hold. to Dallas, though. You know he gonna hold you down. He gonna knock out Fandora and do it in Texas. Doing it, do it in Texas with Virgil. They ain't said nothing about Virgil. You notice that they said Earl Spence because he got a loss. Virgil fight, on Golden Boy. Fight That's Virgil, right. Mexican versus Mexican in Dallas. Vir that gonna be a big fight. Fundora, Virgil's on Golden Boy. Virgil. He, he ain't getting that fight, man. man Virgil yeah, yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah, Virgil ready. And then I'm gonna tell you, is another Virgil fighter. Why Crawford ain't getting that, man? Yeah, I got you, but that's a big fight with Virgil though in Dallas. You know what they were saying too, uh before then Virgil is supposed to be met up here in Dallas. That was gonna be a big fight before Virgil started getting sick and shit. They were mm -hmm. trying to build him up to uh so we was gonna to make this fish and Virgil fight, bro. That was gonna back, be though? the big turn, nigga. You think Virgil is uh, back? I gotta see him one more time you think that, that 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 Frederick Frederick Lawson fight, that bitch went quick. I, I I gotta, you know, I gotta see him back again. But I'm saying, like, you think that she, he helped? Like, he not gonna get sick no more and shit? You think oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, he, he, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he might be, he might be all right, bro. Okay, I think he might be all right. But they got some fighters that they feel like could beat Virgil Ortiz, and one of them is uh this fighter from uh Cuba. His name is Jonas Jonas Telez. He trained with Ronnie Shields. He be with David Morrell in them. You know what I mean? He knocked out Sergio Garcia on that Spencer Crawford undercard. Yeah, I'm sure I did. Yep. Yep. He, just, yep. he just had another knockout. This dude right here. That some people say he, he could beat Virgil Ortiz. They feel like he could beat him. You know what I mean? So watch out for him. They people sleeping on him. You know what I mean? But he can he he can fight. He can box. And he got power for real. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Hey, you know what? Man, we were talking about Virgil, so I had to go look it up. I ain't wanna just say say some shit and be wrong, just to say a shit. Virgil didn't even come in at 154, bro. For real? What do you Hell yeah, yeah, bro. Didn't they? 156 and a half, like 156, bro. I don't know why. I, maybe it is what it is, bro. It hey, this nigga didn't even come in at 156. That's why. Yeah, yeah. 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 I hope mean? that nigga still good to make way, bro. I hope he wasn't struggling, bro. He will be, bro. He gonna, I mean, I hope so, bro. Like you said, bro. If not, bro, you're going to be a lot uh -huh. of fighters passing him up. A lot of I this, pass him up, I, so I think yeah, first and foremost pass him up. that Cuban gonna pass him up. That Cuban already so I, passing him up at 154. He got better wins. Virgil ain't been at 154. His last fight wasn't even at 154, like you said. Yeah, bro. He didn't even make 154. It's it was higher than that. So I think next fight, when he fight again, bro, he just need to worry about making way safely, bro. Yeah, but that nigga's a good fighter though, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Virgil Ortiz, he got all knockouts. Yeah, the motherfucker got another hundred, hundred, hundred percent KO ratio. Exactly. Uh, uh, 
<clears throat> now, shit, y'all, if y'all, if I'm wrong, y'all can correct me. But far as the the, the niggas we know in boxing that, that we familiar with, I would say, unless it's some, you know, niggas is up and coming or, or some niggas that's, you know, that ain't too too hot, who name who name ain't too hot. We got Virgil Ortiz, Gary Anton Russell, and uh Arthur Better be nigga, who the only three ones got a hundred percent knockout uh KO ratio, bro. You see what I'm saying? It's levels though. Yeah, it is, but shit, man, these niggas, the niggas we name ain't no, ain't no, ain't just no, you, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said, nigga, like, if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm leaving a name out, but the niggas I named that got the 100 percent KO ratio, them niggas, shit, they, they like that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we got a question, y'all. Robert Merriweather, he said, what do y'all think about Richardson Hitchens' uh, fight tomorrow? What y'all think about that fight? Yeah, yeah. We were just, me and Chop was touching on that too earlier. Uh, I said this, the Argentinian nigga. Man, I say shit. Man, I say Africa put on the clinic, man. I say Africa put on the clinic, bro. Very huge. I got Africa putting on the clinic, man. I think Africa's going to win, but. Uh, the Argentinian nigga going to press him. He going to push him. Yeah, I think I think it ain't gonna be easy though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't gonna be easy, but I uh uh Africa gonna gonna try to dictate that fight, bro. Make that nigga fight his fight. He gonna che- keep trying to come in and, and, and press the gas, but Africa's smart enough, bro, to keep his distance, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know I can count like that. I know one thing, somebody the crowd gonna be booing. Uh, that nigga measure distance very well, bro. One of the shit top niggas in boxing too. That that's a master at measuring distance, bro. I ain't gonna take him no time to find one niggas. I'm talking about as soon as the bell start, nigga. It ain't it ain't gonna take him long, bro. Boy, you say main man only five five too. Five, five. Yeah, he a little nigga, bro. He like a midget. He like a uh, pit, pit bull cruise. He like a pit bull. <laughs> But, but Robert Robert said, said, dude coming at him. He said, dude going to come at him. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I said that Argentinian nigga, yeah. I'm, all, I'm, I'm already, I'm, I'm already, I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing. Oh, no. Yeah. He real small, though, bro. He a little dude. So all he got to do is use the jab on him and move and shit. Use his movement, tie him up. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? but, but, him, you know what I mean? Box him. You know what I mean? And that dude, little man, he he moved up in weight. Richardson Hitch is much bigger, bro. So I don't know, man. I think Richardson I'm Hitch t- could outbox him. You know what I mean? I'm That's gonna tell I you what this fight, what this fight might might remind us of, and not and not not really. What so what man footwork look like? What is footwork? He got so, footwork. so so good, so. Castano, 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 and Jamel. You know what I'm saying? Little twin, bro. It's one of them. And Castano's an Argentinian nigga too. That come forward, bro. And that was getting past uh Mel jab in that first fight, bro. And that was giving his ass problems because Mel kept keeping his ass on the fucking ropes. But this is why I say the separation come in there. Africa IQ is high, bro. Africa knows. Ain't no way he gonna trap himself. Africa ain't finna keep himself on the ropes, bro. He ain't stupid. Africa gonna keep his ass in the center of the ring, bro. And and like I said, Africa, he he gonna fight his fight, bro. You know, Uh, Gustavo Gustavo Limos. He could try to dictate the pace once again, but like I said, though, bro. uh, You know, he just he gonna have to he gonna have to find his way in, bro. It ain't gonna be easy for him either. Find, trying to yeah. find his way in. This guy Africa, came bro. up from one thirty-five. He he was a lightweight. Oh, for real? Oh, for real? His last fight? fight. I think this is oh, his okay. second fight. His yeah. second fight at one forty. But he a little guy he who came up from one thirty-five. Oh, that was the nigga that was uh Devin Man Mando. Okay, okay, bet, 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 bet. He a good fighter though. Yeah. I got Richardson Hitchens. 
I'm his, gonna have to see a little. Is, I, I got. I got to see a little bit more from him to make it this. But to see, like, I mean, because he might be able to get. I mean, he might really be. He might be able to get Richardson out of here. Nah. <laughs> I ain't just sitting in this nigga. It's sour. No, bro. man, I gotta check him out. I, 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 I see highlights, but I gotta like watch your whole fight of the nigga. That nigga undefeated, bro. That nigga record like shit, like uh, nah, fucking uh, nah, like what? What he he like twenty? He not like, gonna like, do that, bro. Almost thirty. I'm almost what? Almost thirty fights. The nigga like undefeated, shit. He can crack, bro. He's not hitting work. like that, bro. He ain't got power like that, bro. He ain't got Richardson, power like that, Richardson but, but a he, good he, boxer. Richardson is a good boxer, bro. You know what I mean? That's what I said, you know, man. I just... Feet work and all that. Like, Africa, Africa, Africa with his business, bro. Like, he way taller, really bro. What you mean? He got the longer reach. He got a better jab. You, you know what I mean? He could outbox him. Use his oh, power. nigga. He's this nigga him. Africa defense, bro. Niggas don't, bro. That nigga defense is underrated, my nigga. Africa got defense like a motherfucker, yeah. bro. That yeah. nigga shit underrated, bro. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. That nigga defense, bro. In a fight like this, yeah. I'm just saying, I got Chop, that nigga Af Africa defense, bro. Hey, if we talking about, so we talking about defense right now, bro. That nigga defense underrated like e motherfucker, bro. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said, bro. It's just after this, after this limo, if he get past this nigga, come on, bro. And this nigga tighter the shot, bro. It's time like real live dogs, bro. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's what I'm saying? Is, he gonna get that title shot. Yeah, he ain't gonna have no choice. Eddie said you don't take this motherfucker and shit. Put oh, your man. ass on the back burner. I ain't gonna give you nothing else. Shit. I just put you in position for a title shot. Better mm -hmm. take that bitch. Because all roads lead to Devin, so like you saying? Yeah, what I'm saying, you better try to snatch that, snatch that IBF up. Because if shit, Devin, if Devin get get uh get the IBF, you fuck, nigga. You ain't what you, you think you gonna try to press a mandatory in the WBC? Nah, nigga, I ain't gonna happen, bro. Yeah, I know they paid uh they paid your boy step aside money, bro. Uh, what's his name? They paid your boy step aside money, bro. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Chop man, who, who the nigga? Who the nigga? Oh, number one, right? And that's another thing, Benavidez was talking about. They were asking Benavidez like. We take step aside money, like no, nigga. I guess once you take step aside money, it's like you're not the mandatory no more. Once you take step aside money, like. Right? Uh, I don't think that's the case because Eddie was saying, uh, how he step aside money and if if uh, what the fuck, bro? Devin do something, whatever Devin do after Ryan, that he ain't. You saying homeboy probably ain't gonna want to take no more step aside money. He gonna want to. He gonna want to fight. Eddie said, "Nigga, he ain't. He don't think Devin gonna want to take a pay cut, bro. So shit, he ain't trying to put that fight on because the fight gonna be weak. You see what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. it's, it's one of them. You know what I'm saying? So, niggas don't understand. So, I don't think Devin should take a pay cut. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's what Eddie was saying. He was like, shit, that's but that's what a that's what a relinquish the title came in that nigga. Like Devin said, uh, told Eddie was like, nigga." I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't vacating shit. But I'm like, well, shit, if you don't vacate shit, nigga, what y'all gonna get some more step aside money? You know what I'm saying? Or what if that nigga say, nah, nigga, he activated hey, shit. One he thing, fight. Listen, one thing about, listen, what unification is Trump mandatory. Since Trump mandatory, is, I understand that. That's why I said, though, that's only if T.O. We could say Bob. Bob could say, oh, you wanna fight T.O.? Well, you gotta come back and sign another. Two fight deal or some crazy. You know what I'm no, saying? Like, what you what you listen, think? I think Dev, I think they had taken one fight deal with Devin. Devin 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 has the motherfucking uh Devin has the leverage now. The leverage the leverage type of shit, yeah. Yeah, so it's like nigga, y'all gonna get one big fight where y'all gonna make money off of over here on top rank, nigga. And that's gonna be that. You know what I'm saying? If not, I don't got nobody for Tio to fight. Well, we'll see. Tio, Tio, probably. Tio, Tio. Tio, 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 Tio,
T.O. probably, but T.O. that nigga, nigga, T.O. had nigga Kenny Sims and Elvis Rodriguez he turned down, bro. T.O. doing yeah, that buddy. shit to himself, though, chop. Come on, bro. Know, but that's the one that made a big fight with T.O. Neva, though. Like, I, now, I understand, but but you, but you got to think, though. These are actual, these ain't no bombs we talking about. You see what I'm saying? These bums, these, like, these, these real life like, dogs, though. So I keep trying to tell you, nigga, the business trumps everything. So it's like, nigga, why would I do that, nigga? I still, why would I do that? I have a stay busy fight where it's go like, nigga. Ah, you just coming up. No, that's what I'm saying with T.O. T.O. is afforded this. This T.O. is afforded this from taking hard fight at the hard fight at the hard fight. T.O. is afforded this, so boom, nigga. If I know I'm potentially about to go have a have a unification with Devin or Ryan or whoever the winner is, right, nigga? I'm gonna take a stay busy fight, nigga. Then I'm gonna go into a big fight instead of having like a fight I could possibly lose or look bad in. I don't even think you they know, fight I'm Devin. They, you see, they was talking that shit out to Josh Taylor. That's when I think the fight really should have happened. I ain't gonna lie. So both niggas, both, changed. both. Like the tide changed, the leverage changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. It was a, it was a point where Devin needed them. Now it's to a point like where they need Devin. You know what I'm saying? Well, shit, both of them got titles, though. I mean, you know yeah, what I'm saying? No, like both of them got titles, but both of them ain't motherfucking. Both of them ain't making the same type of money, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like. Nigga, Devin just gonna come off like one of the biggest fights. Yeah, we Bob know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what what his shit went up to. I wonder if Bob re restructured his contract ever since that time he bitched him about his. No, his, yeah, uh, he restructured his, that his that shit. shit. Like when, yeah, when yeah. Was, before the camp. No, no, no. I'm I'm talking about Tio. I'm talking about with Tio because Tio yeah, was Tio. Tio got his shit restructured back then. Though. He was talking. After uh, nigga, after after John Taylor. Is when he was chipping about the about the bread. Remember, he said he retired. He only made a million dollars or some shit. That's why I think they redid this shit. Cause now, nigga, shit, we don't hear him talking no free yeah, agents, none of that shit. shit. Like, I think they redid this shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So, this shit at the probably, uh, King Bose and shit. Gave him a look. Gave him a look. Look pipe, huh? You know what I'm saying? So, but we'll see that shit if they want to make that fight. That's what I'm saying, nigga. For Africa, bro, come on, nigga. Like, he ain't really got no else. No, out, nigga. So like, yeah, 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 yeah. They need Devin. Like, nigga, them niggas need Devin. It, it, ain't, it, it ain't at that point no more, nigga. You can avoid Devin. Like, them niggas need Devin. Like, I know for Africa, bro, because I, like I said, man, I believe in that nigga skills, but I, I really think that nigga like that, bro. You know what I'm like, saying? Oh, Devin got a big fight. Devin got a big fight in multiple places. Like, Devin got a big fight with Tank. Devin got a big fight with T.O. Devin got a big fight with Mateo. That tank shit, Devin That tank shit ain't happening. Devin got a big fight multiple places. You know what I'm saying? Well, the, 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 the part, like I said, the one that I don't think that won't happen is the Pitbull Cruise, because... Shit, we know who he fuck with and who he associated with. Oh, Devin, see what I'm saying? Devin is, Devin is a free agent, so Devin. Nah, I'm saying. There. But if he, if he, if he go over there, you think, you think they'll be that? That, that that's a fight there. Except though, pit bull, Ooh. pit bull camp. They accept. Yeah. They. Okay. Yep. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't need to think Devin go over there though. But we'll see though. Yeah. They ain't take that in a heartbeat. Man. That's gonna be wild, though, bro. It's about money, nigga. Pit, pit bull, pit, pit bull, pit bull at forty. Pit, pit bull at forty, nigga. Nigga, what, what tank right now, man? Come on, man. He pit bull at forty. Pit bull, bro. take it, take Dolino. Oh man. That hey, nigga. <laughs> I think you allow Pitbull to get bigger. I feel like you allow Pitbull to to have his victory lap, nigga. That's just wrong with most niggas. So they want to title, you know what I'm saying? Niggas either lose it or, you know what I'm saying? Like, Sam can't Shit, if they, if they put him, niggas saying that they put him in there with old man, old man might get in on his ass. I think that's, that's what they saying. That's who we might fight old next. Man oh, man with Golden Boy. Oh, he did? The old man sign with Golden Boy? I don't know. I thought he did with the. Uh, nah, I think that with that Ohio, Ohio Davis shit. Yeah. Nah, I think that was one fight. I think that was one fight. 
I said, oh man, next up. So shit. You got pit bull stopping up, man, or not? Uh pit bull. I mean Roly stopped him. <laughs> so, let's just start this nigga, this nigga here, bro. I'm start <laughs> that shit, bro. This is <laughs> <Just> start <there. laughs> I mean, listen, I ain't gonna hold you, nigga. That nigga Pitbull and Chin is on another level, dude. Yeah, yeah, that motherfucker got it, Chin. He be taking, that nigga be taking out. Ah, kind of unnecessary punishment, buddy. That shit ain't even, like, listen, you can know, like, all right, some niggas Chin, like, they get rocked a little bit, like. This nigga Chin, like, he just be eating that shit, like. I don't know what that nigga be. His neck workouts is. That nigga ain't got a neck though. Like, that's the crazy. So I tank all that motherfucking rockhead, bro. Yeah. Probably how he fucked his hand. Yeah. Tank already gave niggas the blueprint how to beat Pitbull. Who gonna do it though? A pure boxing shit. Yeah. That's what I said. A pure boxer, bro. That nigga. He, he Tyler, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Tyler May, nigga. Tyler you May. You gotta bro. keep tearing the pit bull. Like. Tyler May, bro, for a pure boxer, bro. Pit bull is like Tyler May. It's a different type of boxers, though. Like. I feel like I feel like pit bull bro. I can put the pressure on Shakur. Take he backs up in but, a straight line though, like backing up in a straight line don't get you away right, from people. Right, right, but but pick on the thing, and that's what I I, I I cooked on that too one day. I don't, I don't I don't know even I don't even know, bro. Like who would even be able to crack that code and stop that nigga from doing that shit? Because even then, let's say he back up in the straight line, you know what he gonna do, and you try to close the distance on his ass, right? And go in. That nigga, what? that nigga, that nigga feet underrated too, bro. That nigga can yeah, move like a motherfucker too. It's a couple. You know what I'm saying? Jojo Diaz got. I mean, uh, uh, Paul got to him. But if a, a nigga got to fully commit, like he just he backs up in a straight line, and then when he and then when he gets like he get close to his ropes, he don't he don't bend, he don't turn. The nigga just backs up in a straight line and try to. Back up, he, he get clipped like he, that. He, he do, it's that defense. He it's this type of defense he used. He just bro. ain't fighting nobody. He just ain't fighting nobody that's athletic like that or or, or that's willing to commit like that. Like, nigga, well, the nigga he was shit. It was a money dispute. We ain't get that fight. Then nigga put bull in them. Can't say like nigga. Frank Martin wouldn't even be that that style of fighter though. You know what I'm saying? Man. Like Shakur, like Shakur Frank Marker, like pressure, bro. Like, like Valdez, what? niggas saying like Val, Valdez was so, a type of pressure fighter. So, so Patty is, nigga. The, they still, they, they yeah, high that shit up. Slow as fuck though, like he Zapata is, but he's slow. Like, so what you, what you saying though? What, what, what you saying? Who, who you? Saying, and, who you? And, and it's only, it's only Tank or Pitbull that can. But Pierre Boyle and them team said they didn't want to. They didn't want to fight that style, bro, because he was gonna be quote unquote running, nigga. Yeah, I'm not saying they had to. They had to fight him, but I'm saying like that's the type of style that can give him hell. I think, bro, that should have folks to make this shit look easy. Nigga, I ain't gonna turn hurt, bro. Like you got to turn pit bull up. I think folks to make this shit look easy, bro. I wouldn't. I ain't gonna even overthink that. I ain't gonna even overthink this. Bro, shit. nigga, just be assuming that like, oh, he's a pure boxer. It's everybody, pure e boxing, every, bro. every, everybody got pros and cons, but I yeah, mean, but once those, again, those are chop, his, chop, those are his... chop. This bro, this bro had. A, I'm just speaking on this though. Re, speaking real boxing knowledge. This bro have. I ain't even gonna say the best, but at least as far as we know, damn near one of the best, one of the best defensive fighters in boxing. Oh, Shakur. Who Shakur? Yeah, I, I yeah. Don't think, I don't think that. I don't. I don't understand. Wow, wow. Different type of shit. Uh, defense, though. Like, uh, it's, okay. It's well, uh, now I'm gonna say this. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me go to this. Uh, let me go speak numbers to you. Uh, and I gotta go pull it up. I want to see the updated shit. 
But yeah, it but was Shakur. Shakur, B Vile. Who else is on the list? I think Loma. Shakur, B Vile, and somebody else, bro. Uh, had the best. Well, hit, Shakur, not get Shakur hit. Ratio. just doesn't engage. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't consider that defense though. Like, nigga, like if you just not engaging, so niggas just say, like, oh, he got this, this, uh, he get hit less. He engages less. So it's like, nigga. I mean, nigga, Tank defense, don't even nigga, Tank, but. But t- nigga, Tank don't even have like, Tank, yo, a nigga is, it, a Tank nigga don't is even have a hit. high a high a high punch output though, bro. Tank don't even have a high punch output. You don't have to have a high punch output to hit a nigga. Like you know what I'm saying, like a high a high output, a high punch output is just wasting punches. Like okay, let's take let's take let's take let's take let's take let's take this last fight off. Let's take let's take this last fight off because. I throw people, hundred people. punches at you just to try to hit you with twenty of them. Like nigga, it's like oh, like nigga. If I, let's if take I let's it. let's take De La Santa South up, bro. Like right quick, cause it seemed like they're starting to be like saying, oh, well, he don't engage. Oh, well, he don't come. Okay, so let's let's he take this engage. last fight it, out. It, it okay, look, let, he don't engage. so 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 with 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 uh Valdez, with Yoshino, with Jamel Harry, those all those three previous fights before De La Santa. What was he engaging or not? Yeah, but he was gauging to a minimum though. Like, it wasn't like, like, all right, but that ain't that ain't even his style it. though. Though Ch- that ain't even his style. Of course, correct. So it's all about who you fight. But even bro yeah, said that's that. What I'm saying based on who but, you fight. So it's like, okay, nigga, if I know I'm better than nigga, I'm I'm faster than him. I'm bigger than him. Nigga can't hurt me. I, I mean, I'm more athletic than him. I got everything over than it over him. Why wouldn't I engage with him? You know what I'm saying? It's... Well, it's different game plans to every fight. You see what I'm saying? Depending yeah, on who your opponent is. That's 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 that's, that's that's pro that's pro that's pro that's pro true. boxing, bro. All right, but Shakur has the same game plan every fight. It just depends on like if he's going to engage more or not. Like it depends on who he's no fighting. It's it just depends on the fighter, bro. But I'm saying Shakur game plan don't change. He goes in he's there a, as Shakur. He, like, he's a, he's a pure pure boxer, bro. He goes in there as Shakur. Like it's like ain't nobody on his ass. Like it's a pure boxer. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean, at 26, he he weight bullying. He's bigger than everybody. He's taller than everybody. He's more athletic than everybody. I ain't he's saying I ain't. Everybody at 26, I ain't. He's, at 30, I ain't at 30, he's bigger than everybody. He's stronger than everybody. He's more athletic than everybody. He's faster than everybody. He's more... Not fighting nobody. He's going there with... Most of the time, he fight a nigga, he has all... He, 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 uh, he has everything over everybody. Uh. I can't. Some I can't. I can't. Some fights you got... I can't. Some fights you got fight niggas that... Some fights you got fight niggas that fight niggas, that fight niggas like, oh, he got over. I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't. Over. I can't. I can't, I can't shit on the nigga like that and just say, oh, well, I'm just keeping you know, the facts this, this, that, I, I, I mean, I'm keeping the, truth, the facts too. Listen, the I mean, the nigga, the nigga, the, but look, but look though, the nigga, bro, the it's nigga, the nigga, the truth but, is not but look though, him, obviously, obviously the nigga like that. The nigga's Olympian, bro. He liked it. Regardless if we say, if, if we, if, if he big or white bully nigga, who ain't, who, look at all these niggas, bro. I ain't right, fighting that, that they that fucking, fighting that they white class. Before. That's what niggas do. It has nothing to do with him. I said, that's what oh, we everybody was, that's, else is that's, doing it. That's what we talking right, that's, about. That's though. a fact for everybody else too, but that's a fact for him. When we speaking on him, it's a fact for him. We, and and that nigga we, like that, bro. Best, best defense in the game. Like I said, he late to me. From what I see, bro, it's it's watching the, the nigga, he like that, bro. So saying the facts are the facts, bro. He, he 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 liked it, bro. That nigga boxing skills like the it, facts, bro. bro. He liked it. Fuck, like that, yeah. Against niggas on the top of the niggas that that we comparing them to, and we comparing this to the top niggas. It, he he, the last top nigga. Put it like that. And we compare him Tank and Devin. He he's he's third, nigga. I mean, he came from twenty six, bro. Like I said, though, this hey, this. That's cool shit. Hopefully they fight that nigga, bro. They gotta get in there with that nigga. He, he on tank. He he on tank hit list. He on tank hit list. So hopefully shit, they fight, man. 
Hopefully we get that fight. Better put everything to rest, bro. It won't be no more debated discussion. Man. You know what I'm saying? No more debated discussion about who, who, who better than who. This nigga ain't really like that. Shit. I'm not saying he's not really like that. He just not. He just not what niggas make him out to be. Hey, that's your opinion. You know, like I said, for me, I just, you know, it's like the nigga purebred, thorough, purebred boxer, man. Best defense in the game. No. Nigga, nigga do a lot of shit. Nigga don't move his head. Nigga backs up in a straight line. Nigga, he makes niggas. Move. He he makes niggas miss. He got different type of defense, right? Like you said, he makes he niggas miss on the dime. Right? He make who miss? He make you stand out of range of a nigga. If 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 you stand out of range of a nigga and a nigga swinging at you out of range, it's easy to make a nigga miss. But making a nigga miss in front of him, slipping punches, turning the nigga. Doing shit like that, catching. So he ain't, he ain't, he ain't never, he ain't never. So we saying he don't, he ain't never did that at all. He don't do that. No, I'm not saying he ain't, he ain't never. You just, done you that. just go, go, go watch I'm his not three not, fights before, never do, but his before best, his, his best defense of his best defensive skill is staying out of range, is judging distance, nigga. Of course, like, nigga, that's the honor, pure, pure boxes, nigga. Fucking no, getting nigga not. being no, be, not. being a master, no, all being all a master, no, being a master, no, a master, a master, a master at distance, no, nigga. Nigga, making sure you got your range down, nigga. Like it, it's, no, I mean, not. shit. No, that's, no, that's not. That's not what a lot of niggas is deep and still Floyd, nigga. It don't matter what range you was at, nigga. You couldn't hit it. Nigga, man, a lot of niggas, no matter what range you at, like, nigga, he's staying out of range because he's not that defensively skilled in range. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so so he should be so 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 he should so he should be in range and shit. Then no, saying, so if, so, he, if you're in range, you can hit the nigga, and if you can close the distance on the nigga, you can hit the nigga. That's what I'm saying. You gotta go if watch more film study on that nigga. Distance, bro. I, I, I don't game, know what you. You gotta go watch more film study, bro. No, nigga, five days, 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 why didn't De La Santos, nigga, and De La Santos was, that nigga, he fast, like, he underrated. That nigga quick, quick on his feet. Why but he's did not he, a pressure why, fighter, though. He's not a but, but look, though, but look, why Why did he close the distance? Close the distance because like he's not that. that type of fighter. That's what I'm trying to say. He's not a pressure fighter. So you saying there's only two niggas that Shakur can fight that are giving no, that I'm look saying, that you talk about. make fights. I'm saying Pit like, bull and tank. Styles make fights. That's what I'm saying. Styles make fights. And there's certain niggas that only can fight they style. Like there's certain niggas that can only fight they style. Everybody can't can't don't can't fight every style. Shakur and Shakur can't fight every style. Shakur only can fight his style. You got certain fighters that can fight every style. Like, oh, boom. If I'm fighting this opponent based on this opponent, I can go fight this style to beat him in this style, nigga. Name me, name me every, name me every fighter you know that can fight every single style. And that, like, that's not, undefeated. There's only that a couple is, fighters that can okay, fight. Okay, 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 okay. There's okay. only a couple fighters okay. that can do that. Okay, okay. But styles make fights. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Even okay. if oh, like nigga, this style versus this style. But you got a fight that can fight every style. Like Tank can fight every style. What yeah. if a nigga? What if? But what? Listen, that's why I ask you. What if a nigga is a master at, at whatever style that that they is? What if they just a master at their style, bro? At the, at their craft, bro? You see what I'm saying? Yeah but, yeah, but what I'm saying, you could be a master at your style. That don't mean your style can't be beat, though. Okay. Like, your style can I just know. I just know. It don't. It don't matter who it is. Like niggas can try. If you fight a nigga, 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 style, nigga, if you fight a nigga in style, you gotta fight a nigga in the style. That the style that he. But you gotta be able to the ability to do that. So it's like, oh, if I if, if I'm saying nigga, oh, this the style that I can beat him. This the style that I has to fight. 
But can you fight that style? If you yeah. Tanker, I box the nigga. Tanker, I box the call. You said. Nah, he fell out for a second. I think he, I think he gonna come back though. You know what I mean? The hell yeah! I just don't agree with that shit he's saying. It's like, man, like you got a pure boxer, bro. They just they gonna they gonna fight they style, bro. They, it, they ain't got a fight on the inside. You can try to make a fight on the inside. They ain't gonna fight on the inside. That's why I say, like, tomorrow when Africa fight, fight this Argentinian nigga, bro. We gotta know the Argentinian ain't gonna try to make it a fight, nigga. But shit, Africa ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? He gonna stick to his game plan and stick to what he know, bro. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, uh, being a, being a master at his craft and being a pure boxer, bro. You know what I'm saying? And to me, like, when you got, when you got skills like that of being a pure boxer, bro, that's what that's what gets you to win fights, bro. You know what I'm saying? In my eyes. Hell yeah. What's up with it, Rollo? What's up with it, Bubs? What's good? I see my boy Chop Tap back in. So what you think about Ben Whitaker? I know you've been telling me about him. He been showing out lately, bro. That nigga been man, hey, that really nigga that be <laughs> he be on he be on that shit in the ring, don't it, bro? I, I know you was the first person really talking about him. You know what I mean? You, <laughs> that hey, nigga that nigga making noise though. That nigga that nigga though. I ain't gonna lie. Like I know Benavides. He said he going up to 175. He probably gonna try to, you know what I mean, make a fight with him. And and I know if, if David Morrell he go up to 175, I want to make a fight with Ben Whitaker too. With David Morrell, man, I would love that fight, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, 175 gonna be lit real soon, bro. Real soon, bro. Man, we got to be one of the ones. He gonna be gotta, one of the ones. We got a light heavyweight, Chris. Not seeing my man, man, in the making, man. I mean, Morel yeah. knows better than that nigga, bro. Morel really gonna smoke that nigga, bro. I, I want that fight, David Morel and Ben Whitaker, bro. I love that fight. Only thing I worry about with him, bro, is like, <laughs> like, hey, a nigga like Ben Davidez, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like, I ain't talking about for the whole fight. Louis just say, like, for moments of the fight. I can see Ben Whitaker dancing and moving his head, bro, making Benavidez miss like a motherfucker, bro. Like, yeah. miss like a motherfucker, He bro. bigger than Benavidez, too. Well, he like, 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 make that nigga he miss, bro. He might give Benavidez some problems, that nigga. I ain't gonna lie. He might. He got some power, too. My nigga be having fun in that bitch. <laughs> hey, they love that nigga for doing that shit. They love hey, that bro, that's what we need, bro. We need another nigga like that, bro. Shit, hey, a lot of niggas. Some, some hey, niggas don't like that shit. Is. We need that shit, man. He's shit, fan, it was cool. But he got a lot it of fans off of that shit, bro. They been talking yeah. about that shit. Yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. Going viral. He yeah. got a lot of views. Like that yeah. nigga. They, he a star, bro. He got a fan base. I ain't yeah. gonna lie to that. Hey, yeah. that nigga, he cool, bro. He a good fighter, bro. I can't lie. That nigga cool, bro. We need a, we need another one of them. Nigga Prince, I seen my man, Emmanuel Augustus, man. Shit. We need one of them, bro. They get it fucked up. They think niggas who, you know, that fight that style ain't really got no no skills that can't fight. You know what I'm saying? But you saying up when he ain't when he ain't you know when he ain't doing this thing and, and, and dancing around and shit and moving like shit. That nigga that nigga got skills, bro. Hey, 
And my boy uh, Rallo, he said Ben was getting caught uh, clean doing that fly shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he got, he got, he got, he he he'll take a couple of his doing that shit. But like I said, it's just like he just got to be calculated. It can't be against the wrong nigga. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Hey, big, big chop. He like him too. He like uh, ben, ben Whitaker. He rocking with oh, yeah, him. Yeah, Ben Whitaker. Yeah, I fuck with Ben yeah. Whitaker. Yeah, I know. I got his last he's, fight. He was doing too much though. Like, yeah, as I said, it's just, didn't get the you knockout know. that time, huh? Yeah, you didn't no, get the stoppage. Yeah, yeah. Come, come on, it get listen. So it, it it get played out over time, though. Like, nigga. <laughs> nah, why? why? Hey, what's hey hey? What's my uh? What's my nigga that be on here from the UK, bro? He, going, I got it. I got it. I got go to get him credit ass, too. Like, I, 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 I've been I've been new. I've I've been I've been new about the nigga, but he the first one that really. Came on here and really started talking about that nigga, bro. What's that nigga? I remember uh, him in the, in the Olympics, though, because he was in, in the Olympics with Andy. Yeah, Cole. yeah, 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 yeah. I remember him. Yeah. yeah, man. He seemed like he's a good fighter, though. You know what I mean? And he got a fan base, but you see, you like him. He from the UK. Come on, big shot, man. You just be picking Bro. and choosing, man. No, yeah, no, like no, 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 no. This is what I'm saying. Oh boy, that's your boy. UK niggas will fail you. So it's like what I'm saying is nine times out of ten, when you get a when you get a a, a top of the line UK nigga, right? Versus a top of the line American nigga. Do not put your money on that UK nigga. He will fail you. Not all the time. Lennox Not Lewis all the time. Whooping ass. Not all the time. Lennox. Yeah, I'm like, nigga, who you talking about, nigga? Listen, My favorite is the all time, nigga. Nigga, 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 uh, 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 nigga. Listen, nothing is all the time. Yeah, and that, it was nothing another is fighter. All the time. Nigga now, Every you know, time. You know, and, 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 all his losses, he got his get back. He got his get back both times, nigga. That nigga, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lloyd Hunnigan. He knocked out Donald Curry. I you get it. I get it. I get it. Nothing is every time. Nothing is every time. What about but Prince majority of the time. What about Prince? Prince not seen. Majority of the time. You can, like, you can find an anomaly for a lot of shit, but majority of the time. Hey, you oh, seen man. that nigga, bro? That nigga, that nigga, that nigga done got so fat, bro. Oh, Chris not seen? Yeah, bro. That nigga, that nigga. That nigga For real, in the bed. My nigga. That nigga chilling, bro. It be hard for them boxers, bro. Nigga making weight so long in your fucking career, nigga. And you got to keep up on your diet. So I think you got Mayweather. Mayweather stay in shape, though. Yeah, yeah, man. He want discipline, nigga. God damn, Look at Bernard. Look at Andre Ward. All them niggas in shape. Even Oscar yeah. not fat and shit, really. You know what I mean? I think I think I think it is. I think it is due to uh some so, some some of that shit. It is due to like nigga nigga <laughs> genetics and them not really my, being my like. I see you getting kind of fat though. I've been yeah, bro. I'm seeing that shit though too. <laughs> Mikey <laughs> guys. Mikey Mikey gang white, bro. I guess how like, you can see it in these niggas' face, bro. Take out. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was just saying, like that's your course, bro. You commit to that nigga. That's a pride. Like he's there. I just feel like it. It don't matter what, bro. Like the, the nigga just, bro. He just a master of his craft, bro. What you say, Big Chop? You said if you do what? You just gotta fully commit of closing the distance on a nigga. Some niggas like they they had a distance closed and then hesitate, like. First of all, you gotta be fast enough. You gotta be explosive enough. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be quick enough. You know what I'm saying? But there's plenty of times that Valdez closed the distance on Shakur and then hesitated. You know what I'm saying? But Shakur he, 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 he was him gonna get line. You know, he like, was gonna get counter. Like, he was gonna get counter like a motherfucker. No, he wasn't. Shakur wouldn't even swing. He would just. He, Shakur wouldn't even swing. He would just. To me, like he had closed the distance and hesitated. You, you, like, you, you said when Valdez closed the distance, he had hesitate type of shit. Though. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Though, like it, he hesitate. What I'm saying is you gotta fully commit to closing. Cause Shakur back up and just stood standing like kind of like a deer in the headlights. But but you got. I mean, you could commit. You. I mean, you going to. I mean, even if he hit you, but you. The whole point is to 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 close the distance to 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 hit this nigga. You know what I'm saying. 
is to be able to, I mean, to land and punch so, in the room. So when so, you get there, so, you can't hesitate. Like, so can he not? Can he not turn niggas? He don't turn niggas. I'm not saying he can't, but he don't. Okay. He don't. Uh, get stuck. It like, was. Nigga, it was two. I think yeah, I, I say two. I think I think I, I think it was two times. I think he turned that little sun touch if I ain't mistaken. Go watch them times too, chop. It was twice. I think can. he turned. I'm not saying he can't, but he don't. So motherfuckers have fighters have traits and shit that they do. You know what I'm saying? I think the man got more than his awesome than him. You know, it's just I'm like I said. He, he don't have. He can he have just everything. It's a different. He can just like, comfortable like at nigga, doing what he doing. Nigga can move his head, but you constantly see a nigga don't move his head. It's like those are traits. He's not saying that older oh, nigga can't do that, but nigga, these are traits that he's saying. Like this nigga shit that he do repetitive in the fight that you can. That you can motherfucking, and that that's that's what I'm that and that that's what I want to figure out too, like, bro. Like, I'm like, trying to like Ryan Garcia. This nigga overshoots. He's like, oh, oh, this fight he may not. He, he's learning how to so not I, overshoot all the time, but it doesn't matter. But nigga was doing it ten times a fight, then he's doing it five times a fight. But nigga, when he do it, only take that one time for this nigga to overshoot and it will get caught. You know what I'm saying, and you capitalize on that shit. Wait. We need it. We need it. We need it. We need to get that figured out then and see like, okay, well, who is gonna take it? This nigga, we all know he back up in the straight line. How he, however, you know, when he, you know, when he be getting out of uh out of range and shit, bro. But who gonna? I mean, shit. Who gonna? It's it's gonna it's gonna it's just gonna take a, a real motherfucker to kind of nigga really shoot up in there, bro, and make a fight for that I shit. Make fight, nah. man. Back up in the well, street now with Tank, based on Tank footwork, his explosiveness. You know what I'm saying? And of course, not like, oh, you got reach advantage over him. He got about the same reach. Based off this nigga footwork and explosiveness, it'll be a bad job for you. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, it don't matter right hand, left hand, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You back up in that motherfucking straight line. There's plenty of times about this courting backing up in that straight line. We got to see the fight, man. I'm watching the fight right now, man. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the tank fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, before this nigga fight, got, I'm just saying, based before, on the nigga. Before this nigga got a one, one quarter. The nigga got flaws. That can be. And then you got nothing to keep you off of it, like, man. What was What? What? They do the same shit all the time. As soon as you go to this, you back up in a straight line. Boom, boom, boom. Take them two steps back. Boom. Most of the time, when a nigga back up the first time, a nigga uh, jump in the second joint, a nigga hesitate. But if you know I think Tim Tim, was talking about that shit too, bro. Uh, Damn, you just crazy you bought that shit up, bro. I think Bradley was against a nigga like Pitbull. A nigga with a nigga Pitbull, you gonna keep going straight. What Pitbull is, though, nigga, you gotta turn that nigga to get him on balance. You know what I'm saying? Because he's fully committing of coming straight. You gotta turn that nigga. But if you, oh, you just keep backing up in that straight line? I think, I, whatever it is, if he got a back up straight or turning, nigga, I think that's what he'll do. You know what I'm saying? No, that's not what he'll do. He, he has traits. He do this against everybody. He backs up in that motherfucking straight line. He's gonna revert. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's something that he just used to doing in the ring. Like, Tim, like I was saying, though, like I was just gonna say, Tim was talking about that shit too. Like, like, like nigga, like, ain't, like, ain't, 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 ain't nobody, why not, ain't nobody why still made, made. Valdez. It's like, nigga, why you, it'd be easier to just turn against Valdez instead of, instead of backing up in the street line. I think he was just comfortable, bro. He was just shit. That type of fight right there. That's what he do every it, fight. It don't matter who he fighting. That's just what he does every fight. That's him as a fighter. Well, nigga, like I said, bro, when nice when he fight Tank, nigga, we gonna see a Tank and Mike and fight for That's him as a nigga. fighter. Like if you watch a nigga do this shit every single fight, it's not like oh, nigga, I'm fighting this nigga. That's just what you do. That's what I'm saying. Every fighter can't. Oh, you may oh, you may know how to turn, but it's like nigga, that shit don't come to you in a fight, nigga. You know what? The, you, you just back up, like nigga. That shit don't come. Like oh, let me turn this nigga. Like, Shakur a sidestep a nigga, but he don't really that nigga, that nigga a master at that. Whatever the fuck you do, if it's back, whatever it is, bro, 
he got it damn fact, bro. Down, but a nigga just he, he, he got it. He, he, he got it. He got it damn fact, bro. Assume because he's a skilled boxer, niggas assume that like he's able to do everything because he's a skilled boxer, and he just do this based on that, and he just does this based on this. That's not the case. That's not how fucking boxing works, nigga. So a nigga just give him everything, like because he's a skilled boxer. They do the same. Let me ask you this, though. Let me let me ask you this. You saying that? If 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 a nigga 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 a pure boxer, and you don't see them do a lot. A nigga a pure boxer, you don't see them do a lot. You know what I'm saying? Damn near. But I ain't talking about none nothing on the inside, but just far as standing on the outside and boxing, nigga. Like he got all the outside game. It's like a pure boxer on the outside. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't based on boxing. On the yeah, I understand that. I understand that. I understand that. Of course, I know that. I understand that. But most most pure boxes that we see that we see now, nigga, like I said, they that that's the main thing that they that they uh motherfucking uh uh. This is what Derek James uh, most you know what I'm saying? Like nigga, insane. like like Richardson Hitchens, Devin Shakur, this nigga. What, like this is what Derek James said, nigga. Most of these niggas box the same, besides Tank Davis. Most of these niggas just box the same, nigga. These niggas is just... It's like, nigga, it's the Floyd motherfucking... It's the Floyd babies. So it's like, nigga... But these niggas is not Floyd, nigga. Floyd could box in all ranges, nigga. Floyd could box in the inside. Floyd could box... Niggas only took the Floyd box. I wouldn't even... I wouldn't, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even compare none of them niggas to that nigga. No, I ain't even reason. No. I'm not comparing them to Floyd. They got their own... They got their own they, little, they little they shit off of them. Like, this is what... Niggas coming up in the gym in the Floyd era, niggas base their style off, like, nigga wanting to be Floyd. So, we're going to box on the outside. We're going to box on the outside. We're going to box on the outside. But nigga Floyd could box... Oh, he will box you on the outside, but nigga, but if, if a nigga had he had the boxing nigga on the inside, he could box a nigga on the inside. If he could buy, had the boxing nigga at mid range, he could box a nigga at mid range. You know what I'm saying? He can, he can, I mean, on the inside, it's hard for you to hit him on the inside. It's hard for you to hit him at mid range. It's hard for you to hit him at distance, nigga. He and Floyd had something for everything. These niggas don't have all that. Sometimes, like, nigga, oh, a nigga is making you fight on the inside. You can't fight on the inside. Like, nigga. It's certain fighters like nigga, oh nigga, oh my my best attribute is fighting on the outside, but nigga on the inside, oh I'm good at that too, nigga. Like oh I I can fight inside too, nigga. I'm good at that too, nigga. It's like oh nigga, oh, it's gonna be man. real hard to get them nigga make make them up like make them niggas fight on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Can, Unless the niggas is up on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the on the on the on ropes or some shit, that, that and and trap 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 the ass type of shit. You see what I'm saying? And nigga, there's plenty of times made down and made Floyd fight on the inside, but even on the inside, Floyd was still winning the inside battles. Like man, it was still hard to to to, to hit Floyd on the inside, nigga. Oh, when motherfucking uh, Brandon Figueroa forced Cool Boy to fight on the inside, he turned into nigga like, oh, being a better inside fighter, even though like that's what motherfucker Brandon Figueroa do, but he was comfortable fighting that nigga on the inside and still hitting this nigga with the cleaner, effective punches on the inside. Not like, oh, nigga, I don't know what to do here, grab you. Tie you up and try to get back to fighting on the inside. Oh, this is where. Oh, I you fell out. You 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 fell out. You fell out. So let me ask you this. Uh, you was talking about oh, well, tank fight on in inside and out. Okay, cool. So let me ask you this. So uh, tank could be able to outbox your core. Yes. Okay. 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 Yes. Uh, all right. Okay. That's your opinion. Okay. Yes. I don't know where niggas get this opinion that Shakur can't be outboxed on the outside. I didn't say he couldn't. I just asked you know the I'm question. Saying, most niggas, that's have, that's this most yeah. niggas have this opinion like he just does something so spectacular like where it can't be. He can't I don't be think beat. it's just amazing and spectacular. Everybody can be beat. This is boxing. I just got my, yeah, you know, saying, I mean, what you know. does, I'm saying what Shakur style boxing on the outside, though. This is his, 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 his. His box on the outside, he don't have too many variables. Like, nigga, it's one, two, one, two, three. It's one, two, one, two, three. It's, it's not like a boost, like, nigga, where you going to hit, nigga. You got to borrow one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, nigga. Oh, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga crazy counterpunch. What you, what you, you know, he got that in his arsenal, like, too. 
it's very it's not it's not too many punches you gotta worry about, nigga. It's one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Like at the Yeah, moment, yeah, like, it, you not, ain't gotta worry about the about punches, like, you gotta worry about getting to his ass. That motherfucker will frustrate yeah, you, you, nigga. Range, nigga, like, in like range, shit. Get in range, range, nigga, and, and see and see how long you can stay there, or or, or see how long what it, if if you'll be able to dish your punches out while you in range, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you you okay, cool. The nigga, like I said, bro, it, it ain't everybody say that shit when they get in the ring is different, bro. He, he he frustrates niggas, bro. That, if you fighting niggas, that's, if you fighting niggas, is is of course it's harder for certain fighters that's not as skilled as you or not as quick as you or not as athletic as you or not as fast as you like oh nigga if you fight a nigga like oh jamel Heron. oh you you got everything over jamel here he's slow he's not that good of a boxer he's not fast he's not none of that you know what i'm saying nigga you can beat that nigga eyes closed like anything, nigga, but you weren't about a nigga that's just explode, just, just as fast as you, as explosive as you, nigga. You gonna be gunshot like a motherfucker in that motherfucker. You be scared, nigga. At the most, you'll throw one, one, two, nigga. You ain't, nigga. You throw, you try to throw that third punch is over for you, nigga. Like, nigga, as soon as you let that shit go, like, based on nigga, oh, one, two, one, like, oh, you fight a nigga, oh, Valdez, nigga. Let me ask you this, so you, you saying I let you, you, you saying you saying I let let me let me ask you this. Why why De La Santos didn't press the gas on Shakur and the Shakur was just standing? Dele, why, why? I told you that De La Santos is not that type of fighter. Once again, he's not that type of fighter. Did you see all his other fights before Shakur? Yes, I seen his other fights before Shakur. So 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 why 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 is it he the, the least punch output he was gunshot too? One doing shit. Why? Why is it only when he got the support that he didn't press the gas and make it a fight? Like, once again, he's not that type of fighter. Like I, I didn't see. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see that. I didn't. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Like what? What? What was that? I didn't see that. I didn't. I didn't see. But look, I didn't see that from that nigga with the with the with the other fights he had before. You seen a nigga that was in front of them throwing punches at him for him to throw punches back. If a nigga I, not I seen afraid, Dela Santos stepping to them niggas and pressing them niggas, boxing he was them niggas. To I seen them. I too. seen. Bro, the, the nigga want the nigga the nigga the the nigga the nigga the nigga want pressing the gas to that nigga, he bro. To, he's not a nigga that he's not a uh, 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 he's not a uh, pitbull cruise. He's not a nigga that's just going to throw caution to win. It ain't gotta be no pitbull cruise, my nigga. Once he again, nigga, he, ain't no he, try, nigga. The nigga had a low ass punch, a low ass, low ass punch output, nigga. Bro, I already. And that, that nigga, that nigga, that, that, that he's not throwing no. The nigga is not in the range from the throw punches at him. So where's the? Well, I, 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 I just, I just, I leave it at this. After the fight, after the fight, when the nigga talk, Shakur, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just leave it at this. After the fight, when them niggas talk to shit. Core, whatever the fuck they they was talking about, Core asked him like, uh, I guess about like him step or, or De La Santos brung it up, oh, like why about him not stepping to Shakur? De La Santos is like he didn't want to get picked apart, nigga, type of shit. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like that that, that, that that nigga that nigga that nigga knew too, nigga. Like shit. Where could he be throwing punches at? What you mean? Well, like if a, if the whole time is he's trying to get to Shakur and even get punches off. Where should he be throwing punches at? If a nigga, where should he be throwing punches at the air? No, nigga, I mean, shit, you pick your, pick your shots, nigga. Go to his body, nigga. You can Any come up top, nigga. Like, it's, it's, him, right? it's, I mean. Anytime he was in range to throw punches at Shakur, he threw punches. Oh, you gotta go rewatch the fight. I'm just telling you what bro said too. Oh, I, I mean, shit. When 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 the, when, when the niggas was talking, the nigga said the nigga said he where where the nigga said the the nigga said he the nigga said he didn't want to get picked apart. The La said he didn't want to get picked apart. Nigga, he didn't want to get picked apart. He was he was he was gunshot. He was gunshot too, like a motherfucker. He didn't want to get picked apart. Like, I just throw punches at a nigga to be throwing punches at the wind. Like, throwing punches nigga, at the nigga, 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 nigga,
He's not a man. Fucking Maidana. My, my Donna. My Donna was just throwing. No, hello. You, hello. You, hello. You, hello. You, 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 you just asked me. You just asked me. You just asked me what. Hello. You, hello. You just, hello. 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 You just asked me, well, what he going to be throwing punches at? What he hit? Nigga, you could, he could have made it or made it dirty, nigga. Or, bro, or you know what I'm saying? Like, press, press the gas on him. Man, like I that's said, though, bro. He could have. That's like saying, oh, I wanted Victor Ortiz to the four like Madonna. That's not his style of fighting. Nigga saying, nigga, a nigga uh, be running and moving. Now, let nigga, but nigga, nigga, niggas don't want to make it a motherfucking fight. Though. Niggas can make it a fight, nigga. A nigga is not just going to come in with a whole number. If this nigga can't fight every style, that's not what he's going to do. That boy was gunshot. I knew it. That boy was gunshot too. That boy was that boy was gunshot. He didn't he didn't want to get picked apart. He didn't he didn't want to get picked apart. That's what Della Santos said. I'm just I'm just telling you what Della Santos said. That's how, bro. He said he told he told Shakur he didn't want to get picked apart. The thing about this the thing about that BJ the difference with McDonald Della Santos is just not a brawler. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, know yeah. But he, 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 Pitbull, he, them type of fighters like Pitbull, they are brawlers. They want you to but, engage. They don't want they, they don't want to make it a technical. That's why from one one, that's how he start. They want to make it a brawl. They're, they're but see, but see, but see on, on GJ, but, but, he's more of a boxer slugger. A boxer yeah, slugger. that's what I was gonna say. A slugger too, because he he. He could fight, you know what I'm saying? That's what I said though. Like he, I feel like De La Santos, OGJ, he still could have pressed the gas. He was, he was damn near, you know what I'm saying, holding back too. He told, he, 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 he told him. The thing about that, you, you got to be mindset when you're in the ring with a fighter that's a sharpshooter. But you don't know what punch you're gonna hit, get hit with, and you don't know when the punch yeah. He come. told Shakur he didn't want to get picked apart. That's what but I'm trying Dela to tell Santos this nigga. Is not that type of fighter to not, be a pressure fighter. You just saying Delosanto could have done this, Delosanto could have done that, Delosanto could have done this, Delosanto could have done that. Delis that's not what he do. How can you expect a nigga to do something that's not what he do? I was like saying, oh, I'm expecting yeah. Pitbull. Pitbull could have done this. He could have slipped punch. He could have turned this nigga. He could have done. He could have outboxed this nigga. He should have made some more adjustments in that fight, man. That's What's all talking him. about. What's the he should have. Okay, okay, okay. He should have made some more. What the fuck is a fight? What are you talking about? I was going to make adjustments. Was nigga, going to make adjustments, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? I like Shakur. Nigga. Was doing anything for him to make any adjustments. Like the nigga. Nigga, he, 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 nigga, it's two niggas, bro. It's, it's once again, it's, it's, it's two niggas, bro. I'm not hearing that shit. I get, I get tired of hearing, oh, well, hearing it, 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 ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't nothing for him to so be done, done nigga. Bella Santos just can't do shit, nigga. He what couldn't do nothing, nigga. He Fuck out of here, nigga. Nigga, do nigga. The court did, he nigga. could, he couldn't, he couldn't do shit, nigga. It's the two court niggas court fight, nigga. nigga. One nigga could have made it a fight, nigga. One if the other nigga want right, right. So Della Santos should have should have did shit, what you nigga. Fuck you, fuck is you talking about? Della Santos should have did shit, nigga. And Della Santos should have did shit, nigga. Not that nigga, like. Uh, that's cool, nigga. I ain't, I ain't gonna argue with you on that, nigga. I ain't a fanboy. That's cool, shit. I ain't, it's nigga. That that's your nigga. that's your opinion, nigga, nigga. Tell your boy, tell your boy, fight him before he go before he go to forty. I want to see him get knocked out. Tell him, go, 40, tell, no tell him, tell him, tell him. Well, well, tell him. Well, that's what I'm saying. Tell him, tell him, go holler at him before he go to 40 then. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, oh, he got to do something. What all the yeah. mother niggas did? Yes, what all the mother something. niggas yeah. did? What yeah. all the mother niggas had to do? Yeah. What all the mother niggas yes, had to do? Exactly. What I, what did all the mother niggas had to do? The niggas was on the right side. That's that shit. Done. That's all they on the right side. Here we go with that's that side done. of the street. That's how Here we go with that side of the street that's shit. All right. Who took core fight that wasn't on top? I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Who took core fight that wasn't on top rank? De La Santos on that side with uh tank that motherfucker. You. Shit. They made he came over to the top rank to make that fight happen. Shit. Mm hmm. Dela Santos, Dela Santos, yeah, I mean, he was fighting on PBC.
Yeah. Even though he fought, he had, he, he, had, he had a couple of fights on top rank too, but he was over there fighting at PBC as well, so he still came yeah, over there to make the happen. Promoter, listen, yeah. man, it's a difference when you're a small promoter. It's one thing PBC is a production company. When you're a small promoter, they work with a bunch of small promoters. Any small promoters that doesn't have any fighting assigned to a nigga that has Man, a we promoter, need to make these fights company. happen. I'd be getting tired of going back and forth. Who ain't like this? Who ain't like that? I'd be one. I'd be... I did be want some shit to get put to rest. I had, to, I, I had, to, I had, to, I had to hear this shit for four or five years with these other two niggas that was and fucking going, at one forty seven, and and, 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 and and I, I don't have to hear this shit four or five you years, nigga. It. And, 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 Cause yeah. it's the truth. Oh, it, what's so? What's the other shit? The truth. truth. Yeah. What was the other? Was was the other shit? The truth as well. Because I was hearing niggas say, but look, was the other shit? The truth as well. Then because I was hearing that. Well, now this one nigga ain't like that, and this nigga is, and it turned what? out the shit. The shit. It don't matter who. I'm just telling you. I was hearing shit saying, "Motherfucker, what? this nigga the truth, and this nigga ain't." And then what? when it come to find out, the nigga they was saying that that that, that was the that's, truth, that's and shit, the nigga got his ass whooped. Okay, 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 okay. Opinion. okay. Opinion. So that's so. So why you be screaming facts at me then? What's the fact then, my nigga? What? I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what the facts is about. What? I can't tell you the fact about an opinion. Yeah, you if you were just screaming opinion, facts, though. Like, if it's a but fact you was just, the I just, up in a straight line, that's a fact. Yeah, that's, that's a fact. We, yeah, we, 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 could, we, could, we could go look at that film. That's a fact. A fact is something that could be it. proven. I'm looking at the yeah, film yeah. right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gotta do all that. I ain't got. I ain't. I ain't gotta do all that. I ain't. I ain't disagreeing with you. Like when do you want to look at the film? We can. We can. We can move past that though. I'm past that. I'm past that though. Right. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 It's a fact. I'm Yeah. 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 Yeah
that Tank and Devin shit ain't happen. I feel like Tank oh, and Devin man. will happen, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, that, nah, that, that fight, nah, that's the fight. I just, I say kind of slipping through the cracks, bro. You know, just keeping it above. So. Not. Nah. <laughs> and then, especially if Devin go to 147 for Dundada, bro. Dundada. Money control fights, bro. Not, not niggas' movements, not none of that. Like, but, but I mean, uh, okay then, uh, do you think that they'll go down to a catch weight, them niggas? I mean, you see what I'm saying? Like, so, I just feel like, especially with all this shit, nigga, negotiations ain't gonna go smooth. It's gonna be too much shit, nigga. You got, uh, Bill over here beefing with, uh, 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 LB flowing and that man, that shit ain't got. I just, like I said, it's just me. I hope we do get the fight, nigga. These type of fights, nigga, I want mine paying 200, 250. Like, I'll pay, I'll pay the bag. Bill, Bill don't gotta negotiate with LB or Floyd. <laughs> Boy, Tom, who, Tom, who we gotta negotiate with? Tom Brown? No, nigga, I don't hate him. He don't gotta negotiate with, uh, oh, that shit getting sour, man. That's why. That's why I keep telling people, chop. Just because you are so, uh, just because you can be an associate with somebody, that don't mean that you're in business together. Thanks. Who you talking about? Uh, who you talking about, OG? Who you talking about? Tank and uh, Ella being me with a promotion. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ella be just be, you know, he just be. He's rich, Floyd. He's rich, Floyd. Nah, nah. We know they got a relationship. Well, you know, well, you, well, you know, well, you know, well, well, you know, well, well, you know, well, 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 you well, well, you know, 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 well, of what Floyd said. How, how can we prove for that to not be true? I'm not saying that it's not true. What I'm saying okay, is... Okay, okay. I'm, I'm saying just saying asking. What is, nah, true, what is true is that... What is true is that Tank is not with Mayweather promotion. Yeah, he's not. What is true is Tank is with Al Hamer. Like, nigga... Like, yeah. like okay. when Floyd said that about oh, Earl Spence and all that, nigga... And Spence said, nigga, my check say Al Hamer. Like, nigga, it ain't got nothing to do with Floyd. Floyd, like. can, Floyd can say a lot of stuff. It Boy, he might be part just behind the scene, but nigga, your checks don't say Floyd Mayweather. Earl Spence nope. cash those checks. Can I? When can I? Can I? Ask, can I? Can I? Can I? When a lot of niggas cash their checks, they don't have Floyd Mayweather name on it. <laughs> let me ask y'all. Let me let me ask y'all this too. Then, uh, so, uh, if let's say if we Floyd don't want something to happen, or he do want something to happen, how much influence do do y'all think he got? Into uh, stopping stuff from happening or making something happen. I'm, I'm just let's be. I'm just being. You know what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> logical with so. that shit. Can, can we be realistic? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think. I don't think so. Man, he may have some influence on somebody else, but he don't have the same influence with Pink. I don't believe that. Like, Floyd, I don't Pink. believe that Floyd cared to try to make sure to stop him. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, I feel like okay, Floyd got oh he got power. He could say oh oh I can go to Al and say oh I need this I need this fight now, but I can't see him stopping the fight. Like, okay, okay, cool. Um, I didn't know Floyd was the one that made the EJ and uh <clears throat> Danny Garcia fight happen. You know. I, I didn't. I wouldn't. I, I didn't know that. That's why I asked. This shit kind of surprised me. You know, uh, Danny had with the Floyd about it, and the Floyd said, "Don't worry about it. I'll make it happen." You know, so that's why I was just. That was. That was. You know, that, I was just curious on that shit because I'm like, damn. I'm like, when she got DJ said his checks are out handed, but shit, Floyd made that fight happen. See what I'm saying? And Floyd probably put, could have went to Al and said something, but like, if EJ didn't want to make the fight happen, or if Al didn't want to make the fight happen, the fight wouldn't happen. Like, he just probably go put his two cents in it, but if niggas didn't want, if neither one of them niggas wanted to make the fight happen, it wouldn't happen. I think the thing about El and him, and he don't mind listening to suggestions that you have for your career. He don't have a problem with that. The reason why I say that, the same thing with Stephen Fulton. He went to Al. Al said, do what you have to do. You have my blessings. 
fight was made on top rank. And I was done with it. You never got in between that. Well, your team will have to negotiate with the other side. She got my blessings to go and fight over there. I'm not going to hold you back. Right. <clears throat> so our job is to advise you what's best for your career. Yep. He going to give you his opinion, nigga. No, I think this was best. Or I think that's what's best. No, nigga. But if you feel as though this is what's best, I mean, go ahead and do it, nigga. He's not a promoter. He can't, you know what I mean? He's not a promoter, so it's not like uh, he can stop. That's why everybody that's technically signed to Al Heyman as an advisor, they're technically free agents. You know what I'm saying? There's no paperwork that's stopping them from Flaw going anywhere. That would be, truth be told, they was on record saying that they ain't never even had Mario Barrios as an option for Tank. They said something that Tank wanted. He said, he said when, he came, when he came to me, he was like, you want to fight these big motherfuckers? And stuff and Tank said, yeah, I want to test myself and see how it is at another weight class. Okay. They didn't have okay. no barriers on the table okay. to take one okay. day. Okay, okay, okay. And it so, 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 so now what you saying that OG Tank? So Tank do so okay. Tank, like Tank said, well, like when the LFG said, Tank Tank is on about Tank run his shit, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah he's in the position to where okay. I can cut out the okay. middleman and stuff like that. I got to okay. deal with Amazon Prime. I okay. deal with our him, and plus I got my own promotions now. I don't have so to have the yeah. man no more. Right, change, change the promotion that get that's gonna get this thing. I know that matchmaking shit. That matchmaking shit done for Tank. Tank choose all his opponents going forward. Every you know, ever since the release of Mayweather, he chooses on opponents now, right? The thing, the thing, the thing about what I was saying, Chop and DJ, people didn't understand a long time ago. Tank had his own platform. And the reason why I say that, he had a network. So why I'm going to give up my leverage as a fighter when I have my own, have my own to con to concede to somebody else who really don't have their own. Shakur right. don't really have top rank. He fights on top rank. ESPN is not really his platform. Showtime was a platform for Tank. He fought all his fights there. Now he's with uh -huh. Prime. He's in the total That's different business. Exclusively role. signed to Showtime. Yeah. We talk about Bud and Spence. We did five years. What happened when Bud left Top Rank? He had one fight, and then what? He had the Spence fight. It didn't take long to make that fight, but why? He went to that other side. Yeah, um, Nate, I feel, I feel like, I feel like, wanted, I, regardless of what yeah. he was asking for him, he was getting upset and saying that was unrealistic. It didn't take long. I feel like it, 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 it happened because of Spence. Yeah, it happened because of Spence, yeah. I just Cause they didn't even they didn't, about it, they didn't think about it they didn't even want it to long, happen. Long, long, long as he was on top no, rank, it's not, it's not it didn't that matter what the fight to happen. It wasn't that long as he was top rank and Bob, it wouldn't matter what. They didn't give a fuck. But they nah, they they advise you that you that they they advise you nigga that you the age they was trying they would be getting they they was just trying to get they was trying to have him go a different path is what I'm saying, my nigga. No, I don't think that's they what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, bro, they didn't want to could, fight, bro. Could, 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 you know, could give you, a fuck. These niggas in the business and making you? money. Like, y'all get caught if y'all think like these niggas don't want to fight that. These niggas are in the business of making money. EJ, Why, EJ want wanted, wanted it. EJ, EJ wanted it. Yeah, but no, nigga, but they gonna tell EJ because on the on the on the table. You deserve Listen, listen, listen. On the table. No, no, no. You listen. You listen. You just ain't listen. Nigga, I'm just trying to tell you, nigga. They was Keith Thurman. And then somebody no, else nigga, Canelo. Up the nigga, the fight when the, when the negotiations <laughs> fell out. Nigga, no, Keith Thurman was on the table, nigga. That's why nigga, Earl was on the. That's why Earl. That's why Earl. That's why Earl was on the phone, nigga. And said it was like, nigga, I told Al, I ain't that fighting Keith, nigga. They been, they, they, they been trying to, they been trying to line it up, bro. That happened, but listen, that happened once Bud went to go fight Avenesia. They been trying to line it up, is what I'm saying, bro. They yeah, already had, they, 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 already had a path lined out for that, nigga. That is what I'm saying. They didn't bro. want him to fight the Bud fight. Uh, that's why. I, that's why I see, Bj. Even if you fight Keith Thurman, the next fight would be Bud.
it was a, it was a blessing that Bud got the fight with uh Spence because if he was still with top rank, why would Spence have to deal with Bud knowing that he have to deal with Bob and top rank? I don't have to talk to you. Yeah, OG Giants, the whole little promotion and shit. That's what be yeah. hollering out these motherfuckers. Talk up, to you, knowing that you got a promoter and he got the last so so say so on your fight career. So why am I talking to you? Once you left top rank, nah, I can talk to you, man to man. Why? I can talk to you. Because there's no more middleman. You don't have a promoter. But that's the that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing about these niggas. These niggas not working together, man. Al Heyman, when you decide directly to Al Heyman, right? You don't have a promoter. You're technically a free agent. So when you had niggas that's like, oh, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, Smith, them niggas don't have, they didn't have a promoter. They only had Al Heyman, which is an advisor. So why why, why didn't Al Heyman want Sean Porter to go to top rank and make this shit happen? Now, this is on record. Sean Porter, Sean Porter said this on his podcast, nigga. You see what I'm saying? And I don't know whatever, whatever the fuck happened, but he was like, nah, I'm about to go over there. And no. I guess, I guess for the pay or something, because he was like, nigga, what you ain't, what no. else do you got lined up for? Nigga, he said it on his podcast, no. nigga. No. You telling no. me now, but this no, reporter nigga. said, no. I, okay, That's... all right, all right. No, all right. it's not, nigga. Drop the link. I'm fucking, I'm fucking. Drop the link. He I, never I'll, go, I, I'll go find, I'll go, go, go find, find that bitch. Drop the link. Nigga, so I will, I'm, 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 I'm finna, I'm. Sean Porter never said that I'll hit him. Nigga, it. Nigga, go over there and make the fight. It, it, Nigga, with, with the fight happening, nigga, yes, Porter said something Sean like Porter that, nigga. never said that. Drop the link, nigga. I'll go find that hoe, nigga. I ain't got no reason to lie. Fuck, I'm lying for it, nigga. Yeah, yeah, no, you misunderstood. I ain't saying you lying. He never no, said misunderstood, he nigga. He didn't, he, didn't have, he, didn't, he didn't have nothing lined up for him, though, he bro. He never said he didn't want him to go over there. He didn't fight. have nothing else lined up for him, he so Porter was like, like a fight. He didn't just have, he didn't have a fight lined up for him, nigga. He didn't have nothing lined up for him at the moment, bro. What? He didn't have a fight lined up for the nigga, bro. He didn't have he a fight had, lined he, up for him at the moment. I guess I didn't have nothing lined up for Porter at the time. So he wanted to make the shit with Bud. Sean so Porter only wanted to fight Bud. I'm going to go find the videos, bro. Man, ain't trying to play me like I'm retarded. I'm going to go find the video, bro. Sean so Porter only wanted I heard, to fight I heard, I heard, I heard. I heard what the fuck Porter said, bro. Oh, you oh. never heard Sean Porter say. I'm, 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 i am i am i uh, Al, Al something, bro. If I, it was something, bro. But he was like, nah, I'm about to go do this. This is what I'm about to go do. I'm I'm, I'm about to go do this. That's what Porter said, that. nigga. You never heard that. I'm going to go find this shit, bro. Just, I'm going to go look for this shit. You never heard that, bro. I'm going to go look for this shit. I'm just saying, you never heard it. Uncle Jay, you ever heard that? Nigga, Porter alluded to the shit, nigga. He said it like, nigga, like basically, like, 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 just because he didn't say, oh, Al told me not to go do this, but he, he didn't say, nigga, oh, well, well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go find, I'm gonna go find the lake, my nigga. I'm gonna go find the lake, bro. Yeah, I'm just saying, you never heard that. Yeah, nigga, he said, nigga, he said basically that shit, nigga. He never, you know, now he said basically that. You never heard him say that. You never heard him say that. Nigga. Well, in the way, in the way, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga got advised or, or whatever. Not you in the, you he he got advised, advised, nigga, not to not to to to, to whatever to go do that or whatever. Bro. But he didn't have nothing not else lined up for the nigga, so he, he said he finna go. I'm I'm gonna go find it, bro. You got my word. When I get back on this bitch, yeah. I have it. I'm gonna go find it, bitch. It's old, nigga. It's on. Yeah, I'm for yeah, the I'm for the pocket. For the podcast, bro. Uh -huh. He 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 bought it up random random in one of one of his uh -huh. shows and shit. 
I ain't got no reason to lie to you, nigga. Nobody said you lying. Uh, Just to be right? Come on, nigga. Never said you lying. I said you never heard Sean Porter say, Al Heyman told him. Okay, okay. When he he was discussing, when he was discussing what they was talking about, uh, whatever he said about him, Al had a conversation, however that went, he was just saying, you know, uh, I got to advise some things to do this, uh, whatever the fuck specific words to use, I don't want to misquote the nigga. He got advice to go do this. He said, no, I'm going to go take this. You know, ain't nothing else lined up for me over there. Listen, this is what okay, an okay, is. Okay, 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 is what okay. An advisor right. is. An advisor right. is to advise you what he think is best for you to do. Okay, well, he... he, but he as being said, what, what was I best for him? He didn't think it was best for him to go over there and make that fight. As being signed to Al Heyman, he's to advise you to do what, what he think is best for your career, right? To do. You're not signed to a promoter. When you're not signed to a promoter, you're technically a free agent. You can go do anything you want to do. You can go to any platform you want to go to. You're not signed to no promoter. That it cannot. You're you're a free agent. That's why most fighters that's technically signed to Al Heyman has their own promotional company. Man, I got a, a a bunch of them niggas, dude. That ain't no secret, nigga. They got a that's thousand, because, that's because a thousand promotional. Promoter. It's because you're not signed to a promoter. Yeah, that's, we know that they got a thousand so motherfuckers. When you're not trying to promote it, you're technically a free agent. Bro, you can still be free, but like what Porter said, though, bro, whatever Al advised him or talk, whatever the fuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? The nigga word. The nigga that, 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 advising that, you. You know, advising well, uh, is, is okay. an advice. I can give you advice. I okay, cool. Well, he, he advised him that this will probably be the best route. Okay. But what Porter, I'm Porter, you Porter, know, he Porter, never Porter. told him that. He, he, I don't want you to go over there. Porter, he advised him to go here. Porter said, nah, I, I, I want to go here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go get this money. Ain't nothing else lined up for me right here. This is what I'm going to go do. Nigga, in the nutshell, that's what Porter said, right, bro. But, that, but this is two total different things than a motherfucker saying, I don't want you to go over there. If so if you, nigga, okay, so if, if, if I'm why, would Al, why would Al, why would Al, why would Al advise him to go do uh, 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 something else if he, you know what I'm saying, if, if he wanted, if he did want him to go there. Obviously, he didn't want the nigga to, right? It's not about me wanting you to go anywhere. My advice is to give you the best advice, what I think is best for your career. It's not about okay, where okay. I want you to go. Okay, okay, to okay. It's gotcha, the best gotcha, advice I think gotcha, is best gotcha. for you to do as, as a career. Okay. okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, he advised the nigga to do something else. And then... Porter was just like, you ain't got that ain't nothing mean, else nigga, lined but up. But nigga give you the best advice if you want, no matter who you are, if you Ryan Garcia, if you anybody, if a motherfucker say, nigga, like, oh, well, Floyd gave oh, Ryan the, the advice to go fight Roley, right? Even though he's not Ryan Garcia advisor, right? He's giving you advice. I think this is what's best for you to do. And my nigga, oh, nigga, and from my opinion, that's the best advice anybody should have gave Ryan Garcia. Okay, well, yeah, 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 hey, yeah. Uh, he advised a nigga to do something else, man. Where, where you fighting at, or where you? Fighting yeah, 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 yeah. You right, you right, you right, you right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted he he wanted him to do whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just advised the nigga to go do something else. Though. You right, that's, though. That's, you that's right. That's the whole point of me being your advisor. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before you even I got, got you. To I got this you. Nigga, I advise I you, you every step of your career. Yeah, 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 Before yeah. I got you. Even I got get you. to a, a Crawford fight. My advisement is is to advise you what I think is best for your career. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole reason why I'm your fucking advisor. For advice. Yeah. Yeah. He gave him some advice to do something else, but Ford is just like that. That doesn't mean that I don't want you to do it, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I agree. I, I, I agree with you on that. I say you right. You right. You right. You right. You know, he didn't care if he did or not. He just gave him advice. Yeah, you right, you right, you right. That's a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. You right, you right, you right. I, I gotta go. Advisors are for. I got. I gotta go. I just gotta go find the if clip so I can get his if you exact word. Let's just take it out of boxing. Let's just take it out of boxing. If BJ, if your wife advised you to do this, right? That doesn't mean she doesn't want you to do something. Just know, but I think you should do this, B. Or. 
I'm not saying I'm not telling you not to go do that, but my advice is like, Well that's what I'm saying. I would I wouldn't think I wouldn't think she'll want me to do that shit because she don't think that's the best move for me to make. You feel what I'm saying? Yes. So if it's like that's, okay, that's, man, that's, that's all that's all that's all I'm saying. Town. I'm gonna take this job out of town, they pay motherfucking uh this but it's a it's it's a job that pays this a job this nigga position pay thirty dollars an hour out of town. But this shit right here pays twenty eight dollars in town. Baby, I think the best advice is for you. Like, I'm not saying I don't want you to go out of town, but I think the best advice is to take the twenty eight dollars and you can still be at home. Oh, no, but baby, if you want to go out of town, go out of town. But I just think the best advice is to. Nigga, I said, oh, I don't want you to go out of town. Nigga, that's just the best advice. And what I think, nigga, is the ultimately the decision is up to you. I'm not trying to make you make any other no decisions. I'm just going to tell you what I think my best advice is, nigga. If you do this, 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 and then do that, I think that'd be better. Oh, if you fight this nigga, oh, oh, I want to go fight them right now. But, oh, no, take it. I want to go fight Devin right now. No. But my best nigga, no, if I think if you wait a couple years and then go fight Devin, you'll make more money. Like nigga, if I tell EJ, no, nigga, dude, that's not that, that's not fight uh Crawford now. Let's wait till he out of his contract and come over here and fight him, nigga. And then, nigga, oh, I think you should get sixty percent. I don't think you should get that nigga fifty fifty. I think you deserve sixty percent. They so, like, nigga, I feel as though you're the biggest star. You deserve sixty forty. No, nigga, no, I think you should do, no, nigga, that's your advice, nigga. Yeah, whatever the reason was that uh, you know what I'm saying, he, he advised the nigga to do something else. I shit, you know. That's, that's what the fucking advisor is, nigga. I'm not advising you to do anything. I'm giving you my advice. You can do what the fuck you want to do. Yeah. Either way, he thought whatever us the what the fuck was the best move, you know, whatever the fuck, whatever else it was. So. That's how the point been, I was trying. It might have been the best move. That's whatever. whatever that's what I. Says, that's, it might have been the best move. It's like nigga, oh, oh, you gonna go into this Crawford fight? You know what you think? I think you should do before you go into the Crawford fight. I think you should have a tune-up because, like, nigga, you've been out the ring, you just coming off the couch, you haven't been training. I think you should have a tune-up first and then go fight Crawford. Oh, all right. No, nigga, I'm just gonna go fight Crawford now without a tune-up, you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm a, a nigga, that's the advice, to, like, nigga. Anybody, anybody can give you advice. You don't have to be your advisor, but, nigga, but this is the nigga that you look to for advice. This is the nigga that has got you to, to where you at in your career. Like, nigga, when you was nobody, I advise you to do this, 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 and this, and it's got you to this point. You might advise cool boy. I don't think you should go to China and fight that nigga. I think you should fight him, but I don't think you should go to China and fight that nigga. All right, nigga. I'm let you do what you do, but nigga, if if it go bad, that's on you, nigga. And that's when they come back like, damn, bro. I I fuck. I mean, I should have listened to your advice, nigga. That's what happens, nigga. I do a lot of dumb shit like on my bitch and then, oh, I think you shouldn't do that. Every time I don't listen, nigga, I either catch a case or some dumb shit. Wake up in the gym. Like, fuck, bitch. I argue with this bitch. Like, they didn't want me to go outside. Bitch, argue me not to go outside. I go the fuck outside and I'm calling her from the gym. Like, nigga, I told you, dumb ass. You should just stay there. I hear a lot of happened to me plenty of times. Like, this. Um, I'm like, fucking you, bitch, I'll be right back, you drone. Fuck are you talking about? Then I wake up in the jail like, man, call. <laughs> Sick, like.